Here we go. I think Whoa. We're just getting because you know I was gonna barrel straight through into it. I did want to just play that clip from. So <laughs> I think we're just gonna open with that. The plan here. Clip from Twitter. Thank you all, and we're gonna oh, okay. think, play, and listen for a minute and twenty seconds. This take, and you're gonna have to do your best to not comment till the end, which is gonna be really hard, right? Okay. To test all of your ability. I hate so it. Oh, that one's. I can see people in chat. Excellent. We're yeah, late. We are. Not our we're fault. Here. Watch it's together. True. It isn't fault. our fault. Trust me. It is. We love yeah. you watch together, but it was your fault. We yeah. an odyssey around the internet looking for alternatives. You know what's crazy? We learned that watch together dying UI design. temporarily. I wonder how much it damages like several people's shows. Because we can't be like the Sitch GDP and Adam rely on watch together States. as well. <laughs> it like has a serious impact on the worldwide economy. <laughs> like, yeah. We can't watch YouTube videos together. It's all crashing. Everything's <laughs> another... destroyed. Um all right, like I said, while while people are coming in, we're gonna listen to, to this take. So I'm gonna post it to you guys. Get it ready at zero, and then uh, uh, clickety clack. Uh, and so remember, you gotta don't don't go. We gotta listen. So wait, so do you want anybody to like comment during it at all, or just... no? I want to try and listen to the whole thing, and then everyone can talk. <laughs> so minute oh, nineteen. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, this is gonna be a challenge. All right, this is TikTok Lex reviews. Hmm. Yep. All right, everyone ready to right. hit play on yeah. three? Sure. I got, I got the ready. button. Three, two, one, go. Zack Snyder is the reason for DC's downfall. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for Zack Snyder. Why did he have to take these one-dimensional characters and give them arcs, <laughs> make them relatable? Why would oh, we want to relate no. to the heroes that we look up to? I don't care about how oh, they're no. and I don't care about Snyder showing us why having a symbol of hope is so important in the world we have today. Oh no, I don't want the to see cope. why Batman shouldn't kill. I just want Batman to not kill. I don't want to see an arc of oh, him no, you can't say that. and becoming the best version of himself. I just want to see the no one-dimensional one character from the comics put on the big screen. <laughs> is that too much to ask so for a visionary like Snyder? Yes, it is. <laughs> Snyder beautifully told a story about Superman trying to find his place in a world that doesn't want him, <laughs> and him slowly him. becoming a symbol of hope Definitely by the hell. end of Justice League. Him having to die in order to become that symbol of hope in a world that does not want him. Batman becoming the best version of himself by facing his demons, by bringing Batman to a level that we've never seen him oh, before, boy. doing the one thing that he swore never to do because it's why he began his quest to become Batman in the first place. We don't want to see our heroes have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest oh, one minute and twenty boy. seconds of my life. That was rough. The oh, amount God. of the amount of distilled copium that has been compressed How into much one Snyder minute. Pay this guy. That was Jesus. such a backdoor. Like you know, Snyder wow. destroyed the DCU. It's like, oh yeah, sure, sure. By having characters with dimensions, you're like, wow, well, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, the problem was certainly that his characters were dimensional. They were that too was dimensional. They were too really good. good. This guy's big mistake was shitting on the comics. That was like his big fuck up. Um, because yeah, nobody, like gonna, nobody will like that. Nobody likes that, and it's wrong. Well, it's totally you know it's wrong. Like the, the it's, it's so it's so awkward though. Like it, it really does. It's isn't it such a bizarre scenario where it seems like in order to prop up these films, it involves like shitting on the source material. Like that that anybody who's like super duper invested in that universe kind of has like a level of disdain for the material. Like, yeah. it's, it's odd. Well, I mean, that's all kind of part and parcel of, like, the smug delivery of, like, oh, I'm sorry that this this version had to be too brilliant for you, and that you were... Sorry, your tiny, mortal. feeble mortal mind couldn't <laughs> understand the depth and complexity <laughs> of Zack yeah, Snyder's... Just, this is like, like that thing. My like, favorite part was him, like, drop tripping drop over drop. himself, trying to explain the quote-unquote arcs and dimensionality <laughs> of these characters, like, doing his <laughs> absolute best to make it sound like it's something. I thought it was uh, it was funny as fuck when he was like, "We just want single dimensional characters, but Snyder can't can't do that. He has to give them multi dimensions. He has to give them incredible arcs and feel." You're like, "What are you?" <laughs> this, this... Right. Well, <laughs> a lot of people in chat 
supposed to be watching the World Cup. Is that are you? What's, what's what's the World you, Cup? What's the ball? Ball? With, with which ball Cup is that? Is that the round ball or is that's that the, the round one? Ball? Yeah. yeah. A soccer ball game where you kick the soccer ball, the ball around. I don't like around the one where they kick it. I like the one where they throw it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, I, I have a question for all of you people in the world who call it football, right, and not soccer. Yeah. What What's the ball called? Is it Is it called the football ball? It's a football. It's called the football. The football. <laughs> okay. I suppose that makes yeah. sense. It's a very straightforward name. It's named I mean, after baseball. the ball. Yeah, we ain't calling it a hand egg or anything. Weird. It's like a basketball. Hand you don't call it a basketball. Mm -hmm. Egg is American football. Rags, you didn't think that one through at all. <laughs> think what through? My offhanded yeah, silly yeah, comment? The, the football ball. Leave him basketball alone, Friggy. He was trying to dunk. Ball. The nerd football tried to ball. dunk on sports ball. Yeah. I'm, I'm literally not. Nerd that was never my real. intention to dunk on anything. Oh, no, that's an appropriate That's an appropriate term it for sports related points. It's okay. It's okay to make mistakes. I didn't make any mistakes. I asked a question. Sure. And I, I did. Think. I literally asked what you called something. <laughs> Look, all right, Rags, this is EFAP. There is such a thing as bad questions. <laughs> There's no stupid Contrary questions. Contrary to what your kindergartner told you, yes, there are dumb fucking questions that you can ask. By the way, I've already seen someone say, why are you doing this? He's on your side. Okay. Um, <laughs> no. So I'm abandoning ship then. I'm going to whatever the other side is. <laughs> If he's on my side, I have royally fucked up somewhere in my life. He goes to the uh, he goes to the bridge. He's the captain of the ship. and goes, oh fuck! Pulls out a pistol, <laughs> just kills himself. <laughs> I didn't know. Like we're out then. Um, this is we're I need that. Right um, back to me. I need the Incredibles meme of the the people who know the people who don't know thing about this man and his uh, his his stuff. Let's just put it that way. Uh, we have not got the time da, to not da, get into da, this, da, 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 so uh, I'm just going to have to explain, so, right? Is there any preamble? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to. I'm Rimble. just going to give them my adventure, basically, which Rags and Fringy are pretty aware of, uh, and then Metal to an extent. But basically, Mahler's Inferno. I yes, I was sent <laughs> many messages in different formats, be it EFAP chat, Discord, whatever have you, and they were like, "Oh, you got to check out." The criticism of Ragnarok that you're not addressing. It's like, yeah, oh, Mahler. oh my god, oh Jesus, I'm and sorry. Boy. Yeah, and so it's, it's like, okay, yeah, sure, what? And it's like, there's there's Under the Mayo, there's Yahtzee, Ugh. and there's Synthetic Man. And I was like, okay, sure, we, you know, EFAP's all about this stuff, for oh, sure, fine. I chose Synthetic Man first. Oh, yeah. I was just like, sure, he said, not a masterpiece? That sounds, yeah, I, you know, I, I could see that. It sounds reminds me measured of that, um, and reasonable. It's like the, 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 the video when we covered um, the Spooderman one, right? Didn't she open with saying it wasn't a, uh, like a, an amazing film? We were like, yeah, no, that's fair. I forget, I forget. Um, nuts, it, right? Uh, but, but of course, yeah. you know, it, it, sometimes, sometimes the conclusion we agree on, uh, or at least find a 50-50 with, maybe, and it's the workings that can be a little, eh. mm. I, was, I was watching this video, yeah, giving, it, yeah. giving it the old chance, and I was like, hmm. I'm not convinced by many of these arguments. Oof, that was a bad. Oof, that was a bad. Oh god, that was cringe. And then it's like, oh, oh, this, this, this is, uh, this is what they got, is it? All right, you know, is it, all right. And then I find someone's responded to him, and I was like, oh, oh. And then I realize like seven people have responded to it. He's this video has annoyed people. And I was like, yeah, that's fair enough. If you like Ragnarok, you're not gonna like this video. Um, so I check out some of the responses, and I was like, yep, some of these are really on point. It's uh, this all makes sense. And then he responds to one of them. And I check it out, and uh, uh, this is when I was in a call with Rags and Fringy, and this funny thing happened, right? In the video, he references how he responded to it live. And it was like, mm -hmm. oh. And I think I said to you guys, like, it would probably be funnier to watch his live response, because they're usually <laughs> more fun and, and like, authentic. Yeah. Uh, what a huge yeah. fucking mistake that was. <laughs> um, like... I, I, we watched that, and then I was like, you know... It might be worthwhile me watching his playthrough. He's got it all up. It's a it's a playlist, and it'll make for additional references for the EFAP, right? So, um, this is this is absolutely where I would bring in the Incredibles meme. For those who do know, uh, don't know, they smiley. It's all video. For those who do know, and it's me with a very sad face, crying. Uh, I I I have seen more of this man's take on Ragnarok than I think most people. Um, so I decided to make a supercut. This supercut contains his original video, a response video, the response to the response video, 
and content from many of his streams. This is the best over the week that I have done to categorize it chronologically slash by topic. We are going to delve into his arguments. We're going to delve into responses to them. And then we're going to delve into his responses to those responses to try and cover everything. And then we will delve into some other stuff. And believe me, anybody who has a perspective about this person will likely feel a little different by the end of this. Now, clear schedules. You might need 10 hours for this. I know we will. <laughs> um, without, I, I don't know why I would say anything else. That sums it up. Uh, is everybody happy to get started? Oh, really? Happy, but let's do happy it. Happy might be a strong word. But... Like I said, simplest way to put it is he's got an opinion on Ragnarok. We're going to check it out. It's fine. We love opinions. I mean, that's sure, what we do here. A really that's... well thought out opinion. Hell I mean, yeah. so many people, I mean, this was recommended by people. It, it's It's got to be good, right? I yes. mean, with all these recommendations. And after all, he's on our side. So really, we're just going to be uh, agreeing with pretty much all this through and through. <laughs> Here we fucking go. Maybe that's it. That, fuck. I got to be careful about what I... Wait, wait, that's not... Pause it. Somebody pause it. Paused it. I only opened the tab. I, I didn't mean, touch anything. Let's just scoot back to the beginning real quick. It's only six seconds. We're off to a great start. I I'll can't move, move it back. back to the beginning. It won't let me. Explain oh, this. No, more I'll shit. move it back. Thank you, Theo. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Maybe that's the only way. <laughs> Fuck. I gotta be careful about what I say. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. You never know who's watching. I need your help with this. Mm. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, people in the business call that foreshadowing. <laughs> That's key name by this. Anyway, the people could be watching. That's man, good, right? I have no idea how to review this game. On the one hand, if I'm completely honest with you, this is going to be dislike bombed into oblivion. On Ooh. the other hand, if I oversell some of the game's positives, I'm going to look like a liar, especially to anybody who look like a liar. Man, no right. one cares. <laughs> that's also oh, yeah, true. I hate, I hate <laughs> videos who do this. Oh, how can I review this game? It's like, well, honestly. Yeah. Like if I if I if I ever well, do this or yeah, that, well, and I'll well, get dislike bombed like, and like YouTube yeah. video yeah. essays preambles are gonna be the fucking well, end of me. Yeah, preambles. <laughs> well, me. I didn't want to make this video, but here Sigh. it is. Hmm. At least he didn't Watch show up arriving. Chair. Yeah, Cobain. I, I, doing... Wait, so sorry. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll roll it back. He he references his stream, and so this is just me giving you some clips as we go to give you reference. On the other hand, well. if I oversell some of the game's positives, I'm gonna look like a liar, especially to anybody who watched my streams. Yeah, Cobain, I, I doing pretty all right. Not that I've done much today, other than you know, just have a horrible poop. Just a horrible, horrible poop. Is oh, my yeah, head Mexican? Last night. I legit. And last night. I booted up this stream as part of the playlist, and it's just like, I cover what I was doing, but I just heard him say, like, I had a horrible poop Mexican. I was just like, what the <laughs> Like, what? The Mexican does give you the poop, yes. <laughs> that, by the way, is one of the better clips. In terms of just, yeah, that's fun. There we go. That's relatable. Oh, there. See, oh yeah, this yeah. is this is how you know it's a Reddit game. You can't kill the turtles. Oh, Reddit. Oh, One of the first things go. I did what in Elden Ring was kill the turtles. Uh, Turtle killer. <laughs> it's it's a Reddit game if you can't kill the turtles. Like, or can someone okay? define right. Reddit game to me because I've never heard that it term in my life. Soy. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, we wouldn't want to be soy. Wait, but I thought true. Reddit is racist. I don't understand. Oh, yeah, you're right. Reddit is whatever no. it needs to be. The, oh, base, okay. the base 4chan boys, they're like, Reddit is all soy. It's the, they're the libs, dude. So, uh, you know, you're edgy if you're making fun of Reddit. It's so funny that you're saying this, Theo. You have no idea. <laughs> this... uh, I, I, I like I you've drawn that all for going. Theo's not even seen any of this stuff, so I'm just I'm just blown away, but you, you've cracked the case, let's say. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since I've made a comment response video. The purpose here is I'm just setting up these are all the videos that I've I have put together. It's not like I was I lacking in opportunities to make one, as you probably know if you've been around here for a while. I was made aware of a response video made by Zero Needs Coffee called The Worst God of War Ragnarok Review Synthetic Man. This guy, I can already tell this guy's a bundle of sticks. I can already tell.
Whoa. Oh, no. As you can imagine, I was having flash. Uh, yeah, that's a good You're start. A cool guy. Mm. Good uh, start. Already... Streaming synthetic man is not quite the same as video synthetic man. Bex, my Doom Eternal videos and the responses that followed. And think boogie, but I was about think to say but boogie. a gamer. <laughs> like, <laughs> gamer. <laughs> and I won't Boogie's lie a when I, gamer. I saw this on stream, I was pretty tilted. And this kind of goes without saying, but please do not go to this video and harass this person. The last thing I need is another reason for YouTube to shut my ass down. So the um, interesting thing about that clip is like, oh good, but then your reasoning is like, no, 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 it's because it's unethical. It's because yeah, you yeah, shouldn't yeah. do that, not because you'll get in trouble for it. Yeah, you shouldn't, shouldn't <laughs> do that, but okay. The right thing for the wrong yeah, reasons? That... Yeah, mm -hmm. something. Well, and, and then let's compare it with something from his stream, But shall we? please do not go to this video and harass this person. The last thing I need is another reason for YouTube to shut my ass down. Yeah, that is a thousand likes. Well, you guys do your job. Dislike bomb the video. I don't give a shit. Uh, I don't care if I get in trouble from YouTube. Wow. Every one of you come here and dislike oh, no. this video. Uh, oh, wow, you're so cool, dude. Yeah. Don't do this. Uh, don't do it. Don't become this person. That's, don't let hate consume you. you want to do. No, don't tell people to dislike bomb anything. It was mm. so fucking cool, dude. Holy it's such, shit. A, such an interesting I already don't like it? you. It's been two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're on our but side. It, it, Why would it, you it do is this? Fascinating, isn't it? On the compared to what he said in the video versus what he said on the stream. He's two different people. Two and well, yeah, pretty much. Weasley little liar, dude. Liar, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that is a thousand. No, no, I might get in trouble from YouTube. Uh, you you do what you must, I guess. Oh, uh, not even <laughs> walking it back. He didn't even, like, even walk it back. He had the chance even... to say, actually, no, but instead he went, you do, you do what you must. Nice. <laughs> so a couple of days ago, a YouTuber named Synthetic Man uploaded this video. It was a review of God of War Ragnarok, and I made a video responding to his review. He reacted to the video on one of his streams, where at the end of the stream, he encouraged everyone watching to go over to my channel and dislike bomb my video, which is against YouTube's community guidelines and also is a pretty fucked up thing to do. It just kind of shows what type of person we're dealing with. I love how it isn't that like the... The... I'm... I'm Try not to say tranny version, but the alternate universe version of uh, of Marceline what? that's like a boy or something. So already we have like an effeminate male character that you're using for your avatar. Really not oh, helping. Sorry. Really uh, not. You're not ready for what's about boy. to happen. Seriously, you're not ready. Uh, you won't know, predict what's about to happen next. Cartoon. Just just watch this. Not helping. This is this is. Let me just uh, just up a little bit. Just flex. This is happening. <laughs> this is actually happening right now. <laughs> What? Yeah. Like, what are you I, doing? I, what? I've been to this train ride before. I know what? the last station of this one. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> Seriously, like we are just started. on the train the yet. What is- why- why are you doing this? The insecurity levels are off the charts. <laughs> like, what? No, he's a masculine male. He's so cool, dude. He's an he's edgy cool. boy. He'll say what, you know, the others won't. And stuff. Oh, I'm bringing no. you the facts. Sure. He's not like gonna my, let anyone my stop raw him. masculinity versus this effeminate twink. Yeah, raw masculinity. <laughs> Look at you, fucking blob. Effeminate <laughs> twink. It's kind of redundant, but. Yeah. Did he seem like he was kidding there, though? Like, oh, well, like, but he. I mean, you did catch the other comments, right? He wants to assert his oh, superiority yeah. well, in the form of masculinity. Yeah, it's uh, pretty yeah. cringy. <laughs> Making you give a fuck about this. I always use Adventure Time characters as my PFPs on my social media because I really liked the show as a kid. And the one for my YouTube channel just happens to be Marshall Lee. I didn't choose this picture because I'm woke or something and like the fact that it's a gender bent version of Marshall Lee. I chose it because he's voiced by a childish Gambino who I really like the music of. Please stop bringing this up. It has nothing to do with the game. You're just reaching super far to try to find things to insult me. It just looks fucking stupid. But imagine yeah. having to say this though, by the way. I know it's. It's like we're back in grade school. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I miss these kinds of, uh, you know, these playground banters. Oh, yes. If you haven't played the game yet, I recommend you go check it out. But if you're not able to play it or have an Xbox or something, then you can also check out a video like this, like a full game, no commentary video. I highly recommend you go do that. Don't watch this video. Go experience the game first and then come back. Instead of, you know, playing the game yourself or just waiting until you could get a PS5, Sorry, he suggests... 
There's a reason I put like, that on the screen. Yeah. If you're the not able hard, to play it, not, I, exactly like comprehension. Pretty simple. You need to get Mahler font. You need to get a get someone. To yeah, make I use the. This font. is like the default Vegas one. I'm just so used mm -hmm. to it <laughs> that you watch game walk through and the part he's leaving out is when you then pretend you've played the game it's funny as well because like are you going to acknowledge the fact that the ps5 is like notoriously rare like people have oh, difficulties yeah, like, getting it and you could get it on ps4 but a lot of people probably want to you know play it on ps5 yeah and then yeah it's just like there's plenty of reasons why somebody is unable to know, play it somebody might not have the money Exactly. Yeah. Is that. And plus, I mean, asking someone to buy an entire console to play one game, and that's a big ask. Pretty big ask. If, yeah, like, yeah. At, at this point in time, like, if you if you had, like, a PC, for instance, and it's like, should you get a PlayStation 5? It's like, uh... That's a big uh, ask. You know, me. like, uh... Yeah. Kind of depends on what games you like. For a console to have that sort of pull. Mm -hmm. Yourself real opinion on it. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? I hate Zoomers so much. I, zoomers. Uh, uh, those darn Zoomers. Uh, <laughs> First it was the Millennials. Then it was the Zoomers. Everyone hates I don't boomers know who comes too, after right? Zoomers. So, who's the Boomers, Zoomers, people? Millennials. Who are the good ones? The greatest generation. I don't know. Do we go back to Generation A? Because Generation <laughs> A, Adam and Eve. A, A2. <laughs> the Garden of Eden, Generation A. I did not find a single comment refuting any of my major points from the really? video. Really? Not a single one. So this will be not great for one. us. Let's see if we can okay. tackle anything. I am Absolutely. deeply I'm disappointed with Sony fans this time. Sony this is the... fans? Yeah, you... it's, it, it really does take you back that. to the console wars. Yeah. I, it, I'm uh, the biggest Sony fan. I love all of their games. <laughs> I'm not saying he's calling us that. I'm just, yeah, I'm just suggesting, don't worry, we're not Sony fans, but you'll be fine. It's the game box tribalism of your, it's still alive and well. Just because yeah. I walked away from it doesn't mean it's it ever went somewhere, away. Somewhere over there on the other island. If you don't going. like my God of War review? Well, obviously you're a Sony fanboy. Mm. What other explanation could there be? Well, because his video, for reference, his video response to criticism was titled Responding to Sony Fanboys. So, hmm. <laughs> yeah, just assuming that's... that anybody who disagrees with you is some like big Sony fanboy who only plays on PlayStation and just like stands for everything that yeah, they do and make. Yeah. That's not I very, mean, uh, that's not very the chat only of him to do. Who can disagree with you as an irrational person, <laughs> like fundamentally. You would probably want to apply the the title fanboy though to someone who doesn't really have a good argument. They're just like, yeah, it's the best because they have the best. Graphics. Well, I guess and that would be his claim, player. right? They they don't have good arguments. He he ah, was infallible. Everything he said was true and correct, which I guess we'll find out whether that's the case soon I'm enough. I'm sure it, it was. It's, it's sort of poisoning yeah. the well, though. You know, like it's just uh, like, yeah. Well, these yes, guys are just fanboys. He's dumping yeah. the bucket load down the well, which like, is the weird. Well is just poison because he concedes he's wrong about a couple things in his follow up video. Um, so he is like, very concerned about making sure that it's never his fault or he's never wrong he it's just, always something else it's best one defense of these people he just likes the idea of you know oh i made people mad by saying this Ooh, i've got the fanboys all riled up <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> that's pretty based we're still in the portion True. where people are like leave him alone in chat it's like i'm surprised you guys are still here after There's he no literally way, he called for an attack on a channel with dislike bombing like i'm surprised you're okay <laughs> with that that's uh yeah, yeah. Obviously, don't worry, your mind will be changed by the time you hit the end of this stream, trust me. Just like every other person we end up covering that you're like, leave them alone! <laughs> it's so innocent, leave <laughs> This them. ain't the guy, everyone, this ain't the guy. This ain't the guy. To <laughs> run defense for. This ain't, this mm -hmm. ain't I'm, the one. Go at, defend Filmento, he seems like a cool dude. Even high top, brown table, go for it. This guy? No, 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 no. Not this guy. Not this one. You can right. muster oh, for the game of the year of 2022, according to you. Then gaming is truly dead, and it's never going to improve. So because you consumers that's a, that's a, keep eating. It's a really odd thing to say about an industry that's got a thriving indie space. At, yeah. the, at yeah. the very least, if you're going to be complaining about, I guess, your cinematic games, like the industry, there's plenty of great games coming out. I'm sorry, you're, like, you're not looking hard enough. The the only e game industry that is in any danger at all is blockbuster triple a's like i can say even, really even if you want to stay they're not in, like, really if, even it? if you want to stay in the triple a I mean, space just look it, at japan if, go, if you're talking about japan oh yeah so uh, i was i was just going to clarify that point what i mean is like the only one that is in danger of 
God, now the dogs start. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the only one that's in danger of collapsing under the weight of its own requirements, like the gigantic budgets, the big marketing cycles, the DLC plans that end up pissing people off. Like, it, it, that's always the the danger of AAA expanding and expanding and expanding, right? Whereas even if that all blows up, like you're not going to stop those teams of like five, 10 people or even teams of one guy like Choo Choo Charles just came yeah. out and that's a single developer game. And it's, it seems pretty cool. So it's oh, like, those will probably keep happening. Okay. I'm going to stop the dogs from barking. Hollow Knight was oh. made by three people in Australia. Like, mm -hmm. You can't stop the yeah. atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you add in the Australia part? Are you, are you, well, there's you not know, many developers extra. in Australia. We don't have many big. I don't think there's any like triple A developers in Australia, but there's Rock definitely a lot of smaller teams. Know. Boomerang games. Um, well, the ones that <laughs> were here, coding. a lot of the ones that were here closed over the years. Unfortunately, it's uh, uh, yeah. There's but but it's in the indie space, there's plenty of stuff going on in Australia. It's the cool thing about the indie space. A lot of smaller games. developers getting... I mean, one of the... Uh, out of the Game Awards, one of the most popular like announcements was Hades 2, which is an indie game. Yeah. Like, I was very happy that they got a showcase. It was really cool. Uh, I that wanted, game yeah, you cool. always worry about I'm always happy for more from also, No, we, we got a lot yeah, to cover. I've seen a, lot, to be uh, fair. a couple people mention that... Uh, you know, this take so far isn't even as bad as the high top one at the beginning. That wasn't high top in, in the clip about Superman and Batman and stuff. That was some other guy. I've seen a couple, no, even some... High Top has had to come out and say, that is not me. People keep saying, it's me, it's not me. And it's like, yeah, it's not him. <laughs> like, I, I don't I guess because I've watched him. enough of it, but I didn't think it was him. Uh, but a lot of people do. Um, just kind of funny. Similar editing style, maybe? I don't know. Similar don't know. way of maybe it's voice -ish. Yeah, maybe, yeah, I think it's probably the voice. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Voice, yeah. voice. Eating this shit up. Don't ask questions. Just consume product and then get excited for next product. Mm -hmm. Oh, they really love to weird throw that one out. To be given this when, like, about Ragnarok, this is like, just consume yeah. and get that. It's like, really? Okay. Because, like, it's so funny. We went into it so critical. Uh, like, we we were saying for weeks, like, oof, could be. Yeah. I'm could scared. be we're heading for a Last of Us 2 situation. I hope not. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. All right. I mean, anyone can use this for any reason they want, so. I pretty much lose either way, but at the end of the day, I would rather be as honest as humanly possible. It's pretty much the only policy I've stuck to. Uh, <laughs> uh, He's so virtuous. Hell. Uh, he put it on, he wears a shit with the quote. <laughs> the further society drifts from the truth, the more it will hate those that speak it. I could tell because of how based huh. your language is, talking about the bundles of sticks and trannies. Yeah, it's he's so very true. Man, it's all about that truth. Since the start of my channel. So I've come to terms with the fact that this will likely be one of the most disliked videos I'll ever make in my likely short career on Nobody YouTube. Nobody cares! Just get on yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I'm rhyming you to yeah. feel yeah. sympathetic. The sympathetic about, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing a video game can be is boring. And Ragnarok is one of the most boring f***ing <laughs> games I've ever played. So, Hap it's worth pointing out, boring is, like, so subjective. Um, yeah. Like, we we, we talk about it a lot, but just... Boring, I said it's not, you, you know, like, that's kind of all you can do. I have, like, an intuitive sense of what he probably means, but that's about all you get from boring, yeah, especially in yeah. this context. My hope would just be, alright, references go. Because, like, you know, That's what good. are they going to be for boring? It's, like, probably extended periods of nothing happening, low engagement with the game, you know, stuff like that. It's just, you're just going to have to wait until he says it. But, yeah, obviously we just, well, I say we. I don't know if everyone here says it, but I, I don't think it was boring. But no. sure, go ahead and give the I I didn't even play it, and I didn't think it was boring. It's either watching a cutscene, walking in a straight line, or engaging in one of the game's many hidden loading screens, whether that be rowing a boat, riding a giant yak, climbing a wall, shit we've seen a thousand times. So, and you, you can't lump in the big open areas that you get to explore freely with, like, these sections. They're not the same thing. Yeah. Rowing a boat is a hidden loading screen? Excuse I don't know me? why we're, uh, we're, like... Fucking hate hidden loading screens now. It's like, yeah, right. would you rather have like an actual loading screen and yes, little small he would. levels he, again? He said he would, and there was there's, there's validity to discussing the the pros and cons of it, but to outright just be like we've seen climbing before, <laughs> like okay. yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, yeah it's it's 
But the criticism, like, it's just a little bit deeper than that. You can do it, dude. Like, well, it's not really cool to just devalue big open world sections as disguised loading screens. These things are full of content yeah. and story and writing. And to try mm -hmm. and pass it off as, oh, it's just a glorified loading screen. That's just super dishonest. Yeah, you got that's the... not cool at all. The um the Mamiya sort of side mission in Svartalfheim, right? Like it's, there's an enormous area. It's filled with several ports to land, and then a, a side mission that spawns into another side mission. It's um to say like all of the moving around of that area is just loading screens being disguised. Like that's really weird. Like logistically yeah. speaking, there has to be a world in which you have to have distances of difference between things. Like so you still have to travel. Like what do you want fast travel for everything? I I don't think so. So. Why are you lumping them in? It's weird. Like, like to not have just everything is directly a straight path from the last thing you did. Like to make it so that no, now we have need to go over here and we have to cross a lake. Like that, that that does add to the sense of like, oh, this is this is an actual oh, the adventure world part, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it gets old. This game does not respect your time. Uh, all that just like you're not respecting whoa, the game. Whoa, whoa, sorry, that was <laughs> that was like actual story happening that you used as a. It's funny you say that, Mel. Let's mm -hmm. see what as... Zero Needs Coffee said in response to it. Uh, oh, not, okay. not, to, not to cut you off, I'm just gonna say, don't worry, they'll they'll do it, and you get to see his counter. Shit, we've seen a thousand times, and it gets old. This game does not respect your time. Just like you're not respecting the game's story. You put this section in eight times speed as if it's a loading screen or something. This is a very touching scene where Kratos talks to his now dead wife in a dream. And you're just skipping over it like it's literally nothing. <laughs> where Kratos talks oh, to his now yeah, dead basically, wife. yeah. <laughs> he thinks Pretty that's like a big emotional vote. No, no, dude, this isn't real. This is like a parody. What? He, think he thinks it's what? parody to say that that part is touching in any way. What, why, this, why, it's why, not very why based to not be in touch with your emotions as an adult. Look, he's really, based, he's maybe. really cool and based, yeah. So he, he laughs at this because he's above it all, you know. I just only like, soy people I, I guess, are in touch so with their emotions. Clear, that, that scene is like all of Faye's scenes are critically important to the narrative. Yes, very. Well, we're really in important. luck because I, uh, I'm gonna play the scene right after he finishes saying that it's nothing in it. Oh, not the whole thing. Your dead wife. Like holy shit. And he's like, oh, look at the subtitles. It's super emotional as you slowly row a boat in a straight line. No, come on, Rowing a boat in a straight line doesn't have anything to do <laughs> positively or negatively to yeah. emotional impact. I don't understand. It's not you're, not you're rowing a boat. It's it can't non be emotional. You're rowing a boat in a straight <laughs> line, no less. The logic, I'm flawed. Dude, please. The straighter the line, the less the emotion. Show this man the fucking God, sorrow from Metal Gear Solid 3, and he's like, I'm just walking in a straight line. <laughs> be a boy. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Um, which becomes doubly meaningful when you do the side quest about what Faye did in yep. Anaheim. But oh well, obviously that but is no foundational content. to the character arcs that involve Kratos and uh, Atreus and their journey in 2018 and in Ragnarok. It's really weird to be like that scene in particular is rowing a boat. Shit. So hidden gonna... loading screens. Like why? Well, if no. you were going to go after any single part of the game for wasting your time in some regard i have no idea why you would go after the phase sequences because because it's that's emotional and pertinent story stuff There's because femoids are involved um, yeah, they're very emotional this guy's got to be underage right please tell me he's underage what? i will i will <laughs> what? i don't know why you put it that way <laughs> why would you um, what i don't even know please, what to say to that P please, please tell be... me he's underage uh, okay Retract my statements if he's underage. Do, do we have a confirmation? Like, please tell me he's like, like, it, it, trust, tell me, please, and, and whatever. Let's just keep I, I think he abandoned that when he realized what he was saying. That it makes him look like a weird creeper. Hey, audience, go discover if this, this person is underage. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, let's yeah. Skip. <laughs> if I want to put, I, I got to stop pausing every two seconds. I'm pulling an EFAP. I really am oh, pulling no. you Oh no! Get uh -oh. our name out of your goddamn <laughs> mouth! <laughs> man. 
<laughs> Why is it so hard for left-wing people to just address the arguments being stated in a video? Oh, the guys, <laughs> the lefties, <laughs> the liberals. Well, hey, don't why, insult liberals. I don't, why don't you even go there? <laughs> why did <laughs> you even go there? Well, why did, because, why? as as you, I guess he sees everything through this political lens all the time, everywhere, always. I don't know what you the mean. No, 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 no. Crazy it's the right. left who say everything is political. You see? Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. You have to make up all these motivations oh, and. I don't, you know, it's yeah, not like God, when you respond to those Sony fanboys, you're not inventing any motivations <laughs> about no. most people. Oh, no, no. No. Thing, this guy has to be underage to have this thing. <laughs> that was an underage thing to say. That was he so weird. Brain. That was weird. Annoying. Okay. He's not left wing. He's right wing. I don't believe that. There's it no can't way be. you like. It can't, can't be. be. No. no, he's like no. Luke in Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> no, it can't be. It's not true. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. He's not based enough to be right wing. <laughs> he has an icon of a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> this woke mess. No, there's no way that's true. What a what a bizarre thing yeah, to yeah, say. Yeah. You yeah. can't like this story if you were a right winger. Yeah, just let yeah. me know if you liked Ragnarok, the woke mess. You can't possibly be right wing. <laughs> Not allowed. To You're either me. lying to him or yourselves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My what impressions can't be say. wrong. My knee jerk impressions can't be wrong. Madness. Not possible. Right wing. I don't believe that. There's no way he would like this woke mess if he was right wing. No, there's no way that's. And just true. to be clear, he's referring to God of War Ragnarok as woke a woke mess. mess. God of War Ragnarok, everybody, <laughs> is mm -hmm. a woke mess. We all knew it. So true. Let me raise, let it be done. There was women in it. I don't know. It's true. It's a, I hate a those. suspicious amount of women. You might say I might suspicious. add. <laughs> yeah. Some of them did things. Oh, that's a. a we're getting to the point where that that callback to suspicious amounts of women. A lot of people just won't know that. Yeah, that was years ago. That was like in long time ago. War. Dude, Gary references it all the time, and I'm like, do you yeah, audience yeah. know where that came from? I don't even know if they do. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Frequently, really, anytime there's more than two females on the show, <laughs> it's suspicious. <laughs> Oh, that was, a uh, yeah, sus. that was no bullshit, talking yeah. about Infinity War. It had a suspicious Man. amount of women. Well, I thought he was His talking words, about Black Marine. Panther, I thought he was talking about. It was the poster for Black Panther, he says it's a suspicious, 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 suspicious? amount of women. Mm. Oh, um, oh, I, might, I forget. It was, he, yeah, oh, yeah, was it like the top ten MCU things or something woke, like that? Woke, I think, yeah, something like that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he complains I, know, about I was thinking Infinity War because of the... Because of the giant midget comment he had to make. So. That's the other one he said, yeah. That was the oh, culture. God, yeah. yeah, well, then he's just jumping out of bandwagon then because this game is disgustingly woke. Disgustingly uh, woke. Uh, what, what, <sighs> Face um, true. Next. So true. Are you kidding me? He's another blue pilled bundle of sticks. You know, oh, what I really no. Love. He's doing that. Stop. Yeah, when I say man, it, it's a joke, when you say it, was, it you're being a mean person. Yeah, it was if anyone, a funny thing to say. No, I hate it. Thank yeah, if you. Anyone, if anyone was curious about, like, our stance, because I don't know if we repeat it enough, you understand, like, we're, we're big into intent and context, right? So we're, we're pretty much, the idea is you're okay to use basically any word in, in a sentence, the, but what's not okay is when you're, like, using it to say, you are bad because you are yeah. that thing. That seems to be the dynamic he's using it for, which is we, we tend to avoid it. We, we we like to do it for fun and and in in ways that don't even make sense for absurdity, right? But he's actually like that is your problem. Like oh, you're one of those. Like when people. it feels like it's harboring an actual sort of like like bigotry. I want to see it's not. I don't like that. Like I said, I think I know the last station of this uh, train ride. I want to see if we get there. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. Safe. Uh, the video, though. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, but let me let me roll that back because you have to see that in its uh, beautiful context. Are you kidding me? He's another blue pilled bundle of sticks. You know what I really want to say. Uh, I'll cut this part out of the video, though. I'll uh, cut this part out of the video. It doesn't matter when you cut it out, though. when the streams are still it's there. It's a public stream, my dude. <laughs> stream That's not how the internet works. 
I don't want people to see me saying these things on my actual edited videos. You gotta cut it out of the stream as well. You can't just cut it out of the video. (laughs) Like, that's not gonna do it. You never know who's watching. I need your help with this. (laughs) I already know, just based off of these criticisms, you already think I hate this game and have no credibility left, or maybe you thought that. I don't care. Move on. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Fuck. It's the, it's the boohoo. Off. Pity me. I'm. Oh man, this. We are soon, I, uh, soon to get the criticism. I'm sure of it. Long time ago, but I promise you that I am absolutely trying to make my review of this game as fair as possible, <gasps> despite the fact uh, that I despise all of the movie. Possible. Was, see, get before it, really before he said that, I was like, I'm sure this guy's not going to be fair. And then he was like, I'm going to be <laughs> trying. I'm going to try and be as fair as I can. Like, oh, okay, good. Uh, now to I'm be convinced. fair. It could be he he. It might be disgustingly woke and trash, and the cutscenes don't matter. They're just disguised loading screens. That but that's maybe that's, that's just true. So it could be totally fair. All right. Did you know every time you're wandering around in like any open world game, that's just a disguised loading screen. That's it true. is. When you're I knew it. Auto, when you like get in a car and drive, it's like man, this disguised loading screen. <laughs> true. When you when you hit like. Play and it says Santa Monica Studios, you're like, this guy's loading. Ah, right. this guy's loading. <laughs> I wonder if he didn't go after the one that everyone usually goes after for that, being like the pass through narrow passageway thing, because he knows that they recently came out and said, no, that's not actually disguised loading, that's for level design reasons. Which is what you'd think, rightfully so. You know, it's yeah. reasonable to think that that's a loading screen. I, I, de- I assumed it was as well, but. Same. Well, the thing is, right. is that level design is uh, it's a it's a complicated thing. But like you, you ideally don't want the player to be able to see like the end of the level from the beginning or like any of the seams or anything like trying to make it seamless is uh, it's tricky. Yeah, helps with the uh, the immersion. You got to look trying to make it feel like a real spots. place. Yeah, like the uh, it's all like, like um, especially back in the day when hardware really wasn't that good and you had all sorts of. Fog here and doors there and this, that, and the other thing. To that is why there is fog in Silent Hill. Credit where it's due to the game, Mm -hmm. or I guess like to give them their due. It's especially difficult when you've got AI companions to account for as well, because they can just they just move around. Yeah, and you need some way to funnel them into the next play area. That's true. That's true. Yeah game Tony's been making for like a decade at this point they definitely have a lot of good aspects to them and this game is no exception so let's just start off with the best part of the game There's that good being things about obviously it. This the combat no now I remember back when God of War 28 the, the best part of the game is the combat which is not again I'm familiar that's with. interesting yeah. that's uh, actually that's a I've new never heard this combat. opinion most people seem to be praising it for its story but all right it's the game. That's fine. That yeah, the maybe it's fine. Yeah. I never played the game. I just watched it. The combat seems fine to me, but who knows? Who knows? Sure. Let's see what he says. Yeah. Let's Team take a look. It was pretty controversial, this change in direction. The biggest change, obviously, being the over the shoulder camera, which is still annoying even in this game, honestly. But you do get used to it eventually, and I would personally recommend you turn up the sensitivity on the camera so you can turn around faster, especially since this yeah. game has very generous auto aim. As for the main combat hmm. mechanic, I mean, he uh, criticizes the game for its generous auto aim later, so I don't know if that means then we should oh. be leaving it on or turning it off. I don't know. Mm. When he's referring to the uh, auto aim, does he mean for like the ranged stuff or think... the move assist kind of thing? Well, oh, I pretty thought sure you can change the aim sensitivity. You, you, you can from the turn. Right? You can uh, well, you can actually do with uh, the 180 degree turn as well. I th- I was told they yeah. removed it from the game, and then I was also told they didn't remove it. They switched it to you have to hit L1 and back instead of back. I uh, think. Oh, to about face. Yes. Yeah. Which obviously is helpful for turning around. Mix themselves. I'd say they're but they were fun in the last game too. It does take a while to get going. For some reason, they pulled a Metroid with this game, and Kratos just mysteriously has lost almost all of his abilities and gear oh, from the last. Oh no! So you weren't listening. We I was. Li- I was. Uh, oh no! But we had, we had criticism because all the God of War games do this. Um. So I guess it's just you know I'm not going to assume anything. It's not like the originals either. I would assume maybe he's critical of it in all of gaming, not just this game. Um, Mm -hmm. there's a couple positions you can. That would be something I'd put in my review though. If I was making it, be like I I would say that I I have this criticism of all games. I just you know it's also in this game. Uh, Obviously, God of War One, you just start with base stuff. God of War Two, you start with some stuff. They've mostly taken away all your spells um, and, Mm -hmm. and other abilities and all your weapons, and then you get. Killed by Zeus, and you lose basically everything. You're back to square one. 
Uh, yeah. God of War three, fall into the river sticks, lose everything. Uh, God of War well, they, four, they, they, you start I'm stuck in three. I, I found yes, like they, they carry over things like the Icarus wings and the Golden Fleece. Like I don't think you lose. Oh, you lose. Yeah, you get those. That's fair. Uh, you also get to have Poseidon's rage at the beginning, but then they take that off you after you. Um, then obviously God of War four, you start with just the axe and Ragnarok. You start. You do start with just the axe, but they give you the Blades of Chaos pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm not sure why I expect a Metroidvania style explanation, but I do want to. Uh, I want to know why he got rid of all the artifacts that we found in the previous one. I mean, is there any reason? So, seems like he's invested in finding out what the. When he says Metroidvania reasons, like when, when good old Samus gets when, hit with Metroid like a, Prime. Yeah, yeah like there's an explosion or something happens. With Aria with, yeah. And of course, uh, I imagine that's what he's referring to. Which was, which is what was missing from this one that was in the other God of War games, right? Like either killed by Zeus or falls in the river or blah blah blah. A reason. Mm -hmm. Give me a reason. Well, the game does provide reasons, as many people in chat it's may true, know. True. Yeah. Let's see what happens when they give him those reasons. That's the true. reason okay. why he lost all his shit is explained in game. The reason Freya never came to their house is because of the stave which stops other people from coming inside. That'll come up later. It's more the first part that we're in. Yeah, it's true. It's like yeah. this guy yeah. didn't pay attention. See, here's kind another of... arrogant comment that completely <laughs> misses the points in the video. <laughs> saying uh, I'm wrong? Uh, the he's, arrogance he's of quite saying a character, I'm wrong. Like, <laughs> arrogant comment. Video. Obviously, there's an explanation for why Kratos lost his equipment. Me saying in the video, for some reason, was me poking fun at me- No, you said mysteriously. Yeah, you uh, said mysteriously. You said he, he mysteriously low. lost his gear, gear, meaning you didn't know why. Not that you knew why and it was a bad reason. Which, by the way, I don't know if we want to go there, because the reasons in basically all of gaming are typically pretty bad. Um, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I, I hate the fucking resets in God of War games, but I accept them because they're a part of the game. Like... Why the hell did I lose all of my magic in God of War 3 at the beginning when it's taking over like a second after God of War 2? It just, you just lost it all. It's like... Oh. Right, compared to in this case where the explanation which we'll get to yes. at some stage. Well, yeah, you know what? I'll let it play. Metroidvania get all your equipment at the beginning. I'm not sure why I expect a Metroidvania style explanation, but I do want to... Uh, I want to know why... He got rid of all the artifacts that we found in the previous one. I mean, is there any reason? Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. As if on cue. Just <laughs> didn't <laughs> write the story. I don't, I don't I think so. Right. That, that, that part was just the hitting loading screen. So yeah. Oh, yeah, I think his true. brain is. Mimir's comment is often, yeah, used to disguise a loading screen. That is true. Uh. I'm upping my strength. Hey. Maybe the enemies will be less spongy what now. What happened to all the armor we made you already? I oh, see. It. well. Maybe I can't believe you guys talked me out of You're hard talking mode when, over it. No. You're yep. talking over the explanation. Oh. What a good uh, look. Yeah. Oh, well. And then That's there's fine. A... Yeah, things slip through the cracks, you know. You would have thought he'd caught it for the video at least, but nope. No, they just missed the context. Mode is. Huh. Is the combat gameplay the same? Yes. It's, it's almost exactly the same. They always find some dumb reason, and God of War Ragnarok is no exception. I don't care whether or not there is a reason. I want to you know don't, why uh, I, he got uh, rid of all oh, the you don't artifacts care. Well, that hold we up, found mate. in the previous hey, one. I mean, is there any reason? You literally used the yeah. word reason, too. Yeah. It was a criticism of the game design to start you at square one it's, again. It's a, so, oh, it's actually... about that? It's a criticism <laughs> of the narrative, sure. actually, in terms of the way that you were framing it. You wanted an explanation not to just... like. How, if it was a criticism of the gameplay, you would be like, so let's talk about the reasons why you would reset us back to, like, you know, basic equipment versus keeping some equipment or keeping all equipment. You wouldn't be highlighting whether there's a story reason for it if it was a yeah. gameplay criticism. 
He's um. But if you want to talk about that topic, I mean, sure. Games just. I just want to say, games generally they have a pretty good reason or set of reasons for resetting your equipment because you know the player mm-hmm. has to learn. They have to get into yeah. the game. Well, yeah. We, we well, let's put it this way. There's a reason why most games work like that. It's something yes. that developers figured out a long time ago, which is that people need to build up their familiarity and understanding of the games exactly. with new abilities. Always get new, new players. Always got new players. Uh, and also you've got old players who haven't played it for a while you know like there's just the reality is that you need to introduce mechanics to people over some amount of time and as they get better you can introduce more and more and more you can't necessarily start off with everything you had straight away because the difficulty curve is going to be really challenging to you know make work and someone just said like if the fimble winter excuse is lame it's like they're always lame every time they do this in games it's lame it's always going to be lame Yeah. yeah Um, but at least they give you something. I but guess. they gave you one. Like it doesn't. Yeah. Even, the God of War three one might be one of the worst. <clears throat> like he falls, he has his Icarus wings, and he just doesn't use them for some reason. He loses like grip on a uh, Gaia. I don't even mm-hmm. understand why in that opening cutscene. And then like he falls in the river sticks, and do you see how small the river is? Like the light. Like yeah. he could have fallen anywhere else, and he just falls right into the river. Then it's like, and that's what. Uh, that's what it does apparently when you fall in there, and it's just like right. So all. Of the- Meanwhile, this game consistently has Fimble Winter wearing down everybody in some way, shape, or form, including the realms, which I think is actually like that's better. Crazily has lost almost all of his abilities and gear from the last game. And just saying mm. that Fimble Winter destroyed their stuff is fucking ah, so you stupid. Figured it out. Let's be yeah, real. But you figured yeah, it by out. By the time he did he his did second learn. video, he found out you, what it was. You figured it out now. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it nice how Fimble Winter wore down all the- Yeah, so the reason I put this here is like, do you see his like response to the idea it was Fimble Winter was like, brah! But then when he found out in his stream, he didn't seem to uh, didn't seem to even register it. Yeah. I don't flourish. think he was listening. He's hearing, not listening, yeah. If someone in chat was to ask him what Mimia just said, I don't think he'd be able to answer. I am of the belief that you don't have to start the player off with zero equipment, because you should make a sequel assuming people played the previous game. And if they didn't, Did they can catch up to the mm-hmm. mechanics so eventually. Like, so when, when they're making Super Mario Odyssey, should they presume that people have played 3D World and Galaxy 2 and Galaxy 1 and Sunshine and 64? Party and uh, there's this concept I'm going to call complexity creep. And that's what this would create. Imagine yeah. if every iterative sequel at the start of that game, you have everything from the prior game. Maybe you had, like you were, you've had like yeah. fifteen weapons by now. Twenty. Yeah. 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 How yeah. the hell and are you going to balance all that? And I just want to know that he's critical of God of War twenty eighteen three two and one for this. Uh, even one, yeah. Why didn't I start out with more mechanics in one than I did? Why didn't you give me more to then, start? Yeah, with? exactly. And you know, yeah. The there's something to be said about in a new game, the idea that, like, for me, and probably for a lot of people, I kind of like the idea of starting with, you know, at at X level or state, and then building up and getting stronger and stronger and and getting that sense of progression. I I, I really enjoy that about new games and new experiences. I don't always want to start out with everything that that character ever had. Uh, That might get boring. I I, I I might be too strong at the beginning. I will stamp it with a Chad opinion if he takes this with every one of the games that do it. I'll be like, fine. I think it's a bad position, but at least you're consistent on it. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he is, though. Like, I get it, you know, but... Mm. Just make the early game encounters easy enough that you can still get by if you don't use runic attacks or reposts. No, that's not the problem. The problem isn't that people aren't going to be able to get by if combats are balanced around those things. It's about overwhelming the player with things to do, such they don't, e- such that they don't even know how to get started in terms of how to play combat. Don't yeah, it's like um, I get this issue when, like, let's say you buy an MMO, be it World of mm. Warcraft, Guild Wars Two, anything like that, and you and you get a, a, a an account boost to max level, right? You get an account. We I, I see this. Uh, people ask me like in. As the Guild Wars 2, for instance, right? You, you buy a game, you get an expansion, and they offer you, you a, a level 80 boost and everything like that so you can get to, you know, max level support in MMOs. And so now, here you are, new player, you've boosted your character to max level, 
what the fuck is happening? I've got so many things. I've got abilities tied to weapons. I got these utilities. I got skills I swap out. What, what are hero points? What, where do I go? What do I do? The, I have access to the, mo the max level, but I'm just, you're overwhelmed by all the mechanics in the game. It's too, it, it's, it could be legitimately just, like I said, overwhelming. And if but the path to get there when you're introduced to these things slowly but surely, so that by the end you have a good understanding of all these things and you see how they synergize, you don't get that necessarily if you just kind of throw all that stuff at the player at once. And if, if to Devil's Advocate, he's just talking about, I wish there were just a couple more moves than what we got at base, then say that. Yeah, and that's, a, that's an entirely different thing, but yeah, you gotta say that if that's what you mean. Or any of the other uh, Deathlock997, thanks for five bucks. Synth, you notice how rune attacks from 2018 are normal attacks here? Kind of cool, I guess. Not really. Kratos. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, uh, the point, the the point of that there. clip to illustrate that he doesn't even know what moves he had. Yeah. But he's. Yeah. And that's going to become very evident the more clips I show you of him playing this game, because holy fuck, dude. Don't the worry. implication from that gameplay element is that he's become far more familiar with these mechanics from the 2018 game. And so now they're essentially incorporated into his regular moves, which mm. is, you know, interesting narratively. Should feel he's getting stronger not that he was forcefully pushed back to where he was at the start of the last game because it's one of the many elements of this game that makes it feel more like a giant expansion than an actual sequel so and i'm does not he actually hold that perspective not like god of war 2 and 3 he has to like, right because that's what god of war 3 yeah. is is a big expansion for god of war 2 what he said is descriptively the same for those games right yeah, like, I, I, like, just, I, I think like I said, yeah, it's interesting. This, this is part of what people were trying to tell me with their issue with God of War 3 that I didn't really get myself when I first played it, because I was just fucking on the hype train. But um, you you end God of War 2 with your, you're decked out with all of your skills, you have time travel is under your control to some extent, and you've got an army of titans, you're attacking the, the gods. Like, great. God of War 3 begins and says, a bunch of the titans died, you fell off the fucking mountain into a river that stole all of your abilities, and now you're back to we're one in hell. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. And like, shit tons oh, of God of War fans are really pissed about that. I wasn't, but um, I assume he was by this. Oh, this sorry. Point by the way, point. some people pointed out in chat aptly that like in an expansion, generally you start with what you, what yeah. you actually oh, yeah. have at the end of the game. And That's then the expand from there, where mm -hmm. a new the game awesome. tends to reset you. Yeah. Every single Destiny expansion, I had every single weapon that I had from the previous expansion in the base game. But the second Destiny 2 came out, one of the things that pissed people off is they're like, yeah, and by the way, your um, all your stuff doesn't... Well, I guess it's... Out here. To some extent, it's intuitive, right? If you're playing an expansion, you played the base game. Whereas yeah. if you're playing the sequel, you may not have played the first game. Yeah, so he's looking at a sequel as if you should be contextualizing it as an expansion the way we would yeah or the way you just explained where you you have to I play guess, the previous game to play the that came out and that's not really the case in terms of i guess jump of the gun maybe a little bit to describe a game that is longer than the first game as an expansion is odd yeah like yeah. first well, game uh, uh, i'd rather skip to the end uh, full game i'd rather skip to the end of that argument and just be like if you call this a the ragnarok a dlc or an expansion i'd just be like wait you don't like dlcs and expansions I uh, yeah, love me a good expansion in exactly. DLC. I love them when they're good. I Give me more good, yeah. for a game I like. like people Blood have decided that the iterative like sequels are just bad, which is very strange. Mm -hmm. Very odd. The iteration isn't bad. It's bad yeah. when there is no actual improvement with iteration, generally. Yeah. And not to say it's impossible, but the ability that you could be truly consistent with this is... I mean, also, okay, good yeah, luck. Wait, wait, so, so the, the natural okay. response is not for $60, really. So how much should a DLC cost? And let's just, for the sake of the argument, say you have a DLC that lasts you five hours, and you're like, I'll pay, I'll pay $10 for that. It's like, right. So times it by six in terms of length, and you'll pay 60 And plus, I, wonder, I mean, what about multiple expansions over time? What if a game wants to have a lot of smaller ones or a lot mm -hmm. of... Like, let's take like a, a game like RimWorld, for instance. If you get the expansions, they will cost more than the base game, but they add an incredible amount of complexity and mechanics mm -hmm. and value to that experience. So, yeah, you're, sure. there are plenty of examples of games that have so much DLC now and expansions that if you bought all of the expansions, they're going to cost you more than the game. 
surely he no, wouldn't I'm... apply this kind of argument to like a game like Ratchet and Clank, where in you know when you play the game by the end of it, you've got about thirty weapons, but every time in this in the next game, you start off with one or two weapons. Like surely he wouldn't look at Ratchet and Clank two and go, "Why don't we start off with like twenty weapons?" I think Why doesn't likes... Ratchet have because the twenty weapons that lot, you started? So, yeah, I doubt. Well, well that's, that's real awkward. Yeah. The thing on that note that I feel isn't even being considered by him is these games, they are our time jumps between when they come out. Like this game, Ragnarok, yeah. is four and a half years after 2018. So even mm -hmm. if someone like played God of War 2018 to a great degree of familiarity, assuming they didn't play it for any length of time, which would be, you know, natural to assume considering Normal. the game came yeah. out so long ago, and it's a narrative based game rather than one designed to be replayed. They're going to get dropped in with everything, and they're still going to not know what to do because they don't have any groundwork to familiarize themselves with. Yeah, you just can't bombard people with that much. If you if you started like Ratchet and Clank three with like fifty weapons, like could you imagine trying to figure out which weapons you should like ha like in in terms of engaging with the mechanics at all? If you started with like fifty weapons, oh, you would be lost. It would, it would feel like it shouldn't um, matter which one you use because three like, years you're, you're overwhelmed yeah. by options. Three years in narrative jump. Uh, I think Theo was referring to development time between four and a half yes. years release dates yeah. of the game. Yeah, those two different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four and a half years. I mean, easy comparison. Point. I was just gonna say, easy comparison point is the Devil May Cry games, uh, four and five especially. Dante's kit, when you first get to control him in four and five, is extensive, and it's really pushing it in terms yeah. of what a player can feasibly handle in terms of a first experience with a character. It's really easy to see people getting lost with them just because there's so Fine. much stuff that you're immediately bombarded with. To some extent, that's the reason why you play as Nero before you play as Dante. Yes, yeah, Nero's to a introduce you about with this. a much simpler mm. character, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why the games are built about around replayability. Yeah. Where he was at the start of the last game because it's one of the many elements of this game that makes it feel more like a giant expansion than an actual sequel. And I'm not gonna get into a debate about what makes a good sequel versus just an iterative- Because you'd lose, all obviously. Right. Like, you'd yeah, right. right. really bad. We've got loads you of examples of games you like that do the exact same things. You can't win this yeah, one. Right, you brought it up. You brought up the point. <laughs> you did, that yeah, you bring yeah. exactly, you brought it up. Iterative, lazy Ubisoft-esque seventy dollar expansion. You can't, you can't, you can't compare <laughs> like God of War Ragnarok to like it's a the, Ubisoft open world game. It's the buzzword strat, right? It'll get people who are familiar mm. with that to be like, yeah, it is that. True. Ooh, I hate those things too. Yeah. Very well, yeah. true. But let's just say Ragnarok. I want to make everyone aware, by the way, these are the best arguments he makes. It gets so <laughs> what loaded you with all that content. Is as good as it yeah. gets? Yes. Did not meet oh, my expectations. We haven't, we haven't done any story <laughs> criticisms yet, right? We're on gameplay when, when, where there's... Yeah, when we get to story know. criticisms, you guys are all going to die. We're on cool. gameplay criticisms, you're free to, sort of. You have sort of, your own yeah. opinion on that. I really you. don't care. Yes, you do. I don't, do. Care you don't, don't bring it up! Oh, yeah, he you definitely do. cares. Um... But let's just <laughs> but say Ragnarok did not meet my expectations of a sequel. And you're free Subverted. to have your own opinion on that. I really don't care. As long as and so the game kind of feels enough. afraid to give you all of the combat mechanics until about 10 hours in, which makes those early combat encounters a bit more boring. It doesn't help that I was playing it on hard mode, which I'll save that for the end since I'm being positive at the moment. But I'd say the combat so ultimately you? feels... We kind of addressed all that, sis. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mostly satisfying. Juggling enemies in the air is fun, just like it was in the original games. Runic attacks feel pretty powerful, and the fact that they just use a cooldown instead of some kind of magic meter is honestly more fun to me personally, because then- I'm pissed. <laughs> Why are you pissed, Theo? Uh, there What's is a good thoughts? reason that most action games do not use cooldown-based special abilities and whatnot, because it's exploitable. Very exploitable. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's exploitable because you can use the things and then you just have to run around for a while until you get them again? Yeah. Yes. Mm. It, de it depends on the kind of game. There's some games where you just can't do that. It goes. Well, I, yeah, I mean, it, it, it I mean just, 100%. just to be clear, I, I mean specifically like action games like this. Well, could one not argue that it's a reward for evading the enemy long enough you get to have the moves back? Uh, then it could easily be tied into dodging. No? I would Rather say... It depends on if I dodging is like limited. You... Well, I guess it would be something like, you think about which time in Bayonetta where it's like, you dodge perfectly, here you go, like, here's an opportunity to, yeah. like, lay out extra yeah. damage, where you, you give players a buff based on doing well. So maybe, like, you can build up, it, 
like if you had a combo system or like a score system like in Devil May Cry, that the better that you play in terms of combos, the more quickly you'd be able to... Problem is that can be tricky in terms of balancing. Like, you know, you don't want it to be that if a player is not able to uh, do that, that it's like they are severely limited in terms of their ability to use these really powerful attacks. Um, the incentivizing... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go, go for it. I was going to say, incentivizing the player to vary their playstyle is a very difficult thing to do in games, and it's it's usually very noticeable when a game does it well. I was actually telling Metal yesterday about a game I've been playing called Roller Drum that's basically Tony Hawk with guns, and it makes it so that you have to kill all the enemies in the area to progress the level, but the way you are incentivized to do tricks is that's how you get ammo back. So you need to kill people, therefore you need ammunition. And the only way for you to recover ammunition in your, from your very, very small reserves, too, is to do tricks. And so it's like, okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm encouraged by the gameplay to actually engage in the other gameplay systems as opposed to just, well, I can also do tricks if I want, I guess. That's why I, I think this game, Ragnarok, has... A very apt system in place that it added that could be used to tie into the runics in a way that's i guess both more satisfying and better balance wise than runics and that's the permafrost thingy you can do with the axe where if you land enough consecutive hits you get like mm -hmm. the buff thingy which by the way is a seriously like that was, that uh, was so under yeah. appreciated by me on my first playthrough and <laughs> yeah, subsequently really good. Like, yeah, it changes a lot when you Flat understand. I think it's it's really mind. good. I think you could really tie the runics into that, and I think I would consider that an improvement in terms of giving you access to powerful moves by virtue of you playing well consistently, rather than... Yeah. And also tying them into something that is a resource that you spend and then re-accrue, rather than... Because I don't want to... I guess hang on this too long, but I remember towards the end of your playthrough, Mauler, I started watching you just mag dump all of your runics on enemies quite a lot. Yeah, especially like, when you get the bonus of uh, the realm thing, where it like yeah. makes a mm -hmm. thing around. Yeah, like uh, Ganar got annihilated by my runic build, essentially. Um, I'd yeah. be curious to know, because the first game I would downright call a little bit badly designed in terms of how much runic is favored. Like, Especially with that laser, yeah, the laser they just have that wipes thing the just melts people. It's crazy. Felt it more balanced seems, yeah. in uh, in Ragnarok, and I'm curious what yeah. other builds resulting. Because I've seen videos of people being like, "This is the best build," and it'll be based on charging up your weapons as hardcore as possible. It's not really related to the runics as much. Um, I saw someone like rip Ganar apart with uh, like, charging up all the weapons and stuff. Kind of cool. But yeah, I hope. I, I the impression I got was it was better balanced than in twenty. I it does seem sure. that way. And you can use them pretty much and don't have to rely on magic chests. Kratos also just has a pretty wide range of actions that you can do. On top of having light and heavy attacks and the runic attacks, you can throw the leviathan axe, you can use the blades to grab people and pull them to you or pull yourself to them. You can buff the blades and axe with their corresponding element. There's also a meter you can build up by hitting enemies without getting hit yourself that once is full allows you to buff one of your weapons. And These are just true, so. Yeah, he's just yeah. stating I mean, what's in the game. Just just so this is all fine, yeah, you know. To make yeah, all their all attacks like twice as powerful, which really feels satisfying and rewarding. Obviously, there's also blocking, dodging, parrying. Now, I will say the parry feels pretty weak until your starting shield gets repaired and then you actually get invincibility frames on the reposts. So what he's referring to, and he didn't grasp this for a long time in his playthrough, and neither did I, by the way. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's because the descriptions weren't clear enough or if I missed them. But the Dauntless Shield and the Guardian Shield feel almost... Like, I made the mistake of assuming they're kind of exactly the same, or at least I, I, I wasn't sure what the difference was. Guardian Shield allows you to, once you get the parry, to always land the counter. Like, it'll stagger the enemy if you parry. The Dauntless mm -hmm. doesn't stagger them instead provides you a boost on the stun meter. Right. So that's that's an exchange that you can make. And of course, what he's referring to here is that uh, you have to use one of the other shields until the Guardian Shield is repaired. He did not know that for the most of his playthrough and was ripping into the game for it hardcore. I assume somebody told him. But before that point, disappointed in the parry, against many bosses and bosses, you would actually have to parry them multiple many bosses times and bosses. in the same... But do, you, do you see what's... <laughs> Mini bosses, I think he said. This is a whole thing frame. of... I'm not sure if this critique is valid, because uh, it's something I was even complaining about, but if you watch my stream, I keep 
be formatting it as like uh, it doesn't feel right but it's mechanically speaking it's just it's pretty consistent it's just not the same as the first game and if i can mm -hmm. explain it as best i can it's that an enemy could do uh, a block breaker a block breaker a block breaker a, a unblockable that could be their combo or it could be block breaker and then unblockable or it could be block breaker and that's it he's used to whenever a block breaker comes up if you parry it properly they stop their combo which is what the 2018 one does this one basically says if you have the dauntless shield they don't stop whatever combo they're engaged in the thing is that offers you a chance to really punish them on the stun meter if they go block breaker block breaker block breaker and you go parry 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 that's going to push the stun meter up 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 um and that that is the game basically saying like if you want to engage this format you can if you want to engage with that they get staggered and you get to hit back then uh you can i think that's an improvement in retrospect i was complaining yeah. about it because i was so used to 2018 when I should have been like thinking about how it's different and uh, what he, that's what he's referring to when he's fighting the um, the fire skeleton dude. But before that point, I was very disappointed in the parry against many bosses and bosses. You would actually have to parry them multiple times in the same combo just to stop the onslaught, which was honestly infuriating. So, but it's designed that's... to be that. Like I'm not saying it's designed to be infuriating. I'm saying it's designed to give you opportunities to stagger. Uh, to to stack the stun meter, he doesn't seem to understand Even that. Many parries in games work this way. This isn't uncommon in terms of functionality. In that the well, where you just... have to keep powering, you don't just immediately yeah. break yeah, their yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's pretty normal. <clears throat> but someone said like a skill issue. It's like understanding issue. He doesn't seem to know. That just that's just which, like I said, I didn't know for a decent part of my playthrough as well. Oh, you all have a partner character. In the first game, Atreus would shoot arrows on command. I think he also had a runic summon, but I don't quite remember. Uh, so in this game, it's not too much different. Runic. Yes, he did. he did. Why would you not if, go and check that? I was oh, gonna gonna oh Thea, that. why would you even... <laughs> why wouldn't he go check? Uh -oh. Oh. Don't talk about oh. that. Uh, this is oh no, am I not uh, aware? Oh god, this is the best part, okay? The best video part, the best argument. Except now, your partner is really good at putting <laughs> one of two debuffs on the enemy that amplifies your other attacks and debuffs. And it kind of goes without saying, but from here on, I'm going to be getting into spoiler territory for various aspects of the game. I'm probably oh, going so to are talk about- we done about... with the gameplay section? No, Wait. no. I think this is fair. He's about to talk about the spear, which is arguably a spoiler. Oh, okay. Right. Mm. Actually, I think that is just a spoiler. That's... About them yeah, for the sure. rest I, of the videos. It is a spoiler. It yeah. is. So this is your last chance to leave. So eventually you get a third weapon, a spear that can generate infinite copies of itself, and you can detonate Cappies. those spears Cappies. on trying. Cappies. <laughs> what is that? Cappies. Wait, so is that, hey look, he goes on to say exactly what you said. He said it doesn't feel in the, no, he didn't mention the stun bar, bar bonus about the Dauntless Shield. He didn't. He doesn't know. That's, that's what I was trying to point out. And secondly, it doesn't feel right is a terrible argument. I knew it was a terrible argument when I was using it. Yeah, it's got to be like a like in a casual conversation with friends as you're describing it. You could say it doesn't feel yeah, right because you haven't really been it able to. It doesn't feel right. Is the start talking about it? Yeah. yeah it why does it, exactly? Why does it not feel right? How come this doesn't quite gel in my mind? Yeah, it's a it's a valid comment, but it's useless as a breakdown of a critique of a game. Like, what... yeah, in an edited review, then yeah. yeah, there's a time and place for it feels weird, but. When it's talking about mechanics, you gotta do better than that, be basically. You gotta do better. You gotta. You gotta do yeah. better, synthetic man. Goal. Really enjoyed this weapon. Now, when you first get it, it doesn't have any abilities, so it kind of feels like. Sh I don't like that. It, it's a little bit of pet peeve of mine when people say "actually" when they're not contradicting actually any sort of redundant. supposed information. Like, I went to a restaurant, and I actually liked it. It's like, so the implication is you yeah. don't like restaurants? You were <laughs> actually, you know? is, uh, We've been here for a while. Well. It's legitimately, genuinely, you know, they, they use actually, that word. Actually, yeah, way yeah, of trying yeah. to accentuate. It's a, it's a filler word. word. It's it's an, yeah, it's just an adjective. Positive. Very interesting. But hey. It's of itself, and you can detonate those spears on triangle. I actually really enjoyed this weapon. Now, when you first get it, it doesn't have any abilities, so it kind of feels like shit. As the what? one you just described, the detonation one, which is super useful, but hey. Why, why are you playing music from Hades? He, he just cycles I through a bunch of Hades. games he likes. So. Talk, essentially. Okay. Which completely ruined the moment, but after you pump some XP into it, it's it actually didn't ruin probably them. my no. favorite. 
no, it's, it's ruins exactly the what moment. The like, earlier. you can introduce mechanics to people slowly, introduce the core features of the drop near spear before you start adding on new yeah. abilities and running yeah. attacks. Lame, do you gotta be to get a new weapon and then see you can't immediately <clears throat> fully upgrade it and be like, oh, I'm bored then. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I think his response to that would be, oh, so it's one or the other, Theo. I can't just have it so that I have a couple more moves or something. But it's just like the reality is like, you have plenty that they've introduced to you. What was wrong? Yeah. Like, you couldn't use the next set of skill upgrades? Like, yeah, you can, funnily enough, you can buy a lot of them from the, the set. I think you get like a whole set of next level if you have the XP for it. But I mean, most people I've seen in that moment are just so fucking like jazzed by the fact they have a third weapon, which they know is going to get runic attacks, is going to combo up, is going to have like special features and stuff, and they're just getting used to the basics. Light mm -hmm. attack, heavy attack, jumping attacks, and detonating the spears. And it, it's amazing how creative you can get with that spear as yeah. you as you start oh, yeah. getting good with each ability. So if you if you had all of them from the get-go, you wouldn't you wouldn't really understand how special some of the ones that don't seem very good at first are. Favorite weapon in the game. Out of War goes to Sparta, playing as a Spartan with a spear and shield just feels right. And the spears that you can detonate in enemies actually juggle them further into the air, and all of the spears' attacks do stun damage, a significant amount of stun damage compared to the blades and the axe. Brother, I think um, the first time I watched this, I said, I don't know what stun damage means. You're gonna tell me what, what's the difference between damage and stun damage. And yeah, for so those that, who don't know, that would be something for review. The bar at the bottom of their health, that's the stun meter filling mm -hmm. up. Stun damage just fills it up. And what's interesting is he says like it does stun damage uh, uh, more than the others. It's like, well, the blades do fire and the axe does ice. So, mm -hmm. the idea. The for this thing is probably the highest in the game, or at least it kind of feels that way. And the runic attacks I got were pretty powerful as well. So yeah, actually great concept. One of the few alt weapons in this series that actually feels satisfying. The last positive I'll mention are the boss fights, which given this game is 25 hours long not doing any side content, there's actually a lot of bosses, especially compared to the previous one. I'd say all of the main bosses were at least somewhat fun, with the first Thor fight at the beginning and the Heimdall fight about three quarters of the way through the game probably being my favorite. The Heimdall fight is the only one in the game that required me to think outside the box and actually play differently, so I'll definitely compliment the devs for that. And all in all, it's a solid selection outside of one specific extremely cringy moment in the game, just remember this boss fight on okay. screen here for later when people keep talking I'm about how mature asleep. God of War is <laughs> now. Right? Uh, so we'll, we'll have to wait for that pop, all right? We'll yeah, I guess we will have to wait. Okay. I, can I like the boss fights. I, Thanks. Uh, yeah, well, so yeah. that's the thing. It's like, I don't disagree, I guess. I, yeah. I, there's not much I can yeah. do with that one. Yeah, the mini bosses, enough. on the other hand, are a mixed bag. Some of them are pretty great. Some of them, like the Hateful, are just fucking annoying to fight, have random unblockable moves that make no sense. The fucking God of War can't block a random fire skeleton's axe swing. My immersion uh, is destroyed. The aren't random, though. Like, they're, also, they're, actually, they're pretty powerful bosses, actually. In all of this God of War's games, he's killed by, like, the smallest and easiest of creatures. It happens all the time. I don't know why... Yeah, every oh, single... yeah, that's what you need to do for the gameplay to be engaging and fun. Every fucking game with blo unblockables and stuff like this has that exact sort of feeling going on. Like, uh, Metal Gear Rising, I guess. Fucking Raiden, the greatest cyborg ninja to ever cyborg ninja. I can't parry this one <laughs> Luke's attack because he's glowing red. Wow, okay. Obvious joke, So. Oh, how wrong you are. Is that an obvious joke? Because <laughs> no. that's, not, that's not an obvious joke I'm not even going from just this, believe me, this is not a joke. He's going to say it many times. Played. Logic to any other game, it just sounds stupid. How can the legendary crime fighter Batman die to a random thug's punch? How can the superhumanly powerful Doomslayer die to a random projectile from a demon? This sucks. Immersion ruined. Die to a random thug's punch. How can this superhumanly powerful Doomslayer die to a random projectile from a demon? This sucks. That is true, punch. though. Like, this dude has that is true. literally no. What do you mean that is no, man? The daughter, it's a, the, I, I, like I said, at least he's yeah, committing. Angry. You shouldn't be like... able to die as the Doomslayer or Batman or God of War oh. to, like, smaller enemies. He's misunderstood his own criticism. Oh, I thought he was conceding.
I don't no, know. I, I, he was I, like, I, oh, this is true. Like this guy's got me here. No. Like, oh no, I thought he was saying that. Um, he he agrees. You shouldn't be. Able yeah, to that's get a killed. fair point. Yeah. Doom guy yeah. shouldn't be able to get killed by that random yeah. fireball, would, which would make the game so much more fun. I would quibble mm -hmm. with the response and say the criticism isn't necessarily that you know you are capable of dying because dying is, is a result of player actions being done incorrectly. It's a result of the player fucking up. Whereas something like what was being talked about is specifically in universe, this attack has been marked as something that you cannot block. Which is distinct in that it's there's no player input or player failure in regards to that. Are you like almost suggesting that if you were to lose to like a fire skeleton or a fire ball from a lame enemy or a thug randomly as Batman, it's it's really not the character that lost canonically, it's just you playing that character really badly. Yes. Oh my oh, god. Dare you. Bum bum bum. I don't even want to think about how many games would be ruined by adopting this kind of attitude. Like I can't lose, I'm the god of war. Like, okay, yeah. okay. I'm the hero, I can't fail. It's just it's a really fucking weird point POV thing that it's like you consider it immersion breaking, I just be like, oh well rip. Has literally no understanding of how video games work. The fucking arrogance of this guy to say I the don't understand arrogance. video games. Fucking I would bet irony. any amount of money I play twice as many as you have, and likely far more than that across my life. Played more <laughs> wow. I've played more video games, therefore I'm- it's- it's not often that you hear someone pull an argument from authority on themselves. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even- know. Why did you just address the argument? Like, why did you go ham and be like, I've played more games than you! Played loads of video By games, the way, dude. I want it for the record, DSP's probably played more games than all of the people on this panel. Well, he's Probably. an expert. That's what we always say. <laughs> so I don't really care how many games someone's played. That's the really not. I've said before, uh, there are people out there who, if they make the arguments of a particular caliber and like interest, if they've only seen one movie in their entire lives and they offer their perspective on it, I'd be like, sure, I'd be interested. Hopefully, it's like insightful and not terrible. I wouldn't just write them off because they've never seen a movie before. Never know. I, mean, I would legitimately stupid. want to talk to someone because they've only seen one movie in their life. That sounds like a very say, yeah. interesting perspective. Yeah, I want you to go to just some some tribe in Papua New Guinea and show them just a movie <laughs> and get their perspective on what they think of the magic moving pictures. Yeah, we're super interesting. How many yams does it cost? <laughs> All of them. The fucking god can't block a random fire skeleton's axe. Oh, you swing. can't. You My can't. immersion is destroyed. Oh, well, it's... Is it? Really? He says it in a semi-sarcastic tone, but it sounds like you actually do have your immersion destroyed with that. In which case, sorry, my dude, I'm sorry that you apparently haven't played video games so, before, despite the claims, but... To the slightest measure, I I kind of get it, man. Like, No, I, I get it. Just flipping the temple and it's like, why can't I parry that? It's a skeleton. But, like, I don't know, man. This being something well, that but definitively on. destroys, like it compounds as well. It's not Sorry, just a on. skeleton; it's like a magical fantasy monster that Mimir exactly. says is like cursed and ro risen from the depths through pure anger and pain. Like the idea there's like oh, it's a that skeleton. Like a pretty, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a pretty hardy enemy. It's magical. The, sure. This the power level of skeletons in this world that are reanimated might be quite you know ferocious. I don't know why we just assume it should be the the size and strength. Into, well, the, the power and strength of a why. skeleton, I guess. <laughs> like, oh, because it's a meta thing. One of the, in video games, one of the weakest enemies you fight is just skeletons, <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah. So he's this taking one, that knowledge in there with him. Yeah, this one ain't the same as, uh, like, your average skeleton in some other games. This one, like, this, they, they, there's a whole sequence for these ones that uh, make them very special. I think um, when Mamiya says it's too angry to die, Kratos says, yeah, we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll see a development of this perspective he's got here. <laughs> awesome. Or couldn't just have Kratos kill everyone one hit. Well, why not have it like the original <laughs> games? <laughs> 48 hits. Wow. <laughs> we couldn't just have Kratos kill everyone one hit. Remember the beginning of God of War 2 where you kill like a hundred uh, Athenian, well, they weren't Athenian, they were... Before that you fight the Colossus of Rhodes, uh, you uh, kill a hundred soldiers 
I guess they were maybe Athenian type. I, whatever, I don't give a shit. Greek? Just say you don't remember. Why do you have to say that? Like, oh, 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 no. Immersion destroy. Immersion destroy. Fuck regular this guy. Game. Yep. Well, he must hate the original God of Wars. Oh, sure. Yeah, probably. I, I would assume. Uh, I would presume, yeah. I feel like in the video, I gotta bring up God of War 2. Kratos just killing all these Greek soldiers with no effort, you know, as a god at the beginning of the game. And just compare that shit to this. Yeah, but what? Whatever. <laughs> I mean, you put the clip in, so I don't need to say anything. Kratos, the God of War, is gonna get mauled by a bear and die. Like, bears are pretty fucking intense. It's especially a bear. <laughs> yeah. Why are you doing know. this, dude? But yeah, just, you know it. what? I'll say uh -oh. just just watch the sequence and then we'll talk about it. All right. <laughs> God, that bear's pretty terrifying, frogs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In, in the previous oh, no. game, he fought, you know, essentially the final boss in the beginning of the game, and he's struggling to kill a bear. It's a so yeah, Rakaia Scott, thanks for ten bucks. Imagine killing Zeus and then you get mauled by a bear. Yes, Kratos has fallen on hard times. You know, you know, Patton died in a car a chance. accident after the war, right? Like th this is just how it goes, my dude. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I don't, I'm so baffled by this. Like, I, I have no. I, it just feels like you just want to hate the game. Like, what are you I, doing with this? This guy crazy? would hate. This guy would hate reading All Quiet on the Western Front. He'd be very upset. So yeah, Rakaia Scott, yeah, thanks for ten bucks. Dies. Imagine crazy big human. The god of war gets killed by a big human. Hey, humans well, are yeah, cool. Well, yeah, Kratos okay. is supposed to be super mega powerful. I know that's easy to forget given how badly this game butchers him. Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 just look remember, at him go. I'm oh, no. holding open like Kronos's fingers, oh, trying to crush him. Like he's absurdly strong, but you know now he's old and frail and weak. I don't know if I call him. Uh, Good, good. Kratos is getting killed by a flame skeleton. Let's oh, just flame you. skeleton? That's you even more deadly than a normal skeleton. skeleton. Also, the fact that a blue shield can stop the god of war. Oh. I'm quite fond of that one. A blue shield can stop the god of war. It's like, what do you mean? Oh, well, if it was what? a yellow <laughs> shield or a green yeah. shield, you know. God. Blue shields are in the other games as well, by the way. Well, yeah, the, there's all kinds of energy shields that stop yeah. Kratos from going to places. To get the... In fact, that's how they usually do combat arenas in the original trilogy, right? The whole premise of the drama is predicated on the fact that this is a difficult thing for Kratos to be doing. I don't like, even... it's, it's, not, it's not supposed to be a thing that he can just like, okay, I guess I'll take down the Norse gods. <laughs> Blue shield equals liberal shield. <laughs> <laughs> I want a base red GOP shield. Hell yeah. Yeah. I gotta say, the dialogue is horrible. Fucking horrible. Oh, oh no. The story itself is okay. I don't really like that the driving force is just, oh, let's go find Tyr, the god of war of this realm. And his name's Tyr like he's not crying. That much of a plot what a hook, pussy. You know? Mm -hmm. I mean, just compare it to the old games again. Like, God of War 1, Kratos is... Is what? Well, he's been serving Ares for like a decade, and Athena helps him kill Ares, right? So, there isn't exactly much of like an inciting incident. Not, not like, a great fun... elevator pitch, so, by the way. Yeah, like, yeah, you gotta yeah, be yeah. A little more, uh... <laughs> What he's trying to say is like, the inciting incident of this game sucks, we're just gonna go find here. Compare it to the originals, where you have Kratos, who Athena says, go kill Ares, and then he remembers like, oh shit, that's not the inciting incident, it's actually the, the Hydra fight. Uh, and he's like, um... So we have that, and uh, uh, just watch how he stumbles through trying to make this sound more relevant to the plot of God of War 1 than he actually can. He can't. I mean, it's one of the greatest tutorial missions ever. Oh. It's also, like, ultimately means nothing for the plot. But um, whatever. you are not doing <laughs> a great <laughs> so, <laughs> Not so selling the, me that much. Finding Tyr, right, which is brought on by Atreus trying to find more about who he is and what's going to be coming with Ragnarok to hopefully get in some way ahead of what's going to happen at the same time as Ragnarok being on its way and Kratos desperately trying to avoid it and prepare for it. We go for Tears, Like, that makes some sense. We're doing it now 
because the place we're in is unsafe and because Atreus has been discovered as actually looking for him anyway. Lots of narrative thrust. What's going to happen when we mm -hmm. find here? Meanwhile, like, this is the thing. I never even wanted to, to criticize the originals, but it's like, well, yeah, the Hydra fight has fuck all to do with anything that happens in God of War 1. The whole prologue is just irrelevant. It's like, is that necessarily bad? It's like, no, but... It feels like you accidentally tried to criticize the new game and realized you've criticized the old one. Like, it's just oh, awkward it as fuck. Is Finding Tear the inciting incident of this game, though? I don't know that I'd call it that. No, you really know, the inciting incident is the Arden and Thor. Oh, no, like, yeah, that's no. really the thing that yeah, kicks it's, off it's the a story. protection save being destroyed so that Odin and Thor can get in. That's that's the inciting incident. That's the inciting incident because that's the thing that thrusts them into the adventure like they have to at that point. The door is closed on not participating. Whatever, it's a video game. Right? War 2, Zeus betrays him when he ascends to godhood and he loses his godhood and he has to get revenge on the gods. Okay, that's, that's actually pretty simple. Works perfectly. And then God of War 3 is a continuation. He finally, after killing the fates at the end of the second game, he goes to kill the, pan the Greek pantheon. There you go. I mean, I'm not going to get into how much nonsense uh, is involved in God of War uh, 2 and 3 to make any of that make any yeah, sense. Yeah, I've, um, I've one of the main like rules, time travel shenanigans and all kinds of things. One of the main things they establish in the first God of War, the re like the first question anyone would have is why the fuck is Athena trying to use Kratos to kill Ares? Why don't she just do it herself or do you know something else? And she tells you, she says gods can't yeah. kill each other. And you're like, oh, okay. God of War 2 and 3, all the gods kill each other. You're like, what? <laughs> I guess something changed. Pandora's box ruined that uh, element. And then, of course, a lot of people don't like God of War 3 because it retconned a lot of what Pandora's box was uh, mm -hmm. to have the ending they wanted. But yeah, I would never, in an attempt to criticize 2018 and Ragnarok, point to the writing stability of God of War 1, 2, and 3. It would, it's oh, a absolutely not. I, I like the story a lot, and even I would never point to the writing stability. Yeah, if you watch my streams, I enjoy it a lot. It's very, like, pulp comic booky. It's uh, it's I'm not a historical take on mythology. Starting so. to worry that this is the kind of guy who's gonna go like Chad Kratos from before. Man, he was so cool going around killing everyone. Uh, just shouting and screaming. I, I, why would you? What? What? Also, of course, what you, you may have no this, you. this is the <laughs> section of him being critical by comparing to the other games and how much it falls flat every time you look into like anything he's saying. It's, we got nostalgia goggles like hardcore. People mm. miss that the first three games are a Greek tragedy. Like, not a very good one, but they're a Greek this tragedy. video is a Greek tragedy. I've seen plenty of people say that's why they like them. I've seen people say that's why they like the originals and not the new one, is because the new one isn't a tragedy. It's It ends too positively. Mm. He doesn't say that, and but I've seen plenty of people say it. They, like, this one ending pretty positively did, like, it subverted my expectations. I was like, oh, wow, how about that? <laughs> Easy, just simple. In this, uh, that's not really anything. The plot hook. In this, that's not only... really anything. All right. Yeah. Real plot hey, hook thanks. here is just that Thor and Odin decide to finally show up. I mean, that doesn't really. There's not. You know, it just kind of happens, I guess. The stave is damaged, and they've noticed Atreus looking for Tia. That, that's why that happens. Mm -hmm. They. they kind of say it but it's all right oh yeah my other complaint is the blades of chaos got nerfed they're too fucking weak they probably do the same damage as the fists i don't know if this is supposed to be an aoe weapon but they don't have uh, nearly they the are an aoe weapon he said i don't know if they're supposed to be an aoe weapon they are. Well, like, i know that they it's are exactly i haven't even played the game obviously uh, they are see. they go in a radius what are you talking about like they, they also do a pretty, pretty decent silly. amount of damage i i use the the especially when it's when you have the uh immolation immolation on then you do like the charge up with the ground pound that shit deals a fuck ton of damage but yeah, well, I, I've hard. seen a lot of people take preference for the blades over the axe for damage, so it's weird that he's saying, whatever. Yeah, um, maybe he built on your build, I guess, his... as well. Yeah, I suppose. Has well, he talked about, like, builds and things? Because in games that I enjoy, I really enjoy making different builds and having different play styles, so if this game mm -hmm. al allows you to do that, that's something that I would We're really We're going to get really on. interesting commentary on his perspective with, like, how you can take different routes, unlock different skills in this game compared to... Because this is the thing. His thoughts 
in the video and his thoughts compared mm -hmm. to his stream. There's so much stuff he doesn't want you to see, which is so fucking funny. Oh, um, what? But anyway, what? the purpose of this one, by the way, was listen to the comparison he has to the original games. It's got nerfed. They're too fucking weak. They probably do the same damage as the fists. I don't know if this is supposed to be an AOE weapon, but they don't have nearly the range that they did in the original games, so it doesn't really make sense. They don't have the range they did in the original games. Like, of course? The, 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 the fucking arenas aren't anywhere near as big as in the original games. This is a completely it different. This would be incongruent with the perspective, like, that is Imagine used for this game. you throw the, the, the blade, it goes, like, fucking five meters forward. It's like, that's just... Not how we're doing it in this game at all. The enemies, it doesn't yeah. even make sense. Like, we're, we're talking about enemies that are much closer to you, and there's fewer of them. I don't know why we would then maintain the exact same dynamic of the old game. Like, when you change, you've already acknowledged they've changed the perspective, the combat has changed, we've changed all the way that things work. Why would the length of the Blades of Chaos remain? Like, it's all going to have to alter the balance. Because, Mahler, they have the same amount of links in the chain, so they should be the same length of distance. Come on. Or something. Bye for us to take. Heals over time, but follow-up hits can detonate it for extra damage. Oh boy, more humans that can kill Kratos. Neato. <laughs> <laughs> How is it possible? I don't know. I don't even have a problem with that mechanic. Like, that's a neat mechanic, but why did you give it to... Joe Normie with Mace. They you know, Normie. No, 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 yeah, they came yeah. back from Valhalla or whatever. He doesn't know what Einherjar oh. are. Einherjar are. Einherjar. Now it sounds like a. Now it sounds like a pirate. Yeah, it does. I with Mace Ein can her kill the God of War. <laughs> <laughs> Extreme linearity uh -oh. sometimes. It's only Joe when Spartan it's too here. obvious, you know. Like again. God of, the old God of Wars were very, very linear, but they they had like open zones. There's, there's um, too much, too much hallways. Mm, it's all hallways. I, yeah. Dude, but I like mean, this game has open zones. Linear. This game's open zones are much does. more open than the original yeah. games were. As someone who yeah. streamed them all in a row, I'm very yeah. confused because it sounds like he's talking about Ragnarok, not God the originals. Of, God of War three, 3 is borderline a straight path from beginning yeah. to end. You're just kind yeah, of in the much. 80s, you climb up Mount Olympus till you get to the top and the game ends. So, yeah, really strange perspective to have drawn. Imagine choice. Kratos having to every single battle instead of well, regaining health perhaps. as he kills people. Well, you no, had to open up health like chests in the original <laughs> games. So, what I found interesting about that is like, Hey, point for integrity for once. He actually, like, someone in his chat is like, imagine getting health, like, after every fight from the floor instead of getting it from killing people. But the person commenting, of course, mm -hmm. forgot in the originals, you do open health chests at the end of, like, every fight in the originals. How yeah. they did it. And they full heal you, too. At least, yep. I, I don't know about, about the difficulty he was playing on, but at least on Give Me God of War, the, the health gems give you almost no health back. Like, you, you get, like, maybe 10%. Yeah, 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 even on no, no Mercy, uh, they didn't do, like, a lot. So, yeah, it's not... The occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. Where is there any threat? Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Remember in God of War 1 when you could kill civilians to get health back? I mean, weren't they like. I do. Wow, that was so weren't they like the people that you were meant to be helping cool them, right? Yeah, yeah, so it's really weird that that was almost referenced as like it was better when we could do that. It's one of the most baffling decisions I've ever come across in a game that you are hired to save Athens and then you could just run through and kill everyone there and Athena doesn't <laughs> seem to give a shit. It's like, what? Yeah, no one cares. Uh, to the point where you can charge your Spartan Rage, and she will tell you that. <laughs> like, she'll be like, <laughs> you've charged your Spartan Rage from the fucking killing my own people. Go nuts. Kill I them. Think, Kill I them. Think, I, I really think that that kind of stuff was like a David Jaffe sort of edgyism. Like, he, he's the guy behind Twisted Metal, and um, like God of War was kind of his... Uh, I guess like the last big series that he was responsible for. But yes. he's, he's always like an edgy humor kind of dude. Mm-hmm. Not done by Thor. But there's more. I do not care. This is not the answer. It worked out pretty well in the original games. 
Uh, no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, that's not oh no, that's not good. <laughs> This is the natural state of the world. Do you ever hear about these fatal flaws? I just... Yeah. Oh, so priceless, Tragedy, man. he's undone. <laughs> Zeus and attempt to kill yourself and fail. That that pretty much... That got the job done. Look around uh, you, Athena. Definitely. The world stands in ruin. Like, there's nothing about this game that is better than <laughs> the, the original world God of War. Only it's bad with the God of War is saying, oh no, the world's in ruin. Oh no. Not this exactly uh, got the job done, I wouldn't say that. Um, and yeah, everyone's there dead, is, there's no one to war with. There is nothing in uh, the newer games that's better than the old. It's like, the, I mean, I just feel like really? most people concede the story is better. Like, come on, dude, it's the easiest, easiest thing to concede. I don't know, it's not it's not based enough like it used to be, where you Rude. could go around killing civilians for health. You did that was it, so Patrick, very cool. We saved the city. We yeah. saved Greece. No. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. This again, the character assassination's pissing me off. Well, I, Kratos was unironically more complex, I think, when he was just killing every god. Come oh, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Come, Come on. on. What what do you think the word complexity means? Uh, it's priceless. People it's say Kratos shouldn't be wearing armor. Forgets he was wearing it. heavy armor after Maybe he became God of War. Yeah, job. it was ceremonial it though, and he immediately lost it at the beginning of God of War too. Did you? He lost it because uh, what? he was fucking crushed by the Colossus. That you? Yeah. He was wearing it to go into war, uh, and whether or not you consider the armor ceremonial. Are we just like ignoring the reality that no matter how strong you are, armor's gonna be helpful? Oh it's yeah, absolutely. Armor. So yeah, it can't hurt. Really, really weird comment, and I I don't know why we would like why shit on the idea that we have armor in in terms of it's just like it's another thing that we can take different builds with and you know collect resources with to upgrade at our leisure. Like why why are we like like oh yeah armor boo? Did you play game, Leonardo. He didn't need the armor. She saw your face. Well, that's because the game decided he I mean, didn't you, need it. You can that's go through 2018 and Ragnarok by having the base like clothing armor and then not upgrade it if you want to. You can do it. Yeah. If you ruin have it for yeah, one aesthetic mission. or whatever. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. He should be who he was because guess what? He was Let's winning. When he was oh, the god of war. No. He was winning. Oh, yes. ruin. <laughs> it, it ruined the world and all the civilians I killed for health potions, but man, I was winning. He was winning. So I want to winning. remind you Damn. that Kratos, well, okay, he didn't do it by himself. He got a bunch of titans from the so past good. to help him, but Kratos just time traveled, grabbed some titans, and then... You know, it's, just did the shit. He didn't have to fucking gather an army or any of this bullshit. He just weren't the Titans an army? I don't. Is it like it feels yeah, like no. he counted his own argument? He didn't have to gather an army. He just gathered an army, an army <laughs> like, of big people. And the, and the, the fact that he's highlighted he used time travel is like, yeah, that's a pretty good tool, isn't it? A kind of tool that yeah, negates needing travel. an army. It's Imagine not like what you could do with that. It was easy either. Like, I mean, that's that's all of God of War too. I don't understand. Like, what, like, what is happening in this brain? Like, it, it, why would you even give the, uh, the? Someone doesn't even need to have played the games to have asked the question. Wait, he gathered he gathered titans. Is that like was it like an army that attacked Olympus? He's like, hey, remember this... these people who lost the war? The... I'm gonna go back and bring them here to fight the war again. That's. But like the, uh, it's not like he had the ability to time travel at the beginning of the game. Like that's that was the thing. The first berserker fight, which is mandatory, by the way. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. No, no, get ready, get ready. That uh, no, 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 no. Be, be careful, be careful, be careful. To fit the hilt you found. <laughs> Where are you going? If I'm right. It's mandatory. <laughs> yeah, for a fight. <laughs> You Someone's fool. not putting the man no in mandatory. Breaking. This ruins my immersion. How did Durlin get here? Didn't he have to do that mandatory <laughs> fight? Yeah. Has <laughs> way too much fucking health. Oh yeah, and I was bumped down to normal at this point too. When 
So, uh, they do this a couple times mm -hmm. in these games. If you feel that you are unprepared for the boss, you can indeed fight him later when you have more damage and more abilities. That is the, mm. the obvious sort of response to that. Uh, when I finally managed to beat him, I think it took me three straight minutes of dodging and countering Thank the God same... Thank God they were straight minutes. I mean, good for you ball. that you did it. Good job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good job. Hey, props to you. Yeah four attacks over and over again to actually whittle down his health bar. It doesn't help that filling the stun meter doesn't give you a free execution type of attack on him. It, it just like, opens damage. damage. It gives you a damage big, yeah. Yeah, like a full of block of health gets taken away, which is, you know, it would cut yeah. down that time. Different. I got to appreciate that a lot in those big boy fights. Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> they, they basically just skip the, the the part of a stun attack where you have to run up and grapple the guy. It's just like a, you did your grapple damage. There you go. Yeah. Opens him up to damage for a few seconds. It just opens him up to damage. Jeez, that's a big chunk. It's a you really can see yeah, it. Like it's really you worthwhile. You can see it while you're editing. Like, say, <laughs> it's, it's really weird to define it that way, too. It opens them up to damage. Do you mean it hurts them, or do you mean that you now have a chance to deal damage? I'm not even sure. Well, it's not even what it does. It, it but, I mean, deals damage. Yeah, we can see what it does. It's really good. <laughs> that is that's... a hefty amount of health that's gone there. Yep. For views. At least the other Berserkers yeah, are end like, game um... optional boss. It's like in games where, like, just because something isn't just doing straight up hit point damage. I mean, a lot of the times there could be other debuffs and things that you can apply that are better than that. It slows them down, or it creates vulnerability so that they're so that they just they just take flat out more percentage of damage from a from damage sources. You know, to you, know, you can think a little bit out of the box when it comes to getting your little bonuses for the the break bars here. He's almost like he he means Boston he has a chance and fight to deal when you damage. Better. It's like, well, that's not what it. It doesn't give you a chance to deal damage. It just deals damage. Deals, yeah. yeah. It's so, essentially it. It's virtually the same as just doing damage. It doesn't it's open exactly up for a big punish. It is the punish. Yeah, yeah. It, it works the way bleed damage does in Elden Ring, and people were like, "Oh, bleed damage is so broken in Elden Ring." Well, it's like, oh, the broken thing is apparently useless here. I guess. I don't know. This is what I mean. Like, it's, it's a really weird way to categorize it, but whatever. He seems to have uh, better understood it the more time went on. Here. But um, few he once again seconds. says, like, the problem is... At least the other Berserkers are end-game optional bosses that you optional. can come back and fight when you have better gear. Hey, this one is too. That gravestone is a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best Big old blue, <laughs> blue icon there. Where are yeah. you going? Where are you? That's optional. Uh, they what intentionally designed this first one to take this long to kill with only four fucking attacks. No, you can do oh, it whenever I'm... you want. How embarrassing. Look, oh, no. he just caught it right away. Just gotta, gotta stay away from it. Don't you press that <laughs> circle button. <laughs> well, you guys, you think that this is a point against him, but all this really does is it shows how much of a Chad he is. He sees a challenge and he attacks it head on. He doesn't do any of that pussyfooting around with thinking and strategizing and kind of, no. Then come back later. There's a challenge that needs to be overcome, and damn it, he's gonna do it now. I, I guess good on him for sticking it out and beating the boss that, like, the end game boss that he decided to fight the second he came across it on the critical path. Like, that that's, 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 that's worthwhile. So because I'm feeling charitable at the moment, I will start with the more reasonable issues that were brought up with the video, and then get to the less reasonable one. Not, not the, um, not the reasonable issues like the actual factual inaccuracies, though. But the that is the, the reasonable ones, one. to put it lightly. Probably the most reasonable criticism of my video is the simple factual inaccuracy I made around the first Berserker boss battle. It is not, in fact, mandatory. You can actually just walk right oh. past it. Yeah, so why I, did I... It's kind of odd that you thought it was it's really weird because the marker just, there. The marker, yeah. It means it's optional. Yeah. Just say that you thought it was mandatory. You you just saw it. You don't, did it. Yeah, you know, don't, just, just say that, say that your brain did a group. Yeah. That's you all guys, it is. You your guys brain, your brain did a that all he has to do is own the L, and you, it's almost like you're aware that he's not going to do that. That's weird. <laughs> Is, is I think he seems reasonable. Oh, I, I, I think did own it. Oh, okay, I guess that's more. Never mind.
think it was mandatory? Well, a few reasons. One, my brain was completely fried at this point in the stream. This was about 20 hours into the game, and I was so unbelievably bored by the game that I had trouble paying attention a lot of the time. So when you come across this fight, it is literally if the game wasn't on so your boring, linear. I would have been more correct. So, yeah, I was wrong because I wasn't giving the game the, the time it deserves as a piece of media to then review it. But all right. That's good. You're owning the L. We can move on now. Path to the end of the level. It is right before the end of the yeah, second Yeah, but it's got Spartan. a blue marker, see? Look, right yeah, there. It's, it's, it's optional. Well, that's why I asked. Optional. Does anyone know if he's colorblind? So, like, that might actually be you know, maybe. part of it. Yeah. Oh, he's the... Well, oh, maybe that'll be his next opposite. explanation. Yeah. He's the Doesn't opposite even matter, though. It's got a different blind. symbol. It's a different symbol. The path has a different symbol to the, the optional stuff. Yeah. Alfheim visit. Kratos and Freya comment on this boss battle right in front of you. No, they don't. Yeah, they comment on a lot of things, though. But they don't, though. Yeah. Mamiya is the only one that comments on it. But he, his comment is, right. if you want to activate it, you've got a challenge ahead of you. That's all it's Mimia says. It's the most says. clear, this is side content dialogue that I've ever seen. Yeah, all, all yeah, uh, like just... Freya says is she says there's like an alternate path if you use your spear over there or something as you arrive. So I don't know mm -hmm. why he's saying this. Well, it's just, Mimir like, does that a lot, like, oh, there's something we could do, oh, how about we try that, like, just because he comments on something doesn't mean that you have to do it. In fact, the game signposts pretty clearly what is and isn't optional. Yeah, if, if anything, they go a little hard on telling they you, might hey, even you be could go and do this yeah. if you want. <laughs> it was mandatory. Then the rest matters little. Let's just look out for them comments I saw from a gateway Freya. near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. Oh, this yeah. So when both says. Kratos and Freya comment on this boss battle right in front of you, that made it seem like it was mandatory. Not great like, just I take the L keyhole to fit the hill yeah. you found. Just say you thought it was mandatory, it wasn't. Move on. It's actually not a big deal. It's, it's not a big deal. You, yeah. Right. Thanks for mate. You best prepare for a fight. Fine. Hey, big guy. Now, obviously, in my brain, I must have hallucinated the main objective marker over it because clearly <laughs> it's not there, but it is, in fact, optional. You can just walk right past it. So, here's the question Does this actually matter? Not really, no. It doesn't take away from any of my other points about the boss battle. At least the other Berserkers are end-game optional bosses that you can come back and fight when you have better gear. How it's a very obvious difficulty spike. And no, it doesn't matter that it's optional because it's placed directly- He has retracted no. the L. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you, you were running away from that oh. L. He's now like, it's okay, buddy. I forgive you. And you spat in his face and ran the off. The L is dangling over your head like the right. sword of fucking Damocles. <laughs> right there. <laughs> It doesn't That's, matter uh, it's optional. It doesn't matter if you can get way stronger to come back and absolutely shit on that boss if you do it later with better gear and everything. It doesn't matter. It just in doesn't front matter. of you. How many people are going to fight this boss so, and then just quit and leave? I would I hope speak nobody. For myself, I don't even... But when I played this, it was pretty clear to me that this was optional and I chose to fight him anyway because I wanted to. I'm pretty sure you, me, and Metal all decided we could yeah. do this later, yeah. but we're going to take him. Yeah, I that's think right I here. As so well. I, I just I decided I couldn't beat him now and, and returned later. Well, so you did the thing that happens in other instances, right? Where you start yeah. bossing you're like, oh, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I'm ready for this. It's, it's just pretty standard ways of conveying information to players in a video game. You know, how easy or difficult is it? And if it's optional, you can be like, do I want to try this? Like, kind of like when I fought the uh, the big mm -hmm. monster in the desert in uh, Alfheim. Like, that was probably beyond what I was ready for, but I felt like doing it. It's not yeah. like the game's fault, right? Games do yeah, this yeah. sort of thing all of the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the comments I saw about me having a skill issue or mad cuz bad or whatever stupid zoomer gotcha variation. Uh, you... uh, oh, coping. Okay. See, like, all he had to do was be like, yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, and then you draw it out into like a whole minute of explaining that why you were wrong and it doesn't even matter that you were. Because I was right anyway, because... Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that's why I was saying, like, explained. the charitable interpretation of, from his perspective should be like, yeah, I, I fucked up and didn't realize it was an optional boss, but I, I beat him anyway, so fuck that, that berserker, I guess, mm -hmm. you know? 
losing, I actually beat the boss without quitting. Placing hey, really an optional yourself, super boss wow, right good, in front of you, the man. player good means you. that you're expected to be able to take him at this no, point. No, not necessarily. I mean, he no. did take him at that I mean, point. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. That so actually doesn't even matter. <laughs> yeah, so why are we talking about it? Are you just concerned that so, the lesser of us won't be able to? If what he means I is I the him devs, away and came back. if what he means is the devs are saying, take him now. Like we we expect that you can take him now. It's like well. So you you can, it's just tougher than any of the typical fights you're having. This is the, the big old boss. Yeah, because it's still an endgame boss. It's one that you might be able to handle at this point in the game, but, you know, give it a shot. Right, you know, however, moving, you know? then this is how it worked in the 2018 game. If you're feeling like this is too much, you can come back later. That's the whole point of it being optional. Yes. My issues with the boss have not changed whether or not he's optional. Yes, they have. Uh, your whole they have. too much health for you to yeah. deal with. You, your, your claim was that it was a big difficulty spike, but if it's optional, it's not a difficult. Like, you could just come back to it later. This Berserker in particular, too, has pretty pretty reliable patterns. Like, it's not a hard one to read once you... He's kind of a tutorial kind of for the Berserkers, in a way. Because um, yeah. when you eventually beat the king of the berserkers and going back to this guy he'd be like oh this guy was fucking simple compared and I, that's not a criticism of anyone's uh uh skill it's just me trying to point out like this is the starter guy yeah and i mean i took a while on him but i i by the time i got to the end of it i was like oh okay once i once i learned the patterns i was like eh, this actually isn't that hard I, I was just not it wasn't coming together in my brain at first and then when it did you're like eh, okay cool he has too much health and too small a moveset given how much health he has for what point in the game you're expected to fight him. One of the things, too, is you have a view of a game that, and you go into the mechanics of a very, what seems to be mechanically pretty robust game, spending this much time on one boss seems odd. I guess this really bothered him or got to him in some way it does have that you kind got of that impression yeah yeah instead of making a lot of stuff about like you can make different builds and you have these different weapons and here's how movement feels and here's are some issues here and there that's that's a dub but i don't i don't get well, that yeah, impression it's, it's, it's the video you can make essay. sorry no go go for it i was gonna say it's the video essay is special where he's just he describes things occasionally gets hung up on a specific case study but other than that just there's no analysis to be found no. you're right it's not much of a breakdown at all like a lot of the things that are not to be disagreed with are just descriptions of mechanics rather yeah. than of the mechanics like when he was talking about how he liked the combat he just said here's a bunch of stuff that's in it yeah, that you yeah. can juggle, and you can. There's different like alt attacks with weapons. Nothing about what makes them good or bad. Yeah, here's why I like them. Not even that. So, well, Not I'm even to think cool, why I like them. I'm supposed to conclude that use. action, adventure, whatever's are good if you can juggle, or like they're bad if you can't like juggle. Is the comparison to make would be how long was Matthew Matosis's video on 2018? Like 45 something minutes. Yeah, right? like yeah. Christ, use him as inspiration. I beg you. Like, yes, his videos he had nice a synthetics. lot of substantive criticisms of, of the mechanics. Yes. My issues with a few bosses in particular, I'd say overall I had fun with the combat when I actually was allowed to fight enemies. Now, when of you course, were I allowed do think to fight enemies? What yeah, do you mean? He's talking about, like, cutscenes and, and walking around. Oh, That's... fuck off. <laughs> Man, this, game was, was... this game was full of gameplay. Yeah. Actually, fuck off. Mm -hmm. Interesting you say that. Bet does have some flaws, just like everything has flaws. So I'll just bring up the few that I think are significant enough to drag down the experience. The first issue I'll get into is the enemy variety, as this was something the developers really? actually praised about this game. And it feels completely unearned because guess what? They reused almost every enemy type from the first game. And I mean, um, exact uh, same uh, anime. Wait, so is the, is the criticism that they reused old enemies while also adding in a bunch of new ones? Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I wish new, more games would do bad. this. Fuck that. Yeah. I mean, I'm, they're I'm enemies that you already have that you've already designed, and in universe they would continue to exist. So there's really like Basically, no there's issue nothing, at all. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you from doing this. Uh, and even at, at least yeah. if, them, if you had God of War, and then you brought out a game called like you know Battle of the Heroes, and it takes place across sci-fi galaxies and stuff, and then this troll turns up in that game, and you're like, ooh, they used assets from God of War to try and fill in for the 
you know, the, I could see, I could understand that argument better, but saying like the trolls are turning up in this game when they were in the first game, it's just like, yeah. Did Kratos single handedly wipe them all out last time? <laughs> so, and then, and then of course, troll genocide, yes. The question comes mm -hmm. up of just, oh, wait. What, so, what do you think of Dead Space? What do you think of like. Bioshock? What do you think, what of, do you think uh, of Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, like this so God Mario. of War original trilogy. They reuse. What do you the... think of Mario? Yeah. Doom. The, re the reuse criticism is real, but this is just not how you do it. It's deeper than this. It's not just it's there exists yeah. a thing that was there before, therefore bad. Because that's good practice. You want to make use of as many assets you had before as you can within yes. reason. Gives well, me so variety get, as the um, games go forwards. Enemy the, the, variety is very important. It's the reason I introduced it at the beginning, but Zero Needs Coffee is the one that we're, we're seeing responses from, and he's gonna he's gonna give it a shot. So let's see what happens. Nations and attacks. Oh my god, the game takes place in the same world as the last yeah. game. It's gonna yeah, have uh -huh. some of the same yeah. enemies. Okay, this is how of I know course. this guy's a retard. You just- uh, <laughs> no. right. Let me know, let me know. How is he a retard? Is, okay, why? Is, is this not a wild ride? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we never, This individual is something else. Argued that I don't know how video games work, and then you just made a meta oh. argument for why in-universe the it's, same it's, enemies- it's, it's not a meta argument. No, it's that's in yeah, you're in universe. He's argument. confused. Yeah, he's you, confused. You've about actually what got meta it means. totally backwards. The claim was exactly. in universe, it's the same enemies, and you're like, that's a meta argument. It's not. It's not. It's the opposite of a meta argument. For instance, it's, it would be like if we're talking opposite. about Dead Space Two, and then you were like, "Wow, Necromorphs again." It's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah Necromorphs. Yeah. Are the the marker is yeah, the marker. Creating poses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, another marker. It would appear. You're. I'm just gonna say it. I don't care if I get in trouble for mocking you. You deserve right. to be mocked wow. for a state. Uh, okay. Uh, really? Uh, okay. <laughs> like, well, you don't even say much of it. It's pretty like, hard for an oddly kinda... reasonable statement. <laughs> All right. But, you know, okay. It's, it's the, I, I don't understand. Like, that's got to be the most common response to the idea. It's like, why am I seeing enemies in this game just the, the ones that were in the previous game? It's like, same universe. It's like, yeah. wow, what a crazy yeah. meta argument. It's like, no, I guess maybe uh, Super no. Mario Brothers want? Two set the standard for him. It's like, like, what do you want? Uh, what do you want people to say? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> it would be weird, like, yeah. why didn't the old God of War like games that, reuse every enemy type, type then? It, they didn't use every uh, enemy type, but 2018 doesn't have every enemy type or a thing coming back. Obviously, it doesn't because there's people you've killed. There's literal individuals you've killed in God of War 2018 that can't return in God of War Ragnarok. So. Mm. Do it, the old games reuse enemies? If oh, definitely. Uh, the oh, most right. some of those common foot soldier guys you you see again and again. But like the um, mm -hmm. the minotaurs, they always come back. The uh, oh yeah, the, Medusa the in some form. Yeah, gorgons always, always come there. back. Oh, gorgons, yeah, yeah, but yeah. This isn't. This is what I'm kind of baffled by. It's like I like seeing them return. I'm like, oh, I'm familiar with these guys. I know they work. They oh, have this dynamism. Of course, new weapons too. This right? guy would you know? explode if he saw Monster Hunter, where people <laughs> are like cheering <laughs> because the monster they like from the previous game. Exactly. Is yeah. This I, one. I, so if the criticism is in fact they reused every every enemy, I'd be like, oh, I don't think they used, reused every one. But I, I don't know. It, like as long as they contextualize, I don't mind it because that's a whole yeah. set of mechanics that come with the individual. And that just, you know, why waste them? Exactly. It gives me more enemy variety exactly. in the game. Enemy variety is arguably more important than your own weapon variety. So, yeah, do it. Expand the world. Make it feel like a proper sequel where I go, oh, yeah, the things from the last game and all of these new things. We're, we're clearly building off foundations here. It's jumping just... off from the prior thing as if it was some kind of sequel. I don't know. And just, like, <laughs> taking a look at Alpha. It's only a sequel if you interpret it as a sequel. That is true. You you go back to Alfheim, and honestly, I hated fighting the Dark Elves in 2018. So the second we started heading back to Alfheim, I'm like, oh, I, I, I do. I agree. I find the Dark Elves annoying. Status. They and then have blind like really, status. Like, really no. it's weird. I way the prefer the Light Elves. So Lore wise, though, like that's the thing. The the wow. Light Elves have kind of taken over that area, and now you you are in the same area, but you are fighting different enemies. So they yeah, didn't take the lazy them. route. You there breach loads of the light crystals, and then there's a there's an attack outside when you reach outside of the dark elves, like of, of launched an attack. So yeah, it's more than fine with me for them to return at that point. I wouldn't go, oh my god, these mm -hmm. guys are back. Yeah, at the second I saw them again, I was like, oh no, <laughs> I thought I was safe. It was, it would have the same enemies, right?
because it's yeah. fucking lazy. It uh, makes oh. the game feel like the <laughs> so, last game. Have you never played a sequel in your you? life? It's so Have weird. He has footage of Dead Space on screen. Dead Space. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what to say, man. It's it. Dead Space absolutely reincorporates enemies I from old games. Yep. It's here's a challenge. Yeah, I, what sequel does not? A Super Mario Brothers two, but it's kind of not. <laughs> Wait, they don't have Goombas in Super Mario Brothers two. No, it's because uh, it's not. Goombas? It's not really Super a Mario, Mario Brothers game. It's, it's, yeah, it's not technically Super it, Super it's Mario Brothers three. It's a Japanese would be. game called Doki Doki Panic, but uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. In North well, America and the so really, it's one and three are the ones that you would compare in terms of sequels. Of course, the hilarity yeah. is that you're having to reference something very unique. If I have but... to go to Japan so something makes sense, then it, madness. It's not. Don't even. Don't even. So, what a weird fucking take on gaming, but it's all right. Bizarre. And Who's to say that you like, haven't played video games if you have that observation that, that sequels tend to use or incorporate old enemies. It's just pretty common, Wait, actually. You, it, it is almost ubiquitous. Like, it's yeah. everywhere. But Quake it 2 might shares well no one. enemies with Quake 1, but Quake 2 was also originally developed as a game called War, and then they decided, ah, it'll sell better if we just call it Isn't it Quake. interesting, right? Yeah, the examples you have with a totally different... would there be like, a reason? Well, if you look at development, it was totally different. Like, you know, everything was mm -hmm. different at some stage. Uh, Rags, are you asking, would there be a reason for there to be Quake 1 enemies in Quake 2? Yeah, would there be? Because I, I can't remember I mean, much about Quake not, 2. Well, I mean, Quake 2 deals with a, an alien race that's kind of similar to the Borg, where they, they... they take organic organisms and then make them cyborgs, the, the bad kind of cyborgs, though, not the ones like me. Whereas Quake 1 is like Lovecraftian kind of interdimensional portal stuff. So I guess they could combine them, but it would involve a lot of a lot of work. Like, it, they Point don't really make sense. being rare that the developers universe. don't reuse assets for sequels, uh, especially... Yeah. Well, and also... By the way, calling them lazy, like, sorry, dude. Like, I don't know what to tell you. It's pretty clear that everybody worked very hard on Ragnarok. Absolutely. Um, people need to be careful when they do the whole game devs are lazy thing. It's like, man, <laughs> video game development is hard. Like, it just yeah. is. Because right? there's also a lot of fucking new enemies. Well, yeah, the that's game. the part like of it. Exactly. Additional enemy diversity seems to have been an emphasis in this game because oh. it was a criticism of the prior game. I was and, shocked uh, when I got it. I was like, I don't know how many hours, and it's like, oh, another new enemy? Another new enemy? It's like, geez, mm -hmm. they really took that to heart, huh? Mm -hmm. I think it's really, as, as I forgot who pointed it out, but the, I mean, because we all know it, but the irony of using Dead Space footage over making this yeah. point is it's the biggest self own that I well, could to imagine. So then say you have a play video, it's like, what are you just what? mag dumping his own foot? Like. <laughs> <laughs> This is the absolute state of gamers, game. dude. This is why I have no respect for anyone who buys and plays modern games and actually enjoys them. <laughs> he's playing wow. Dead modern cool. games. Modern, also, he's he's modern some of the games. best games ever made are modern. I don't know. Yeah. It's just some really like, good ones. You, you oh, fail if you enjoy <laughs> them. It's not even about considering them good, it's enjoying them. It's enjoying them. Jeez. Uh, this guy what if it's, this guy what if it's good and I enjoy it as well. Well, then you're wrong. Oh, well, Maybe shit. have this all new one. enemies. Don't reuse any. Like literally, don't no, reuse any enemies. Don't. It's um, just more variety. Oh, wait, no. wait, 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 wait. Just, just all of you. Hold on. This, this. Oh, okay. Just let, oh, let him get what? to the end. He's got. He has opinions. I can't about get that. worse. That'd be a good idea. What's bad about reusing enemies? Oh, why is that a problem? I don't know, dude. How about you just stop sharing your shitty opinion? There's an idea. Uh, <laughs> there, there is an consider idea. Consider your opinion so. rebutted Hold thoroughly. On. I like where this idea is going. Stop sharing your shitty opinion. Yeah. I, <laughs> oh, oh wow. Strategy. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. As a, mm. Executions too, and oh, I could talk about the executions Do and it. how almost all of them are lacking any sort of gore. Wait a second! Uh, me. Wait a me. second! Just, um, you no. stopped on the wolf, which is one of the most brutal yes, executions in the, the game. Yeah. Well noticed, Bethel. The weaselly <laughs> little liar cut the gore cut out. Cut off the wolf. Every time oh, I cool. did that execution, I was like, ugh, still gross. So <laughs> Every single time. We get a classic montage going. Oh, I Let's love a montage. Oh, oh my god. god. No. Together! Oh. Beheaded by second. Uh, I don't even know if that would be called. Detentacled. Stomped. Oh, fucking hey, leg. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool, man. I'm headed. 
Yep, as the wolf. <laughs> because they're scared of gore. They're absolutely oh, scared. Oh, hey, hey, oh, they they yeah. <laughs> he was just, a, yeah, in his footage, he was just about to show the, the wolven. He was about to uh, show the yeah, wolf. That he cut, cut it, it off. Wolven, because yeah. it, would, it would make his point look kind of not right at all. Which is oh, funny because that means he has to little liar. Weasley little Weasley liar. Little Weasley little fucking liar, Weasley. synthetic man. Modern game. Oh, he's scared of gore. <laughs> They've cut the gore. They've cut the gore. No gore. Gore doesn't exist Fuck in modern off. games. Well, gore Fuck doesn't run. exist in modern games. Gore doesn't it's, exist. it's pretty crazy that gore he says this when the likes of like Mortal Kombat 11, obviously this game, Doom. I mean, for all and Callisto Protocol's faults, it's like the, death, the death animations in it are pretty brutal. I, mean, I do not. Yeah, I I uh, do not know why he tried to pull this. Like, how what, could he say this? Like, what would he be playing at? You don't even. You don't have to caricature like the AAA industry to try and criticize it. But he's just invented an alternative version of it, and then he's like, "Yeah, this sucks." When it's not representative of anything. Prop this game up as like indicative of that. When you have to ignore <laughs> how is this? Like what? <laughs> None. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Wee. No real gore from this rated M game. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that one. I love that one. That one is crazy. This is about as rated M as the Halo games are these days. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Which, oh. by the way, was a big complaint about new Halo, is that it was... Cut a... down on the blood hardcore yeah. to get a, a T for teen rating rather than the mature rating that the old games had. Mm -hmm. This yeah. game doesn't give a shit about that. Look at nope. it. No, this Look game. At the fucking oh, game. Oh, 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 blood oh. level fucking blood spatter everywhere. Uh, no, nothing there. Oh, oh. 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 one. Because they're scared of gore. It's they're scary. absolutely <laughs> scared of gore. Modern Terrified gaming is so it. scared of gore. Man, Terrified. Would have if they wouldn't be scared of gore. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, boy. Banned in Australia. Executions, too. And oh, I could talk about the executions. You caught it. Almost all of oh, them were look lacking. Look at this little liar, dude. Weasley little liar, dude. <laughs> sort of gore. <laughs> which, yes, the last game also did. It just seems like modern games in general are scared of gore for one That's reason so or bizarre. another. This game is How do you rated hold this opinion. I don't know. It's not How possible. do you actually think this? This, this is Protocol one of the things when I, after the playing the games. game and listening to this, like, I'm sorry, what? Like, one of the things I was re guys, if you, some people in chat watched my stream, whenever I like used the weaponry and it just popped heads or torso off, I would be like, oh. Yeah, so, like, same. <laughs> oh, he died. Like, I don't. I didn't forget those things happened, so it's just like, I don't know, this is weird. M, so what's I, the fucking the problem? fanboy. Oh I mean, you could maybe make the argument that the, the death kills, or sorry, the, the god kills are not nearly as elaborate as they were in the previous ones. Like, even when Heimdall was choked, like, strangled, as opposed to, like, anything being torn off him or something, my like reaction was kind of like, aw, well, I mean, yeah, I guess he did lose the arm. Uh, but it's, you know what, <laughs> then he gets... well, okay, you know what's crazy about that is because of the difficulty I was playing on, there's a whole other phase of the fight after his arm gets blown off, so I didn't, it's not that I'd forgotten it, but it wasn't fresh in my mind, it felt like a long time ago. But, I think it's, um, isn't that in all the difficulties, where he gets a magic arm? Yeah, yeah, but it's just because I spent so much time dying and retrying the next phase before I actually beat it. It uh, a lot of between those. Then again, that's a it's a me problem. Mm -hmm. I got a skill issue. Care. Yeah, skill issue. Be as honest as human. It's pretty much the only uh. policy I've stuck to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wear that anyone, shirt and lie. That yeah. would be anyone look really who bad. is invested in telling you how honest they are like this, you know. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be satisfying, but it's really not. I don't know. Probably because there's no gore. If there was gore. Stop! Weezy the liar dude! Go off. And to get back to the enemy variety, I feel like a lot of the new enemy types are just kinda lame. 
like generic Viking raiders on Midgard, or the Asgard warriors, which are all zombies, the frog enemies that surprisingly show up in like three different realms. I mean, like if you want to the describe them in, in the most reductive way possible, then yeah, I guess they aren't very interesting. He hasn't even well, said anything even... wrong with them. Yeah, he's just like, said no, they are. So it would be like if I said, yeah. the problem with Dead Space is the lack of enemy variety in the design. They're all just fleshy monsters. Yeah, like, this is this fleshy arm dude, and, you know... I hate arms. Oh, yeah, like, I can't respond to this until he makes an argument. Bro, just stating what they he's are. Not gonna. That aren't lame visually, anyway, are actually very annoying to fight. Like, the oh. new Light Elf variant that's a samurai, or the Asgard warrior who it has a, a bifrost a... pick and a it hammer. A sword? These motherfuckers sword can attack at lightning speed and have unblockable oh. moves or moves you have to parry. I, like, so, like, does he believe that unblockable moves are, like, inherently bad? I don't know. I can't tell. You can like, if he that's believes the, that, that's what the dodge you. button is for. You use that one. Yeah. Yeah. Every, so many games do this shit, dude. Yeah, unblockable attacks are really important. A game can use them for a variety of reasons. If the developer wants to get yeah. the player to do something or engage in different mechanics or move to a location, it's a really good way to do that. It's so most... He's practically wiped out loads of enemies by saying, like, ugh, these fuckers with their unblockable moves and their speed uh, sped up moves. Yeah. Like, a lot of enemies come with faster moves that do less damage. Just... I need more. What are you telling That's me? video games. Yeah. Because the, the thing is, we, we, we have something here that we actually complained about. is like the, the hyper armor thingy, when you don't really know when it happens sometimes. Yeah. But sometimes it does. Apparently, there's like a little little symbol in the boss, uh, in the boss section where uh, it shows up when they get hyper armor, apparently. I don't know how consistent that one was. I felt it wasn't Missing. super consistent. Well... Funnily enough, he complains about hyper armor at some point. It's one of the things I agree with, but it's more so the inconsistency, not the presence. I'm fine yeah, with hyper exactly, armor yeah. existing. I just want to know when it'll be there or what. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And can dodge out of the middle of combos, shit like that. That just makes them not very fun to engage with unless you're spamming runic attacks. Okay, and for but my what's last, the problem. Because mm. enemy types in all action games are like this. All action games have enemies that can dodge out of your combos. All of them well, like, have enemies with unblockable attacks or whatever. Is it the Styers, Satires, whatever, the, in, in the original trilogy? They always run away from you once you've done enough. Uh, but like, mm. I, I say this as if it's a badly designed thing. It's, like, it's not, though. Enemies shouldn't just sit there and take everything you have. Cause like that's just gonna make it super real easy, right? Yeah. Isn't isn't that gonna be like the problem? Yeah. yeah. They say tires. Is it satyrs? Satyrs. Satyrs. There you go. I never S -A -T -Y -R. remember. S a t y r. Satyr. Major of the combat. Mr. Let's talk about hard mode somewhat briefly. As tempting as it is to talk about this in length, because you walked I unfortunately into, like, the middle of five guys. We'll, we'll, I... we'll see that in context. Don't you worry. This <laughs> part's gonna get real interesting. Played about two thirds of the game on hard mode, or give me no mercy. It's a waste of time because most people will never play it on hard. And try... you're in luck. Wait, why would you I say did, that? I did. Metal That's did, me. and Mark yeah, played yeah, it on. Well, the he's, he's the coolest video game player that there ever was. Metal. He's just most... the best. Not everybody is as based as he is to play it on hard mode. Oh, How well, I did. do you even us, feel apparently. confident enough to I make that? I even beat that Berserker on hard, and Dude, he his, didn't. His experience is so bizarre, because he spent like more than half the game judging it for uh, being on normal difficulty, but he didn't realize he, it still hadn't switched to uh, normal. He was still on hard. Um, and to, <laughs> to give him the benefit of the doubt, he switches it to hard, and then he never checks throughout the rest of it, but it didn't switch. Like uh, Apparently, it's something that can bug sometimes. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. No, I think what that Trust is, is if you switch the difficulty and then um, reload a save, it will reload whatever difficulty was set when you made that save in oh. this game. Because it really? was doing the same thing to me when I was trying to get some footage of the previous game. Or no, wait. I, oh, yeah, I think it was... Yeah, no. It was of the previous game, and it was doing the same thing, because I was on Give Me God of War, and I was like, ah, I just want to get a clip of this thing for a video I'm making. Switch it back down to normal, and then... Noticed I was getting rocked, and I'm like, "Wow, oh, why is this game still so hard?" And it's because it didn't work. Okay. Anyway, let's see what he says. To me, it's a mistake. Based on your thinking, most people would think, "Oh, the enemies just do too much damage, or they have too much health." Well, I didn't find out what the real problem was until about 15 to 20 hours in. 
because originally I did turn down the difficulty from hard to normal just a few hours Let's into see. the game, but it turns out there's <laughs> a bug where sometimes your difficulty change will not save even after the checkpoint restart. So I actually ended up playing the game on hard for about eight more hours until I finally decided to check it again after dying really quickly to Neathog. Isn't that really indicative that you could change the difficulty and not even think to check again for eight hours? It's, uh, it's, it's really odd because be nothing out. changes and he doesn't notice. Yeah, you'd think... That's pretty based. <laughs> He's such a good player, he didn't even know that he wasn't playing on normal. Wow. Uh, sometimes I wonder if, like, the difficulty is bugged or something. Like, I never actually left hard mode. It's bad. Let me just double check. Wait, what? Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. I've been on hard mode the whole time. Unfortunately, wow, I let not chat a good vote on whether or not I should stay on hard, so I still ended up playing on hard all the way up until that first Berserker fight. And after a few more combat encounters, I finally figured out what hard mode really does. It gives every enemy in the game super armor. So I already know that's not what? true, because not every enemy that's, in the game has super armor, and I played true. it on hard. That's not true, yeah. You can see it in his footage that that's not true. Um, yeah, he's... But not only that, like, yeah, it does the things you expect. What? Enemies his, do his more damage. Does it match his points? Yeah. Enemies do he's more such... damage and have more health when you boost from normal to hard. That's not surprising yeah. at all. That's, that's usually how it's done. Um, but obviously they change a couple of other things, like hyper armor, which... I'm assuming hyper armor is, is is more common when you boost it to the higher difficulties. I haven't actually tested it, but it's weird to say, like, all enemies have hyper armor on hard when I played it on hard, and I was like, oh, they definitely didn't. It's still I'm literally weird. watching him hit stun enemies right now. Yeah. <clears throat> so Yes, basic enemy types. Yep. So my original recording for this combat section was actually much just... more negative than this. Because I was very annoyed by the again, fact again, that every again. single enemy would either dodge out of the middle of your combo... Yet normal enemies should be able to do that. There's a reason they can do that. Oh, is he not- <clears throat> he's not talking about them getting, like, one of the elemental shield armor things that you have to break he's saying with a specific damage type? That he'll do, like, attack, 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 and eventually oh, okay. they'll be able to get away from him. And it's like- So he's saying that yeah. the enemies are more powerful. <laughs> I don't, this is what I mean, I don't understand the complaint. This seems very normal to me. Or yeah. attack mm -hmm. straight through the motherfucking mm -hmm. God of War's axe swings to the chest. Yeah. I just figured it was a normal gameplay mechanic that only heavy attacks and runic attacks would actually stun the enemy. Because I You see how this footage doesn't it, match I mean, at all what he's yeah, saying? He got attacked from behind and he's like, the motherfucking God of War. <laughs> I don't think I've ever encountered a hard mode that introduces super armor. What a horrible fucking well, idea. That okay. said, there was- <laughs> That's not inherently a bad idea. No. I could yeah, see no. it easily being a bad idea, but it's not inherently one. By implementation. There was yeah. one upside to playing the game on hard and then later on normal. That being the realization that enemies have way too much health even on normal mode. What the hell were they what? thinking that every single enemy in the game takes at least six hits to kill from the motherfucking God of War? Please stop saying it's stop from saying God it. of yeah. War. Please. <clears throat> if you have an insane difficulty, then I'm gonna pick hard. I'm not gonna pick, you know, pussy ass normal. Yeah, Im <laughs> right, imagine so it the is amount a, it of, is a point of pride uh, then. It is a yeah. point of pride. Uh, Criticisms, quote unquote, that would open my channel to if I played games on game journalist difficulty. <laughs> Playing on hard Normal just removes one journalist. more what thing that people shad. can take away from my videos. The funny thing is, you're, you're, you're okay to play it on normal mode and then judge normal yeah. mode. That's fine. Yeah. It's when you play on hard and then stop making claims about it that are inaccurate. That's when you get a problem. Whatever. I guess I'll just. This will be yet another criticism of this 10 out of 10 game of the year game. Not that I didn't have plenty of criticisms for, uh. Uh. Yeah. For, uh. Isn't he, like, he's in spot This is, like, right at the beginning of the game. Yeah, he didn't like. He, he felt the enemy's way too spongy, but we'll have more comments on that in a sec. Hang on. Which, unfortunately, okay. is probably. Probably gonna be game of the year. If you have an insane difficulty. Oh, 
then I'm going to pick hard. I'm not going to pick you know, <laughs> pussy ass normal. You can get all three. All right, where's the third one? I, I want a cheat. Now, this is Somewhere. my section of let's check him out for gameplay. Let's, let's get a real good grip on what it was like to watch him play this game. I suffered, and now you guys have to suffer. No. Oh, man. Give me. Oh, is, let me guess. It's here. God damn it. I wasn't paying attention. Chat, feel free to give me the location of the third spinny wow. thing. I'm free for chat to cheat for me if they want. I, that'd be fine by me. I'm, why would I go on YouTube? I'm not cheating on stream. I, I, that annoys me when people even suggest shit like this. <laughs> I don't even. What? I don't he, like, like, oh, so asking your audience is fine, but checking it on YouTube isn't. What's Funny. the difference? It was, it was the most reasonable fucking community. response ever. Why rely on chat like attempts at tell you instead of just getting the answer directly and honestly from these? Like because I don't want to cheat. Like what? he's trying to combine two different fucking personas, and it's really not working. Like he's the I don't. I'm the cool hardcore gamer who plays every game on the hard mode and I'm not a games journalist I'm like good and stuff then he's combining that with the this is the Sony game and it's bad and I don't have to it's pay any game. attention to it it's, it's, it's soy and yeah all, all of that stuff and as it turns out those things don't overlap too well because you start saying really dumb shit <laughs> I fucking hate. He can arbitrarily decide if the second hit in his combo is is unblockable. It is so fucking awful. Yeah. That's, yeah, what, the red circle, that's what the red circle is for. Yeah, so the you idea is that you'll attack and then do an unblockable or attack, attack, and do an unblockable or attack, attack, do a block breaker, then an unblockable. You get a whole variety of choices in terms of his, his dice roll, so to speak, of what he's going to attack you with. You have to pay attention to whether or not it's a neutral, or it's a yellow, or it's a, a red. That, that's that's the idea. This is extremely basic stuff. This is video games. Mm -hmm. But yeah, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. He's secular. played. Like, he's probably played. Okay, first off, it's cringe to roll the R. Secondly, <laughs> he's probably played way more games than all of us combined. Oh, so right. really, I don't see why you would disagree with him as the authority on video games. Um. And I, uh, uh, I can explain why this happened. It's, it's similar to a lot of people who played this game. Uh, the Hateful is one of the harder ones that this sort of trend starts with. This game isn't the same as 2018. 2018 will often give you the same sort of attack combos reliably, but this game starts switching them up a lot more, which I, I mm -hmm. prefer. I think that's better. So right. Essentially what happens in this game it's is an easy the evolution. enemies have like a... It's not random, but they have different sets of attack patterns. Yeah. Okay. They're following yeah. from soft's footsteps, more or less. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, no. yeah it's not random. It's just not the same thing every fucking of course, time. You know, someone might say as a criticism, ah, oh, so I have to memorize it. It's like, no, 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 just keep an eye on the, the, the yellow, the red. The yellow and the red. They tell you everything you need to know. Pixelating at one not second. So memorize it. Fucking... Pay attention to the more enemies. More like bad games I like, try, try to like develop, eat my try dick. To think of if I died, why I'm not easy. I'm, I'm not playing this game on easy. You out of your mind? I guarantee they only <laughs> tested this on easy mode because they knew all the game journalists and the developers played it on easy mode too. They all suck. The developers oh, suck. Oh, so <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, whatever. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. You didn't play test this. Fuck you. You didn't. I don't believe it. I need to get an upgrade that just makes all the attacks freeze guys or something. Because <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it'd be buttons. really useful. Do the thing I want to do. There's too yeah. many buttons. Too many buttons. Okay. Let's too see what else we got. I will say, has too many buttons. you're about Especially to get onslaughted the... with some some stuff that just makes you wonder, like, the fuck. In terms Let of... me tell you about a little game called Arma. Yeah, I, I, a game where it takes 20, <laughs> it, 20 hits to kill an enemy as the best combat. Yep. Yeah. So that's the claim. It takes way too long to kill enemies. Like, okay, all right, cool. Now let's see how he plays the game. And that's another thing too. Do anything different or experiment. You're punished, dude. This is too many moves. Really? I'm gonna forget some of these. Oh, they oh. want you to combo the blades and the axe. That's stupid. Uh, what? Grand, comboing your weapons. You do. What? Come on. I know. I need, I, need you, I need you all to really understand this. I'll play it again. But he's the those so this, reciprocal skills this, are like there. It's so clear that yes, this is this skills specifically exist to encourage you to switch between the fire not only and ice. that, right? Which is great, by the way. We need more encouragement to use more of our weapons in games. That's a really good idea. It's good. 
it is actually really good to the yeah. point where chat were like encouraging me. It's like, you should really use it. And I was like, okay. And then I started actually knocking. If, if you remember, there was a Berserker fight I was dealing with, Mel. I think you were in the chat for what, this one. Where my mm -hmm. opening set of attacks were I would laser him with the frost laser to stack up the frost and then switch to yeah. blades and just knock him down a whole like bar. Yeah. It's a, it's a strategy. Entire... It's good. It causes damage. You should be aware of this. I would have entire runs at at specific bosses where I'd just say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to primarily use the spear, like use the spear as the main weapon on this guy and not really worry about elemental things, maybe just switch to the blades and the axe for my my runic attacks. But then that starts to not work, and then maybe you think, okay, I'm gonna focus on stacking elemental statuses and swatching uh, swipping uh, ah, sorry, <laughs> switching between them on the fly in order to get a lot of bonus damage from that. And it, it's it's really fun to kind of play yeah. around with that right so uh, that sounds but like a lot of work game, my dude well uh, what's crazy though is that's one of the optional skills on both weapons you don't have to do that you it's, could just yeah you do more damage when when just, just, the just enemy is frosted or something after one everything he told you the about right. the sponginess just appreciate these clips they're so glorious it, 20 hits to kill an enemy as the best combat yeah yeah and that's another thing too do anything different or experiment you're punished Dude, this is too many Ow, moves. That's such I'm a gonna bold forget claim. some of these. Oh, they want you to combo the blades and the axe. That's stupid. Or axe. Why? The, Why? The ice axe does more if you do the burning first. No one's ever doing that shit. No uh, one's ever doing. It. No one's ever yourself. comboing their weapons. No one's playing on hard. The the way that I play is how everyone's gonna play, which is I an interesting opinion to have. Outing but. himself as having never played an action game before. He's like, this I is just don't understand. If you're not gonna engage with the mechanics when they're displayed as saying deals more damage, and then you say like, oh, the enemies are too spongy. It's like you gotta use the damage moves. Yeah. You just want all games to That's be the same where you just hit a button over and over. It's just never but played a proper action. It's just see, wild. even with me like max damaging, that took like a shit ton. You're not max damaging. <laughs> You're not though. You're Dude, ignoring this. Dude, this is too many option. moves. I'm gonna forget some of these. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no, that's my fault, not the game's fault. Correct. It's my fault. It is. You're not engaging above, with the mechanics. You I don't can't know what to freeze say. it above the wheel. What do you? <laughs> Are you stroking your... You've yeah. never been able to freeze water you couldn't touch. You have never been able to like freeze water you couldn't first. touch. This is you bullshit. You have to start doing that. This Even I remember that. I don't understand That's this criticism at all. one of the first things you do in Spartelheim. It's just wrong. Yeah. It's one of yeah. Them. yeah. Um, but he's very it's angry. Does he maybe mean to touch with the axe directly? directly? You can touch this that water directly. Really with the axe. Yeah, you can yeah throw I know. I'm just trying to make sense. Of this somehow, but yeah, never mind. <laughs> Utter fuck shit. The game literally, I have thrown it at shit that doesn't freeze. This is so much. There, there is lots of stuff that doesn't freeze when you throw. That is true. In fact, 99% of the world yeah, does that's not the majority freeze. majority of the world. Yeah. yeah. Shit. No, that's not an L. That's. I'm, I want to call it berries <laughs> that I can't I'm see. Not I'm not owned. I'm not owned. <laughs> I'm not owned. <laughs> that's that's a bundle of sticks, is what that is. What? Uh, yeah. I don't. What? It's a. I don't even know. That's a I don't understand it. I, I, I'm not starting to think in he there, has or is that like deniability for the knowing only, what that means? Is that the only play in his playbook? Like <laughs> any it other material in there? Motherfucker, these guys are dude. No, they didn't. Dude, they had one it, was that. Like it was that. It was like five seconds. It was, it was alive. Look at the red it was to your right. You ignored it, and it killed you. What? Yeah. That's just that's just positioning is super important. I don't even know what to tell you. Even when you ignored it, even you... when you ignored it, there was a red marker right there for like three seconds, telling you that you're about to get attacked. You go to town on the camera in this game, but that yeah, one is not on the camera. Nah, but you, yeah, you, you had the information. You didn't use it. They did. It on easy it's, for the journalist. It even has the red This is a fucking bullshit. Your opinion oh, so is shit, and no one phone. should take you seriously ever again on any video. True. <laughs> hey, true. Yeah, just resist every move, you dick. Uh, and jump backward. You Why you did dick. you use the right <laughs> button? You see that? You can just jump backward at any time, too. The enemy can, oh, yeah. the oh, the enemy can have an can investment move. in its yeah. own existence and survival. You want a load of horse shit. Die. That's the only reason you're here.
I was playing Dark Souls the other day, and this hollow, it started running towards me. Like, what? They can do that? So dumb. They can just move? <laughs> what a beta. <laughs> okay. Just, yeah, just resist every move, you dick. Oh, dick. And jump backward. You see that? You can just jump already backward back there any when you time, dude. Yeah, you I think people just say it's missing. shitty because they're bad at it. Uh, <laughs> Alright. these goals do? Am I getting something out of this? Oh, I'm getting EXP. Okay. Check this out now. I should probably check skills. How much EXP I got? 8,000? Yeah. I thought is it was that a lot. Game? That is yeah, a lot. Oh, yeah. okay. This Especially early on, on even, actually, he could buy yeah, an Alpine. One, two, three, four, five, so probably seven of those. Yeah, at least definitely the first one in the first row. They're like two fifty or yeah, five hundred, like depending on which oh, one. Geez. Wow, yeah. he still hasn't. He still hasn't done the one for extra damage on burning enemies. That's a top one. But and then so, the and, enemies. And if you look, uh, Atreus has got three thousand five hundred. He hasn't spent any. Yeah, yeah. remember though, yeah, the game needs anything. to start him with everything. Oh no, he yeah, gets, this is what I mean. How fucking unreal! The option. He wants yeah, more he abilities, and he hates that he's not dealing damage. Yet he hasn't spent any of his fucking XP to get skills. What are you doing? I think he thinks the game's a lot more simple than it is mechanically. That's my assumption. He's not engaging I, I with it. I think he's like, more little... simple than we think mechanically. Well, he is a synth. <gasps> a simp for who? <laughs> That's so obvious. Why? Well, how did I miss that? <laughs> How did you? You're paying attention. An upgrade button? Mother screen? The auto targeting is pissing me off. I know I can lock on, but I don't know. I think. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? What even do you mean? What is? What are your thoughts when you say these words? Well, <laughs> nearly, <laughs> nearly went in for the steel man, but well. Yeah, I, I know, know right? I man. know. I know you're listening to this and you're thinking, ooh, ooh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we were linked this review as one of the good ones. People just say it's sh bad at it. <laughs> what? How do you mean? See, you dodged it. Good job. Yeah, there you go. You're doing it. It can be done. Buddy, plays like a fucking Walk, journalist. He's about Look to at him. hit you with something. Oh. Um, yeah. you're supposed well, you to move the... away. You're meant to it's move away. Way. You well, just the... saw yeah, how it works. Because because the silent rage, the silent rage is worse than the loud rage. And and and, and some retard is gonna be like, D -d 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 that's me. The skill issue. The skill yes. issue. The skill Look. issue. Yeah. Look yeah. at the skill him. Issue. He's very the skill clearly issue. broadcasting. The skill intent. issue. I'm not gonna cheese him, but I want to see if he can. No, you can't cheese him. They thought of that. Look, you can't even hurt him. But they, I thought they didn't play test they didn't the play game. They didn't play test it, so I don't they know how they play test it. Yeah. How come I can't cheese it? Weird. I just, I, I had. Yeah, why didn't they just make a fucking bullshit game of like Resident Evil Villager? Come on, he was literally every enemy in the game. The damage he caused with those two accents were on that hateful when he started the fight. The skill is you. <laughs> Why does the dude? I locked onto this you guy. Just and didn't hit no, the right. you just he did the same just thing. Just How many right. times? The whole buffing fire thing. Definition is of insanity. Stupid. The buffing fire thing is stupid. Oh, I get it's stupid because it killed him and he's based. And, because, you know, yeah. <laughs> if Anything it kills me when I'm based, then it must be bad. <laughs> it is. It is prescriptively stupid. Absolutely. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. This is a bad boss. It's just a bad boss. I think people just say it's shitty because they're bad at it. Of course, you made a paper. Well, it's Don't hard mode, that. dude. It's hard mode. But the funny thing is, there's a difficulty above this. There is a difficulty above this. Yeah, it's so, for the real game. I think using hard mode. Is an excuse. I, I got through it. It's not. It's not a good excuse when it's not even. I don't know. If difficult. something's hard and you say um, that it's on hard mode, it does seem to fit the bill a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you say it like yeah. because there's a more difficult, harder mode. You can't say hard mode is supposed to be hard because there's another one above it. It's like the what? mode is called "Give me no mercy." No mercy. <laughs> yeah. What is happening? The, you know the absolute state of gamers. I know, right? Especially when in a lot of modern games, hard is the new normal. Obviously not for is this, it? though. Is it? Yeah. Do you already say it? I think you just made that up. Obviously not for this. Especially when that's like, it's often that you play hard and that's actually normal, but I mean, oh, but not this one. It's like, what is the point of this Even argument? though this is meant to be one of these modern games, one of these modern Zuma lame games. Exactly. Yeah, but it's I guess easy it's for the journalist. When it comes to difficulty. <laughs> Like, why are you targeting Zoomers when you're like, ah, uh, yeah, Zoomers love the Sony game. 
Yeah, for sure. Noi oh, games. Noi games. Yeah, we all know those they're, Zoomers. They're called Snoy games. Snoy games. Oh, right. Sorry. The Snoy games. Yeah. <laughs> Zoomers known for being like playing the Fortnite and the energetic games and that sort of thing. And, you know, Someone type of fast paced action. Well, remember, there was a recent commentary that, that a lot of uh, a lot of Zoomer gamers are playing like Modern Warfare 2, the new one, as though it were like an arena shooter because yeah. they're not even familiar <laughs> with arena shooters as a genre, but they still want that fast, twitchy gameplay. No, I got yeah, you. I'm sure they'll go and play the long, drawn-out fucking story game. Make a new Quake game, id. So it's almost like this man alone is an entire Goodell. It's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. True. Made a bad honor. checkpoint again. Just killed him. I'm restarting checkpoint again. Cause let me get, let me just pull out my notes. Let me pull out my notes. I'm gonna write down read. all of the. Let me just memorize. Okay, so let's get this straight. One, he could do a random unblockable as the second hit of a combo. Random Two, unblockable. He can input read and cancel his three hit combo. Input in read. <laughs> don't <laughs> he can, don't he throw can, that fucking term out lightly. And he said he could cancel his three hit. It's like none of the enemies cancel their combos from my memory. Oh. They go. Yeah, look, no, they just, I don't think so. Either they do them and you interrupt them, or they do them and they they hyper armor through. There's no enemy canceling. I don't know anybody like that. Uh, next point. Uh, he buffs himself, and if you hit him, he explodes the for no reason. Yeah, you can he, throw your axe. No, no. He's supposed to back the audacity. fuck up Dude, and then throw the axe. That, it's that so buff crazy. is the hey, he's gonna blow up soon. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason you need to back see, up. That's that's why it happens once, and you go, oh shit, I shouldn't do that again. Yeah, and you avoid it, it in the future. <laughs> Hey, that's Pro how I learned that. It's like, hey, why did he explode? It's like, oh, he charges up. I better back the fuck up and throw a spear or my axe at the fucker. I don't know. That that so so much he got input reading. There is so much to criticize. What is this? And so you have to throw him with the ice axe at him. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no. That's my fault, not the game's fault. Correct. My Seems fault. that way. Oh, I'm if you keep dying to the, the same thing over and over, maybe. To get his meter up. Okay, go. Get what? Oh, you don't get in the tail? <laughs> oh my god, it's pointless. Wait, just wait, wait for what he says. He's he's priceless. It's, it's pointless. His stun meter is pointless. Dude, His stun meter is pointless. Okay, that's another one for the bullshit list. The stun meter doesn't work on this boss. Christ, it doesn't do a, a, a move. Do you Are need you fucking joking? No, so like, with the boss health bar is located at the well, top of you the screen. Yeah, I don't even know. Getting him to max stun has fun. lost his health. No, no, like, 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 this is the thing. He's he's missed the crucial detail of when you get those attacks, right? So there, is, there are lots of enemies in the God of War franchise. You get those attacks, you just hurt them. You don't kill them, right? What does it do when you hurt them? It lowers their health. Mark pointed this out earlier. They're skipping the animation, they give you the damage. Yep. Now you yep. could say like, oh, that's lazy, they didn't make an animation for it or something. It's like, okay, that's that's something you can say if you really want to, but everything is the same, functionally. Yeah, mechanically it, yeah. yeah. I'll check and honestly, out. like, it, it keeps me from losing my rhythm in the boss fight, so I, Which is I kind why of prefer it. That's what, that would be one of my arguments in favor of this. Yeah. You might get bored of just seeing the same animation over and over again, it's like, this way we're just, yeah. Set piece cutscene attack things like that need to be really well designed so as to not disrupt the flow of what you're yeah. doing. Generally, they mm. need to err on the shorter side so that you're not stuck doing the same thing for a million years. And I want to remind everybody, really... said it's pointless. It's not doing it's damage pointless. is somewhat of a point. There's a point to that, yeah. Game be any shittier? It doesn't even follow its own rules. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh come on, <laughs> man. What's he even gonna say? <laughs> as you can imagine, I am as curious as all of you. It's like, what? Well, yeah. You just killed yourself, so what are you gonna blame? Yeah. This game sucks. This game sucks. All right. I <laughs> You're gonna run in between, like, one, two, three, Whoa. four enemies! The all three of them Am I gonna get the steel, man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course they get at the same this time. This game sucks. Okay. Just okay. Say, he just says it sucks. Okay. 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 But, um, Can they just not attack you? Is that what you want? Are all the steel man was potentially... into the middle. That the steel man was potentially that he got he got move assisted by oh, the that, slide yeah. forward into that oh, position, but okay, no, he fucked himself. But if you anyway. know that's what you do when you attack enemies also, in front of you, he was clearly yeah. heading toward hitting that guy. Well, at, like you can you can yeah. roll out of that the whole time, and he didn't. Absolutely. This is normal. This is normal difficulty. This game sucks. He was on. Hard oh, that just means no. That realize. means you're bad. <laughs> yeah, it means you're worse. I, I don't than know. You would have been normally. This is what I mean. When I was watching this, I was just like, man, it feels so weird to watch this compared to the guy in the video. Like, oof. The skill issue. The skill issue. 
Dodge that, nice. Parry, oh. parry, nice. Oh! Prep in, get away, nice. Ah, uh, yeah, good. See those parries? Hey, got him. Hey! You learned the boss! Nice. Parry again, good job. Good. Done meter up. God gamer. Yeah, yeah. we got the... Got the get away, like yep. There you go. There we go. There you go, yeah, that was good. Look how long that took. Look how long that took. One. Look at how long it took for you to just use the mechanics. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's who'd have thought when you actually like engage with the mechanics that you might we find some success. You. We were doing well. Engaging with the mechanics yeah. is like it's it means they That's win. pretty soy, to be fair. True. Yeah, you need to make your own <laughs> mechanics. You can't, make you can't your be own a follower. Mechanics. You have to be a leader, not a follower. Yeah, if when Mario tells you to like jump when the game gives you a tutorial about the jump you button, just don't. beat his ass. What if oh, that's <laughs> right. What if you, it's a then you grab a shovel jump. and you start digging. Angry good, good fucking we'll game good design, fucking. motherfucker. What? As an yeah. attack I didn't even get a directional yeah. indicator for that poison. Really? Come on. I wouldn't be surprised. No, did. This way, I like how you guys, when you see a clip start, you're like, what is it gonna be? What is he gonna come yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a grab bag of wonderful I'll just, fun. I just want to play it again, just in case people missed it. It's such a great little bit. This man's got chomps. God damn it. I didn't even get a directional indicator for that poison. Really? Uh -oh. I wouldn't be surprised if they think, like, <laughs> most gamers are extremely incompetent at games and need <laughs> shit spoon-fed to them constantly. Oh no. Oh yeah, it's Not like Fire you. Skeleton yeah. number four, guys. Pro Let's game. see how many times this one takes me to kill. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I hate the mechanics of this game. I really do. I Dude, thought you liked the combat. Moves. I'm gonna yeah, forget some yeah, moves. Yeah, I thought this you too... said that it was pretty good. He did, but he he absolutely hated them at one point. Can you imagine what changed? Can you imagine if there may be something that changed? Let's see. Too many buttons to so he put it on do the thing I want to do. All right, let's be clear. If you are holding a controller in your hands and you say there's too many buttons, <laughs> then you need to seriously reevaluate your existence as a gamer. See that That's kind of comment. Hell, I don't mean dude. this to be critical at all. That kind of comment would be like, oh, they don't, they don't play PC games. Okay. You yeah, haven't played games. Clearly not. Games. You've never played like Arma, Escape from Tarkov, any or, RTS, like, any any RTS, any really. And even Arma. then, like, jeez, come on. And the, yeah, an MMO. Like, come on, you should never look at a controller and say there's too many buttons. There's too many buttons. They're never. all there for a reason, so you can reach you them lost all very easily. Maybe a Nintendo 64 controller. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, there's no way to touch all the buttons yeah. on a 64 Dude, this controller. This is too many moves. Well, we I'm gonna to, forget really. some of these. There's too many buttons to do the thing I want to do. Too many buttons. Now, I wanted to pause here. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Yes. 15,000. Nearly 16,000. He's 16,000 XP. XP. He's only upgraded a couple things. It's not even yeah. easy to get him. The, the, the YouTube Let overlay me... is in the way for me. Is, is that 15,773? Yeah. 15, 15, yeah. yeah so only, here, let me guess. Let me guess. 000. I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to make a prediction. My prediction is that he's been bitching about the game's difficulty and how it's too hard. He is now going to upgrade everything in one <laughs> massive chunk, and then we'll complain that the game got too easy all of a sudden. Crazy. I don't know why you would say that. That, that's my, okay, that is my like, prediction. I haven't actually seen this. Can, so that's my prediction. Up, I guess. He just straight up upgrade everything, I is think. Is he even looking he at the... He's, he's, he's just them. buying them, he's not reading them. Buying them oh as my god. Well. Uh, Wait for it. He... Oh, she can go Valkyrie mode? Oh Man, my... That actually no. might have helped me. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think, yeah, the, abil you the abilities and upgrades helped might have helped. Huh, that might have helped. Weird. <laughs> if I had upgraded her, that might have actually helped me a little. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They want you to calm... If you played so many fucking games... How come you don't check for fucking updates? The most common thing in these kinds of games. Wh why would you? Pr why would you boast yourself? It's like, oh, I played so many games. Oh, I don't. I forgot there's an upgrade updated. menu. Whoops. Yeah, you, you I mean, the, the, the game menu. hardcore introduces it to you. You can't escape the yeah, tutorial like... for it. It's like this is here. Use it. 
add PD yeah, to the card. He's probably gonna say, mm, I, played for X I played for X amount of hours and I was super bored, so I didn't engage with the game. It's like, yeah, then get fucked. I don't know. Now, the, the, the complaint to make here is you can see a little bit, it's gone translucent. It says, Axe melee attacks against burning enemies deal bonus damage. Now, generally, like, if burning is, is if, if a word is either highlighted or in its own thing, it, it, it implies that there's a mechanic attached to it directly. But the complaint here is to ask, how much bonus damage? Why are you not telling me this? Why do you specifically say that mm -hmm. this thing does bonus damage, but you don't tell me how much? I I'm not a fool, game. I'm not an games. idiot. Tell me how much more damage. If it's 5%, I might not fucking bother. If it's 10, well, that's a the potentially big deal. Let me know. The numbers legitimately should determine whether or not I will mm -hmm. or will not take this ability. And I think that I hate it when gets games this. especially bad when it's like, would you like <clears throat> armor A or B? A makes it so enemies are slowed down when you dodge at the right time. B makes it so enemies take more damage after a roll. It's like, yeah, but how much more? How, how much? much time? Yeah. yeah. And it's like, I'm going to have to use them and find out. That's the only way I can, can do I it. Can I see my telemetry on how often I'm rolling? Um, it's kind of annoying. And uh, yeah, I agree. The blades and the axe. That's stupid. Or it's axe. stupid. Uh, Tell me why, you does more If you do the birdie <laughs> first. No one's ever doing that shit. No one's ever doing that. that see, even when you're done, like, max you damage, and that took like a shit ton of hits. Dude, this is too many moves. I'm gonna forget some of these. I don't want to have to like change well, one of my main I'm points. Slowly slowly over time. Well, not change it, but exactly. just say. Like, no. Instead of dropping a huge chunk of abilities on yourself at once, if you got them like one at a time and one at a you'd time, you'd learn them, yeah, and then use them. them. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly the reason that progression systems like this exist exactly. the way they do, mm -hmm. so they can drip feed you your move set. Shit ton of hits. Dude, this is too many moves. I'm gonna forget some of these. I don't wanna have to like change one of my main points of the video. Well, not change it, but just say like in the beginning of the game, enemies are too spongy, you know? He needs to just do a, He needs to do a full reset now. You need to restart the fucking game and pay attention to the actual moves you have so you can judge the difficulty. You've spent so long without upgrading anything and, now, and you don't even know what difficulty you were on. Well, yeah, like, this is like, you. It, your experience of the game up until that point is just like not apt. It just ain't. Yeah. It's not useful <laughs> because you played it in a way that's so bizarre. Because now I'm doing. You played this like a reviewer shouldn't play it. Oh, he this, like this clip, shows. right? So now that he's actually figured out how to use the um, the bonus damage on the axe, watch what happens here. <laughs> Oh hey, that looks really oh, useful. Down. Good. Jeez, oh, man, that is really guy good. Up. That is really good. Mm, oh, yeah, and it took him what all the way until Al uh, until Vanaheim to figure that out. Yeah, that's nuts. Good job, I video game attention. reviewer, going into this and no. tending to review it. That's my fault, not the game's fault. Oh my what? god! Now it can be said. It's uh, as someone to chat, it's pretty yeah. game judo of you. It is. Oh. This guy's a game judo, straight up. I mean, He's it only took him literally missing the upgrade system of the whole game to admit that some faults might be his. But I mean, we got there. Yeah. At the game, has to take it back now. You have to take. You have to apologize. I want to see. I'm sorry, synthetic man in the chat. I want to see it. That's not a DSP moment. That's the opposite. You du uh, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like opposite. DSP. I'm Holy not like DSP. Shit. I've never seen a man cope so much. I'm not like DSP. <laughs> You're saying I'm, I'm not... DSP for playing it on hard mode. I'm retards. Not Actual I'm retards, good. you guys. Oh, oh, like, chat, I, didn't, I didn't, cool. can't believe you guys are this dumb. I'm cool, I'm a real gamer, I, I, I'm not there's like DSP. Dumb people in the I'm chat, an elite apparently. hardcore gamer. I, the, I can't be like him, I make fun of him. <laughs> it's just like, and it's funny because like, I have DSP, but I think everyone does here and there. It's fine no, to admit to it, but sure. it is it's weird. It's just that all of our moments aren't DSP moments. I didn't have a DSP moment of, oh, there's an upgrades tree, fuck. Uh, oh, should have used it, maybe. In a modern AAA video game, there is a skill tree. Whoa, Why would I replay dude. the game? What are you talking Damn. about? I'm not gonna give it a higher score anyway. I don't like the combat. Yeah, I know, <laughs> but I feel like I'm not, <laughs> I will stubbornly not change. See, I was right well, all along, really. Well, do you understand? I was the right combat. all along. Right all along. Grading a criticism from the game, the enemies are spongy to 
hard mode is spongy is not nearly as much of a criticism against the game, you know? And I'm not going to play it again on normal to find out if it's not spongy on normal, you know what I mean? Also, your review is based on one single playthrough. That's good to know. And it's a balked playthrough. Yeah. Yeah, like, well, it was a good I mean, playthrough then... and you paid attention. Yeah, sure, maybe, yeah. Or keep your criticism focused on hard mode, then. Keep playing on hard. If, if you don't want to replay the game on normal, you can just say, yeah, I played this game on blank difficulty. Pretty much every review I've ever made, I usually will specify the difficulty I played on because I know that my experiences might sound like they're totally made up to someone who played on a different difficulty because they're like, that's not true. Yeah. That doesn't happen. It's like, okay, well... I guess I should have told you I'm on the highest difficulty, or the lowest one, you know? You just gotta be honest. I swear to God, I have to hit him or he'll blow up! But if another guy hits me while I'm recalling my axe, I can't block. Then don't recall your axe roll. when you're in fucking strike yeah. range, you roll. Roll. Just, just roll. The reward of the yeah. axe. The skill yeah. issue! The skill 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 issue! skill issue! Why did he? You should have just rolled. You. Oh my Come god! On. Don't blame oh, the game for your lag of skill. You haven't even played the game. <laughs> I love when I people don't maybe play blame the, the camera for that last one. one. That That's unblockable. The skill issue. The skill issue. The skill issue. You saw it. The skill issue. I'm never it's, still. Listen to this one. one. He thought he was bitter before. Dropping down to easy, BP Jordy. Play the game. Just play the fucking game. And every time you die, I want you to tell me. Tell me how many times you died. Record it. Write it down. <laughs> or you'll lie. Because your pathetic, weak ego on a lot. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, that's I scream my whole uh, one count of my deaths, that number would be high. God of <laughs> irony. Uh, like, it's I, okay. I'm really just kind of mashing my way through this at this point. Uh, he said, I'm kind of mashing my way through this. Yeah, this I heard. Yeah. Just letting you know. Good job. This is buddy. not the kind of guy you really care to have his opinion on in terms of how the combat works at that point. No. He didn't engage oh, with his the skill own. tree. He Puts mashes most of his points. He said, I'm min maxing for damage. It's like, you're not even listing the things that have damage but in But even there. reading the updates. Yeah, like, in, case, in case it's not apparent, the point of, be, of looking through all of this is like, man, the things that you say, like, but the way that you played it, man. Like, it's yeah, just, yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, there are it's, people it's who are tainted. like, you're judging a, a review video by stream clips, so that's like disingenuous, like, this is context. So the dude. reason why, the reason why it's worthwhile to see Dean Takahashi, like, playing Cuphead and not able to do any of, like, the most basic movements tutorial. in the tutorial is like, the dude, I can't, like, you're just not playing it the same way that I will. Like, you're it's actually worthless. stupid. You should not you ever be it. talking about video games. I, and nobody uh, would look at that and go, wow, you're actually looking at him, like, playing the tutorial rather than his review? Th that's him playing the game. That's him like, playing the game. That's what informs what he's talking about. That's him doing about. the thing that I informs like what he- yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've drawn, I've drawn more from his gameplay than his opinions. Hmm. There's- um, Let's see, let, let, let's rephrase that from his real opinions as opposed to his- his fake opinions that he- he tailors to a he different- wandered. I don't know. Yeah, there, kind of. There is an unfortunate reality that people don't like to acknowledge very much, I think, which is that generally mastery over a game correlates to an understanding of its mechanics quite strongly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And this is the thing. Uh, you watch Matthew Matosis' video of 2018, he understood exactly what this game was doing. Took the time. Clearly. Yep. What was really cool yep. about that video is it was evident he did multiple playthroughs just to find out about even the smallest of things, like um, whether or not Atreus' attitude changes when you do all side quests in the moment that he's angry and reckless he actually like went and found that out even even i was just like oh shit okay nice <laughs> like that's, that's <laughs> some good uh research uh pretty inconsistent like these guys are dying pretty fast partly because i had my fire up. <laughs> oh, well i mean okay <laughs> well, partly because well. i was engaging with the mechanics but you know the upgrades made the enemies inconsistently back. weaker like, the, the combat works, it's just, there's a lot of buttons for us. <laughs> no, no. Buttons. You Are you gonna be okay buttons? there, kiddo? Oh, no. Please, dude, don't forget to put that in your video, Sorry. my dude. Let people know you found it difficult because there was lots of buttons. This game yeah. has a lot of buttons. He's <laughs> never played an MMO. There's no way he's played an MMO. Now again, once you have runic attacks and all these different weapon buffs and things, that isn't really the case anymore. 
In fact, by the end of the game, I was pretty much just swapping between my three weapons, spamming the light and heavy runic attacks, and everything was dead. So the combat was still fun. This is not me, like, counteracting my previous... It sounds like you like it the most when it's the most mindless and described. Spammy, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it just... Flashy. I mean, maybe it's not true, but it's how you phrase it. It's really weird because I thought he was setting it for criticism there, and then he said it's really fun. It's like, mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 it is set up like a criticism. I was just swapping weapons and spamming abilities. Is it coming from the things worked out? Of, it's good when it feels most like a power fantasy. Maybe? I made that exact criticism earlier. I mentioned did, how yeah. Mola was mag dumping his runic attacks, yep. and that's yeah. what that kind of ah, devolved yeah. into. Statements I said is good. I just think the enemies have too much fucking health. I think in a full blown RPG, which I wouldn't consider this one. It is an action game with light RPG mechanics, but a full-blown RPG light? like Dragon's Dogma. I think that's fair. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, to agree yeah, with it. I think I'll say that. Too. Yeah. Which I actually played a little bit of directly after I finished this game on stream. In the early game, enemies do feel like they have too much health because your attack is too low, but that's built into the game's systems, so that once you're level 50 and have better gear, you can kill all those pussy ass enemies in one hit. There isn't really an equivalent in God of War. God of War expects you, you to saying? use the mechanics that they introduce. Um, so this is Pretty the thing. Gay. If you have, let's say, mechanic A, B, C, A just being regular moves, B being like some kind of variant that comes on top, and then C is like a cooldown move that's going to come up every once in a while that's really good. Uh, if they design it so that A, B, and C, or, or rather A is enough to, to nuke enemies, then A, B, and C players are going to be like, why is everything made of paper? Like you, you, you have to balance it so that the higher skill players are going to have the easiest time, more than likely. That's just how it goes. But that the lower skill players still, you know, you, you can't just let them get away with it. You're going to have to be like, look, you should be using the moves we've been giving you. If you're not, yeah, it's going to be tougher. Yep. There's only time during the game story where they purposely throw enemies with less health at you to make you feel powerful. And that was one of my favorite encounters uh, in the game. There it is. I just... <laughs> I just think Canada. that's really funny. That's like a self-report. <laughs> These stats attached to armor seem to have a very minor influence on your overall stats. Someone actually did testing for the original game and found this out, and it seems like they haven't changed anything. So the only things that matter are the passives, which range from incredibly situational to actually pretty damn good, and your overall gear level, which is by far the most important thing. One which is determined by your stats. Like it's overall yeah like saying that's the thing better. that actually matters it's like well but it's built of the other things yeah they it's go a together description of the numbers of the stats yeah at least for oh, give me yeah. god award difficulty oh sorry go ahead that was it all right I, I was saying at least for the give me god award difficulty the stats are so important that you'll find yourself being encouraged to equip new things you find instead of using resources to upgrade things just so you can equip the new thing and then use those resources to upgrade that one and maybe nudge yourself up into the next number tier because it actually it creates a significant difference in um in your survivability really because it, 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 the enemies will not only be at the level they're at when you begin combat on that mode but they can spontaneously level up unless you interrupt their animation so it's the, the the gear score becomes incredibly important in that difficulty. And uh, it's worth mentioning, like when you look into the the people who are trying to play this game at a high skill level, like they all talk about the stats, like what what runes, what runs, uh, sorry, what what builds you're going for, and they're not superfluous. What I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. not that that's a surprise at all. Of course they're not. They uh they actually unlock additional moves based on. How much you've got of the thing like of, of your regular move they did it in the 20 once again it feels like this game was designed primarily for casual gamers people who don't care <laughs> that's why you're about having such a tough time of it i don't mm. understand how you could say that after what we saw yeah it's because people who read who watch this review they're not expect he, you heard him say it he, he doesn't expect people i guess actually watch his streams and stuff and how he actually did yeah. stats or he numbers forgot that there's or... a record of all of his, his behavior on the internet that we could watch and download and save and review. You could maybe make this point, but the references would be completely different from what he's been providing. Because his about experience with the combat is alien. He can reach correct conclusions, but his workings are absolute bull. I don't even want to call the conclusion correct because of that, you know? I can but, see what you mean, yeah. Because yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you, you know what he's referring to isn't even what you're referring to. Mm -hmm. If I had upgraded her, that might have actually helped me a little. 
Oh, uh, they want yeah. you to combo <laughs> the blades and the axe. That's Reminding stupid. Dude, so there's just too many moves. I'm going to forget it's some stupid of these. To combo too your buttons. buttons to do the thing I want to do. You just equip the gear that has the highest number and move on. And the few people who do care, that gear is saved specifically for the end game. So it makes you question why the gear system the even exists. highest numbers are reserved for end like, game? Like, yeah. Duh. Yeah, of course. And then of course, like, yeah, like, it really makes you question. Like, idiot. You get plenty of armor options as you go through the game that are based on what you prefer to play with. I went with Runic, okay. and they bounced it so the Runic was less effective in this game, so I'm like... <laughs> There's a lot of end game content as well. Like, a lot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the answer is the same answer that you could give for any modern game that has crafting or a million side quests or activities scattered throughout the map. The AAA industry all copy off of each other. They see what works for one company and they steal some of those concepts and add it to their steal. game. Steal. They call it feature steal. creep, right? And while personally I hate... Well, no, feature not, creep describes a very you... specific thing. Huh. Yeah, that feature is not... Feature creep is when you gradually add little elements to a game like new mechanics or new design choices that amount over the course of a long time to a game that's very confused. I didn't rob that bank design. officer, that was feature creep. This, this game is not, like, hard to understand. It's like, the features aren't that extensive at all. No, not Why? really. I don't understand. Like it almost sounded like he agrees well, with that statement, but then he describes it as feature creep. It's like no. I think I he think he um phrase. Uh, yeah. In an effort to understand what he means, I think he might be comparing it to the old series, like the the previous Greek mythology trilogy that is more linear, straightforward movie type games. Whereas this one does. He have complains a bit more... about this one being a linear movie yeah, game. Yeah, I know. That's what was <laughs> what I was going to end with. Because yeah, it's like well, weird. he was talking about like well, it being hyper linear, but it's like. You're sort of complaining now that you have some flexibility in an end game to pursue if you really like the game and you don't want to just See, delete it when you finish the campaign and move on, you know? One of the great things about writing a script for a video is by comparison to those sort of offhand comments that you may make on a stream, you can like sort of go through them and curate them and then figure out if something that you say earlier contradicts something that you say later and then reconcile that contradiction rather than just leaving them in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, crap. I actually usually like RPG mechanics. They're just too bare bones in these last two games. So now that we've talked about combat pretty thoroughly, it's time. <laughs> hey, Theo, was that thorough? <laughs> 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 Not even close. Not you didn't even, even close, though. You didn't even talk about the combat. You described it and then said nonsense for like 20 minutes. Time we talk about level design. I mean, I just like I we, we've highlighted it before, but the idea that he thinks it's stupid that you should combo your weapons, like that's set that's such a small statement, but it's so indicative of how smooth brained he is that he thinks that's stupid. You know that 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 bit of mechanical complexity, which is barely you know complex, is the the concept of comboing your different weapons. That that he thinks that's stupid with no elaboration given whatsoever. What is he? Where does that come from? What do you gain from listening I'd to this? Love, I'd love to know how he reconciles that with the previous games, the Greek ones. Too late. Now we're finding out what he has to say about level design, which is a cop oh, it's like, wow. oof, that's a big topic. Let's see what you got. I don't know if we be a long it. section because the level design is very simple and exactly the same for every realm in the game. Stop me if you've heard this one before. It's a set of combat arenas connected with linear hallways. Everything that's in between a combat Always. encounter is either a puzzle or a minor optional little side pathway that has a treasure chest at the end. I know a shit ton of you are going to have no problem with this whatsoever. You might not even... Well, no, Why have you... So you are going to touch on the big open spaces though, like the big open spaces that the game yeah, provides you in the several realms. No, no, no. Have. No, those are just hit. Those are just disguised loading screens. Yeah. Uh, well, wow. he has to talk about them. They're such a huge part of the game. Like sure they eat will. up a large sure amount of will. that content. Sure, you'll come. Okay. It sounded like he said it was only corridors and combat arenas. Like, well, we know right, it's as more opposed than that, to big so. open Even... spaces where you go on your boat or your doggos take your sled around Midgard or uh, or the, the uh, Lake of Alpheim. Nine. Cannot be considered a combat arena with hallways. You yeah, cannot that, do that. Not, area is it's huge. Even Lake of nine loading screens. Then you have the Vanaheim section, <laughs> the whole fucking plane crater? you can go to. Uh, the crater, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That is 
I took I, hours. Yeah, I spent hours there doing stuff, and that's Even completely if... optional as well, by the way. Even Notice if that was true, that it's though, all... I'd still want more from the criticism. He needs, oh, he needs to be more. Than that. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what he does. All a bunch of linear hallways. But I just want to remind you that back when Final Fantasy 13 came out, everyone called it Final Hallway 13. I don't and care. What about it? Is truly it uncanny. Even, and then you're doesn't back even, in this scene. Uh, you cannot, <laughs> it doesn't, you cannot hit a, like I, I was about to call it a cutscene, but it's like, well, I guess because you can hold forward, that makes it slightly like soft cutscene, for lack of a better term. You can't refer to that as an example of what this game is in totality yeah. for mechanical exploration. What do you mean? Michael. Yeah? Try going right. I'm safe. I'm serene here. I can't... I can't go right. Hey, Michael. Yeah? Try going left. Get on with that. I can't go left. Hey, Michael. Yeah? The only piece I'm of artistry in this video was taken from someone else. Hmm. Yeah, uh, go watch John Tron's videos, they're really funny. We nearly yeah, each John Tron. I thought I was playing the game, John. But I've been using the wrong controller the whole time. And now this has become increasingly common. Yeah, that was just like somebody else's joke. And he was he didn't use it accurately. He he picks, And he didn't uh, know like, because yeah. in that case he was using the wrong controller, right? As opposed to you're not allowed to. So it doesn't even work. Yeah, it's just the botch joke. The sequence that he picked for it, like it's it's not it's not a situation in which you could be exploring if you wanted to. Like you are rowing down a narrow <laughs> canal, you know. It doesn't feature a sandbox. Now these last two God of War games have featured okay, so both, you are gonna... sort of, yeah. anyway. So, uh, sand... Sort of. Moving on. <laughs> let's, yeah, let's just see what he says. Boxes are just islands connected by a glorified loading screen. Ah, so <laughs> Wind Waker is- Wind, Wind, Wind Waker, Waker, I guess, is islands connected by a loading screen, or is it not? Jeez, oh, dude. I don't know what, what to say about this you... shit. Like... <laughs> Elden Ring? Question you mark? Your, your brain is melted. Any like open world <laughs> game where you move between big player spaces and largely Breath empty of spaces? Wild? Breath, Breath of the Wild. Of the Wild. Hey, look, right, that open world is just a loading screen yeah, between- it's just a loading the, screen. It's not the entire the point of the entire yeah. fucking- Both in Wind Waker and in no, this game, when you're out on the water, you can, like, grab treasures out of the water. <laughs> it's, there are things Those treasures, do. I think you mean grabbing loading screens in a box. Yes, loading. Yeah, like, <laughs> like grabbing soy. Because <laughs> the player is an active participant, just moving around the world can be some can be substantive. Oh. It doesn't need to be mechanically rigor rigorous. Just moving around in a fictional world like this, depending on art design and atmosphere and all that, that could be plenty. Is, journey is just exactly that yes. for the whole game. Journey's built off of that. Shadow of the Colossus mm -hmm. pulls it off between its boss fights. Mm -hmm. Again, the Souls games used to be really good at it. Look at all these gullible gamers in here. Oh yeah, we got, no. we got a lot of people. We're called grifters. <laughs> like it's so funny. I saw someone call us a, uh, sellouts as well because we're defending the game. Just you wait on the sellout. Oh, the topic. game that I didn't buy and then I got <laughs> no money for. Yeah, no, because <laughs> it can't be that we think it's good. That's an impossibility. Ah, uh, it's true. It's true. So all that different, but at least it has the illusion of exploration, right? Which is much better than the hallways. I'm not shitting on it. Well, it's it. not an illusion. What's, what's you are exploring at your own pace. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but how, yeah. Can, how can exploration ever be illusory? Either it's exploration or it's not. How can it be fake exploring? What does that even mean? Tell me what you mean. <laughs> if you see a treasure chest right across an invisible wall that you could just feasibly jump over, which of course you can't fucking jump in half of modern games either, which is just bizarre. Good. Feel you never jump in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I um, okay, I'll just go as far as saying, yeah, I, I I like it in games when they make justified reasons for why you couldn't get there. Yeah, pretty simply. Course. Yeah, but like this doesn't yeah. happen that often. I don't. I don't um, it's and, not the and first time ever. Thumbs up. Well, I think he's made, he's made, there's been some in concept that sound about right, but then when you get to the details, like, oh. Um, but by the way, this happens in all the other God of Wars too, I, so I'm just curious yeah. if you would maintain the criticism. I hope you would. Feels like a circle and a hallway in a circle in this game, and there's only so many ways I can complain about that before it gets tiresome. Just know that I'm not asking for another sandbox or open world. I'm just asking for a little bit more yeah. player interactivity. Like they did? 
Like in with this the, game, like that it seems very I mean, player I mean, interactive. Fighting the boss in the Alpha I'm open world. Yeah, so it's, it, 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 to me, you don't it's, have to it is the halfway slot between them. open world sandbox and linear hallways. It's it's the halfway point they've gone with. And so it is trying to be an adventure game more so than some other action adventure games. Clearly, yeah, it reminds me of uh, Gears Five, where you have the three different distinct sections where you get a vehicle. You could run around this big open area and do all of the side missions and side objectives if you want, which are worth doing. And well, then there's there are story sections I'm, that are more linear. I didn't finish Gears we, 4. That's making me want to play 5, though. If we want to talk about the Snoy games, like, there's a difference between the open world sections or, or like, open areas in God of War Ragnarok uh, compared to The Last of Us 2 when you get to Seattle. Mm. Like, one of these things is not like the other. The one in Ragnarok is more involved. There's more things to do that are worthwhile and interesting. Yeah, and as for the whole, like, you can jump in the OG, it's like, there are invisible walls, though. Aren't yeah, there's, like, played. legit invisible walls, yeah. So, you know, and that's, I'm pretty sure that's what he's referring to as the problem here. It's not, like, they could have jumping in this game and you still couldn't get to that chest because they're like, no, you, you have to get it to it a different way. I, I honestly think it's a, it's mostly a problem that's impossible to avoid with this perspective and camera system because it, it feels like you are much more, you know, in Kratos' shoes and able to do what he should be able to do when you've got this narrow a field of view. Yeah, yeah. Where the old style camera of, of like the original games, it, it's wide enough that when it's like, okay, the areas where you can move is here. These buildings over here are video game walls, and that's it because they like they can design it in a way where it doesn't have to look like a living, breathing world because you're very clearly looking at a fixed camera angle. But when you can look around like this, it's like, okay, well, why can't I go there? And it can be a little annoying. It's it's sort of why I don't like these games getting as uh, as detailed graphically as they're becoming because it seems like the the worlds are looking more alive than they actually are in some instances, and I, I kind of want things to be designed I mean, in a more video gamey way at times, you know? Yeah, Which is like fair. with so readability, you, right? Yeah, but the thing is like yeah. they still I remember streaming because it wasn't even that long ago, where they would be invisible walls in the God of War. I was just like, oh it looks like I could go no, okay, fine, that's fine. And I don't, you know, rant about how gaming is a disaster and that we need to make more options to play. <laughs> Instead I'm just like, yeah, that's so the invisible wall tells me I, I don't go here. Like, I don't know, it just seems like a relatively simple communication between me and the devs and i think it's a reasonable one because it's pretty much present in all games um, it's rare that you can get away with zero invisible walls mm -hmm. but you know hey congrats if you do a little bit more actual control over the game player choice right i know it's a bit of a no. meme term but when you re no go away with player choice so weird that he, uh, but he hasn't even highlighted how we lost choice. it though yeah, I don't know. Like, this is just something I feel very strongly about, where people always want more and more choice in games, when that's very much not necessarily a good thing. Uh, it's more complicated it's, than it's that. Yeah. yeah. If someone said like, "I should," your experience can be much more valuable sometimes. Someone said like, I, "I want to have a special ability in Tetris where I can shoot a gun at the blocks to remove some of them. It's on a cooldown. Like that would be more fun. Well, and I guess more uh... options." To give a, a a more likely one in reality, I want to have a stealth game where I can like actually engage in like really easy combat, like where I can just yeah. blow through the level and kill everything. It's like, well, maybe sometimes <laughs> it's worthwhile for a stealth game to be very focused on stealth. on the stealth mechanics, and the <laughs> combat is an option, but it's not a very good one. You have you to know, wonder that if that there might be a reason better. that combat doesn't work very well for you, because that means that you're not allowed to do it which means that the discovery portion of the stealth game is more punishing, which means you have mm -hmm. the stealth, which is what the game yep. is designed for. Someone said nice straw Whoa. man, nice straw crow. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, um, I'm not actually what talking about his opinion yeah, right uh, now. We're talking about examples of what you could say in yeah. relation to having more choice. Yeah, we're going off of Theo's thing. Yep. Did I we straw man Theo? I'm guy. sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was a... And Appeal to, I don't know, something. Some fallacy. Make one up. Fallacy, bro. I think the person in chat was paying not a lot of attention. Okay. Restrict my control heavily by putting invisible walls everywhere. It makes the game less That's fun. That's not a restriction Every of controls. Um, you, it's Options, don't fudge bro. them. That means you can't go to places that literally don't exist. But don't have world, anything because the devs <laughs> The devs didn't make that. So, you're really eager to get to a part of the map that 
doesn't exist. So that's part of it, right? Like that chest, for example, it's like, well, just keep an eye on where it was. There's only going to be so many ways to get to it. This isn't one of the ways they're allowing. Like, so, you yeah. know, is that exchange that difficult for you? Are you Can you survive it? I hope so. In that Free specific single. instance of, you know, there is an easier way that should physically be possible for my character to get to my goal, I can see how that might be a little bit vexing in the moment. Maybe, yeah. But for most other things where it's just, yeah, you can't go this way. Why would you want to go this way? There's nothing this way. I, I don't understand. There's no problem with that. Single time without exception. So we might as well talk about the puzzles too. Oh god, this Here fucking section. Go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I fucking hate the puzzles. Every single puzzle has the same exact solution. You look day. around Every the room. Every single puzzle has what? the same exact solution. I feel like oh. that's an incorrect thing to say. That's, that doesn't sound right. right. That doesn't this doesn't sound, right. sound I wanna, right to me. I just want to highlight like the opening of like, I don't like the puzzles. I think they're, they're bad. I, I feel like Theo would be like, <gasps> and then he goes, they're all the exact <laughs> same. You're like, oh. <laughs> no, you missed again somehow and you axe or you throw your blades that's Inner. it the difficulty ranges productive. from extremely easy and brain dead to weirdly difficult just because you miss something obvious or you forget well how if you miss something works. obvious you miss then whose fault is that a puzzle if you yeah. miss something odd, you don't phrase now, it like that if you're going to criticize the game. I will say, we went through how he criticized the combat and the sponginess and stuff, but then we found <laughs> out that he had no idea how any of it fucking worked. Now he's okay. saying this about the puzzles. Why don't we just check out how he solved the puzzles? I, oh, I feel God. like I feel like All that right. might be a good idea. Works. Made fun oh, of me okay. multiple times yeah, on the that's... streams because I forgot a simple mechanic like runic arrows can explode fire, how which made a puzzle journalist. way more difficult than it was supposed to be. Didn't understand the mechanics, so that's, that's good that he's admitted that. It'll be interesting to see what it was like on the stream. But the puzzles just feel completely pointless and like padding because they feel less like puzzles and more like a game of I Spy. What does that even... Oh, so, whatever. This is how he solved... I've sped this up because holy fuck, just watch what happens. Most of you, if you watch the playthrough of this game, are familiar with this puzzle. You just have to light the fire from the left and then use that lit fire to light the fire to the right of it. Yep. Let's see Being how it for goes. For some games journalism? I know where Right. Uh, Got one, sweet. Sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. No, go on. You can. It's not working. The problem is he's not familiar enough with the mechanics. Let's hope he can figure it out anyway. Yeah. I was so mad at myself when I saw the one that was behind you and like oh. up. <laughs> like, oh. Oh. Uh, wrong. Wrong hour. I think. Oh, that's that's fine. Keep that in mind. But we'll keep going. The green one. Yeah, it's the Sonic arrow. That's the green one. Yeah, it's. Uh... Even I know that from not playing the game. Where do we go? Go now. Yeah, someone in chat just told him you can oh. do that. He's he's about okay. to reach Sater and he's only just found out this is a thing. Uh, oh, oh my. I'm kind of wondering how he got through some of the other puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't you have to expand the sigils or couples in a few, like, mainline puzzles? His chat were very frustrated at this point. <laughs> they should be used to this if they normally watch him. And they're allowed to backseat him, apparently. How arrogant of them. Yeah. Uh, Someone said shoot middle pillar, then the missing flame, then directly the blue flame. That doesn't work. I, that doesn't work. 
That doesn't work. We've we've done this already. We've do I you can't. Oh no. It doesn't activate the flame. Look. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize you could do it with just one. <laughs> mm. I literally already no. did that. This is a Bob. This game is pissing oh, me you off. Didn't, you didn't wait, do no. that. Yeah, wait. This gets even better. Wait for it. It's pissing me off. It's pissing me off. It didn't work. You guys no. saw me shoot it like a, a few minutes ago. Miss? Sonic. That's a miss. Sonic, I literally yeah. did that already. I literally did Wrong, that already. Wrong one. Bullshit. Sonic. Well, yeah. oh, no. I mean, it wasn't an honest mistake. Just take the L and we're good, Game's right? bugged. <laughs> Bu buggy puzzle <laughs> mechanics <laughs> have well, nothing to do. Game is bugged, bro. <laughs> with there, with that's intelligence. That's like essential DSP. Yeah, that's, yeah, I don't understand how that's, that's just DSP. I don't know what that is. Everyone who kills about. me is a hacker, and every puzzle that I don't solve is bug. bugged. It's just funny to me when, when that happens to me in my chat. Yeah. My chat is like, no, you did this. And it's like, oh, really? No, that sucks. Well, I guess I need to do better next time. I, I usually just <laughs> that's say, like, like, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's I'm the recording. thing. In the moment, you can sometimes misread what you actually did. Oh, I do it all the time. Yeah. yeah like, cool. Especially, especially hey. when you're streaming. Yeah, especially when you the streaming. stream attacks is very real, and not a lot of people respect that it, it taxes your brain power. <laughs> what I think what a lot of gamers forget is that the vast majority of the time the game is working as intended. Yes, mm -hmm. glitches but happen, bugs happen. When but... I'm angry, yeah, I... exactly. I'm angry. And, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I hate, you know, hate like, it. I'm like Kratos. Okay. <laughs> There's no actual thinking involved. Look, I know in the original oh, Halo games it wasn't. No, we're gonna suddenly. have a look at another puzzle he solved. Isn't that much different? <laughs> Just replace I spy with block puzzles, and you have essentially the same oh. thing. Right? Now, what a weird, I what a weird way to have solved that puzzle. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, why did he solve the puzzle that way? I've got to see this in context. Right. <laughs> Okay, so it doesn't stay. So everything oh, at this point has worked so that when Kratos holds the wheel and moves it, it stays as long as you stay on the wheel. I don't know why he just said that. Isn't that in the first game too? It's all of these because... wheel puzzles. It's dependent yeah. on as soon as you... The puzzle they can do is like you open the door while turning the wheel. The second you let go of the wheel, the door will start closing. It's like, oh, I got to find a way to freeze it. But as long as you're holding the wheel, it'll stay. I don't know. Because you can hold the wheel with one hand and throw the axe with the other. Yeah, so let's see how this develops. Okay, okay. I actually don't know which way I'm supposed to be pointing this. I think I gotta turn it on first. All right, this is the Ooh, bathroom break. Why? Hey, wait a minute. What did Tia just say? Then why not hold it in place? Hold it in place. Hmm. They'll become relevant. You know, people have complained about the hand-holding dialogue. Oh, I mean, he had it right yeah. there, but he's knocked it back out. Oh, now you've seen by this point the crystals that you need to. The angle looks right. Okay, uh, now Atreus has pointed out that you've, I, you, I really you've got it there. Well, each of the NPCs has brought up the two things that you need to do. Tyr <laughs> brought up, Atreus Tyr just brought up the position. He like, just said. This game thinks you're so uh, stupid and it's yeah, still no, overestimating And it still is overestimating. <laughs> oh. Oh, what do we do? You know, it'd be great if I could just ask Atreus to hold this for me. I think that'd be You <laughs> can hold it. With, you, you can, can use your it. arm. I mean, for anybody who's unclear, you can for you. Kratos can hold this thing at three different levels. He's lowered it to the bottom. The reason that they have that as a potential is to give you false answers, right? You've got to figure out which is the correct one of all the combinations. Which angle, which mm -hmm. levitation. There is only one out of all the possibilities. As Tia and Atreus have just lined out, there's, there's an obvious one, but that's okay. Figure it out. 
I know he's just got to bounce the yeah. axe off what the purple that? bit. He knows that uh, Atreus is weak and pathetic. Sorry, hold on. What did you just say? Uh, yes, Atreus to hold this for me. I think that'd be cool. I mean, I know he's weak and pathetic, but uh, uh, he kick your I ass. Like that's that. for sure. Uh, you good? Last I time he was in Alpha, he was okay? murdered a whole bunch okay? of dark elves solo. <laughs> Got some uh, get it. issues I want to talk about? Like, Jesus. You can see from She's the reflection that it ain't, it ain't right. We... But what do we do, Fringy? They already said. What do we do? I literally yeah, can't yeah, do 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 uh, Obviously, you can't. But it won't Maybe if reach. I throw a heavy but throw or knock it slightly. No. Look, hmm. I, I can't get the angle up enough. 200 hmm. IQ. <laughs> <laughs> there, I, the game is about to call me a retard. I know it, and I, I'm not, not, not just the game. Not just the game. <laughs> you keep spinning this. Why would you do that? Hmm, maybe if I just spin it. You know, by this point in the game, that the axe will reflect and bounce off of that surface. I mean, th this is how can you it, do that if it's facing in the opposite I direction? Up. To see this man play pole. Oh wait a minute! You know, maybe I'm supposed <laughs> yeah, to. Oh go. god! Oh. And just time it. Oh, oh no! Why? Yeah, yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> that's what you're supposed that's to do. That's what you're supposed yeah, yeah, to that. do. Can I just do it from here? No. Why Not would there? you be able to do it from there? What's the point of the wheel? <laughs> that's where you can do it from. No. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you gotta time it. Damn it. Alright. I told you you could hold it in place! So he found this balked solution instead of just doing the most obvious and simplistic thing, Look, but they've told him how. It for a second there when he was... Oh, you got it. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a little impressed. That I can't believe he got it to work that way, yeah, especially... I gotta change the, a line uh, in my script because of that, because I say there's one solution to every puzzle. Apparently I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, good job. <laughs> That's thinking outside the box, I suppose. But yeah, so Why the reason you need to see this is to think about this in context of what he describes the puzzles as, like brainless, you know? Like, hmm. Mm. Yes. There's all thinking involved. But there were not way too many stream, puzzles in this game. Yes, some were just optional Norn chests. But do you really think I'm going to ignore this loot right in front of me? No. The game is... Tw so, there's too many puzzles. Yes, they provide loot, but I'm not going to ignore them because because I like loot. I don't understand. Uh, I mean, like you're you choosing to engage with them, yeah. You're yeah, choosing to you, There's a puzzle on offer. If you complete it, you get a reward. That's how that works. But you don't have to long. do it. You might call that player choice. Yeah. <laughs> Why the hell do you need this many this puzzles, This is the consequence man. of wanting choice. Why do you need Wait. this many puzzles? You're complaining that there's more stuff to do? I don't understand. I don't want like, more content. Yeah, okay. like this... this uh, you can complain there's too many if they're really bad, but you've not really done a good job of that. You just said they're all exactly no. the same, which they're clearly not. You could and it makes not try and not. raise something like... I don't know, maybe if there was more different ways of acquiring secrets or, you know, cool. things like this. Yeah. Like, no sense. And that's not even mentioning the backseat gaming from the NPCs. Every Which single one didn't of the even story work in your case. <laughs> this story is so yeah. funny knowing that in content. Because <laughs> this is the criticism that everyone agrees with, but it's so funny that it didn't work for him. Mandatory puzzles. One of the characters will literally give you the solution if you take too long. Which doesn't sound so bad, right? Except... How long do you think is too long? Just take a guess. It's less than whatever you think it is. It's like one minute, dude. There have been several. I think, uh, I think so why, why would? You, why did he include that footage in his review? I don't. Is know. it specifically because he? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not bit, sure. Because. Well, I, I was just gonna say that I actually would go further than what he said. I'd say some of them blurt out the yeah. solutions just as you arrive at a puzzle. It's ridiculous. Oh, sometimes sometimes they just go like. Hey, here's this, and like, huh? What's happening? I'm still over here checking oh, out this it, place. It, it, I think what we have to do is get up over there, over there, and then throw the axe at this thing. Uh, okay, thanks, yeah, Atreus. Um, it's really worth highlighting, by the way. We've been trying to talk about this on different streams, but like, why does this level of handholding exist? Well, they watch players play the game and get stuck on puzzles for ages, and so they're like, "Fuck, we need to do something because this is not working." Players who just forget the mechanics. Or well, they don't understand that you need to turn the thing and lead it to the middle slot. But you have characters say it, and then you get other players who are like, why the fuck are my characters saying this? 
like I said, I think the solution is that make it make it optional. In fact, I you should make yeah. it you can turn on. It should be off by default. But yeah, um, there are players in the world made this happen. Not pointing fingers, okay? <laughs> like I'm just saying. <laughs> Several puzzles in the game where I was actively in the middle of solving it, and the character told me what to do. It ah, pissed me off so it. goddamn much. Fire for something. Can you turn it somehow? Yeah, I can turn it, but I don't. I haven't even figured out the puzzle yet, woman. Give me a second. You swing that torch to the woman. Other Shush. The Shush. I'm gonna kill you. Ten out ten. <laughs> if babies, you told you exactly what to do. <laughs> Yeah, you should appreciate what the that, hell? I imagine. Shut <laughs> up! What are you doing? Uh, oh my god. Uh, listen, I've had my retard moments during these last few streams. I'm not- I won't pretend I didn't. What? Stop. 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 I'm putting this in the video. I'm putting this in the fucking video. This is- uh, No, you can't defend this. You, you can't doing? defend what this. What is he trying to and do? you want to know- What are you doing? Okay. Why the developers did this? You'll never believe it. It's because of Dark Side Phil, uh, DSP. Oh. And if you don't know who it is, it's not worth well, explaining. I think they've blown him out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As, if, as if nobody. We all, we all know <laughs> that's him. <laughs> that's DSP. <laughs> oh, this is, uh, this is a shadowy segment. Uh, Frank. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, that, some guy. Yeah. It would well, be so say... easy to just get a black JPEG and put it over him, <laughs> but they went through the trouble yep. to box out an area to blow that everyone can know, tell. You know. He's one of the worst <laughs> gamers of all time. He is notoriously horrible at every video game he plays. You're way more successful Rated than you, him. I bet. So what you're telling me, adult men are actually like all fully men are adults. actually retarded. Like we're we're talking unironically. Man. Your your brain doesn't fucking work. Why not simply <laughs> hold it in place? <laughs> <laughs> There's almost no actual thinking involved, <laughs> and they fucking designed their game around him of all people. So designed now it's it around, finally time yeah, specifically to specifically around this. him. Oh, yeah. story! Around oh, wow. story time, everybody. We're, we're done with finally the, the story. Story oh, time! So Yay. Wait, we're done. Wait, we're done with mechanics. We are done. I that guess. Was, so. was, yeah. If anything, that was getting he me. was extensively thorough. Okay. It's amazing how little I learned. I've yes. been more. Thorough. I learned more about myself <laughs> than anything else. <laughs> it's been a I played the game. I've been more thorough. Well, maybe it's because you're soy. Maybe. Ah, very maybe. true. Story, as you can tell by how much is left of the video, I had a lot to say, and most of it is not positive. As uh -oh. hard as I tried up until this point to be as fair as I possibly could. Oh, <laughs> of course, fair. definitely. Fair. Right? Okay. Possibly so getting very true. So this is the part where it's not fair anymore. That's, yeah, that's what go. I got. <laughs> this is Game. where the bad okay. faith train boards at the station. <laughs> this is about where that stops. I fucking hated this story. I honestly Boo. struggled to think of anything I actually liked about it. Any and I mean really? anything. And there's a really? reason that non-Sony fans call these games movie games, because they really are fucking fans. movies. The thing is, I'm actually what? fine with, if you want to categorize them that way, just as long as we're clear on what that means. It means maybe that there's a focus on the story and there's lots of cutscenes. If you want to call them movie games, sure. I, just don't, I don't know why we've decided that genre, if you want to call it that, is automatic fail. Like, oh, that's weird. It's a whole conversation to be had. I'm fine with the idea that people want more gameplay in their games. There's a shit ton of gameplay in these games. So I, I just... I'm not quite sure I understand that. Movies. 70% of this game is some type of cutscene. Seven. Uh, that's no way. Seventy percent. No wait, did he say, did he say seventy percent? Seven to some type of cutscene. These games, movie that's games, because they really They're... are fucking movies. Seventy percent of this game is some type of. Me reading chat, not looking at the screen. You so you're not even paying you... attention to the dialogue. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, okay. That's because like, he's based. <laughs> out of out of curiosity, because I, I did watch a playthrough of it, a long play of this, right? Out of curiosity, do you think if you were going to speed run this game with the express point of getting to the end as fast as you could, that you could get to seventy percent? Um, I don't think I, I don't see. Surely well, not. If, if he thinks so. that some scene is Mimir talking to you while you're like running around. Yeah, he would like say if that, that gets. But even then, 
you, yeah, even then, you, you've got plenty of combat to deal with, so I don't, I just don't agree. I, I think that's absurd. And that you say, well, I don't know. It's just like whenever you go to like the Vanaheim hub or the Alfheim hub, it's like, dude, game? that's like 90%, like just Game doing play. stuff, yeah. like yeah. fighting enemies, doing Remember puzzles the, and whatnot. The crazy thing I that mean, I found, uh, the metal, you have the same experience, right? When you go to the first area in Alfheim, uh, the first. The Hafkafa area, you you fight like four big bosses in a row. You're like, holy shit! Like I didn't yeah. even like. You have sure. the, the <clears throat> you have that big Drake thing that apparently is easier when you have the, the spear, spear because yeah. it has like the uh, I'm missing the word. The little glowy areas, the weak spots. Weak spots was the word I was looking for. Um, then you have Maven. Yeah, he's in there. Uh, you have the runic fella. Right, one. yeah, the runic boy, uh, um, and who, who else do we well, get here? That's the entire probably a hateful. The half hateful yeah, you have a hateful there as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's just there's a shit ton to do, um, and and that's for every realm with like that sort of approach. Obviously, it doesn't count like Jotunheim and uh, Alf, uh, Asgard. Seventy percent is oh, yeah, not I thought he was spent. I thought he was like, I was going to say, like, maybe he's just exaggerating, but then, like, he just is kind of doubling down on it. It's actually well, what do you think your playthroughs were in terms of, like, gameplay to story? We're talking, like, 80-20? I don't know, 80, 20? I, I, I don't know how I could figure that out off the, off the top of my head, but, yeah, like, I'm it's, not, it's I, a lot I'm of gameplay. I don't know what to say. I would go I'm probably at, like, 90% gameplay. Yeah, I was going to say probably 80% yeah. of my playthrough was gameplay, yeah. The difficulty I played on, though, I spent a lot of time fighting the same enemy until I had it figured out, and um, every I almost didn't think of it as a game that was overloading me with cutscenes either, because it, they always felt like a bit of a rest. Like it was like, oh okay, let's yes, see a lot of a lot of games cutscenes are like that, where you just like take a little breather, um, learn a bit about the story, appreciate yeah. you know the you know stuff they put in. Blanking game. I'm sad that you're still streaming this. Well, I have to play the whole game, so I figured, eh, I'll still stream it while while I feel like streaming. I think at a certain point, I probably will stop just because, uh, I mean, you guys, I'm going to run out of rea- The only major reactions after a certain point are just going to be to uh, story moments, and those are going to be few and far in between the exploration gameplay. Um. Oh, no, no. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Uh oh. Oopsie. Oopsie. Seventy percent of this game is some type of cutscene. Seventy percent is not spent actually playing the fucking game. That's Story just a lie. Lies. And those are gonna be few and far in between the exploration Whatever. gameplay. Down to some of the quick time events not even being real quick time events, as in you cannot fail them. Okay, you don't want me to hit the prompt, right? Oh no, you have infinite time, don't you? <laughs> yeah, oh my god. 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, 12 out of 10. Every every game Sony makes is a fucking masterpiece. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Sony good, didn't good make Sony. this. They published it, right? Yeah. Uh, no, they, they, well, I mean, Santa Monica Studio. Santa is, Monica is, is Sony. It's Sony. It okay. Just give it, give it a sec, yeah. though. We're almost, we're almost through. Sure. Yo, I got your back. Yep. Mm. A QTE would be mm -hmm. defined quick time event, meaning you have to press the thing, you have to do the thing within a limited time. This is not a limited time. They want you to understand you have to press square to activate Angraboda. So it's like a tutorial. That's yep. what we call a tutorial. Hey, yeah. guess what? Atreus has a companion character now that you can use to to launch attacks. Yeah, so like you can complain about the nature of this tutorial if you wish to, but this isn't a QTE. There are QTEs in the game. If you fail them, you die. Like, the obvious ones would be the intro with uh, uh, Freya. If you fail any of them, you die. Metal mm -hmm. actually got murdered by her. It was Grizzly. Yeah, yeah. sorry, everybody. X-Ray Girl um, is playing um, Dark Tide with Adam Krigler and Az, and, um, yeah, no, she's she's losing, I think. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Like, this just... I, I just don't get it. I'm just like, you know, this is clearly the game trying to teach you something that's about to happen as a new mechanic. 
Normally, I would never spend over half a video talking about this story, but when over half the game is the story, I fear lie. I have no choice. Lie. It's a lie. <laughs> it's a lie. It's just, I, a, it's I've just a fucking it a lie. Times. It's it really just feels a like lie. The story. Well, and just, it, uh, I'll let this play for itself, actually. Half a video talking about. Like, I don't know what the fuck Ooh. is even. I, I like. Smell something. I don't know what Could our goal is Maybe going into Ragnarok. You know, like, what, what are we Jesus attempting Christ. to achieve? before Ragnarok, you know? He has no idea what is happening in this story, and you might be like, oh, Mubshly, you're being mean. I'm like, very well. I will let the references speak for themselves. So, so, oh, none what? of it's good. None of the story is good. So, here we <laughs> go, the complete story mm. breakdown of God of War Ragnarok. So, Ragnarok is a direct sequel to the last one, to no surprise, but there has been a time skip. I think it's an undefined amount of time, so I'll just assume oh, it's four over. years. Mm. Atreus has hit puberty. And no, that's not a specific plot point, but it might as well be. It doesn't... <laughs> it's not a specific plot point, but it might as well be. What do you mean when you say these I don't words? Even... I have no idea what to make of that statement. I really don't. It doesn't even matter because despite literally being given a waifu, he doesn't show any sexual interest in her whatsoever. What? Like, Should? Okay. Well, this uh -huh. is, so, this is like, I don't even this agree is, with that. Um, this is weird. Uh, not to yeah, mention, this they is just weird. met and they are, they are young, my dude. You well, good, yeah, bro? They are 13 also. You okay? They are young. Let's not. What you thinking about in that head of yours? <laughs> what, yeah. you, what you thinking about? Oh, let's not go there yet. That's fine. He definitely shows Child, romantic well. interest in her, if that's what he meant, really. Like, to, to say that he doesn't show it romantic doesn't even matter. interest in Angraboda, I don't think is accurate. I don't even, yeah, I would say I don't even think that's true. He clearly is trying to get her to like him in, in that sequence. Because despite literally being given a waifu, he doesn't show any sexual interest in her whatsoever. Yeah. She's a child, bro. They're the last two of the species, it, dude, and it's ancient Norse. Okay, someone educate this blank slate. I don't this is, these are ancient times uh, that the fucking age of consent right. didn't exist. Oh no, this is weird. This is really oh, weird. That's really uh, weird. That's this is this no, is like dude. this is weird. This is the kind of thing that lefties on Twitch wouldn't want us to talk about. Let's just put it that way. I, uh, <laughs> remember, I said the combat was the best arguments. Okay, we're what out of that era fuck? now. We're into the other era. This Anybody who had weird pedo talk on their bingo card, you can mark that one off. Good for it you. turns out uh, in the time between games, Atreus and Kratos have literally just been hiding in their house, waiting for the world to end. I wish exactly I was true. fucking joking. But Boy, yes, John despite an apocalyptic name. winter coming to Midgard, the heroes do nothing. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. I just wish Atreus were not so restless. I care only for your safety. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. We have suffered enough. I think that's pretty clear. Yep. Yes, despite an apocalyptic winter coming to Midgard, the heroes do nothing. They should be Dude, hitting the Kratos snow with their axes. Kratos literally fucking says it in the game. They're training for when the gods eventually find where they're hiding out and attack them. They're not doing nothing. Oh, they trained. Oh, so what are the results of their labor? If they were training so hard, wouldn't they start with more abilities than they had in the last game? <laughs> oh, they wouldn't start bad. at level <laughs> one with- So, crazy, oh. but you don't get new magical abilities just by training your training. strength, agility, speed, and target practice. Uh, Atreus- I, walk, I, I go walking every other day, so that one day I'll, I'll get a magical ability. As the the any thing day about now. this is that it, yeah. it just- it helps the potential lunar narrative dissonance of 
why are my characters still, like, what have they been doing this whole time? Why is Atreus better than he was in the previous game? Just, you know, questions you don't typically find asked, but you can ask them. Like, well, they've, they've maintained all of their skills uh, at the base level by training. They've been training hard. And there's lots of references to, to this in the game, not only as a response to grief, but also just Atreus being like, we've been training every single day. We, we do nothing but train, because Kratos is pretty sure he's going to die. So now he needs to speed up getting Atreus ready to take on the world on his own. Uh, you you wouldn't expect them to just suddenly develop new ability like like obviously Kratos is gonna find them. Funnily enough, I, I, you, you know you get a new ability with with Atreus transforming into a bear at the beginning of mm -hmm. the game. Well, mm -hmm. There you go. But training isn't what leads to that. It's just age. Don't, with level don't get one, him talking about that, Mahler. Oh yeah. Equipment, right? <laughs> They wouldn't just stick with the same equipment and abilities if they were training so well, Training doesn't just generate equipment. And yeah. they lost their equipment over Fimble Winter. And they, yeah. they've kept to themselves. They didn't even speak to Brock and Sindri at all. Mm -hmm. Except, of course, Atreus sneaking up. Hard for three years, right? It turns out that Freya has been trying to kill Kratos for the last four years, but despite knowing exactly where he lives, she somehow uh -oh. has failed every time. Despite mm. the game trying to tell mm. us that Freya is totally a threat, guys, she's a super badass. She could probably even take Kratos. Well, I mean, she is a god. She, she is, is a god. really, yeah. she's yeah. really she's, good at yeah. a lot of stuff. Queen of the Vanir, Queen of the Valkyries. In yeah. the previous game, she's unlocked the warrior spirit. She can attack people again. She couldn't attack yeah, anybody in the 2018 game. Also, um, Kratos is actively but trying of course, to not kill her. Yeah, but and also, it's, it's, of yeah, course, it's show cave around the house. Weird to show this clip as like, see, like, uh, she could apparently beat us, and it's like, well, so Critters isn't attacking her the second he finds out she's Freya. Yep. Which is honestly something I really mm. fucking liked. I just like that she masks herself up so that he'll finally attack Prompt her. Prompt him to fight. Yeah. yeah, and as soon as he finds out it's her, it's like, oh, no, we're not doing this. And then um, a lot of people are saying the stave. Well, so it's kind of confusing what his point is, right? He's like, she knows where they live, and yet she's only, like, accomplished this. Like, well, knowing where they live isn't really that useful. They, they, she's got to wait well, until no, they're outside uh, of the stave. In and they area. could go in any number of directions, yeah, and also it's, it's winter. Like, visibility is reduced. It's yeah, so, so you've got... How would this play out? You've got one person who knows there's a big sphere that she can't get into, and that they can exit at any point in any direction. She's got to find a way to attack them, so... Yeah, she's she's running around, she's keeping an eye, and when she finds them, she attacks them. And she does it in kind of probably what is a pretty good way, right? They're rushing to the stave, she goes bird form, then into warrior form, and stabs him. Like, it's... She gets, she gets a pretty good strike on him, too. She gets pretty yeah. close at the beginning, yeah. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Mm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Maybe you should try listening to the video before you make presumptuous comments like this. At hey no point did I say Freya should break into their front door and challenge Kratos directly, or kill him in his sleep, I guess. How does that make any sense? The point is, she could easily plan a better assassination than fly in bird form from above and try to get a surprise attack. It in. nearly works. It, it, not only does it nearly, it work, nearly what, work, what plan are you suggesting? What is what? Is, what plan? She's got to set it up so that she can account for them exiting at any point in any way at any time. She's a person who sleeps, by the way. Yes, of course. There's that rest. So I don't know. Especially after like years of attempts. Freya is a super powerful mage and warrior, aka a Mary Sue. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We're gonna have to have a discussion on okay. Mary Sue. Okay. Yeah, uh oh. Oh god. Oh, yeah, you. That means. Mm. If you're strong and a woman, you are a Mary Sue. Oh no. Okay. I don't know about Mary that one, my Kratos dude. Kratos is a mage and warrior. Runic attacks are magic. It's the. Well, yeah. You're right. Kratos is incredibly Kratos is powerful, a Gary Stu. mage and warrior. So, but I'm sure it's fine. They're both gods. Yes, she could do? Really? Now I understand why everybody makes three-hour videos these days, because unless you explain every point you make in detail, someone will attempt a gotcha instead of- You still haven't given a good argument, though. Yeah, still, no. even in your clarification, you've got nothing. Applying yeah. any critical thinking. Why do you think Freya had only two options? And yeah, I don't think- She used a good option. I don't understand. It nearly works. Yeah. You like, are you actually suggesting she maybe lays, like, the equivalent of 
I don't know, caltrops around the entire place and just hopes one day that Kratos stabs them and bleeds to death. Like, I actually really don't know what you want. He needs to be hyper aware of every possible exit instead of just trying to reach them at different parts of the day, hoping they're out hunting. I don't understand. I think I need to this comment any further. I think I put it pretty oh, succinctly here. Oh, yeah, did you? Yeah, that's now? what you yeah. did. Yes, yeah, you said you that the strong body, women are Mary Sue's very succinct. The problem isn't that she didn't show up at their front door to attack them. It's that she had no plan and didn't use... He had a well, plan. What do you mean she didn't have a plan? She found them and then attacked them. That is her yeah. plan. Her vast magical ability to assist her in some way. Well, what? I mean, turning into what a bird way? for starters. Like, that's one way to do it. Fly around. Turn into a bird. Ambush you know, while they're an avalanche. Yeah, she does use her magical there abilities. There was the You're avalanche, right. yeah. That's right. So the story really begins with Fenrir dying. Fenrir. You consider this the first <laughs> of many Ryan Johnson-esque subversion moments in this Oh, uh, I fucking what? hate it. in the actual fuck? <laughs> this is a Ryan, Ryan Johnson moment. Fenrir dying is a Ryan Johnson subversion? <laughs> that is... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I should laugh or cry right now. That's <laughs> what? Because bizarre. if you know anything one. about Ragnarok from actual Norse mythology, you know Fenrir is a big part of it. That's... The game also tries really hard to tug at your heartstrings here, but we literally just met this wolf. We've never He's seen him. He's a dog. He's a dog. So you know, and, and Atreus cares about him, and we know who he is. This is interesting. There's a uh, reason why whenever you want to establish someone's evil instantly, you have them do something bad to a dog. To a dog, yeah. That's why in every commercial, but I often instead of having kids of, in the commercial, you have a dog because they're super relatable. I mean, it's literally man's best friend. But, so but by the way, like are. to actually emphasize the important point is the reason why it's worthwhile to have a moment like this is because what matters most is how Atreus reacts to it because he's a character who we know. We know who he is, and we know what he values, and this is going to be important for him. That's like the important part, more so than the fact that Fenrir dies. And half the fucking game is about him maturing as a person and finding out what he wants to do with his life and whatnot. Well, yeah, because we couldn't mm -hmm. be as explicit when we were doing the breakdowns so it was chronological, but this is, of course, supposed to set up why Atreus makes the choices he does in regards to Kratos coming close to death. He starts making pretty reckless yep. decisions because he wants to absolutely prevent it. He doesn't handle death well. He doesn't like it when people love dies. Mm -hmm. It's pretty common for a lot of humans. But I will go as far as saying this is plot relevance. It it hits Kratos yes. and Atreus in a specific way. I yeah. guess the game is relying on the fact that you probably like animals that are cute and friendly. Uh, and so when That's they die, it's sad. Bet. It's a safe bet. Safe well, bet. with this guy, you but never know. I think the Liking killer argument, of course, soy. is that I'm waiting for him to do his God of War 1 review when he says, why would I care that Kratos killed his wife and child? I've never met them. I never even saw a conversation <laughs> oh, with them. Oh, yeah, the very true. Is. Why should I feel anything? I don't know them. <laughs> why should I feel anything? <laughs> yeah, basically. Balked ass argument, man. Before doesn't work. Description for this man, he's balked uh, ass argument. Sony sucks so goddamn hard now. Oh, definitely. Yes, we will kill the dog in the beginning of the story to hook you. What is this it's accent? Like, we don't, we, Why did we, you we, get we, up on the accent halfway through? The accent and then gave up, yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's not Were you trying to do like a Nazi? Yeah, yeah, so yes, like a Nazi, yeah. we will kill the dog in order to oh, make the Americans very upset at us, yes. Like, what the hell? Very true. Some metal sounds. Why is, why Sony, is Sony sucks hanging? so goddamn hard now. Yes, we will kill the dog in the beginning of the story to hook yeah, you. Yeah, he, he realized like, his mistake. He it just wasn't so like, what? what he he the evil Nazi accent. He's like, 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 maybe he's trying to be Herman Hulk. As we all know. Any expression in his eyes, you'd be able to see that, oh no, this is cringe. It bought the bought. What's weird is that he thinks that Sony is notoriously German. I think uh, Herman Holtz <laughs> is the president of Sony Worldwide Studios right now, and I think he's Dutch. So maybe maybe he's trying to impersonate him. No, I think he, just was, too, I think he I was just being stupid. I think, oh, I think he just doesn't know what he was doing. I, I had we to reach see the dog. Though. And fucking soy boy weirdos don't even like dogs anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I guess I'm not That was a pretty red pilled thing to say. I Very agree. true. The only party Literal... that cares about dogs is Wait, the GOP. Very true. <laughs> I, I don't understand his point there, though. If he says soy boy weirdos don't like dogs, he's saying, why he's did, saying this is why built for soy boy weirdos, scene? and so why would you make it that way? He hates it for really oh, okay. good based reasons, like I don't know this dog. 
the um, Ryan Johnson level of subversion after all. Yeah, but meanwhile he's saying, wow, you built this for soy people, and soy people don't even like dogs, so. You're just throwing <laughs> shit at the wall and seeing what <laughs> sticks. Like, that's all that's happening here. And being a person, though, that doesn't know a whole lot about Norse mythology, but does understand that Fenrir plays a very significant part in Ragnarok, I, I saw that death scene, and it was very sad, but part of me was like, yeah, this dog's not out of the story yet. Though. I didn't think like, he was out of the story. I was confused as to how they were going to bring him back. And then, of course, I was like, uh... Yeah, well, the, the thing is, he's saying it's a subversion. Like, oh, guess what? Fenrir's dead. I'm like, did you really... Did you really think that that's what they were doing? I, you know what? I'm willing <laughs> to concede it is a subversion. Um, but like yeah. subversion is bad. Subversions aren't bad. Yeah, subversions aren't bad. Yeah. <laughs> Brian Johnson might have tainted that term, but the thing isn't actually bad. Really, the funny minutes are one giant cutscene. You don't even really get to play the game unless you count engaging with a quick time event and moving the analog stick left or right as gameplay. But we're done with mechanics. Atreus runs off into the woods. Kratos chases him. Turns out he can now turn right, into man, animals. Yes, too. the biggest character development for Atreus is that he is now a furry. And so that's Kratos. Not, first uh, off, that's not character development. Learning that you have a new power is not attribute. character yeah. development. I, I'm willing like to like a new ability. I'm willing yeah. to read that joke, though. Unless he's talking about becoming a furry and that's Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's like some meme or something. Becoming maybe. a furry. That's not also not a Speaks to character development. If it is, it's horrifically negative. <laughs> <laughs> now determined his son can't be trusted since he can't control his emotions or something. Remember this plot What's point something? for later. What's then something? Odin uh -huh. and Thor okay. finally show up, and honestly, the game could have just started here. And this is the second but then we would have yeah, yeah. we, we missed out on we even started that thing with the trash as being relevant to the plot. And well, of course, you, Fenrir. The Fenrir too. stuff, the Freya stuff? How is all of this Freya? not relevant? We We're achieving. It. Also manages to be a you know slower. And I say slower, but there is you know the big chase sequence. But yeah. it's a slower reintroduction rather than you know you're back into the God of War games to see what happens next. And yeah, Thor's just right at your door immediately. Seems the point a bit abrupt. of subversion. Hey, Doctor Zeus just... story. Thor at the is... door. Wait, is there more <laughs> subversion? Uh oh, hold on. White God of War 2018, building up Odin and especially Thor as being like these badass, super powerful guys. Odin looks like a frail old man and sounds. Uh, no, oh, in, in how about those appearances? They build mm. up Odin as a liar, just just absolute conniving <clears throat> piece of shit that's gonna basically try and make deals, try and uh, show interest in people, but then backstab them every time. All of Mamiya's stories, all the commentary we find about him is basically how he just fucks everyone over. Yep. Um, it, 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 we, we don't get a story about this incredibly powerful paragon of a man who just annihilates everyone in his path. It's a little bit. It, you make you, you wonder sometimes what, what he's referencing. You, you might describe Odin's appearance and demeanor as disarming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like a soil salesman. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. How do you not read Red Boss from that over Snake Oil? But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Odin is meant to look old and frail. He's not the MCU version. He's meant to be deceiving and manipulative. I don't even necessarily disagree with this. It's more just a wider statement about how the Norse gods are all kind of pathetic rednecks. What? what? Pathetic <laughs> rednecks? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> good sir, I'm oh, a redneck yeah. fucking expert, and <laughs> these are not rednecks. If I walked outside and instead of seeing rednecks every day, I saw these people, I'd be like, what the fuck? There must, there must be something in the water that I didn't get it out of. Because damn. At the game, make a statement that even the gods are human. Look, they have human flaws, which makes them more relatable. Why do it's characters what old have to be relatable? Why? Yeah. I don't, yeah, this isn't even Greek like, new. tragedy. They are relatable. They'll often have flaws. I don't know why we're treating this like it's some crazy idea they came up with is trying to make a statement that have to be relatable. Isn't it more refreshing to have, have to some be? divine supreme being that is no, hard to understand sucks. because they've always been better than everyone else? <laughs> no. Not even Why? Like uh, theological no. fucking okay. issues. Not no, the, absolutely not. Even the even the uh, original God of Wars, they I mean, they had Pandora's box release flaws into like Zeus's was fear, I think. He like yeah. feared everything and it made him 
uh, so like obsessed with control. That's that's like what his story was in the OG trilogy. So I'm curious what example he would give, like for it's better when a god is just better than everyone else. Like, okay, that's fun and interesting. Is he just talking about not even character characters design? or anything? Other than like JRPG bosses, I can't think of anything. Well, he's uh, like I'm actually I'm asking for a clarification. Is he only talking about the character design right now, or is he talking, talking about, about characterization? Talking about their characters, like all, uh, okay. them as characters. Specifically. Yeah, because he's talking about how, like, obviously he's referring to like uh, Thor being an alcoholic, press person. So yeah, he's no, like, Zeus that makes is... it more relatable. Boo. Zeus is far from being portrayed as a perfect, omnipotent, omniscient paragon of goodness in the original. Well, so that's the thing. I don't know what he's, he'd be he's counter referring to. You know what? What is he? What is he looking for? No. Human. Well, look at it just quickly. So that's why I was like, oh, character design, maybe. <clears throat> While we're at it, I find this quite interesting as a comparison to how he described Freya and the criteria by which he deemed her a Mary Sue. Oh, you're right. Yeah, she she by yeah. his criteria oh. would fit the one he's want once. Better than yeah, everyone. That, yeah. I wonder if there's a deeper reason he doesn't like Freya. <laughs> huh, I wonder yeah. what that might be. Uh, I couldn't like even speculate. I insane, couldn't. You're crazy. Oh, they you're overthinking it if you don't know the reason. I promise you're overthinking it. <laughs> makes them more relatable. <laughs> Why do characters have to be relatable? Why do gods, of all things, have you to know be what? relatable? I hope he never gives like a GDQ talk or anything <laughs> about game design. It's like well, the opposite person. Why? Why would you want to tell stories? Why would you want to uh, characterize your characters? Why would you want to do these things? Fuck all that. Kill civilians for health. I think uh, I'm. I'm willing to. <laughs> I, I think that his mentality is coming from an overcorrection from like. Why would you make Luke Skywalker a pathetic old man? But Luke Skywalker is was relatable saying, in the OG. Like, no, no, I, I'm talking about um, like the Last Jedi. No, I know, but I'm saying that he was already relatable. You can't like mm -hmm. say like, ah, I don't like we've gone so far into relate. Re relatability as well is is a really weird thing to criticize because you yeah. got like like it's just universally considered a, a boon to your characters if they're relatable. And that's kind of what I mean. I think I think what he's talking about is an overcorrection past hey good writing into one dimensional and very simple characterization good and i don't, I don't know the I thing is agree. one dimensional character if, yeah, yeah if they're yeah a lot absolutely of what media can. does a lot of what storytelling does is point to and just demonstrate artistically parts of the human condition and experience yeah. that's the entire yeah. point for a lot of it mm -hmm. isn't it Refreshing to have some divine supreme being that is hard to understand because they've always been better than everyone else. Be kind no. of like how they wrote Heimdall, actually. <laughs> which oh. is <laughs> <laughs> Heimdall is not better than everyone else. He is definitely not better than everyone else. Uh, he's a vicious little shit. Uh, the funny thing about it is that uh, there's relatability to Heimdall as well. Yeah, he is. He is. Like, it's one of the things we talked about in our coverage, like, his big thing is that he doesn't like being at the mercy of others. He yeah, wants he, to be in control. He gets himself killed him because fast. someone is sparing him. And he's too prideful, yeah. Yeah, his pride is absolutely his downfall. He is pretty flawed. He can also always see everyone's intention, so he's kind of in a situation where he's like, no, fuck you, I know exactly what you're planning. Like, his personality actually makes a lot of sense. Oh yeah, I'm a big fan of how he's characterized, but I wouldn't mm. describe him as an example of someone who's unrelatable. This no, problem is my favorite character. Having the gods oh. all be losers oh, is just kind of depressing. Losers. I don't know. Uh, Which a god's loser, a loser? Guys. Odin's a loser. <laughs> no. He loses, it so. feels deeply got, cynical, like, even in a way that's so hard for me to comprehend. Deeply cynical? Being relatable is now deeply cynical? Maybe okay. if you're... Having flaws? Um, the way this game ends. Cynical. I mean, isn't God uh -huh. of War Three's ending way more cynical than either of these? Yeah, everything dies. <laughs> it's just like the, the ending uh, of this game was significantly fixed. more hopeful than I ever thought it was going to be before I played it. Yeah, and but I don't think most people think about it that way. They just like the fact that the gods are human, just like us. Well, I I just like characters, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, cool. yeah, I like when stories oh, present me with characters with personalities and arcs and journeys and motivation. You know, just that sort of thing. I, I'm just kind of a fan. I sort of like it. 
it's better than oh evil bad guys evil wants to destroy world kill evil bad guys like yeah well okay all right yeah i guess we better do that you know i do live here don't my stuff hate here. it and some people have implied that he's supposed to be a Trump allegory, but I will give Who the developers that? the benefit. crazy person in your <laughs> chat? Is that what you it's heard funny, that? It's funny he says some that ever. people. Some people. Obviously, he would have said, like, I think, if he believed it, but he doesn't. Some people have made this claim. I don't know who. Benefit of the doubt this I time. I don't and know. just say have. he's supposed to be some This was worth putting in my review. Let's, let's maybe see anybody who has... Fascist smooth talker, I guess. Oh, no. There's always a choice! Why are we best talking to him? The plan was to kill him. They literally said this. It, in the story, the plan to was stop. to kill him. You can choose to be better. Oh, my God. No, Cringe. No, there's what no choose to be better. I Fuck off. What happens next? It's not choosing. <laughs> okay. We'll never stop. Why did they make Odin's vocals similar to Trump? Um, what? No. In what way? It's a perfect really? allegory for Trump. You know, it the character who's constantly seeking the truth of the universe. And has access to oh, almost yeah. all of knowledge. It's access like, to all knowledge. The imposter. <laughs> it was you. Yeah, uh, just, just, you know, you gotta let it play, though. Full I context, okay? We'll never stop. Why did they make Odin's vocals similar to Trump? Um, I don't know. Why would they? Weird. Here in Asgard, we have the best well, ravens. <laughs> I'm sure we would paid the price. Classic. We have all the knowledge here. She is a monster. Nice. Also, this Odin man bad shit is, is like, reaching Odin meme man levels. is bad! It's like, the Odin that's talking to Atreus is like, nice old man dude. He's acting <laughs> he's like, you know, he fell for it, man. He, he fell, fell for it. it. I was gonna that say, insane. there's what? so much stupid shit in this one clip. It's so hard we to gotta, pass out. He just We gotta take this pink point by point. First of all, they're sad that Neathog is dead, right? Because she was used by Odin as a protection for the roots when she's supposed to be a force for good in this world. They're, they're commenting on how, lamenting that. And then he goes, she is a monster. Simple as that. <laughs> like, <laughs> It's like, okay, sure. And then, uh... It, this is typical fake news from Midgard. <laughs> <laughs> Man bad shit is, is like, reaching meme levels. Where it's wall, like, the, the Odin people. that's talking to Atreus is, like, a nice old man dude who's acting like, you know, an uncle or a grandpa. And then the game yeah, constantly tells that? you how horrible he is. He really is, like, the Trump of this game. So, right. so oh he's... Oh, my God. I can't believe he... He... I, it, he... He, he actually it. bought into it, yeah. Yeah. yeah he so bought into the- So when he point, says- He drank some, the Odin Kool-Aid. Some people Odin make this claim. <laughs> I wonder who fucking is making the claim. And yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, Odin tricked him. Which is pretty neat. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'd but say it's a compliment to, to the writing. you to know that Odin was yeah. tricking you. I mean, the whole point uh, was that he was tricking you. I mentioned it in the first scene, how that first scene with- The first stream, sorry. The first scene with Odin is becoming like a barometer for people's ability to recall information and detect subtext. I think Odin just in general is that, rather than that scene, actually. Yeah, um, the fact that he's like, he's this kindly old man. Why is everyone saying he's bad? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god. He's so nice. And then the game yeah, is this, just a tour uh, through all of the things that Odin is ruining, you know? Odin is super... Like, it, by his own admission, the things he's willing to do to get truth, the people that he sacrificed, and the, the, the people he let die and who put in the way, like, it's... It, you're, you're supposed to walk away from the game with the understanding that Odin is a very, very bad man in pursuit of his goals. Yeah. And the fact that he could... You know, he he did his act with Atreus, essentially. I mean, the, the fact that it fooled this guy. What a moron. And some hide that he's supposed to be a Trump allegory, but I will give the developers the benefit of the doubt this what, time. What happened? Some hmm. people have implied... It sucks that I'm too honest. It really sucks <laughs> that I'm too honest. <laughs> okay. Man. I'm just yeah. too cool. He's just too honest, man. Thor is a fat fuck alcoholic oh, who god. has daddy issues. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Here's the thing. Oh. Thor is a fat fuck alcoholic with daddy issues. Let's explore that, shall we? Can we can we get a little bit more deeper no. than just a, a very casual um, denigrating description of the character and maybe get into why he is those things potentially. No. And no. Even, even to precede that, you remember the bit at the start of the game where he kicks your ass? No. Yes. 
No, um, wait, no, he doesn't, no. That, he's a fat fuck alcoholic with daddy issues, because the game <laughs> oh. is woke, soy to bay, cuck, lib. Snoy. Snoy, yeah. snoy, 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 snoy. Fucking cuck snoy. Cuck of more like. Why? It sucks that I'm too honest. It really sucks yeah, it really that I'm does. too honest. <laughs> Thor is a fat fuck alcoholic. That's the thing, that's like the backhanded compliment to yourself in a way. It's like, oh, I'm just... If only I just, it, it's like, uh, if I, if I was just, if only I wasn't so honest, if, you know, I, I guess I could, I, I, I'm, I, I'm I too generous of a lover, you know, something like that. If I wasn't just such a good person, if I was just a bit less good of a person, you know? Man. Who has daddy issues. We don't learn most of that until later, but we might as well get it out of the way now. And God, I just fucking hate this design. Anyone who says he looks like a strong man has never actually seen a strong man. Even Eddie Hall at his fattest had more muscle definition than this. What the fuck are you talking about? There's a lot of strong men that look like Thor. Odin came to than this. What the Is this not- is he not retarded? You can't see yeah, the that, difference between so nice. these two pictures! Uh, they, they're pretty darn similar, my dude. I don't is, know if to tell you. All you need to know is that there is a method in which you become very fucking strong and you get body types that look like Thor, if he punched you, you're done. Yeah. Yeah. So to say, like, he doesn't look anything like, he doesn't look strong at all, it's just like, because he, he will in a second. It's like, well, pretty sure he looks strong as fuck. And the guy said he looks like strong men. And I, I, I think that's fair as a. But the, the thing you gotta take into account is we're not supposed to be comparing him to literal strong man winners, basically top of the line strong men. We should instead be comparing him to a strong man with several years, if not hundreds, of depression and alcoholism. Mm -hmm. Might end up looking something like he looks now. Still strong, not as strong as his prime, and not as toned as his prime, but a guy that could fucking thrash you. You put that in your- you put it in your fucking video! Yeah, because they look kind of similar. Yeah. Oh, do those look like the same picture to you? This is like the meme. This is the- it's like they, the opposite of the meme, close, actually. Yeah. Oh, this- this guy's retarded. This guy's actually blind and Man. retarded. I, I can't. I can't. That's fucking, a lot of our bombs, dude. I, I'm. I'm. He's very triggered. You'll be right. Man, yeah, I, oh, I, look triggered. at his oh, chest. Dude, look, even look at the up. arms. Yes, his arms are covered well, in there, but still, the point. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Well then. Okay. Yeah. Nailed it. Is, are you fucking? And lots of strong man, and he literally just shows Eddie Hall, which was the fattest. Eddie Hall. So he's a bulked up like example? 430 pounds for that or something like that. And at six two, six two and a half. Again, you don't know what you're talking about, but you okay. pretend you do. They do look the close, fucking though. Dunning Kruger. I mean, all things it is is considered. Why they do look kind of close. Uh, the Dunning Kruger <laughs> card. The DK card. All righty. Pissing me I off. The me arrogance. People say I'm arrogant. Yeah, but it why would they well. say that? <laughs> <laughs> At least I know what I'm talking why. about. Like, holy shit, this is just embarrassing. This, again, same picture. Same picture. No, not same. They're, like. they're, they're pretty similar. I they're mean, similarities. Like, you are coping if you don't see Similar anymore. enough. Yeah. yeah, all you need to do is just prove, yeah, he looks similar to those who compete in strongman competitions. Therefore, I believe that he can hit me and kill me. Yes. Picture. Looks like the same thing. Oh my! But people who don't yeah, lift, people who don't lift, will tell you this is this. Is, I don't All see right. the difference. It looks like the same guy. That looks pretty. Similar. They just I'm made about the he, Nordic gods he, a bunch of like trailer park <laughs> trash. They're all rednecks. Like, I don't know what you mean by that. Sense. Wait, wait, Russ. Wait for his. Wait for his assumption on the motivation. Fence. I don't know, because white white people bad or something. I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> what are you no. talking about? Wow. Is that why he's people, been saying it through As that? much as I agree oh. that white people are bad, I don't think very true. Yes. saying. I agree. White people are pretty bad. I just white wish they were overt about it. Yeah. They're too overt. <laughs> I give up. Yeah, I know you're feeling bad. I know. Subvert your expectations. Directed expectations by Ryan Johnson. Subverted. Directed by Ryan like, Johnson. <laughs> The subversion of expectations that white people are, you know, they're kind of multi, you know, dimensional in terms we of We hate rednecks, okay? <laughs> I just don't out. know where he gets the redneck. I want an explanation as to why you see the well, characters in this game and you think rednecks. rednecks. Yeah, only rednecks oh, drink. It's oh, drinking. yes, that's right. Oh, sick. I'm having a Wait, beer so right now. Wait, so one of them was an alcoholic? One of them was a fat alcoholic.
Okay. Whatever, I'm wasting too much time on this. Basically, Odin came to offer peace. Kratos refuses, which might as well be a declaration of war. No. Just keep that in mind for later. Oh, no. And he so actually, you get your first mm -hmm. huge boss battle with Thor, it. which actually was really fun. One of the most fun parts of the game, for sure. Very similar to the first game where you fight Baldur in the beginning. And we also find out during that conversation that Atreus somehow was sneaking off during the in-between years searching for tear in the other what do you mean somehow he probably used well, he probably used his legs <laughs> so you yeah, got I don't, no. legs that's a good start <laughs> night good time start and sindri of the back. all of these were pretty useful tools uh sindri makes I, it clear that he was helping him as whole well. i've seen this sentiment going around a lot people saying things like kratos could have said yes but like been insincere but i don't understand how people think that conversation goes uh, past that point. Like, do they think Odin just goes, well, all right, then, and walks out the door? I think it's that, pretty that... fucking simple. Uh, we've been told about all the ways that Odin subverts deals. He ain't making a deal with this guy. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's a false Odin piece, found right? out. Like, or at least from Kratos' perspective. Absolutely. And then, so, like, of course, there's the Freya in... angle as well. In yeah, like, what, what, is, what does Odin mean when he says, like, we're gonna deal with Freya? It's like, what are you, what are you gonna do? Are and gonna keeping in mind... Kratos' perspective on Freya, and that he doesn't want harm to come to her because she saved Atreus. He's just not accepting that deal. It's not a declaration of war. It's a false peace. It's not a deal that he would ever accept. Yeah. Like, just who he is, he would never accept that deal. There's no real utility that comes from accepting that deal at all. At and, a more and, and, base level, in that scene itself, Mimir says, if he tells you snow is white, he's lying. That's, that's as far as it goes. The... No. Then you can never ever trust him on anything. As and Kratos made a deal Trump with a god Trump. once, it didn't go well. It's no, so it fucking yeah. weird though, because how do they? I don't understand how they see the rest of that conversation going from that perspective. Like, do they honestly think that Odin would just be like, "Yeah, okay, cool," and then they leave, and then nothing else happens? Actually, it was somehow was sneaking off during the in-between years, searching for Tyr in the other realms. And of course, Odin found out as he has spies everywhere. So Kratos eventually decides, okay, son, let's go look for Tyr. Which they put off for no reason, by the way. That was so obviously the setup of the previous game. Why do they keep- Not at all the setup of the previous game. Mm -hmm. the the, we are told t about Tyr, and you could assume in a meta level, maybe we'll meet Tyr in the next game, but there is no reason for Kratos to pursue Tyr at the end of the yep. team game. None of Keep trying to make Kratos the reluctant protagonist, and honestly, the truth is, he's not even really the real protagonist of this game. Atreus is, and you play Stop. as a... <laughs> um, they're they're uh, both. Uh, they're, they're both the protagonists It's weird the because game. there are so many decisions that are made by Kratos, like, including the one you just had on screen. Atreus says... Thor and Odin have attacked, and they know where we are. I know a way that we might be able to stop them. Can I show you? And then he ends it with, sir. And then Kratos mm -hmm. goes, all right, show me. <clears throat> That's Kratos' decision. That's Atreus' suggestion. Atreus yep. for roughly half the game, and his gameplay segments are the worst. Uh, not half the game. No, no not, not even, even close. close. I don't know why you would ever... Well, wait, a, wait a second. Half the... I, if 70% of the game is story, <laughs> then how can half <laughs> of the game be Atreus? I guess he means half of the 70%, got... so 35% of the game is Atreus, which is absolutely a fucking lie. I yeah. need a spreadsheet to understand this fucking review. Absolutely fucking brain chart. dead. It basically turns the game into a third-person shooter, where you just Why charge up mechanics? elemental arrows, and then charge up normal... Why does he denigrate it by saying just a third-person shooter? I don't know. Well, use it. He's not making Organize any good arguments. Script. Oh, yeah. He's just telling us what it is. He, he needs to make arguments. Normal arrows in the game... Better is such a generous aim assist that you don't even feel like you're playing the fucking game. You can turn it off in the menu. You can, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's this? Oh, oh, oh. oh, well, there you go. It's literally the first <laughs> one. It's the first one. Axe. How did you do that? I purposely didn't talk about Atreus during the combat section because it would be purely negative. Even on hard mode, really his negative? segments were completely you're, now you're talking about it. dead. I think I only died one time, and it's because I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah get on with I it. can believe that. I just... I can believe, yeah, I can believe yeah. it. Anyway, so way, rather anticlimactically, you find Tyr in Spartalfheim, the dwarf realm, 
And Ryan Johnson subversion number three. Stop. The God of War it. is a fucking <laughs> pussy. And he does absolutely nothing <laughs> for the most of the story. Of Dang, I wonder why that is. <laughs> he does absolutely nothing About to that. help the heroes. <laughs> yeah. He does do something. He does. Let's go look at that prophecy, guys. Hmm. Let's go. Let's now, do obviously, it. those of you who finished the game know why. And in retrospect, okay. it is slightly justified. Oh, Lightly. fuck off. Slightly. 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 Fuck off. Slightly. Holy what is fuckle. What is very justified in his world? Literally like, a different human guy, being. Like, I don't even... You could have someone who's gonna... shape-shifting who is a completely different character subverting all of the other characters using sneakiness and guile and cunning is only a slight explanation. What the fuck is a, a big explanation? I don't Western. understand. Like he, he's like, it's slightly justified that he's not the god of war by not being the god of war. Yeah, <laughs> slightly. I don't get it. That's <clears throat> fucking nuts to me. Slightly justified when it's an entirely different character pretending to be him. Even god considering the twist, this still comes across like the developers spitting in the face of the player because they spent what? so much time building up tier in the last game. That as a diplomat. Uh as a man yeah. who made peace with everyone. Yeah, because everybody game did you play? loved him. This is what I mean. All the characters believed that he was who he was based on what they knew and what he'd been through. They wrote it that way on purpose. When we Odin played the part pretty damn well. We finally yeah. meet him, he's fucking worthless. God killer. The giants are, were, very private people. Odin dies. She lied. A meal fit for a champion? I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, don't call me that. They stole Dropnir. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refuse that deal. Yet he honored it. I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it! What did it show you? I feel like th the whole tear being Odin the whole time thing, uh, they came up with, like, later. I, I don't think that was the original uh, idea. No way. no way! No way! No, no way. way! It's so but deliberate. Entire... And hell, even if they did later on, it's yeah. seamless. Good fucking job. I was just about <laughs> yeah. to say, if that they came with it later me. on, nice. Good job, guys. Yeah, that's that That would shock me if they did. How If if that's the case, that it wasn't meant to be this way, how was... If Tyr was supposed to be Tyr, how was, how was his character supposed to exit the story? Yeah. Like, that would have... Maybe he just dies. Uh... Because it's pretty important that Tyr exit the story for, for the ending that they have yes. in this game. That's my I theory. Because yeah. Ori Balrog didn't direct this one for whatever reason. I think... I think that was a change in direction. Then in the next section of the game, the characters don't really know what to do. And one of the major themes of the game reveals itself being that Kratos is an overprotective father, and despite being the god of war, he doesn't want war, which actually doesn't make any uh, sense given god of war. I, want war. So, I, uh, I, yeah. so he does understand, right, like, one of the major themes of this game about not being defined by, like, fate or the expectations of the world or the role that you've always filled and that you can make those choices about who one you want to be. The god of war. You know, you can make, we make our own destiny, god but no, he's the Therefore, he's meant to like war. When in 2018, the game that came out years ago, like, w that I presume, I don't know if he hates it or likes it or whatever, like, one of the things that they tried to build throughout that game was that Tyr is, is an interesting, like, sort of uh, non-typical god of war, and that he's loved by everybody and was, like, a peace broker and went out there and, and just was well-regarded as, like, oh, a peaceful wow. person. Ah, right. So he, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, Neil Cockman, yes. Ryan Johnson. Yes. Directed so by Ryan Johnson. Bro. At the beginning of the game refuses Odin's offering of peace. Seriously, somebody explain this. He doesn't want war, yet he refused peace. You can't have it both ways. Uh, I, okay, so I'm filtered. 
I must know there is a deal of peace for our inaction. If I did not have yeah. better counsel, I would have been tempted to take it. His threat to Freya made this impossible. She may persist as a danger, but to ally against her with her former husband is unacceptable. That's that's it. You've got yes. both reasons there. Do not trust him because of the counsel from Mimir, and he's yes, threatening he's Freya. Him. I will not have yeah. Harm the terms are unacceptable. These are unacceptable terms. Yeah, but he's already there highlighted he probably wouldn't. Like, he may have found it acceptable, if not for the fact that Mimir has said, do not trust anything from this man. Exactly, and he has no reason to distrust Mimir. He's a bro. He's, all, he, he's only helped them. Mm-hmm. At no point did I imply Kratos should trust Odin. That would make no sense. But Why you knew you that. Wait, but well, but that that you can't you can't say can you, that can you, because if can you make a deal with somebody without any trust, the whole point mm -hmm. is that you trust that they're gonna hold up. The, the only deal, way yeah. that you would the only way that you would make a deal with someone and expect them to go against it is if you were the one being untrustworthy. So it would be the same thing just for the other person's yeah. like is the, direction. Is the argument that he should make the deal and subvert it anyway? Like, how does he expect to do that? Well, but like, what does it look doesn't... like to subvert that deal? But then and if, that's if, a, if we're on the table operating as though Odin will subvert it and we will subvert it, then Kratos is just not going to accept what? the deal. Yeah, what's the point? Like, at that point, if everybody's just working to subvert it anyway, you might as well cut the pretense. <laughs> this is no, there's no deal happening here. And besides, it's just out of character for Kratos. He doesn't do that shit. Yeah, which is the yeah. really fundamental thing, which is that Kratos is honest. He's, like, quite honest. You knew knew that, but it's easier to attack one of the weaker arguments what do you mean of the you video knew I knew instead what? of defend no, well, against well, my more the point better. Yeah, Just say that make in the fucking video, man. Just make the point better. Yeah. Significant oh, criticisms. Yeah. That said, I will concede I didn't explain my point here very well, oh, so I'll explain then what it was better. Meant to do? If Kratos Wait, truly lying? wanted to avoid <laughs> bloodshed, he had only one choice. Accept the peace treaty. That doesn't mean he has to trust Odin, or let Freya die. Obviously, he would have to find a way to avoid Odin's ravens, so but ideally, he would try then. to... He's this is... subverting the deal. Dude, how fucking desperate is this? He yeah. has to avoid Odin's ravens, and he has to then <laughs> go and save Freya, despite the fact that she Somehow. wants to kill him. Yeah. Yeah. What is this plan? I just hope like, that he doesn't encounter Odin or Thor, like, in any stage while he's he's immediately he's betrayed this. the deal. Yeah, like, yeah. what is this? Save Freya immediately after accepting the treaty, and she still wouldn't forgive him, but it would be a step in the right direction. But why? Now, she I... might just kill him. Yeah, this is not a step <laughs> in the right direction. Refuse She's the deal. She's hellbent, yeah, this is... You would... If you were... If you went to Freya, and tried to convince her of each side of this deal, which one would, would it be easier to convince her of if your position was that you didn't want to kill her, right? Especially after, right after she tries to kill you, if anything, if you go to Freya after she tries to kill you, fails again, and then she learns that you have taken up on a deal with her evil ex-husband for the purpose of him dealing with her, quote-unquote, then that would yeah, only look like an act of aggression against her. What happens if she help. finds out first? Exactly. It's over. If of she course, finds she's out only going first, to assume. Yeah, she's going to keep trying to kill you, which in and of itself won't change, but it will make it way more difficult for you to broker any kind of a peace and come to an understanding with her. Exactly, because one of the things that is the breakthrough, one of the many things, is the fact that Kratos considers her like a friend, or at least Imagine that she was a friend, so no harm will come to her. Yeah, I'm not going to kill her. Imagine he ran up to Freya and said, listen to me, listen, don't, don't attack me. I've made a deal with Odin and he's going to try and kill you. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I mean, even more simply, she saved Atreus' life in, in the previous well, game. So that's, uh, that's, imagine, enough. that's enough right Imagine there. the conversation, though. Like It was like Theo said, how does the conversation play out? He says, yes, okay, tell me where Freya is. Do you know where she is? I'll go kill her right now. What is Kratos meant to do yeah. when he says that? Like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna tell you. And then he's like, alright, stay here with Thor, I'll go get her. He's screwed. Like, <laughs> like, what's his plan meant to be after he says yes? And how is he meant to execute that plan? And why is that necessarily better than him doing what he would do in character? Yeah. 
Obviously, you would have to rewrite a lot of the plot to make this work. Yeah, you would have you to rewrite like story. huge swaths of it, actually. Yeah. yeah. Still work in the tear twist so Odin would know of Kratos breaking the treaty. Then Odin would pretend to not know to get Atreus to complete the mask. It's not a perfect fix, but at least Kratos wouldn't be constantly moaning about not wanting war. Oh you can, God. so it's these are not offensive. mutually, these are not mutually exclusive. You can complain about, you can say, I don't want war while not having to accept ridiculously unfair terms from liars about like going to war or not. No, it's binary. Like they're not mutually exclusive. It's not binary. Like, well, it leads to war. Therefore you want war. It's like, well, it could be that he doesn't, there's certain lines he doesn't want to cross. Like well, it's pretty I'm straightforward. Yeah, because even if the terms are fair, and you could argue that, like, hey, if you leave us alone, we'll solve your Freya problem for you, that doesn't mean that they're acceptable to you. Like, you'd be like, okay, that's that's one for one, us not killing you for you stopping Freya from killing us. It's like, okay, maybe that's fair, but still no. I don't care enough to make a video rewriting the plot, but I'm sure someone on this platform will. So the point I'm trying to get at here is that I didn't actually care whether or not Kratos accepted the treaty. You... My point was, he's what? constantly bitching and moaning about not wanting war as the god of war. Uh, Stop why? saying a... that. It's so not, not, this a is a, not an this argument. Is, it's, a, it's like a child. It's listening to a child. He's the god of war. Why doesn't he want war? And then the parents have to explain to him how like words and thoughts work, and then they understand it. Yeah. Like I, this is legitimately baffling to me, as if being a god of war—it's not some prescriptive thing that oh, I am the god of war, therefore I must behave a certain way. I can't not be that way. I am the god of war. You know, one of the major points of Ryan Johnson-esque subversion Stop in the story. Oh my in god! If, if I don't get it, it's Ryan Johnson. <laughs> He's coming for me, Ryan's. But I don't like it. I used to get accused of people back in the day of being obsessed with Ryan Johnson. I was just sitting here like, I mean, some people are, I guess. <laughs> I've already complimented his directing skill. I fucking love what the work he did for Breaking Bad. Like, I, I just, I don't even know what to make of this shit yeah. anymore. I'm just like, Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johnson, Ryan Johnson. And it just gets annoying and repetitive and tiresome after a while. And so he doesn't trust Atreus off on his own because, yeah, he's only a teenager. But Atreus sneaks off anyway to go try and make peace with Freya. And this whole plotline's fucking stupid. They killed her son. Mm. There's no fucking way Freya would ever team up with Kratos. <laughs> well, but so, oh my okay, so God. like you missed the whole story. Well, you can't think of anything. You can't think of any reason why well, that so, might happen. You don't even have to think because the game explains to you and what yeah, would possibly be I, called I, excruciating detail. I would go as far mm -hmm. as saying they were overt. When you get to the Norn section, which he's played, it literally plays to Freya in front of her, her killing her own son. What do you think her perspective on Baldur's death is? That she's responsible for and it. how is she dealing with her grief? By taking it out on Kratos. Very straightforward storytelling. I haven't even played the game! <laughs> like, come on. I just, I just listened, I just watched someone else play it and I paid attention to the character shit. But hopefully they do convince her way later. But for now, of course, she refused. If only there was like a step-by-step -step yeah. pathway to getting to that point. Like when you mm -hmm. fight her in her Valkyrie form, essentially, that's that like first big step to where they're not like buddies yet, but they're working together. And then you have all of the dialogue through Vanaheim and all that stuff. And da 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 da. Hubby says all this, this is disregarding the fact that Kratos and Atreus had this exact conversation. Because Atreus it's, is still it's, hopeful about this. There's so much work they put in. So sad to see him yeah. be like, they killed her son, she shouldn't forgive them. Does make sense. Yeah, Atreus is like, yeah, but why can't she just, you know, get over it, kind of, less callously put. But yeah, and then she even says to Kratos, how could you expect me to just move on? I've been, like, given so much fucking damage, and, uh... All of <laughs> this is extensively addressed, okay? I just don't know what else to say. And she kills Atreus, and I was absolutely rooting for her at this part. Do you what? Hate, dude? Oh, Why? You really, hey. Do it. You really hate Atreus. He, but if she kills him now, he can't. Well, mm, never mind. <laughs> really hates Atreus. But no, she lets him go. And funny enough, I actually forgot what happened in the next couple. I also completely forgot about this asshole. He's a completely worthless character voiced by an <laughs> e celeb. What is your problem? 
I just want to say, first of all, I'm not even that familiar with Pro ZD, but what a fucking good job yeah. you did with Ratatosk. He did. Hell yeah. Really, yeah really well. He was really good. Um, and look at this little fellow. Look at him. Tell it's him. Secondly, is impressive. Ratatosk is a quest giver. Uh, yeah. Yes, he is. So it's not. You, I just quest giver, you mean, lore provider. Yeah, unless you mean worthless character in terms of characterization. But then at that point, we I get mean, insights into the tree. Exactly. He's like um, traveling between the rooms and everything. He's a very unique character, and he gives us a bunch of lore about how everything works. I don't understand what's. And wrong of course, with stop with the stupid chime. One of the funniest. Yeah. <laughs> moments in the whole game. That's his. Does, right? That's all his. Couple hours of play, I had to review my footage because I literally oh, forgot the why the crew then goes to Alfheim. It you forgot out, that they horror. went to Alfheim. I have to watch that's my the, own stream. Do don't you guys worry. Alfheim, and that's where that's where Odin finds don't, out don't. about the. Listen, this okay, part sorry. is going to get rough. Right. Okay. Okay. You're in okay. for fucking rocky ride as to why he forgot. Oh, oh, it was to no. seek wisdom from Groa, the keeper of knowledge. And eventually, after fighting your way through the now light elf dominated landscape, and guess what? The light elves are bad too. Everyone's a bad guy in oh, war. Who no. would have thought? Are the developers trying to tell me that Ukraine. Wait, wait till this guy uh, fucking. Oh, no. wait, 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 what? What, what was that? Yeah, what was yeah. that? So I, I was gonna, in the middle of a fight. I'm gonna, I'm was... gonna roll it back so you guys can appreciate what the fuck just happened I'm, in his brain. It turns out it was to take. seek wisdom. I, I like how everyone heard that one word, so now everyone's like, wait, what? Wisdom <laughs> from Groa, the keeper of knowledge. And eventually, after fighting your way through the now light elf dominated landscape, and guess what? The light elves are bad too. Everyone's a bad guy in war. Who would have thought? Are the developers trying to tell me that Ukraine aren't the universal what? good guys who are gonna <laughs> save the world what? and defeat what those evil you? fascists uh, in Russia? What are you? What are you yo, talking? What this is? Guy, what? Yo, he's not. He's not pro Russia, is he? I think. Whoa. I think this is just. Is that what he's saying? Listen, there is a brain what? poisoning that's happening, and and like he's he just has to see everything is connected to modern day events. It couldn't be. That the game itself has something to say about some conflicts it doesn't have to yeah. be connected to anyone in particular, and that it's <clears> relevant <throat> to the story being told. Now, if you wait, I'm going to play all the references that he's clearly missed um, to help you understand what this game was trying to say about the war between the Light Elves and the Dark Elves. It's not talking about Ukraine and Russia. That's not. In it's... fact, this game was probably in development for years and years and years before that started. How did well, they so, know, Fringy? How did fun, they know? Fun fact for everybody. 2018, the game, came out in 2018. In 2018, and, and then they game, started development. The now. point is made that there's no clear bad guy when you go to Alfheim, even though Atreus yeah. interprets it all as, well, the Dark Elves are the bad guys, obviously, and Kratos is like, we don't know that shit, man. Why are you saying that? And when you kill the Dark Elf leader, he says you've made a huge mistake. Yep. Now, this game finally gets us the context of how that was a mistake. The UK and Russia stuff happened later than 2018. So let's just let's just see the game address it themselves first. I'm surprised that somebody hasn't tried to cancel Sony Santa Monica for this. What? Uh, okay. So what? We're showing that wars. Wait, wait till this guy learns about World War One. It's gonna blow his <laughs> fucking oh, mind. Oh, oh, he will oh no! Not Are you be saying Ukraine might it? not be the good guys? Oh no, the developers okay. can't be saying that, are they? Remember, he said this whole thing is soy. Why would he? I was just, I was just about to say, is this a joke? Like, it's a bit for the video. But I, I think he would. Uh, you know, he legitimately believes it, but the thing is, it doesn't fit the narrative of the game being soy, so now he has to just jump to, like, making fun of them for being that bold. Is he okay? No. We get I, <laughs> no, he's not. I guess. Not okay. is, he, is he one of those, like, crazy. Right wing people who thinks that Russia's the good guys and all this. I, like a I wouldn't even QAnon? pretend to know. I have no fucking clue. I just That's don't know the how. Vibe I get. How did you draw that out of the fucking elf war? What are you doing? They well, well, canceled I mean, them on Europeans. Twitter, Come guys. On, but... Come on. Yeah. I thought Ukraine <gasps> was. They were always the good guys. They were fighting to? for the free world. What are you world? talking about? <laughs> Dude, I, I want Corey really Barlog to see this. <laughs> Just Corey, let him cook. Can imagine Corey Barlog's live reaction to this. <laughs> what the f- Hold. It's only light now. I guess. And light is also bad. The dark and the light are both Five bad, guys. Things. Expectations Shall subverted. We? <laughs> yeah, how about that? Then we fought our <laughs> army of Let's see what the game has to say. You interfered in the Elf War. 
Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. They seemed better in Alpha. <laughs> Did they now? I see the Elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. We don't want to hurt you! We do not have a choice! We're the ones who freed the light! Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time! Atreus! Focus! Most unfortunate. They attacked us! More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Yes, some things don't change. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the light elves were born. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to <laughs> the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. The light elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, in case we didn't piece right. it together, Atreus we're... is here to, you know, give the simply the, the skinny for you. I was going to say, mm -hmm. but we're almost reaching the end of this, and and that there's a big point that this is going to be sort of echoing. Remember who Tyr is when all this stuff is being said. Really, is it so simple? And not our place to say. This is an elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Here. The last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I'd wondered what became of Svartli Offer. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. All this Typical time, dark I thought the Dark Elf King... Mm. I thought all the Dark Elves were... What? Unemployed dear. say it, yes. racist. <laughs> we helped the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. So, it's pretty straightforward. You've... You've bumped into something you have no understanding of. Instead of, with basic information, trying to pick a side and fight for them, you can back the fuck away. It's nothing to do with you. You don't understand it. Or you can try and find out more and then make an informed decision. I think that's one of the most, like, mature ways of approaching a fucking active war that you know nothing about in the history of anything. However, consider that Tyr is telling Atreus all of this. Why would Tyr be invested in telling Atreus that when there's an active battle between any two factions that you shouldn't just assume one side is evil and one side is good. No story relevant reason at not all. Not story relevant at all. It's probably oh. real. Um, it's not like Odin has not to fight like maybe against the other teams. ones and is trying not to like act Atreus on to maybe reconsider oh. his stance. No, no, that didn't happen. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. It's not like he's trying to instill seeds of doubt in his convictions. Yeah. In his hatred of Odin, maybe make him consider whether it's blind hatred for his own ends. Yeah, and considering when they, when they finally meet up, uh, you go like, oh, but you, you're open-minded, you're not like the other ones, blah, blah, blah. You've got to well, ask and questions and whatnot. When he gives him the Just... sword, he says, yeah, you can have it, it's a <clears throat> gift, and I'm the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. People say I'm the bad guy. Which, by the way, worked very well on He's like, what a yep. kindly old man. I like this guy. Wow, he's <laughs> a sword. And light is also bad. The dark and the light are both Fire bad, guys. It's not paying any attention at all, are you? It's, well, yeah, it's, it's a yeah. focus on... It, it's like, maybe it's a hyper-focus on just, 
light and darkness as concepts, or that light's supposed to be good and dark's supposed to be bad. I won't even engage with it if it says otherwise. I think he's almost reading it wrong from from his own like. Uh, it's not I that guess, they're both evil. That was not the point at all. That's the, the, he's come to the complete wrong conclusion. That's what I mean. It's just like it's more but, complicated. To be fair, but even if it was like hey, they're both evil, and that's why I think this is stupid. That's that's kind of that's just the Anita Sarkeesian um, Bioshock Infinite criticism. It's like, oh wait, you're saying that this conflict is not just paragons of virtue versus evil people. There's nuance to it. That's sexist, and it's like what? <laughs> Racist, <laughs> well, so some case. of you might be wondering, why is it that he forgot this entire section? Why is it he had to check his own streams? And why did he have such a weird conclusion about this storyline? Like, well, let's have a look at maybe his attitude toward dialogue. Forgive me if I don't pay attention to the countless pointless dialogue. Quit talking over pointless. the game. You really want to hear all this shitty dialogue, dude? Blow the seventy dollars yourself on the shitty game if you really care about the dialogue. By the way, it didn't go in looking to hate it or anything. Mm. Oh, I didn't like it before I played it. Yeah, that's the ultimate cope. In fact, actually, if you're asking to hear the dialogue again, you're part of the problem. What an absurd thing to say! What a ridiculous thing to say! If you want to engage with the story, you're part of the problem. You're part of the problem for trying to engage with the story that they're presenting. Yeah, to be even be able to form a conclusion about it by listening to it. You're part of the problem. <laughs> well, the I mean, actual isn't child. This just definitive. I showed you all the dialogue in the section. He ignored it, and then he came to a conclusion that's fucking bizarre. And then he's yep. complaining that if you were to complain about that, he would say you're part of the problem. Now you might be wondering, part of what problem? Let's let him answer that. Yeah. Even... The light. Wait, hang on. Cope. Oops. In fact, actually, if you're asking to hear the dialogue bad. again, you're part of the problem. All this sucks. <laughs> None of this matters. Oh, sorry, I guess it's not in that clip. He's talking about the AAA gaming industry. The narrative and movie games. If you want to hear the dialogue, then that means you're encouraging them. Yes, that's the problem with the, the movie game. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's, that's the issue. Yeah, that's that's the the dialogue. No listening to dialogue anymore, everyone. Stop it. Elves are bad too. Everyone's a bad guy in war. Who would have thought? In fact, actually, if you're asking to hear the dialogue, again, you're part of the problem. Yeah. Your opinion is shit, and no one should take you seriously ever again on any video game. <laughs> Very true. I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Fuck, I wasn't paying attention. Who's Freya talking about? Chat, fill me if, in. If you're not paying attention here, <laughs> god damn. Yeah. Well, listen yeah. to what he says, right? She's talking about Gana, the new Valkyrie queen, and how we got to deal with it. Look what he says. And who's mad oh. at us? Not that it matters, the next game is not going to be here. Either it'll be about Atreus or they're going to reboot it finally. I hope they... He's saying it doesn't matter who she's talking about because we're not going to beat them anyway. Gada, the fucking end game boss in this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. alright though, he admitted he's not paying any fucking attention. Also, I hope... wait, 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 wait. You... How can he say this concerning what he thought about Tyr earlier? <laughs> What's a vision or... Well, no, like, remember how he was saying that 2018, he was saying that 2018 was setting us up to go find Tyr. That's what he said. So, with that being said by him, how could he possibly think, here at the end of this game, that there's no way we're going to possibly be meeting these other characters? Because he said, we're going to be rebooting, or we're going to be doing a game about Atreus. Therefore, we couldn't possibly meet this person that these characters are talking about. Even oh, though we could do that right that. now in this game that or you Or we could playing. do it in a Atreus game, or we could do it in a reboot. Can do it in all of those. So I don't even. Yeah, oh. his point is just completely moot. Mm -hmm. They, you know, honestly, I hope let it die because Sony can't be trusted with the God of War. Let it die, my my dude. Let it <laughs> die when it's the biggest thing, in, right? I it's the it's most successful Sony exclusive. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's the most yeah. successful the God of War franchise has been. Has it ever been? Yeah. Or. Then requires no refreshment. You better the pause there. Yeah, let's just cut off that oh, conversation. I, I remember Jesus that was Christ. thing in the last one too. Why even bother I'm reviewing this game if you like if you just don't give a shit about now. the game? Glad I'm I got to cut him off. What a dick. I hope we never hear the rest of that story. Help Atreus. Is this Why meant not? to scare me? Well, you should know it's working. Why is he talking? I'm upgrading. Because that's what character why are you talking? Why are you talking? Why are you talking? <laughs> oh my god. I'd rather listen to Sindri than listen to you. I need to talk. I'm I'm fucking Fuck you, dude. 
What is with this game? I, I'm I'm doing. It, he just despises the concept of dialogue. That's the only yes. like no, conclusion that dialogue. you could reach. No dialogue the, is bad. That's the problem with the with the AAA games. It's they have dialogue in them. They have dialogue. This is what I mean. Um, characters playable. say things. I could always just they see Theo just... being like slightly interested. It's like, what's the problem with the dialogue? It exists. Oh. Well, uh. <laughs> back to square it, one. It's pretty clear that he just wants all of the NPCs to shut the fuck up, sell him items, repair his gear, and just not be present within the narrative in any way. They they exist only to facilitate his murder. I'm, I'm doing something. You don't need to talk to engage me. Like, what? F I hate. I hate it. I hate it. Give me my janky PS1 talk. bullshit any day over this. Yeah, I'm gonna, sounds... Like, get this guy Journey, then I'll probably complain because he's just bork. Atreus. All right. He'd say, how come no one's saying anything? Yeah, it interrupt his stupid ass, who cares? God, you know what? People can shit on item descriptions from Souls as much as they want, but at least it made engaging with the world optional. The game telling you what, uh... At least it made engaging with the okay. world optional. Why, like, you know, this is, we need like a full fucking reset to base foundational levels where you sit him down and you ask, why do you play video games? Well, so he would ask you the same. He'd be like, why the fuck are you playing it just to have story and dialogue? I want to play for gameplay, bro. Because those things are mutually exclusive to one another. You cannot have an experience that has gameplay and story, especially mingling. No, they'd be called movie games, and I don't want that shit. I want games. Snowy games. Snowy. Yeah, you're a snowy, right? But the backstory is shittier than item descriptions. Dragon's Dogma 2 would be the best game ever if Naughty Dog's devs worked on it. With Japan's oversight? Oh, awesome. You're, joking, you're just talking right? over. Have I really not been paying attention that much? I just love uh, it was bad enough having Atreus and Mimir talking. Now I have Tyr talking too. Stop. Uh, just stop. He just, talking. He, like I was I was I was I was barely joking when I said he just despises dialogue in games. He wants all NPCs to not say anything, to shut up, to be quiet, to just give him items and repair his shit so he can go out and murder some more. That's it. It's like it it's literally the mindset of a child who is who who's just um shocked at the idea that other people get to like have opinions yeah. and thoughts By the way, if you like... just want gameplay you just want a dumb game this game's out there for you yeah. i'm playing one right now edf I, I just shoot at big ants that's all i'm doing i was about Great. to ask if why did he buy this game i don't like pulling this one out but oh to review it he he's, he's, he's been asked on his stream why and he said i review it and oh. that's my job that's why wow. for sure but you're not even engaging with it like you're talking over dialogue yeah, but and you shit. still he already knows it's shit, so he doesn't have to. Narrative, uh, knows yeah, it's true. Yeah, which is funny because yeah. remember, The Last of Us Two. I think I would have had the same approach on my stream for that game as I would have for Ragnarok. If you go watch it, I shut the fuck up whenever people talk, and it's like, oh yeah, you must have loved that game. It's like, oh yeah, favorite game, best game, top game. I have to respect that it has information. We do this with all the Marvel movies we've been covering recently. We don't just talk over them in the cinema or wherever else we may be watching them. We don't go blah, 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 whenever we'll it's like I need to know what they say so that I can judge it. Yeah, yep. if I remember the last of us streams, the worst it ever was was you would like you'd pause from time to time when you found something extremely objectionable. I needed to talk and I kind of dropped yeah. them. Yeah, You're like hey, hey. I still remember Manny getting shot. <laughs> that, that, that was like, one of my favorite moments in life. I was like, oh, he was such in a life. horrible. Character. Oh my god! Remember, he's the one who spat on Joel's corpse. Not Man. a fun guy. Ooh. This stuck anymore. Ah, Knuckles guy. is the only. Knuckles and Rouge are the only arguably mm, black characters in Sonic. Design. What? <laughs> <laughs> I may have. Wait. Come again. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to the dialogue in the game because it's much more interesting. What is so, this is the thing. I wanted to show that he was talking over the dialogue, but man, that clip is fucking priceless. Just listen. Ooh. Stop. Yeah, Just stop talking. <laughs> Just stop. Don't talk anymore. Knuckles is the only... Knuckles and Rouge are the only arguably black characters in Sonic. Designed by... <laughs> what, what does that even mean? What does it even mean? <laughs> arguably <laughs> black um, <laughs> Arguably... Arguably... She's um, a bat. <laughs> isn't he red? Hold on. He's got a little isn't red he like flick. from a personality standpoint? Jane I don't Naylor know. Hyena. I don't know, but I'm pretty it's, sure look, he's a red. 
it's it's good to know. It's good to know these things. I'm happy to know. Well, it transcend, by the way, so you can think of it as a fursona, an what? unofficial, unofficial trans character. Okay, the light <laughs> elves are bad he's too. He's talking about a trans turning into a wolf. Being no, he's, to he's talking about Sonic. I don't know. I just needed. Oh. All I was trying to show was he talks over the dialogue. I skipped a Christmas party for this. <laughs> Everyone's a bad guy in war. Oh. Who would have thought? I wasn't paying attention. No, that's my fault, not the game's fault. It's my fault. After oh, fighting your yeah. way to the end of the level, the gang discovers that the prophecy that Groa told Odin was a lie. And that Ragnarok would not be the end of all things, but only Asgard, specifically. And Atreus now believes that he will be the champion that leads all these armies. Kratos obviously does not like the idea of this, again, now that he's a cartoonishly overprotective father. And so it is cartoonishly overprotective to not want your son to go to war. I don't want your son to go to war. I don't yeah. want my son to go to war with cops. Pussy! Pussy, yeah, snoy. So the writers decided we don't have enough forced melodrama yet, so we get a kind of bizarre moment. Oh, but what if Loki Fuck. going to Ironwood is the only way that- Oh, oh Atreus. My son. So he said that that comes out of nowhere. Let's let's see if it comes out of nowhere. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be. Atreus. Wouldn't that help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus. Until you learn control, we will take no unnecessary risks. There's something you should see. No. Just trust me. You'll want to. Trust. You have broken my trust. He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the giant's greatest ally. So... Enough. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke. Especially where gods are concerned. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight, he may have it. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just Tyr's to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. Okay, so we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Sure hope Tyr's here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us... Just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Tyr? Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tyr currently is. He, he's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're- Ahem, brothers. With Fimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in this mine. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leads to the wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Why risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming, 
I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No. Um, we can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. Look. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! If you want war, Atreus. See for yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I'm counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. And so the writers decided Sorry, we don't just, have an. If you didn't, didn't come out of nowhere. He's, off, he's already uh, dead. We've, we've had a huge amount of dialogue of Kratos trying to be patient with Atreus, who constantly seems to be looking to start a war. And his motivation is behind, I want to find out more about Loki, and I want to stop Odin, and I want to charge into mm -hmm. war. Even Kratos had to say, like, war is not a measure of a man's strength. Atreus is clearly into it all. And Curtis is losing his fucking patience the more the game goes on. This is not out of nowhere. We have enough follow drama yet, so we get a kind of bizarre moment. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that. Oh, Atreus. Bizarre. In fact, actually, if you're asking to hear Atreus the dialogue, again, you're part of the problem. He involved? All this sucks. Oh, None of this matters. I don't know, dude. Nah, How about you just stop sharing your shitty opinion? There's an idea. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I do still like that delivery. The, there's an idea is what makes it. <laughs> Here's an idea. Am I the only one who thinks Sindri is like a groomer or a pedophile or something? What? Yes, yes what? you are. I don't even you know why you would say that. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is fuck? actually just you. Of the 7-8 uh, billion people are you on the okay? planet. What's it's the, literally just you. I do, I, do, I See... I no, lulled you into a I, sense of I, security with all those clips. You were like back to safety, no longer. Why, you, and you just hit us with that. Yep. Like out of nowhere, you just hit us with it. There Man. you go. You're having this now. What? Enjoy. So yeah. I, 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 what is the counter? That's just no. He's a friend. Yeah, there's a big fan. The counter no. is, are you okay? Yeah, that's the counter. <clears throat> well, you mentally like. <sighs> Every. Trace is by himself. Sindri is also there as like a creepy, tiny old man. No, because they're all friends. the strange whims. Known each other for a long time. He doesn't know what safety. friends are. Also, he it's literally weird to can't pick... recognize a friend. We had to pick the one character in the whole story that has a, an aversion to touching anybody. Yeah. That Atreus has against his father kind of reminds me of certain Discord communities. Jeez, I just I need to look out for the people I care <laughs> I about. I actually keeps bad yeah. things from happening to them. There's like a pedo really? working for Sony who's like, Sindri Stop. should be with Atreus in every and scene. Stop. Stop it. Unreal. Well, you're you're at, you're shit out of luck, right? Because if it's a guy hanging out with Atreus, he accuses him of being a pedophile. But if it's a girl hanging out with Atreus, then they're not sex um, enough. There's not enough. Uh, mm, Real fucking you lose, weird. lose. Atreus has to yeah, be alone I, see, forever. Yeah. So Why are they? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again. If that's what you're asking. They are pushing the gay vibes. They really are. Oh my god. And literally right after him saying, I never want to do that again. <laughs> you good? Are you good? Jesus Christ. What is going on? Brock mentioned he needed somewhere really safe. Pushing I'm the gay. worried about this man. Someone make a gay joke. <laughs> I missed the opportunity. I don't know, Sindri what? just sounds like a bundle of sticks. I wonder Stop if it! Stop. Mm. So was allowed cool. to be Dude. full woke, like these devs, if they would make them, like, lovers or some shit. What? I just... <laughs> what? Uh... What? What? Is what, you say? what? I mean, I don't know what know to say. I'm speechless. <laughs> Bro, what, indeed. Uh... I'm actually... I just, I just don't know. Just don't... Okay. Sindri, they made even gayer, I feel like, than he was before. So right after saying pedo, he says he's gayer than ever. The the fucking meme about how people try to blur the line between gays and pedos. The real great rhetoric.
fun mm -hmm. stuff. Murdered. So I'm just I'm getting that vibe, disturbing like literally just pedo you, vibes. Okay. It, it's it's you. Lines them right well. Hmm. All right, time to continue the giant race. Let's go. Oh, We're skipping dates. About race. Not even gonna oh, kiss. No. Let's just go for it. Why I'm would in. You... I'm in? You're in. Self Why would he kiss her? They just met. Just it... he just said I'm in. I'm in. I'm in to kiss Why? her. I wish I could. I mean, if it was me there, I would kiss her. Not not that, that I would, but I mean, you know, if, if that was me, I mean, yeah, you I'm, know. I'm going to assume maybe... the I in question was him delivering the line as a trace. Um, I'm, I think he means I'm that's... in as in as a as a consumer of the product. I'm I'm in for this this event of repopulation. Like, that's absolutely. Clear. I mean, he was he was pretty much explicit about it. Earlier. All right. Time to continue the giant race. Let's go. We're skipping dates. Not even gonna kiss. Let's just go for it. I'm in. Yeah. She's a child, bro. The They're the last smiling. two of the species, dude. And it's ancient Norse. Okay, someone educate this. Blank slate. This is. These are ancient times. The the fucking age of consent didn't exist. Disturbing. So it's okay. Like, it With the first sentence, I was like, oh, that was probably a stupid joke. But then you said this, and now I'm just like, mm -hmm. oh, look. Um, Did on you my have list to do people, this? I'll, uh, like, I'm, I'm, uh, never let this man have a time traveling machine. We, Just never let him do it. Never, ever let him have a time traveling machine. When, like, hey, friendly chat audience, right? When, when you're playing a game and you see two young people, very, very young people, and you start suggesting they should have sex, and someone says to you, "Man, pretty weird vibes. They're they're a bit young." They, they're obviously saying, "Can you please stop talking about the children having sex, please?" And his response it's is, really... age of consent didn't matter in Norse times. As if that... As if that addresses that, that at all. That means it's okay. Yeah, it, like, it's okay, man. It's like, I'm not talking about the game, I'm talking about you, bro. If, that is... if they repeal the laws of Relax. age of consent, then it's totally fine. We're good, we're solid, my dude. What exactly Whoa. are the laws in Ironwood? Especially in after ripping into Sindri, who just tries to save the lives of his friends for being a pedo. Uh... Blank Slate. This is, these are ancient times that the fucking age of consent didn't exist. Disturbing, like, pedo vibes. Yellow butt. And so now Atreus starts thinking of Ironwood, which earlier Jormungandr Gander told him about. And he is transported into a magical pocket dimension. First, he starts seeing visions of the worst moment from the last game, where as a small child, he kills Thor's son in cold blood. It still pisses me off to this day that Kratos- I don't know if that's considered cold blood. He said he fucked his mum and, uh, he's gonna enjoy killing them and stuff. It was rather hot-blooded. I'd say it's hot-blooded, yeah. Didn't beat in his the, son yeah, that element media. of If this person Wait, promises sorry, to what come did he back just and say? kill you- Sorry. What did he right, just say there? I don't know, rewind it. The last game where, as a small child, he kills Thor's son in cold blood. It still pisses me off to this day that Kratos didn't beat his son immediately after that. What, what the oh. hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what? 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 Kratos would do that? What about Kratos' character? That would be incredibly out of character. He what a swell if a guy. guy. If a if a god of war tells you with all my being, oh, did you just kill this guy? I beat the fuck out of you. It's like what? Hey, what? Yeah. Why? I could probably video just about the emasculation of Kratos in this game. Oh. You're emasculated if you don't beat your it, children. If you don't beat your kids, you're not a real man. All right. Wow. I mean, is, is, Kratos is nice. Biggest, I love like, these sorts of people. All you have to do is do you love speak. learning about this man? Isn't he great? I'm glad that this guy... Speak. I'm glad that he'll never reproduce. I'll just say that. I'm really fortunate about that. Kratos' most significant demon, like, in his psyche is the memory of killing his wife and daughter. But he would, so he would beat his son, is what you're saying? Like, yeah, there's no, no way. Almost like that's the last thing he would do is hurt is hurt Atreus or Faye. That's the last thing Kratos would do, and yeah. that's not him being rewritten. That's that's the Kratos from the Greek mythology games. Yeah, he's he trying to kill himself for the entire no. first game. Gods of War are always violent, regardless of context. But we'll get more later. So now that he's been shown he's the worst Nar. parts of himself, he wakes up inside of Ironwood, this magical forest being protected by giant magic, and he meets our token black character for this game. <laughs> Angraboda is a complete- I'll have you know that there are multiple token black characters, <laughs> good sir. <laughs> he completely left out the other black characters, how could he? Uh, but uh, 
Seriously, you're not ready for what he's about to say. Wood, this magical forest being protected by giant magic. And he meets our token black character for this game. Angraboda is a completely fucking pointless character. She does nothing of relevance in the plot except give Loki a bag of marbles. Um. <laughs> Get no stop. I mean. Literally yeah. saves everyone's saves lives. everybody at the end of the game. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, how did you miss this? This, <laughs> this old man does nothing in the story. He just gives Luke this little baton that has blue light and tells him to use the force while he's flying an X-Wing. Oh. True. Look, he didn't listen to the dialogue, okay? <laughs> how was he supposed to know? Ow. It's giant stuff. Okay, follow me, quickly. She does nothing of relevance in the plot except give Loki a bag of marbles. I realize most gamers are midwits these days, Rip. Well, midwits? most people are midwits. midwits? You cannot yeah, tell like that before. You. Midwits. Tell me with a straight face that this character wasn't added just for the sake of diversity. You know it was. Why? Let me help you with your argument. You mean she was cast only for diversity. The character is in the story for many reasons. So, like, that's what you want to say. You don't want to say the character is only here for diversity reasons. Angra Boda is I mean, in the fucking Norse mythology, too. What happens if Santa Monica's like, nah, she was actually the best actress? Well, so what, let's, so when... let's go further and just pretend that that is reality. If you knew for a fact she was hired because of how impressive they thought her acting was, that's an alternative reason. So, it could be that. It could It could be that. It could be they want to score diversity points, as you like. There you go. It could be either. But ultimately... I'm sure that's his issue with this character. Yes. Uh, she... Uh, th 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 that's gotta be it. Because, like, obviously, she didn't have a complete arc. She didn't have relevance in the plot, as he put it. She did nothing apart from provide some marbles. I, of all cult mythologies, would normally the whitest place on Earth have black characters. I'm sure you know it's... a whole lot about the movements of different people in medieval times. Let's, let's have a little look-see at his familiarity with Norse mythology, shall we? Oh, he's, no! He's an expert, all right? He's well, he knows expert. all about the fucking age of consent for it, so... <laughs> During geez, Norse I mean... the times, he's, he's, right he, he's an expert on that element. Yeah, let's see how invested he is in Norse mythology, right? Because you might be thinking, sitting at home, okay, yeah, maybe he doesn't know, like, the nature of Thor and Jormungandr's battle and how it ends specifically, or... Maybe, um, let's say, just shot in the dark, Hildesvini is an actual boar that was, was with Freya. You know, you might not know stuff like that, sure, but he's going to know the basics. Like, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Yeah. I'm sure this... What was even... Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. Like, well, come on, man. Does not know whether Freya is a god. Like... Really? Well, that's not a great asked, start. He asked as if he thought that she would be the god of something. The no, if you, is the trust me, if he didn't say, what is she the god of? He said, is she a god of... Is she a god of... I'll, 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 just, really? Don't, don't, don't you... Said, what is she? Don't you... Don't you worry. He said, I've or, forgotten it sounds like of. I, I'll give it to you, but listen to it, all right? Trust me. Because I was fucking surprised when I heard this. Yeah. I'm sure this... What was even... Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. Is she even a god? I've already, I've already forgot. forgotten. Cool. Oh, okay. Is she even a god? This game is a massive disappointment to Nor Norse mythology. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. The <laughs> apple core. Must have taken ages to... You know what? Like, it. this kind of stems from this concept of... You know, you don't have to have, like, strong opinions on everything, and you don't have to profess knowledge on every topic. You could just say, I don't know much about Norse mythology, I, I wonder how accurate this is, or something along those lines, right? You don't have to have such strong opinions out of the gate on everything. You might right, not we're gonna have, have to go through it a couple of times. People aren't everything. listening. They think he's actually saying, is she the god? By the way, that's still terrible that he had no idea that she's the god of anything. But, uh, it's not what he's saying. Trust me, the sentence structure wouldn't make any sense if you were saying what you're trying to improve it with. Yeah. I, I mean, it's I, not. I don't know. I don't, even that I'm sure you this. Uh, I right. wasn't even intentionally trying to improve. What it. was, was even? Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten.
Is she even a god? I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten. He's not saying, is she a god of already forgotten? That's not what he's saying. He's saying, I've already forgotten. Hmm. Listen to it again. And, and again, even if. Yeah. I'm sure this... <sighs> what was even, is she even the god of already forgotten? Is she even a god I've already forgotten? He kind of says what was, and then he stutters for a second. Then is she even? A yeah, no, god no, of? you're right. The first thing he was going to say is what was she the theoretically what was she the god of? But then he questions whether or not she's even a god. Oh, okay. Very, very straightforward. <laughs> Sometimes you just forget all those the, things you don't know. Norse mythology. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Is she even? Don't worry, you're about to find out how little he knows about Freyr anyway. There's more to it. Even the god I've already forgotten. The apple core. Must have taken ages to build. It's not very Norse sounding. If I had known how much they would already butcher Norse mythology leading Nor up to this, it really You see, the Norse, they didn't know about apple cores, you see. They didn't know that at the middle of an apple, there's, there's a middle of the apple. I wonder um, what his thoughts on the rainbow bridge are. You see, the Norse didn't know about rainbows or bridges. It was a dull world where transversal across large chasms or bodies of water oh, dude, like that included Kant alternative shit. methods. Rainbow Road. Um, yeah. It really does that she's black at this point. It's like, they don't even give a fuck. They're already spitting in the face of anyone who cares about Norse mythology. Oh, already dead. Boy. Wait a minute, is there no Valhalla? If they're already dead... Why are they in Asgard and not there? It's almost there. Mm. Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. Well, you know, if I was a conspiracy theorist, I would say they're purposely subverting a... Let's just say, indisputably white culture. Indisputably white? What, what does that even mean? What is, what is white culture? What is that? Um... He, he hearted this comment, Boulder. He gets the worst treatment. Boulder's supposed to be kindest and fairest to the gods. Boulder would allow the gods to throw rocks at him in jest because of his immortality. However, Loki took mistletoe, That's gave it to me. a blind god, Horde, and directed it at Boulder. Boulder died instantly since the mistletoe went through him cleanly. The action broke up Loki with his blood brother Odin as Boulder's death signified Ragnarok. He could have been brought back, but Loki refused to mourn him. But what the writers did was twist it. They took what the Boulder's invincibility and they made it so that he couldn't feel and then they put that to its logical endpoint. Uh, the boulder you're seeing described as part of Norse mythology is something that the writers would have had him be at first before Freya applied the, the arguably curse. Then you got Thor. Thor was a big lug with red hair and fiery red eyes, a loving family man, and while a drinker, it is only to the extent of being a partier and is known to accept cheap swill if offered genuinely and graciously. So the implication is, I guess, that it's an assassination of his source material because... Uh, he becomes aggressive and alcoholic instead of just a drinker for fun. Just like remarkable how close yeah. they got to the source, considering you know, uh, yeah. like oh. everyone's absolute frustrations with him. Freya yeah, and Val Freya. Freya is Freya. I mean, the lady knows vast magic is the goddess of war, leads the Valkyries, taught Odin a great deal of magic. That being said, she still went into every living thing, including the other Aesir, to ask for their word that wouldn't harm her newborn son, Boulder. When she did, she sadly uh, couldn't prevent or resuscitate him. That just sounds accurate. Mm -hmm. I don't even know why that's being listed, like, alongside the other ones. But you know. uh, Odin, Lin's all sorts of magic and genuinely seen as a sort of god of shamanistic knowledge, esoteric knowledge, and in some cases, death. I mean, to learn how to master certain runes, he hanged himself from Yggdrasil, the world tree, for nine days, nine nights respectively learned fate magic. Fate magic was seen as mostly a female magic and Freya, uh, from Freya and other women mages. Loki. Loki is Odin's blood brother and both enjoys others' company. They like to discuss magic. That being said, Loki likes chaos, whether it's disrupting a dinner party by starting gossip and watching the calamity ensue, cutting off Sif's golden braids as a prank or simply reusing, uh, refusing to mourn Boulder, refusing him life. Loki is often attributed with snakes and wolves. Basically, God of War 18 and 22 get some things consistent, but either muddy or destroy aspects of Norse far more uh, wrong than the Greek games ever did. Or the Greek games did. I can't believe we could even say that with the Greek games. What can you compliment about the Greek games and their accuracy? You'd be like, well, uh, the gods did beat the Titans. 
Off um, the bat, there was never a person named Kratos who became the god of war. There was never a person named Kratos that looks and sounds and does all the things that Kratos does in that game. But they all oh, looked mm -hmm. kind of how I would common sense intuitively expect them to from a pop culture perspective, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Therefore, it's uh, maybe good. Hades. No, uh, although I don't yeah, know. Yeah, most he people didn't like cool, Hades' though. design, and uh, or at least a lot well, of people didn't was... when God of War Three came out. And I think two. it's because you're kind of expecting the devil, and he seems. Well, I've seen people say that uh, Hades is not described that way. It's not. An, they know. There was a super chat that said like that was never what I would expect him to look like from the source, and I was like, oh, they adapted it. Yeah. Um, so this is the thing. Reading these, it's like, oh, I can see how all of these ended up in the game. And it makes me think they must have known and understood the Norse before adapting it, which is kind of what you want. So it's weird that he loved this comment. Simultaneously says, like, oh, they've destroyed it. It's, uh, this Ooh. is what we call stolen valor. He's pretending to care about Norse mythology to make you, like, better align with his opinion. If there are Everyone's a Norse mythology expert. It's really it's annoying. Dead. Why are they in Asgard and not Valhalla? Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. Well, you know, if I was a conspiracy theorist, I would say they're purposely subverting a... Let's just say, indisputably white culture, right? They're, they're purposely subverting uh, white culture. I, I, you know, maybe I shouldn't continue. I heard you the first time. Thought process. Oh, okay. Considering I suspect I'm being suppressed in the algorithm, but I didn't I mean, want to finish the comment. Right. Hmm. Even uh, Scandinavian for a man who speaks so yeah, highly about professing the truth, there's I, only I, one more stop. A little... There's only yeah. one more place this can go. Yeah, it feels oh, like we know where it's there. going, but yeah, no, oh, whatever. He didn't finish. That's fine. Is That's she fine. even the no, god of? I've already forgotten. When am I going to Scandinavia to study Norse mythology and Viking history? Yeah. Never. It sucks that I'm too honest. It really sucks that I'm too honest. Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter because really I'm a bigot suck. for asking. I'm a racist for even noticing in the first place. And I couldn't even tell you the real answer if I wanted to because I'd be banned from YouTube. And it doesn't help that all of her dialogue sounds like modern dialect. Usually not so lively around here. Guess I'm just lucky. It's like if a Redditor was transported back to ancient Scandinavia. And Angraboda is not the only character that speaks in Newspeak. Mimir does it a lot as well, and it is incredibly distracting. Speak? I'd recognize that dour expression anywhere. That, that's straight out of 1984. The thing about this is extremely <laughs> frustrating for all the time also... that I brought up Mimir as a reference for how he has a good, casual, but non-anachronistic dialect. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is... All of I'm the characters annoyed. at times will say things where you're like, wow, that sounds like it's from way later than it's based mm -hmm. in. And I think that's just, yeah, okay. Th there you go. That, that yeah. is a criticism, I suppose. The only thing I would say is it's across the board. So they're trying yeah. to make it consistent with their characters. Except maybe, I don't know if Kratos ever says anything that strikes you as modern. Kratos, the Valkyries, well, those are the main ones. Yeah, the Valkyries are some of them. He's also, the well, I mean, like, they're also very, very you know, straight man, serious character. And I don't mean, oh God, I don't mean heterosexual no, I male. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized how that, that sentence sounded. But uh, so them sort of sounding the least modern, I think makes some sense. And it does, uh, like it or not, it does kind of become the style of the game and it is consistent. It's not like there's mm -hmm. all of a sudden one person who sounds like a teenager from 2022 and everyone else sounds like they're, you know, like in an actual Norse fantasy land. It's, uh, but I mean, it's I pretty. Guess this is all getting past the fact that they're all speaking English and they pretty much all have American accents, yep. right? Very true. And... They should be going. Oh, I I I no one is Mimir not being Scottish. Apparently, Mimir yeah. is. Scottish. And like Kratos having an American accent in Greece as well, like true. from the, that era, and also some other characters having American accents, but some characters having English accents. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't say uh, the authenticity isn't exactly um, <laughs> we're already in serious trouble. I, mean, I would imagine it's always been kind of inconsistent, right? Yeah. Pretty guess hardcore would be inconsistent, I would say. It would be getting awkward when Kratos would be saying, oh, let's go dab on Odin or something. Like, <laughs> where was like oh, okay, that's, that's probably not the thing he would say. <laughs> Hollywood code, though, that ancient Greeks and ancient Celestial Romans sound British. <laughs> Not totally sure who what? Is. That combined with all the quips, 
completely removes any tension from any scene in the game. Characters cannot shut the. I, of I often play. say quips are the uh, scene killer. Quips kill yeah. tension. Rue. Yeah. Fuck Easily. up. Don't just stand there. Move. I love. It's still in the way. Stop no, telling me what the fuck to do. Room. She's literally getting me killed. And it doesn't oh, it's help a that woman's this is fault. The I died. Part of the <laughs> could have could have blocked oh. the show. <laughs> the game by far it's two straight fucking hours of not just atreus's brain dead gameplay but walking in a straight line listening to a worthless character talk about things that don't matter the kind of i don't know about kind of the point of the whole game is addressed uh here in terms of the perspective on fate and prophecy and what atreus tells her here is why everyone lives at the end of the game yep and worst of all, it ends with you fighting Angraboda's giant grandma, who is stealing the souls of the animals in the forest because life is pointless? This shit comes out of fucking nowhere, and it- Speaking what? of shit coming out of nowhere, I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. <laughs> um, yeah, I, mean, I don't understand the, the criticism, really. It's like, uh, the giants have been set up as people who can whisper souls into other items. This is her grandmother who hates the idea of prophecy. She's one of the only people in the family who seems to go against it hardcore and instead acknowledges that life is pain, that we have to find ways to deal with it that are more engaging and fun than the realities that we exist with. And that involves taking the souls of animals and experiencing what they do temporarily to take her away from the life for a bit. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem to come out of nowhere. Um, no. Kind of neat that she has a family member that's gone this direction. It provides her a lot of content. It only exists to give Angraboda a purpose in the story. Well, I thought she was pointless. She does nothing of relevance oh, in the plot yeah. except <laughs> give Loki a bag of marbles. <laughs> and it only exists to give Angraboda a purpose in the story. I'm confused. Can anybody <laughs> telling you this tell. game is fucking mature? Just take one look at this boss battle and tell me with a straight face that this game is fucking mature. This is some what? baby it's game shit. This is giant, Kingdom like, Hearts level. Ooh, the giant voodoo black woman throws. Uh, uh why do you mention? So, which what? part of it makes it childish? The giant the voodoo know. or the black woman? Yeah. I don't I know. know why he felt what part of it makes to point it... out she's black? I don't know. Uh, I don't know why that has anything to do with child. I, I, I don't get it. Magic out of her pot. Gotta shoot the symbol to stop her. Two weak points on everything all the time. I don't even... What does that have to do with whether or not it's childish? And there's nothing about this that is God of War. You don't kill her at the end. <laughs> you... <laughs> yeah, you don't even get to kill the, her grandmother. Ah, uh, soy. You know, you're not you're Chad Kratos. You won't, like, fucking turn her into confetti at the end of the fight. It's Quite explicit soy. about the whole not wanting to kill the grandma. Yeah. You don't aim her in some way. No, there's just some weird message about how. Why would Atreus want to maim her? Message. That's oh, not Atreus Jesus. at all. He'd be on board oh, with gone. killing her to prevent damage from happening. But again, that's that's cut off by Angraboda. She's like, no, she's my grandma. Angraboda yeah. will always be in Atreus's shadow, just a minor character in his story. Kind of based. This is simultaneously uh... both hilarious and extremely cringe. If you didn't cringe at this. You are woke beyond any recovery. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, okay. <laughs> well, I guess I am I am woke beyond recovery. That's a new one. I can yeah, put that on my I biography to the hospital now. with you. Ah, uh, you need to get an IV woke. drip of, Mr. of beta. Hey, Mr. Hospital, remover. can I have some anti-woke? Uh, give me the red pill, cream? please. <laughs> I need to become Chad. I can't find a I way. Need to be based. There is for you. This is awful, There's and you no know it. You. And you just no. can't admit it because you don't want to be called racist. It's <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no, ironic. Which is funny because you know you could dislike it for any reason at all. But he's like, you're only not doing that because you don't want to be called racist. Like what? No, I could just talk about how I don't like the mechanics of the fight, or I don't like the area, or I don't like the characters. Anything. It didn't have to be that like she's black. Why'd you go there first, man? man. Really? <sighs> That's. While I do think Angraboda's grandmother was a little strange, I'm pretty sure Angraboda explains the reasoning behind it. 
She's taking the souls for the experiences of the animals, which I think they implied she grew addicted to. I notice you're completely brushing over the woke cringe factor here. <laughs> 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 the person tries to provide the context for why she doesn't come out of nowhere, and he instead is like, I you're look, ignoring the you're cringe. Ignoring what cringe. Yeah. Man, oh you, man, you've got oh no man. hope, sir. Which was, oh. once again, obviously my point of the video. So you pretty much proved me correct. I knew it not a single so. leftist would touch this shit with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> what? John. Oh, all right, I'm back. That what was are you know, talking the about? Is back. Don't let 4 channels make videos. What now? What, what's, what's he said now? He said that if you would uh, enjoy the Angra Boda section in any way, shape, or form, you're woke beyond any hope. And that someone tried to explain what happened in that section, the story, and he said, you've ignored the fact that I said it's woke cringe. <laughs> Therefore proving him <laughs> right about something. Yeah, he's just right <laughs> now. Liberal. Even though they were trying to address him saying it all came out of nowhere, but... <sighs> At the fear of coming across as a racist, so I accept your Why concession. Why would you fear that? <laughs> what a tonal whiplash after that emotional scene. It's like we're not That's allowed to feel sad for one two seconds. Of the, uh, 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 we're, we're, we're gonna play the scene to uh, connect okay. uh, the boss fight right. to that tonal whiplash. Let's let's just have a look at All it right. ourselves. Okay. This way. We should get you back. You've been gone longer than you think. Anchor Boda. It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this path. Well then, that's two out of three. Atreus. Race me, come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate, um, Last time, I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure Pretty sure it you're a cheating whore! <laughs> it would have been so based if he said that. True. So prove me wrong. told me about snakes One, two, like three, you. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! Fuck! Oh no, you don't! Well, that's how you do it, actually. That's how you switch yeah. from being pretty down dour into a much more upbeat yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, a and character purposefully changing the tone to cheer up another character who just went through a pretty traumatic uh, fam familial event. So, um, yeah, that, that makes sense to me. Using what he knows as well, which is they had a race earlier. It made her happy, so he's going to try and force one. Oh, God, don't get him started on race, Molly. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the turn! I feel like the reviewer missed so many things, some of which was painfully obvious. The point of the wolf race was to cheer Angraboda up after the sad encounter after with her grandmother. Atreus literally states that. At no though. point did I imply I didn't know this was the case. That's pretty obvious. Just, it's that simple. <laughs> no, you don't. What a tonal whiplash after that emotional scene. Uh oh, we want paying This attention. doesn't change the fact that it is a tonal whiplash after what is supposed to be a very sad scene. The statement I made during the stream is perfect. I wouldn't change <laughs> anything about it. Perfect. What a tonal whiplash after that emotional scene. It's like we're not allowed to feel sad for more than two seconds. So really, well, the purpose we did watch of your review, so hey, oh, not allowed to be that. sad for more than two seconds. Yeah, I feel like the clip I showed was a lot longer than two seconds. This, no. game, this game of all games has problems with you feeling sad, I'm sure. <laughs> the scene doesn't matter, it's still bad, I'm still right. So I don't even know okay. why you wrote You're this. You're right, alright. I'm well, still right. Even though I was wrong, I was still right. Let's see what his engagement with that connecting scene was. Okay, are we done with this? Because I'm gonna end the stream. Uh, if, if the, like, hopefully, if the segment's about to end, I'll play to the end of the segment, but I, I'm gonna end the stream. <laughs> the synthetic hit, man. <laughs> Nick's fed six to two bucks. Do they have EBT and S Asgard or wherever this is? This is. Uh, yo, She's black, so we have to make an EBT joke. Right. What is this? Home but do you see how, like, he didn't. All right. He wasn't even fucking. He had no idea what that happened in that scene. Yep. Fucking over the whole thing, so.
I ask what EBT is if I don't know. It's food stamps, government support oh. for me. Emotional whiplash after that emotional scene. Then this horrific section of the game ends with Angraboda making Atreus promise her that he would tell nobody about this place, not even his father. What purpose does this serve to the story? Nothing but more emotional conflict. The fucking nerd. You can't tell anyone about Ironwood, not even your father. The biggest thing keeping this place safe is that Odin's not looking for it. My wards can keep the wildlife at bay, but if Asgard ever came looking... I get it. I'm sorry. I won't tell anyone. What would have happened if Kratos was told about Ironwood? Nothing. In fact, uh, it would be a net positive what? for the story. Well, it depends if someone overheard it, which is precisely the point. You don't yeah. want anyone knowing. That's just oh, information Ravens. getting further that shouldn't get any further. And it turns out that was quite an astute observation by her, because yeah. if he had, Odin himself May would have heard, well about have heard about it. Yeah. Be it In plus, Ravens it's or just the principle of making a promise. Yeah, I mean, you know, yep. do I even have to argue? That's entirely in character for Atreus after she asked him to make sure you not tell anyone. Of course Atreus wouldn't at that point. Because then more- He's even inspired not to by his mother and father. He says, like, you guys keep secrets to protect people. Fucking waste of time, shitty, emotional bait cutscene bullshit. Angraboda may not want Atreus to tell anyone because Odin has a large amount of power everywhere else. You're constantly tracking down his crows, and the twist further solidifies how much he knew. Any mention of it to anyone bore risk. Okay, but why doesn't Atreus just tell Kratos in private when it's- Dude. <laughs> you don't always know that you're in private. <laughs> it's, it's not like, listening. It's like explaining something to a five-year-old. It's not listening. It's only them in the room in Sindri's place. You can't tell anyone can't. about Ironwood. Not even your father. As far as we know, Odin's ravens can't see through walls. As far and if as you Tyr, know, aka Odin, was listening through the door. You don't think anyone else in the house? The fact that you have to do these reassurances, like it's really not probable that anyone would hear it. It's like that's not good enough. Angraboda doesn't want anyone talking about it ever to anybody. And Atreus mm -hmm. agrees. Would have noticed. And again, you're brushing over the actual point that it exists sure. to create more emotional drama between father and son. That was- Everything exists oh, for he's... a purpose in the story. Why even yes. bring that up? Gonna... Oh, it's not tell us about the emotional that does of the thing. The, the emotional expert mm. here is gonna let us know. You know, they only have Brock, Point Sindri, and Lunda to provide, like, an answer to what the blacksmith's characters are. Fucking stupid. We could have just not had not characters. This. Very true. It would have been so much easier. The reason that they put it there. It's clearly Talking the writer's anyway. intent, but again, you're ignoring that. So Atreus wakes up inside his house on Midgard instead of back at Sindri's place, but Kratos quickly finds him and confronts him where he's been. Atreus dodges the question and implies that Kratos needs protecting, not him. Are they completely retconning the end of the first game? We already saw the prophecy where Kratos dies during Rag. Correction, Atreus oh, never saw the prophecy. Well, you kind of oh, can't. Well, then, you should probably, like, remove this whole yeah, part, why, then. Why did you put a correction instead of just removing the criticism if you were editing? You just cut it out. It's yeah. literally faster to cut it out than to insert the text and place it and get your... You, everything, your shadows. Don't, I don't right. get that at all. Let's... Just remove it. Yeah. Ragnarok, that was literally the thing that happened at the end of the first game. Well, suddenly a Valkyrie shows up, and it's a pretty good boss battle, but it turns out it was Freya, as Freya is the real queen of the Valkyries, not Sigrun. It wasn't enough that she's a super powerful mage Stop. who could revive Stop. a massive no. giant. No, she's also a combat expert. Countless winters we serve the old father, but only through his union to the queen did we ever taste some measure of freedom. But aren't you the queen? There has only been one queen of the Valkyries, the goddess Freya. When Odin severed her wings, I served in her absence, but it wasn't enough for the Allfather. He used an archaic piece of magic, corrupting my sisters. I tried to contain the damage by imprisoning them in places where they could cause no harm, but soon I lost myself as well. Freya is the real queen of the Valkyries, not Sigrun. It wasn't enough 
that she's a super powerful mage who could revive a massive giant. No, she's also a combat expert on par with Kratos as she nearly kills him despite the fact we win the boss battle, we effectively lose. He doesn't want to fight her. Yeah, because he figures yeah. out it's Freya. Freya, sorry. <laughs> also, when and she says, I would have killed yeah. you if not for your son, what is his response? Perhaps. Perhaps. He's the thing yeah. that happens whenever Kratos is in a point of losing a fight, he activates Spartan Raid. Yeah. Usually gets him out of it. So I think he, right here, right now, is dealing with the shock of this being Freya and deciding not wanting to hurt her, but simultaneously mm -hmm. knows she ain't killing me. Which is yeah. exactly what he says to her in Vanaheim. Kratos nearly gets killed by Odin's crackhead ex-wife. Oh, you can't oh, make crackhead this. Crackhead ex-wife? Oh, fucking oh, hell. Description of Freya. Crackhead. Such a shame, isn't it? Again, I She's thought this guy liked gods who were just like really cool and had no flaws, even though you know this person actually. Well, if they're so women, they marry suits. If they're men, it's pretty yeah. chill. And okay, anything, I wonder what that says. Up this feminist bullshit, dude. I'm oh, so. There's, tired. there's your answer right there. <laughs> well, oh, there you go. Right on for that. Right on <laughs> I knew it. <sighs> Nearly. I was wondering why there was women killed by Odin's crackhead ex-wife. You can't make this shit up. Fuck this you feminist can, bullshit, dude. Did. I'm so tired of this. What was even- is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. Everyone complained about that purple hair chick from The Last <laughs> Jedi. <laughs> I can't believe oh, she going to The Last Jedi. We're actually oh, this dragging is like a Holdo. It's past. It's Admiral Holdo. <laughs> this is a Holdo. classic It's the classic. Shit. What yeah. fucking year is it? Can somebody tell me? Dude, and, I, yeah, I, I haven't heard a fucking peep about Freya, and it's just as bad. Actually, in some ways, it's kind of worse, because she's way more present in the story from this You're point insane. forward. What was even- is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. I don't know, dude. How about you just stop sharing your shitty opinion? There's an idea. <laughs> Freya did not yeah. just randomly become a Valkyrie, she's always been a Valkyrie. While this is actually correct, the fact that anyone remembers this from four years ago is deeply depressing to me. I know- <laughs> what? Because people who don't review games are better at your job, apparently. Sorry. He's huffing on that copium. That's his oh, response. Nice. It's depressing you know this. The L, the L's right there, like, yeah, you got that wrong, buddy. Like, yeah, it's unfortunate. Sometimes you get things wrong and he just yeah. kicks it. He's like, in a no fucking one... labyrinth of L's now. He's trying to run away down every path, but there's just another one waiting. It all leads to L. It's closing in. It all leads to L. It's like the with the norms, and it's just a bunch of L's chasing him. <laughs> to, the, to the point where he's trying to gaslight us into thinking that, no, 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 you're, 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 you're the just, wrong uh, one for knowing the right you're answer. You're the wrong one. You're, you're the pathetic. wrong one for even caring. You're wrong. I'm based. It's uh, yeah, deeply yes. depressed. I can't believe that response. That's also, I thought you mental. cared about Norse mythology. No, because he hasn't even realized yet that that's accurate to Norse mythology. He just thinks they're referencing <laughs> the 2018 game. He has no idea who Freya is. Of course he doesn't know she's a Valkyrie, or the Valkyrie Queen, of course. I don't obsess over anything and remember every last minor detail, but... Yeah, minor but you detail. brought it up! <laughs> You're the one that brought it up! <laughs> Man. In this case, you'd be the autist for being like, wow, they didn't even set up that she's a Valkyrie creature. It's like, yes, they did. It's like, wow, you're the autist for knowing that. Like, what? Absolutely. Anyone baffling. remembers this from four years out of nowhere and just didn't fit at all that I just blocked it from my brain, I guess. And once. Yeah, I don't all know. Right, what you insanity. Cope. Absolute insanity. Just cope. Here's this error you made. Yeah, but because you pointed out you're an autist. It's like, what are you talking about? When you. You made the criticism, someone corrected you, either come up with a better counter-argument, or the stop. The audacity. Just Take stop right. it. Like, the fucking like, L. Like, oh, Take that the L. Why do you even care? It's like, well, you said it. You're the one you brought said it. So annoying. Once again, it doesn't oh. change my point, which was, Freya is a Mary Sue. Oh, no. oh, oh, come on! <laughs> uh, come on! That's, yeah, that's, huh? it's, it sucks so much it to does. have a character who gets this much time and effort and work into her dialogue and her journey that we see her at her lowest points and we see her go through all this you know all these struggles and emotional problems also, and the death of loved ones and it still isn't like, enough she's a mary sue oh look she she summons the giant what the giant that atreus stops by getting uh the big Norman snake Valdez, to yeah. attack it 
Very and then, of course, the fact that she would have died if it wasn't for Kratos. No. Boulder would have killed her. Oh. Well, no. to be fair, this gets worse, don't worry. Not only is she oh, a no. super powerful mage, but she's also a super powerful warrior who can take on Kratos. Kratos is the best at everything ever. Stop ruining my Gary Stu power fantasy, you, you <laughs> liberal fox. Oh, no. The there liberals are taking away my Gary Stu Remember power fantasy. Oh, no. You had a theory, Theo. I feel like you were on point. <laughs> it's okay How when the men are unbeatable, but when the women do it, woof. Oh, Three. dear. She's not allowed uh, to be powerful, but Kratos has to not be even, unstoppable. Not even magic. Well, it's Did funny because Mark brought it up, right? Like, Kratos has Kratos. incredible power with magic and yeah. with warrior stuff. It's like, why is that okay? We just found out. It's okay because it's okay. He's known a lot of different mm. types of magic over a very long period of time. Did he miss the part where the first three games were about Kratos' mis his fatal flaw? You know, his misguided anger causing mm. destruction mm. to himself and everything he cares about? Well, so that's the funny thing. He's referred to Kratos as Gary Stu, which he's not. But it shows the double standard. Because yeah. Uh, he thinks of thingies of Mary Sue, but the thing is, she's not. And we're about to get into that. And on top of that, the story is constantly telling us how horrible Kratos was in his past, and how all the things he, he did was wrong, <laughs> but everything Freya has done and no, does in no, this game. No, just, just, no, hang on, no, hang on, hang on, don't. Him is right. Okay. Freya of the Valley, Master of Magic. Of the Valkyries, Witch of the Woods, Free of all stars, Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. She cannot change. The game says she's always right about everything. Yeah. Nobody harms my boy! And on top of that, the story is constantly telling us how horrible Kratos was in his past, and how all the things he did was wrong, <laughs> but everything Freya has done and does in this game is right. I like this journal entry a lot. I was really happy yeah. with I'm this one. I'm a big fan of it, yeah. So, Gnar is the new uh, Valkyrie Queen. You kill her, and you get her book, and, and obviously this is regarding Freya. Must she always play the victim, as if she has no hand in the shaping of her own fate? In her eyes, her brother abandoned her because of his selfishness, not because she was domineering and controlling. She was exiled from her own realm because her husband was evil, not because she was caught conspiring behind his back. Her son was unjustly killed because of a vengeful foreigner, not because she drove her own son to madness. And when I kill her, Freya will tell whoever, whomever will listen to her in hell, that it was because her former handmaiden betrayed her, and not because she deserved every single thing that's happened to her. Yeah, sounds it's like pretty a cool character. as an entry. Uh, might, mm. might have some character development to go through and a new place to arrive at with their personality. But like, he can barely hear. We shouldn't expect him to. True. Your opinion is shit, and no one should take you seriously ever again Please. on any video game. <laughs> but instead of killing Kratos, she decides to set a temporary truce as the two work together to break the curse that prevents her from traveling between the oh, realms. Ceasefire. So you travel to Vanaheim, which is like the jungle realm, I guess. And there you meet the Diversity <laughs> Squad Avengers. Oh no. no. Uh, Diversity uh, Squad Avengers. Starring wait, wait, white wait, wait, male. Wait, 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 let him do it, Rags. It's much more funny when No. He's... And none of them, except Freya's brother, get any kind of development whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I really have no idea why they even exist. Maybe they're the writer's self-insert characters? But it was certainly distracting. I'm sorry that you were distracted by that. I don't understand why they bothered to model, like, this dude's Avenger squad when they don't really do anything. You know? Well, I guess you can't call the, the them lazy squad. anymore, right? Look at this diversity oh squad here. He really lets wish. you gotta have to come come up with something else. Well, let's see, let's see, right? So he's called them the diversity squad. How does he assess that they are diverse and they are diversity squad? Let's see what he does. We got a dwarf, okay. dwarf? a human. Dwarf I'm assuming. I don't know. Right. I, I, I guess he's human. Who fucking knows? Male. And then we got elves. Understood. Two elves and a dwarf. Diversity no, squad. Ah. <laughs> Oh, to clarify, he's realizing two All humans, right. a dwarf, and two elves. 
diversity back home, squad. Back home at Sindri's place. What, I too the hated the Lord of the Rings. I can hear him realizing <laughs> it. So, yeah, as Mark just said, by the way, what was our team at Sindri's house? It's like, well, I, I mean, I guess you've got two dwarves already, so whoa, that's pretty fucking diverse, isn't it? I legit have no idea what he's doing, as Rags was trying to highlight. Like, what, um, what, what are these humans again? White yeah, male? White male? Giant and his Greek father. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and then you got, like, the Lunda, it's like, it's a white female, and then two elves. Are elves even diverse? They're just elves. Oh, you got a squirrel. <gasps> squirrel! Magic so, squirrel. This, Magic among squirrel. many things, just, like, brain is absolutely rotted through. It's just got nothing. Pretty there. much. Everything that you look at and see, it's through the lens of... It's, it's like, the, he's the... Yeah. What, what do we say? He was the... He's the right version of like a Hassan. What was it? No, it was organized chaos. <laughs> He's yeah. the right version <laughs> of organized chaos. No, I will say a lot of people. Uh, I say a lot of people. I've seen the message several times. You should respond to the to the coverage. Organized chaos did of you. Mutants, <laughs> free. Listen, okay. Oh, got a little gift coming next week on EFAP. All right, a little gift. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Something we've sorted out for you. And while that's going on, we'll be sorting out other things for. The like the Christmas episode. Mm. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. But yes, uh, this is incredibly stupid. <laughs> this is like what, what my conclusion is here. And say like, they don't do anything. It's like, so they just, the Vanaheim forces trying to prevent Odin's takeover of Vanaheim. Yeah. I don't know what, like, what do they need to do beyond that? What, what do you want? Well, if you, also, if you would have just listened to the characters when they talk and not try to punch them in the face every time they say a word, you would actually get some backstory from them. Like, it's like one dark and one light elf, they uh, became a couple and whatever. Vanished because of that. Uh, sorry? They were both forced from their respective teams because of that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, There's Berger, who was, the, who was the, one of the travelers who figured out that Odin is just talking bollocks and is trying to convert other travelers to stop going the quote-unquote mm. path. Uh, yeah, there's lots to talk about, but clearly it's not been engaged with, so it's just the diversity squad that's not really that diverse, I guess. Well, the diversity uh, squad with no purpose, that have yeah. purpose, backstories, relevance in the plotline, and, I mean, calling them diverse just seems strange. All right. I think, like, it's pretty clearly, too, like a, a Robin Hood and a Band <clears throat> of Merry Men situation, too. Yeah. Like, it's not, it, it's not like we don't understand what what uh sorry Freyer's group is it's like yeah they're 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 outcasts to their own realms they've all kind of teamed up together and they're trying to take down odin sound familiar kratos not to mention by the way uh as people have pointed out aren't they like integral in grabbing up all the armies uh yes the, the end game going it's like yes but we don't talk about that don't talk we're mm -hmm. useless diverse is shit and no one should take you seriously ever again on any video game. Yep. Another major Three. issue with this level is that throughout the entire thing, Kratos tries to convince Freya that he's not her enemy and he's sorry for what he did and she needs to move on. That's an interesting perspective. He's sorry for what he did. A little is bit more complicated now? than that, isn't it? And he also tells her about his own family that he was tricked into killing. I've already explained how this would never happen, and it's pretty what clear. What would never happen? He would never talk about his own family? Why wouldn't he? When, especially when it's used for a personal reason to get somebody who had a similar experience to... I mean, like, it comes up pretty naturally in the conversation that they have. It seemed and it's way, something it? that kind of binds them together in a way, the loss of loved ones, especially at sort of their own hands. Needs to move on because the writers didn't want crazy female character but what sorry we're not her enemy and he's sorry and she needs to move on and he also tells her about his own family that he was tricked into killing i've already explained how this would never happen and it's pretty clear that the only reason it does happen is because the writers oh, didn't happened. want kratos to kill their strong female character but what makes it worse he doesn't oh, want to kill her well, the writers, he doesn't want to kill her after what she did in the first game, which is entirely in character. Who do you think Kratos is going to value more than most people? I think it's just going to be 
randoms, maybe some friends, drinking buddies, people who make his armor and his weapons, or the person who saved his son from death. You think that person might be held in kind of a high regard considering Kratos' history? Maybe. Mm, no. It'll be very based, though, you know? It's not very based. Throughout the entire thing, Kratos is constantly apologizing and capitulating to everything Frey is saying. So it's not is true. He, he actually pisses her off several times because he won't mm. just submit to whatever she has to say. He even yeah. like says that everything she's doing is just misplaced, and then she's like, "Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm angry." And he's just like, "Yeah, well, but." She also remember the part when she says, just tells I might him, "Kill you at the end of this." Well, there was like, there was a part where she like tells him to just like kill things, and then he's like, "Do not tell, like, don't tell me that, don't, yeah, like that's not, you can't say that to me. You're not allowed to order me to do these types of things. It well, is what's not. Cool a, is, it, it, he hmm. says I'm nobody's monster, and you could consider that a yep. meta line. Yeah. yeah, I ain't your monster anymore, synthetic man. You're not going to drive me around and kill civilians for their health orbs. That's not happening anymore. Mirrors what Surtur says. Oh yeah. yes, it does. It's he basically wouldn't even defend himself against her if she tried to kill him again. So, um, media comprehension. What? Number one, he uh, says he would absolutely not let her kill him. And two, remember what he does with the axe when he asks her? Yeah, what's, what's he readies himself. He gets the axe he, ready, yeah. Yeah. Look at so, him. Look at the way he's standing. Well, that's just wrong. We, we see him again. Again, I don't know if he heard the scene. Don't know if... He's forgotten it, but that's just not what happened. Apologizing and capitulating to everything Frey is saying, and he admits he basically look, wouldn't he even not, defend look at him. himself look against at her if she tried to kill him again, because he couldn't bear to kill his friend. Wow. Well, why do you say it like yeah, that? Why would you want to kill someone? It would be really sad to, you what know, does that kill, mean? kill your friends. I Hell yeah, God of War, baby. That. No one's safe. That's, that that would be the only sick. way to stop her. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. How the fuck is this Kratos, dude? This is such character assassination. You can't. <laughs> Why the fuck would he do uh... what he did to Hermes? To she saved his son's life. Yeah. Did, yeah. He, did you play the previous game? In fact, did you play any of the previous? How are you games? comparing this to this? What is happening? The second she saved Atreus in the previous game, like, yeah, Kratos is like, I'm, I'm not going to kill you. Yeah, unless, I'll never forget she, this. This is one of she the biggest... She would have to kill Atreus to get one of Kratos the biggest comprehension kill. misses I've ever seen. This is not a good thing. Kratos in the first three games is not a good person. No. No. Nobody thinks Very he is. Very far from it. The entire point is that he isn't. Trying to be better. Not just chopping people's fucking legs off. Like, wh why would you play this footage and be like, "See, he should be doing this to Freya." Because it's fucking cool. A second, this is the same chopper. person that was in the original games. He's not the same person in the original games. Yeah, yeah. Very different yeah. man at this point. That's the whole point of the two games, but you don't understand. Does anyone remember the time that Kratos crushed a woman under a fucking lever to yes, hold the door I open? Do. It was absurd. It, it was you do evil. wonder sometimes, like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing, man? A completely innocent woman. Yeah, it's bad. Honestly, just making so Kratos cool. a mature, wise old man was a horrible idea in the first place. There's no way they could ever um, pull it okay. off in a real- They did though, oh, okay. it was fucking beautiful. They it was amazing. Well. Yeah, I think they did pretty well. ...listic way. So anyway, you fight your way through, you make your way to the World Tree Roots, and Neath Hogue, the guardian of Yggdrasil, shows up, hug her. and you just straight up kill her. Are there any lasting consequences of killing the guardian of the yes. world tree? Yes. Please say yes. To even think something could keep her away from her He doesn't her say yes, does he? Terrible. <laughs> Just terrible. It has come to my <laughs> attention that Neethog has been slain. <laughs> and as a result, her offspring have been let loose. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. Yes, are there any the only clip I didn't include there was that Ratatoska says he's going to take over for Neethog's uh, mm. role, essentially. Now, um, what I will concede is someone might be like, well, surely there's got to be more consequence than that. I'd be like, so what is Neethog? 
It's a creature that uh, protects will tree roots in the world wherever they are, and uh, her children are, are presumably just gonna become the size of her at some point in time, and that 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 that's her role. She was killed, meaning now people can probably attack will tree roots much easier than usual, but that Ratatoska and the other children will have to fulfill the role as best they can. And uh, one of the side missions is that you need to go find those children and get them back. So that all seems much... to follow through to me. Yeah. Yeah. The people, so of the for reference, devouring of the nine realms. What I will say is that, yeah, that's true. What I will say as well is people aren't invested in destroying Yggdrasil. That is a weird thing because that just destroys everything. So it's, it, I doubt that uh, her being missing for however long until Ratatoska can make up for the loss, uh, you're going to have many people trying to attack and destroy Yggdrasil. People don't even have access to Yggdrasil, uh, typically speaking. So yeah, I, I just, this all seems to line up to me. Any lasting consequences of killing the guardian of the world tree? Of course not, and I'm not going to count a side quest where you have to find her children. Because oh, it's so if we discount the... Oh, well, uh, I mean, like, that's what it is, though. If you just well, you discount didn't... that side mission, then... You interrupted why he was going to discount it, Rags. He put because oh, it's a really oh, good reason. Of right, killing right. the guardian being, of the world tree. Yeah. Of course not. And I'm not going to count a side quest where you have to find her children because it's completely optional. Now Freya is free. Yeah, that's the point. If anything, that makes it more meaningful to yeah. do. I don't understand. So anything that's optional isn't consequential. And the narrative implication is that it's not part of this story. Like, it's not a critical path thing to do to prevent Ragnarok. But if you do not do it eventually, these things will destroy everything. So it's like, well, there's some endgame content for you. Well, you know, the Don't say it doesn't have a story, though. <laughs> of clearing up the water in the air in Svartalfheim yeah. by destroying those rigs. He would be like, that's not, or the that's not consequential because Nicolator. it's optional. Okay. I guess that applies to literally every part of this game that's optional. Amazing. But then, of course, <laughs> you don't have to play it at all. So, you know, really, what, what consequences does anything have? Free to wander the realms in her human form. And we get a scene straight out of a soap opera when she reunites with her brother. Pushing the, the message. The family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I Remember, he has no idea who these characters even are. So like Yeah, he don't give a fuck. It, it he is you know, he was, he wouldn't, he wouldn't It shit. is similar to watching a soap opera in that you can walk past the TV and see two characters arguing with each other and be like, I have no idea what the context for that is, whatever, melodrama, bleh. But like there is actually a, we went over this scene. It's pretty good. Uh it achieves a lot very quickly. Um, yes, the two characters it does. that you get to learn a lot about. Obviously he has no idea who they are. I supported no matter how selfish his choices. And he wants to just kill people. I expected you to come to find me. <laughs> that no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Mm, why can't I just... Why can't I just take part in wanton violence, gore, and destruction? I mean, I still think this is, this is a self-report. Like, this is you telling us exactly why you can't deal with these games because they're trying to go for something a little bit different, a little more meaningful, and you can't handle it. You just want to kill everything. I hate every character. If it was possible Man. to hate every character, you don't even know who they are. How can yeah. you hate them? <laughs> I didn't even listen to them. Character, I think I hate every character. <clears throat> God damn, I'm getting sick of this shit. All right, I'm gonna try and wrap this up as quickly as possible. Once they return to Sindri's place, Kratos finally confronts his son in another infuriating scene. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps Just secrets. slap your son. Did, fucking slap him. Oh, man. I'm glad you're not going to reproduce. Uh, oh, okay. The pussy you know, ass writers. Line, like, do you know how many dads would fucking bitch slap their sons if they spoke to him right there? Okay, your model so father. Some of the pieces are coming together. If you're a god of yeah. war, you probably shouldn't be going around. We, we've been over this. It's, it's completely really out of can. character and is certainly not fucking wise. And you imagine the consequences of hitting Atreus when he's already this rebellious? Yeah. yeah. Look at that shit. Yeah. No. Especially when one of you people you consider friends is Freya. 
whose relationship with her son uh, was not a healthy one, and that led to wonderful places. I want Kratos to be the father who's always disappointed in his son. I would love that. That'd be awesome. Why? Yeah, I don't give Why? a shit about just, Atreus, though. I, I want him to die. Come on, beat your son. <laughs> That I want to see it. I want to see the cutscene where, where Kratos beats why. his son. It's never Boy. gonna happen. Kratos should have beat his still ass. I, I was. I'm mind. still annoyed with that. Really, really wants him to be beaten. <laughs> we had another good. moment where he should have beat his son. I love that's the biggest contribution to the oh sequel God. is playing as Man, a shitty son who's it. inferior to his dad in every way. <gasps> it's a generic, uh, you know, teenage boy good. story, except he doesn't get punished. What? Okay. Let's. Uh, what is generic fine. about a? You know, it's fine. It's fine. Goal. Shitty Sorry, son who's inferior to his dad in every way. Says. It's a generic, you know, teenage uh, boy good. story. Except he doesn't get punished at all. He doesn't Looking get punished at all. This isn't what I wanted. This wasn't what I meant. Not if it meant losing Brock. We know what she is. No. Not punished at all. So well, he then, doesn't understand that. He doesn't have the emotional. I don't think he understands that, though. Yeah, it's like it. He doesn't have the capacity to sort of conceptualize what it must be for other people to feel things. You know, like however, how like really think about how terrible you must feel if someone, like let's say Sindri is your good friend, and indirectly through your sort of actions, it leads down a path that gets your friend's brother and your friend of yours killed um like that's a huge deal like that's that's not something that should be taken lightly um or, or devalued because maybe you can't really understand it but it's it's a shame that you think that's nothing maybe it means it's not a i don't even know what he means honestly i couldn't i couldn't hazard or dare to guess Chris, being a brat teenage boy does exactly what his dad doesn't want him to do and goes to see odin but first, we need to climb this massive wall to get inside. Well, it's just another. How much did he fucking skip? <laughs> <laughs> we just went. We just like went from. We went from A, which had like a, a caption note because he fucked up and didn't correct it, and then we skipped all the way from that to he has to climb a wall. Look, you have to understand the dialogue doesn't matter, and neither does the story. So he's just trying to get through the story, okay? Another generic linear section with no hard battles whatsoever. Very lame compared to traversing through Pandora's Temple in God Whoa. of War 1. Pandora's Man, Temple in God of War 1 occupies about 60% of the fucking game. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. Pretty weird to compare them when the wall takes up arguably what? 1% of this is, yeah. Ragnarok? This is like, um, should be such a slam dunk. This is so easy, but somehow he still manages to miss. Yeah, because I, I, I know way better criticisms for this, but he's not going to use them. He know how. No, he's not. This is so easy. An example Dude, though, of like... the many cool things Kratos did. And once he makes it to the top, we finally meet Heimdall, probably the only based character in the game. Oh, he's the only you could pull based. Me up or... <sighs> no, I don't think I will. I am profoundly unimpressed. It makes complete sense that he would associate the most with Heimdall. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I, suppose I should expect nothing less from half breeds. Don't call me a half breed. <laughs> and what are you going to do? Man, I love it when he like oh, insults God. people for their race. Like, isn't that so fucking great? Yeah. He's like, so Chad. great. Wow, what a cool dude. I wish I could be that cool. But YouTube stopping me. <laughs> See, I really no. like high Mel, but. <sighs> Yeah, see, yeah. this is what I mean. I don't like him in like an, an. I don't admire him. Yeah. I it's it's the thing we talked about. I don't I don't like him, but I think he's great for character writing. But it makes you uncomfortable yeah. when someone else is like, oh, I fucking love him. You're like, oh, <laughs> right. You toddlers are boring. Oh no no no! You are going to spare me out of pity. <laughs> Do not get to decide my fate! What an absolute Sigma male. And once again, our expectations <laughs> are subverted. <laughs> as Asgard is just a generic Viking village straight out of Skyrim. Straight out of Skyrim. Oh dear. 
Oh, oh God. Boy. I don't even know where to begin with this. It's so embarrassing. And it's funny because Base Heimdall will explain to him why he's so fucking wrong. But he didn't let <laughs> He doesn't listen in. to characters, so... You'd think he'd listen to you know Heimdall? He's the Chad, right? But no. Honestly, I rise anymore at this point. Is that Odin's palace? Palace. Do you think the All-Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the All-Father built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? I think it's great for Odin's character, too. Um... Mm -hmm. Obviously, when I was first playing it, I had no idea what they were going to be going for in totality. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's always the chance that it's a, it's a mirage or that yeah. this isn't the real Asgard or something. But like when you get the whole package, it's like, yeah, this is Asgard as is needed for Odin's purposes. There's the idea of like building golden towers. I imagine if you asked the, this Odin that, he'd be just like, why? What would be the point? Like, to look awesome? To he'd be like, uh-huh. Is just a generic Viking village straight out of Skyrim. Honestly, I wasn't even surprised anymore. If this is a generic Viking village, then fucking sign me up. Yeah, pretty it's cool, funny, yeah. Beautiful. It would be pretty cool to go yeah. around this whole place. But yeah, it sounds it seems really and cozy and nice, and you know, there's streets and lovely architecture. It's not, you know, overly opulent and garish. It seems like very livable and believable. Well, it's not and, like the yeah, MCU I though. I can get a timeshare uh, there, you know. It's... But the lodge is still a place that would cost like tens of millions of dollars if you wanted to buy it now. If you right, want to make like, everything this way, it would not take a shitty great place. effort. Yeah, no, this is the thing. This is they put great effort into creating this Asgard. He's just like boo, yeah. generic. Oh, boo, fuck you. More than... What do you mean? This looks beautiful, and it looks like a what? place that these two people would come from. It is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, yes, it's subjective. Did he really but come just on, say man. that? Yeah. Did he really just say that? And he cut out my point where I compared it to Mount Olympus. Well, we'll see. Maybe he inserts it right after this. I don't see what. Well, but why would you want it yeah, to look like Mount much... Olympus? It would be weird if it oh. did. Oh, oh God! Yeah, so you just have does. shit taste then. You're soulless. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. I don't know, man. I just I I I I find places like this with wood beams and nice tables and chairs and it, it, it's so much more approachable and cozy and appealing to me than these insanely th these these glittering golden towers and this nonsense architecture it's just i give me a place like this any day of the week easily yeah. Oy. there's a place i could live in that Oy. feels <laughs> lived in Literally not to worry about getting rag. a speck of dirt i guess i am this just seems to have so much more character. for the masses uh, and he, I guess why he didn't address Freya being a Mary Sue. Very <laughs> anti woke, guys. Uh, but just okay. compare. Oh, yeah, because he was saying that that guy isn't anti woke. Yeah, yeah he's, he's he, gatekeeping he his he, fucking like values. <laughs> he's like, you don't believe this or that. I've decided. The guy he was responding to was. I guess he was told that the guy was on. Like, he was right leaning. Like, and Synthetic the, Man didn't believe it. It couldn't be possible. It's as simple so. as this. Uh, they told Synthetic Man that. Hero Needs Coffee is anti-woke, and then he said, well, he can't be anti-woke because he likes Ragnarok, which is disgustingly woke. But you'll find well, a lot of people do not think Ragnarok is woke, as hmm. described by many. Plum for the masses. After high and un- Wait, hang on, sorry. Very anti-woke, guys. But just compare Mount Olympus to this shit. After Heimdall makes a mock- Mount Olympus looks uh, yeah. pretty bad, actually. I, so this is- the, I, I thought I was gonna have to be the hot taker out of uh, all of us. Address um, Freya being oh, a Mary Sue. First? Very anti-woke, yeah. guys. Uh, oh, yeah, Mount looks... Olympus kind of looks- But just- Yeah. Not a fan. Yeah, that looks like- Yeah, that looks Mount like- Olympus. Yeah, um, shit. I don't want to live there. Weirdly that's industrial. The best it what looks like say, it's sorry? something out of- I don't know that that's the most flattering shot of it. Yeah, it's weird that he chose this one. Um. But, like, I'm not a... It feels like a prison, almost. Or an, an insane asylum. Or yeah, a, like a Arkham. Sanitarium. Comes it's across not, like Arkham. Yeah, yeah, like Batman should be there, standing on the rooftop. Um, but, yeah, not... Uh, I actually... I really like the height of Mount Olympus in God of War 3. But um, when seeing it like this, I was like... Um, 
You know, <laughs> I was like, this is something that's not working for me about this, actually. Uh, hmm. It's fine. But yeah, the idea that it's like, you want, live in Asgard. you want Asgard to look like this? And we're like, no thanks. All right. Or I think like in the past two games, Alfheim already looks kind of what I expected Asgard to look like when I heard that God of War was doing Norse stuff. Like, it almost has a, a pseudo science fiction vibe to it, like, like hard sci fi. But um, you're talking about the temple part. Yeah, like yeah. in the first game, like uh, there's and like the the bridge is made out of light and stuff. Like things things have a bit of a sci-fi fantasy feel to them in in Alfheim. And so when Asgard did just seem like pretty unassuming Scandinavian village, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> like it was it was nice. It is quite to nice. Olympus to. Plus the bats don't help. I assume those are bats. The bats flying out of the. <laughs> oh, this is not kill Herbies. So he used that Hermes clip earlier for someone else who just attached this when it's like, this is probably one of the lesser images of Olympus from God of War 3. But you chose it. Olympus to this shit. After Heimdall makes a mockery of Atreus in an unwinnable boss fight, Odin takes Atreus under his tutelage anyway and gives him a quest to find all the pieces of this mask that will allow him to see into this realm tear that somehow might have all the secrets to the universe or something. Guess what? We never get to see what's in it. Even more pointless uh, subversion. I would, yes, okay. So, I don't think it's a subversion that we never get to see inside of it. I never expected to see inside of it. I'd be surprised if they did. I was gonna say, it would have been surprised Let's, if they did see inside it. I want to, if, how would you portray infinite knowledge? All knowledge. You would, I don't even know how you would portray it. Not that you, I mean, I, you, you um, couldn't, you literally couldn't do it. Space but... Odyssey, do that with all the colors. Oh but yeah, with the, the, the bed and the, my God, it's full of stars. Yeah, yeah. The truth is we were tripping balls all along. <laughs> um, but yeah, but... I never expected to actually see inside of it. The best I think that we would have gotten is a character coming to terms with looking inside, but yeah it's and never um, to look inside itself it's it, close, it definitely is best when it's conceptual it's close theater to MacGuffin, stuff. um in that we don't really know what you get when you do the thing but they did describe what they believe it to be the Treyas senses that it's knowledge and experience and stuff right uh but like you know it'd be really weird if someone said pulp fiction it fucking sucked that they set up this briefcase to be so important and then we never found out what was in it like uh, so and even glow like when even when they open up that's one of the good things up the you know case that little light comes out of it like it's golden or something it's man i that element of mystery and not knowing necessarily what truly is inside of something just that it's you know described it, 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 it as took being his a eye thing. right like he peeked inside and it burned his eye out so mm -hmm. i don't a know permanent it, injury on a god as strong as odin that's who that's something else gotta be fucking careful and then of course yeah the payoff of he has it in front of him, he has access to all of it, but this whole game has been talking about the cost of knowledge, the cost of pursuing it. Odin's personified of his pursuit of all things at the cost of anything, and Atreus says, no, fuck this. Doesn't matter. It's not worth the cost, whatever it is. And all this does is blue ball the player. I mean, really? Oh, I found it super satisfying, but... Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I think really it's, yeah, the... Happy for Atreus to deny it. that figured something out that Odin didn't, which is that he doesn't need to have the answers. He doesn't yeah. need the certainty, and he doesn't need it at any cost. Which like, at also... the cost of his friendships and Yeah, he saw family. what it did to Odin, exactly. Yeah. Ties into like the, the end of the previous that? game, too. It's the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the idea that, like, if everything is going towards prophecy and what I'm supposed to be doing and needing to know everything that happens next, what if my father ends up dying because of that? You set up this huge villains trying to accomplish, and we don't even know if it's actually important or not. It is very important. It's insanely, yeah. important. insanely important. Just important, because yeah. you don't person, just because you don't personally get to look inside the crack of wisdom or whatever it is, that doesn't mean it's not important. You never get to see. Then. Yeah, exactly. You don't get to see inside the briefcase. That doesn't mean it's not important. Well, you know, maybe he hates Pulp Fiction too. Maybe he does. I can respect and during the consistency. This segment, Atreus is emasculated by multiple characters, not just right. Thor. That's Thor. Who's well, mm -hmm. listen to the arguments, so, Rags. You you rush in ahead okay. because right, you're soulless. You're right. You're right. You're soulless I'm, Russia. I'm, soulless I know. Rags. I'm, I'm a. I, I'm sorry. I just uh, spoke too soon. I'm sure, I'm sure, sure this really will be good the good. Arguments. 
This will be the good argument. This Obviously one. much bigger and, and stronger. But Thor's daughter Thrude also is bigger and stronger than him. She's we don't older. know. She's also older, and he doesn't want to be confrontational with her like this. He's yeah, you, clearly not, like, he's not fighting back against her. I would argue from what we see of her combat, you probably could take her pretty easily as Atreus. But yeah, you're right, he doesn't want to yeah. fight her. Yeah. Even though she does literally... Sorry, let's roll him back. Uh, I actually want to hear what he, he said about... the N-word? <laughs> I want to hear what he says about Villain's Thor again. Sorry, because we kind of moved over. ...to accomplish, and we don't even know if it's actually important or not. And during this entire segment, Atreus is emasculated by multiple characters, not just Thor, who's obviously much bigger and stronger. So I don't know why what? he counts. How is this emasculation when he's that's not... so much fucking more powerful and present than, than Atreus is? I don't understand why that's even a reference. Does he, does he not understand that Thor... Like beats Kratos at the beginning, sort of. Well, it certainly. Well, goes well, I guess toe he to toe. argues. I guess he argues that this game emasculates Kratos as well. He so. does, yeah. Okay, well, I I forgot to put Butter on my Thrude crazy person goggles also when I is bigger uh, and stronger than him. In Sif, even though she does literally nothing, is also much Stop bigger than it, him. So Atreus just looks small attention. and weak. You leave mummy she's, Sif alone. She's an a yeah. She's an adult. <laughs> She's an adult goddess, and and and, yeah. and, and, and Atreus is not an adult. You mean to tell she me she will be larger? Get, people get bigger when they age. Well, so yeah, I, just, I was going to say because I, I don't know if chat or if anyone here needs to know. Human beings start out small. No, they don't. Born, and then eventually they get bigger. Now it's Atreus like is on system. the way to becoming a fully grown man. He's not there yet. Sif has been alive for a long time and is a fully grown woman. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I did. I like this is gonna be this is gonna be like Santa information. Okay, yeah. some women are taller than boys. You're lying. Wait, yeah. some fully grown females. Shut up, you. Here. Sorry. I'm sorry. Fuck. <laughs> Mentality. I'm wait, so wait, wait, wait. How long did? Wait. All of a sudden, I'm realizing it took me years to be taller than my mother. Well, what? But, oh my god, you're right! I, I okay. blocked out those memories because it was so emasculating to have my mother be taller. I... I, I were don't know. Were you I, born I, soy? Were you born soy? Camp. I, I was born soy. My mother was larger than me, and I... I... supped from her tits. I just uh, soy baby. My, my wife baby. Wow. food. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th this is soy again... Baby. Your brain has broken because of your obsession with putting everything through a particular lens. You're like Anita Sarkeesian. It's cringe. Stop. Oh, also he was, is like bigger and stronger than him. In Sif, even though she does literally nothing, is also much bigger than him. So Atreus just looks small and weak. Sif is also <laughs> much no, don't bigger than him. him. No. So like, Atreus just looks small and weak. Oh, he chose sorry. a shot. He chose the only fucking friend. shot he yeah, could do. Where Atreus is currently taller than him, by the way. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I got the cinematographer and he's getting angry at this. Yeah. It's like, why did you angle it this way if you wanted to make that point, you fool? And you control the camera. Exactly. I'm the only sane man in this I'm mad so world. Food. Please, you know, that, that sounds like something. It's literally something an insane person would almost certainly say, but definitely. I mean, that you're line. The only one. You're the only me one. He came up with that line. That's, that's, mm. That sounds like somebody would definitely say. To go for sort of a Peter Parker underdog type of thing, but I just don't like Atreus at all, and this oh. made him feel even more. Is is Peter really? Parker an underdog? Kinda. Yeah. I mean, he's not in terms of his strength. He's going to annihilate everyone else. But, like, socially, like his... he often has to... I think that's what he's referring to, that, okay. that like, people All domineer right. and that Peter can be that way, I suppose. But, uh... He so just admitted like, so that like it's Clark... more so that he just doesn't like Atreus. So I'd say also, like, Clark Kent would be an underdog in kind of a similar vein, the way that you, he, you, you know, that, portrays yeah. himself and acts around people. Obviously, that's deliberate on Clark's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, yeah. Peter, he certainly like, plays the card of Red Dog, yeah. Peter's, you could argue, it's a little deliberate, too, because he could just decide, all right, I'm going to be a professional sports player, but he, I think he thinks that would jeopardize his role as Spider-Man, and he has, you know, he feels also, like he has responsibility, right? I don't know how easy it would be for him to get away with that as such. It'd be tough. Exactly. And uh, That's what I mean. I think it would jeopardize his crime. Oh, right. oh, yeah, that's, that's yeah, he could be like Dash before oh, yeah. the sequel happened. More. So as Atreus and Thor team up to find one of the mask pieces, Atreus slips away and finds Ingram.
hasn't even really described what the mask no. is he's, dude okay he he's because he just so like much. one of the mask pieces. he just said like the mask pieces and you're like the what the piece is it broken <laughs> do they lose parts of what mask what's the mask for maybe it's he fun. did i don't know well if I, anyone was curious we have a what 20 hours of coverage of the ragnarok story if anyone wants to go check that out you know you can if you want yeah. this it's is all a mask yeah. The very do. powerful magical giant mask that allows you to safely look into the crack of knowledge. 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 For us, for now, we're just trying to provide the, the context that makes points sound utterly the Robota again, and they watch a prophecy which tells them nice. of Surtur and his waifu, who are both giants, and they no, just combine wife. to become Ragnarok, which is pretty obvious foreshadowing for later. What? It for, oh, it's uh, foreshadowing. It's not prophecy. really foreshadowing. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's just like, this is what I'll do. I, I guess he's like, trying to say, I, like, this is going to set up what happens later in the story. It's like, yes, but that in it's universe, it's a prophecy. That's like saying, I'm hungry. In an hour, I am going to go to Arby's and purchase a ham sandwich. That's not foreshadowing if I go out and do <laughs> the thing. That's just me doing what I said I would do. I don't know. Sounded pretty ominous. I don't know. Pretty ominous sure. to get the one. It is true. Is ominous to going to Arby's is pretty ominous. Mask, and we're back to playing as Kratos again, and he finally takes agency in the plot. The only time this entire finally. game. I think it is hard for me to think of a time where he doesn't take agency in the plot. Almost yeah. everything has to run on his approval, and that's that's Kratos for you. He, everything runs with him knowing what's happening and then him approving of it. That he makes a decision for himself. Oh. Atreus. I'm just checking on. Too bad. Yes, sir. So what do you say? No. Let me show you what I found. Show me. Show us where I'm planning our next move. Oh. So, where are we going? I'll find. I can else. only let you decide. The shrine of Gro, a young one. Your father tells me you found it there. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Let it go, you may live. We'll need to find Sata. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see if done. Frey and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. He has so much agency, it overthrows yeah. his. Uh, Kratos is, is in charge pretty much throughout the whole game. I know. Though I don't mind the idea of him not necessarily being in charge at different points, it's fine, but the fact is you're just wrong. Don't you know what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? By the way, I really quite like the gear at that point. The level, mm -hmm. like the opener gear leveled up fully. The, yeah, with those gold right and back. stuff. It looks pretty cool. I think it looks real cool. <laughs> pretty soy. We don't change. I destroy us. No more. No more. There is much to do. Much to rebuild. Would you join me? 
and we're back to playing as Kratos again, and he finally takes agency in the plot, the only time this entire game that he makes a decision for himself. All right, if you weren't paying attention throughout the whole story, nope. go ahead and write a review on the game. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's proud of not paying attention. I, I know, at a certain point, it does seem like I'm I'm fishing for something to complain about. To go yeah. seek out the Norns, who are the fates of the Norse dimension. After fighting your way through quite a lot of enemies on Midgard, Kratos and Freya ride on a Kelpie to the bottom of some lake and find the Norns, who are also very cringe characters. Who are the also ghost very of Sparta cringe. furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. <sighs> oh, he failed. He fails. And they tell us that fate is not real. People do have free choice. They just very rarely make a decision that they can't predict. This might be the only metaphor in this story that I actually agree with. Wow. Went to see the fates, which was kind of lame. I thought Fates that was just really didn't there say anything of value. Wow. I'm sorry that you get nothing out of that. You know, <laughs> I legitimately, just... I, I legitimately pity that you could watch a scene like that and take nothing. He just from totally it. changed his mind. He didn't know what happened in the scene. He has no idea. Like, what was the point the Nords made? He's like, I don't fucking know. But somebody may have written a comment. He may have read some of the. He didn't even say what the actual purpose was. He just said that what they said is that when you know a person, you can kind of see their future. Which, the point of that scene is that if you want to change what is set, you have to change yourself. No, this is another question no, no. expectations. I'll probably how, add it to the video. How is this, how is it a subversion? Sorry. Uh, let's have a look. I um, never get to speak Fates to really didn't there say anything of value. Rock. We'll it, it was just no, another no. subversion of expectations. I'll probably add it to the video. That's about it. It's this is okay. Brian Johnson. This quest oh, okay. was not for nothing, as Kratos does learn that Heimdall plans to kill his son. That's not the important- they literally say in the scene that is not the important information. Yeah. But you've he, been got again. He, he fell for <laughs> Odin, and he made the same mistake Kratos did. Like, it's- it's brilliant. And to be fair, Kratos didn't he, even make the mistake. Kratos acknowledges he understands the point, but he's not gonna stop protecting his son. Yeah. I want- I want the voice actor for Odin. Who's- what's his name? Richard Schiff. Richard Schiff. I want Richard Schiff to go to one of Synthetic Man's live streams and say, Haha, I fooled you. <laughs> I fooled you. <laughs> Lamau. Lamau. It really didn't there say anything of value. Who cares? Nobody cares about good writing anymore. No, right there. Yeah. Uh, you very the true. The, the, the fucking poster child for good writing here. The Rosie the Riveter of storytelling. Letting, well, she was probably a Mary Sue, but yeah, this is the guy. <laughs> probably. That need, this is the guy that needs to, <laughs> to make the judgment on that. Only if she could also. Dunning Kruger. That lady was boy. <laughs> <laughs> and so to kill Heimdall, Just he's Kruger. going to have to forge a new weapon in Svartalfheim an infinitely duplicating spear. And even though I think the weapon's awesome, this weapon sucks. <laughs> the new cool weapon sucks. They didn't test their game. Stop saying oh, that. Why? <laughs> he keeps saying it. I think the weapon's awesome. The actual quest to get it was incredibly lame. This felt like padding oh, once again. Off. You don't even I'm fight a cool right boss off. in Svartalfheim. You don't, you don't even do fight a no cool boss. boss. The boss Wasted for time. the spear is Heimdall. Yeah. Precisely who you built it for. And you get the payoff of using it's... it mechanically. That's you, yeah. You don't fight a boss to get the weapon. That's true. Well, it's the only boss that's tied specifically to a weapon's mechanics, right? Pretty much, yeah. That's it. Yeah, you, you, that's yeah. true. So he he couldn't be more. Wrong. Something I know from not playing it. <laughs> Make your way to some lake. Her made the ring, and she makes the weapon. That's literally wait. And he said that that was like the boss fight he really liked. So he doubly forgot about it. I don't. Maybe he just doesn't register that. that is the boss for the spear, if, so to speak. Maybe, which is weird. Know. Well, he pointed it seems out, to be yeah. Specifically, the, yeah, okay, well. Let's check out the Welcome Mermaid. It. Yet another missed opportunity from this game to do something really cool. For all the parallels to Marvel movies that you're about to see in a second, I'm surprised they didn't just rip off of Infinity War here and make something what? over the top. Then Kratos. 
What? How's the mermaid not over the top? I don't understand. Like, what? So you wanted it to be that Kratos had to open up the dying star laser into a, a melt metal, I guess. But I mean, a mermaid taking a ring that has the what is it? Spirit of a, it's not a god exactly, right? But what is Dof Dofnir again? Prior Dofnir to becoming just, like duplicates infinitely. Okay, and the but like, didn't they say the ring was a person? I can't remember the description further than that, but yeah. Uh... Okay, but anyways, I'm saying that like there was a lot, there was a lot that went into making that spear. Okay, it's not like they just picked it up at the spear store. Sindri was very reluctant to get rid of Dropnir to the point where he got yeah. his own POV yeah. sequence, which is a really cool one that I quite like about letting go of Dropnir. Kratos have a verbal confrontation. He had a near drop with Dropnir. Once again, the old <laughs> Kratos would never talk to Zeus. He would just try and kill him as soon as he saw him. Yeah, good thing he's grown as a Man. person. Yeah. Can you imagine not any reason Kratos. why Kratos not might not Kratos. want to do that? He's doing well. By the way, Imagine the sun. And oh, we'll yeah, continue clip, to do so anything. just as long as I return to Asgard. Literal threat. Your son will yeah. die if you do anything to me. See, the real Kratos would have grabbed him by the fucking throat and beaten the just beaten Odin to death. He would not have fucking taken that sitting down. But you know, um, and then he would have doomed. Down. He threatened. No, him. he didn't. Man. And he would have doomed Atreus to death if he did what yeah. you said. I mean, he's just, he's just all over the place. Like, Kratos threatens oh. to kill him in this scene. What, dude, that's, that's as far as he can go before actually killing him. Pretty sure old man now. Now let's get to a comment that I agree with in spirit, but it really wasn't my point in the video. It At never 44 is. minutes Weird, and huh? 30 seconds, I said this. And yet more evidence that the writers emasculated Kratos, he never tries ah. to kill Odin here. Even if it wasn't out of rage, which it would be, if he killed Odin, the plot would be over and he would win. I'm not saying he should win here, but he should at least try to kill Odin. He shouldn't just fucking stand there and get roasted and say nothing in return. <laughs> he, he, he threatened to kill Odin. What do you mean? Come the fuck on. And so this commenter said... I mean, Atreus was still in Asgard, so if Kratos tries to kill Odin in this scene, then Atreus would likely be killed by the gods in Asgard. Yes, absolutely, I agree. But that doesn't mean that the writers had to handle it this way. The problem well, is... Wait, right, is your wait, complaint what? that, like, the scenario is what it is? Yeah, he doesn't like is that, that we, we are here. Yeah. Like. He... Oh, it's the same as when we talk about the trolley problem with Batman, and it's like, well, Batman should never be in a situation where he has to make, the, he has to deal with a trolley problem. Yeah, it That's is the scenario. exactly. Yeah, it's, it's what the was Kratos yeah. in that universe supposed to do to prevent this from happening? Well, being see, in this situation, me, the writer shouldn't have put him in that situation. Yeah. Ah, I see. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, and the yeah, re but the reason why there. they put him in a situation is because it works on that level. There's something that he wants that he can't get. He has to deal with that. It's kind of like just good drama. Yep. Um. I don't. I don't know why you would make it so that that's not the case, and I don't know why you would consider that to be like a strict improvement. Well, I guess the idea being like I'm this close to the last boss. Why can't I just kill him now and end this game? Is well, that, we have a reason. It's the reason in the story. Oh yeah, I, I'm aware of that. Yeah. It's the critical equivalent of like going out and finding a spade and then just getting really upset that it's a spade. Yeah. How but dare so it. said, is he not entitled to criticize the plot? He hasn't done that. He's entitled to criticize the plot. Yeah. Give me some arguments. Don't just say I don't like that they decided to tell a story about what they told. That's And here's why. Da, 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 da. Yeah, We're kind of arguments. the same at the beginning with the whole Odin thing. It's like, it should have just been a different story. He should have made a choice that wasn't in character. Yeah, it, al like, it also is possible to a pro for a protagonist and an antagonist to meet and talk and not fight. Yeah, that was the circumstance that they leveraged, which was that Kratos can't kill him because, yep. of, because it would result in the loss of Atreus. It's actually a really good way to enable a scene that would otherwise be very difficult to facilitate. A lot of these are treating it as if this game's story was written in stone, it could never be changed, or they don't want to address how it was written at all. You have to provide an argument for why we should change the way it was written at the core. You, 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 yeah, yeah, like, you can't just say that you dislike the scenario, even though it's totally functional. 
Yeah. Like, that's not good enough. And so instead of addressing my criticisms of the right- Not anything, it's just your fifis. It's not, yeah, exactly. ...writers themselves, these comments just say, Well, that's what happens in the story. Didn't you see what happened in the story? I mean, to be fair, yeah, it's, it's, that, you, you, that, don't, that, you don't acknowledge dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> and I disagree with it. I think it's horrible. You disagree That's my with point. it? Why? Well, then yeah, tell you me didn't why. Say that it, you, you didn't even explain why it is no, no, horrible. It, all he you said was that, that it, we should never have a scenario where you talk to your enemy. That's just that's absurd. We should write it so that never happens. I feel like I'm losing my the mind right now. most famous scenes in both Heat and The Dark Knight are scenes in which the protagonist and antagonist just talk, really. Give a fucking argument, mate. Kratos and a verbal confrontation. Once again, the old Kratos would never talk to Zeus. He would just try and kill him as soon as he saw him. By the way, so. Kratos has several yeah. verbal confrontations in the original games. Several. Mm. See, the real Kratos would have grabbed him by the fucking yeah. throat and beaten the just beaten Odin to death. He would. It sounds like he's criticizing him in the scene, not that the scene exists. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, but but now right. it's changed to like the scenario itself shouldn't have even happened. It's that just weird. Like every time that there's a criticism, for whatever reason, it's just for some reason not what you said. It's like, well, that wasn't actually my point. Like if you were paying attention, or if you would just use some critical thinking skills, you would have understood that it was a different point. It's just kind of funny. Big ask, Fringy. Why don't you calm down with this critical thinking uh, skills yeah, or whatever you I'm talking. not, yeah. Mm -hmm. Didn't he give the gatekeeper a chance to live in God of War 2? Don't forget, uh, Hera. He outright spared her. Yeah. She kept annoying him. <laughs> so he decided to kill her. Fucking taking that sitting down. It's just everyone is a fucking liar, down. I guess. <laughs> Wouldn't it be way more interesting if Odin actually pissed Kratos off and he made a mistake? I think so, instead of just watching another slow-paced, pointless cutscene. I thought no, that no, it no. was cool like, super-duper high up and virtually infallible. But now you want to see Kratos making mistakes. Yeah, I thought he was a Gary Stu. You don't want to live with Kratos. Also, mm. um, I preferred the fact that Kratos right now is dealing with the fact that he's slowly becoming the guy he was in the OG, and he's trying to stop himself from becoming that. Mm -hmm. but, so this scene, he's having maximum restraint in not killing Odin, not becoming who he was, and losing Atreus as a result. Just like he lost his family the last time he fucking indulged. That we learn a value from, and it just wastes our time, um, like most of this game. Of, uh -huh. So yes, while I agree with you, in spirit, the that problem would be my is question the situation. Like, what do you think they were trying to achieve in that scene? Like, that would be my question. What do you think the writers wanted to achieve with that scene? Let's assume that you're right and the scene is pointless and worthless. What do you think their goal was? I'd be so curious to hear what his answer was. Like, a real answer, not some bullshit, like, meme answer of, oh, it's to make him cuck soy god of war, dude. Like, I'm so curious, because I feel like he wouldn't be able to explain what the point of that scene was. I feel like he wouldn't be able to explain the point of many scenes in this game. Just based on everything that we've gone through so far. itself. This is just another scene that exists just to make us hate Odin more, even though there was already a shit ton of those. And Which is funny because Odin is the reasonable one in this scene. He keeps trying to break bread, make a peace. He said Atreus came to me of his own volition, not even a prisoner. But Kratos is like, yeah. I will kill you. I will fucking kill you. I will kill you. The thing is, it's probably wise to not trust anything Odin says. We've been and it one assassinates Kratos' character, or I mean, uh, character development. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. How can you even- Man, is it <laughs> not? <laughs> like, surely uh, if you don't agree with it, you could- it's still character development. He develops into a new character, even if you don't like it, right? He keeps saying, this isn't what Kratos from the OG games would do. It's like, he's not that guy. Correct. Why'd you keep yes, saying no, that? Yes, correct. It's, it's, it's been a while since then. Yeah. That's yeah. the point. He's changed as a person. He's seen that terrible things happen if you just go around and uh, kill everything all the time. No good. Call it moment. If it happens off screen in between God of War 3 and 4. I mean, just imagine if we actually did get a boss battle here and Odin was too strong for Kratos. And just make some mockery of him. Just You'd complain. Yeah, you would complain that it's emasculating uh, yeah, Kratos. Um, Kratos yeah, lose. Uh, Kratos just win? God. Just wipes mm -hmm. the floor with him. And then just laughs it off and goes back to Asgard and continues using his son. Wouldn't that well, be so way really more interesting than what actually no. happened? No, no. not even no. slow. That's extremely That would be worse. I way prefer... Boring.
Kratos having to restrain himself. To fight more in interesting. The yeah. And yes, it would be. No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Bullshit. Kratos is the best at everything ever. Stop <laughs> ruining my Gary Stu power fantasy, you you liberal fucks. That's I mean, just imagine if we though. actually did he get really a boss battle here, and Odin was too strong for Kratos. Bullshit. Kratos is the best at everything ever. He does Fishing. not respond to or attack Odin because that is clearly what Odin wants. That's why he's subtly taunting and insulting him. Again, no shit. Do you really think I didn't understand that? That doesn't. Man, it's funny because that's not my okay, take. That scene. What would be your take on that scene? Odin's trying to figure out how to stop uh, Kratos from going. Well, on yeah, because path. it seems like after the the threat, he just sort of gets pissed off and just starts lashing out at him and then leaves. His goal yeah, was to so, yeah. stop from Kratos from trying to kill him and Heimdall. Remember, he's aware of mm -hmm. his mission to kill Heimdall through Tyr. Also, like, why did you say that the scene was pointless then? You know what was happening. Because he can never or lose. Or at least you there's some dynamic going on. So why did you say that it was pointless? He there was a point, and you grasped it. Yeah, but he feels threatened as to the reality that he may not have understood it. Right. So now he's like, of course I understood it, when it's like, yeah. I don't even think no, that's what was No shit, I understood it. Duh. Yeah. yeah. It matter. Sometimes... I also want to say, man, the, uh, that, that, a lot of this dead space lighting. Now, a lot of this, now the lighting's yeah. different when you're in a, uh, when you're in a no oxygen environment, but still, I can't wait for this, uh, remake with how good it looks. Doing what the villain wants and giving in is interesting. Kratos is known to be quick to anger, at least he used to be. He used to lash out at everything that pissed him off. That was one of his defining traits. This doesn't make- How did that work out? It didn't not work out. Well. Kratos, didn't getting well Kratos is getting better at not doing that. Yeah. Make him look more mature. It just makes him look like a pussy. That well, was no, my it, point. Oh, oh. I, I thought you said that it would have been a mistake. I thought you said it would have been interesting if he made a mistake. Now you're saying that he would have been a pussy if he made if he if because of following through on the choice that you recognized was not one. Getting confusing, isn't it? It's getting very confusing because it seems like the actual argument changes depending on the criticism that somebody throws at him. Point. And again, this did far more interestingly than it did. Honestly, it would be even more interesting if Kratos did kill Odin and his son did get killed as a consequence. And then Kratos has to grieve Atreus and come to realize that he is trapped in a cycle of vengeance. It's so interesting in fact, how, like, that nothing. suggestion completely negates everything to do with Atreus' story. Yeah. Like, the arc that he's going on. Yeah. That you would just cut that off. That would like, be a dead end. There's a line in the game already that basically says this. Justice is not what we seek. It is vengeance. Every path I walk. Leads back to vengeance. But you guys don't want interesting writing. You want your Marvel <laughs> cape shit generic. <laughs> no. Oh, come uh, on. He like advocated to just see the original story that was in the trilogy again. Yeah, just do it again. That would be more interesting. Yeah. All right, buddy. Baby subversion that has no real consequences instead of actually interesting, dramatic moments in the story. You'd rather have characters talk about their emotions ten more fucking times. And the sad uh, part wow. is... feelings. I can see you're very upset when characters have feelings. This is probably the most reasonable criticism I got, at least of the story. <laughs> because even though I made several and other... And even then, that's still totally wrong, right? Yeah, still, <laughs> everyone's still wrong. ...actual inaccuracies in the video, the people who wrote these comments made a lot of bad faith arguments and Can't suggestions around my intent or implications of those points in the video. I didn't explain all my points in the video all that well, and there is a reason for that. The way I make uh, video game reviews is different from most other people. There are yeah, generally are two types on YouTube. There are the mainstream reviewers that give very vague praises and criticisms toward the game. They're typically the ones that get review codes and then release their videos as soon as the embargo is up to maximize views. Okay. I'm sure all of you can picture at least one person on this platform that's like this. IGN.
for example. Yeah, he's talking about. All yeah, right, sure. go ahead. And then there's the other end of the spectrum, the Joseph Andersons or Matthew Matosis yeah. or maybe H uh, Bomber guy together. or something. Yeah. Who will spend a month working on a video, writing the script, making sure it's airtight, having all their points organized and together. And these videos are usually over two hours long. That's now I am true. somewhere in the middle. Not true My video Matosis. Matt's right. videos rarely reach 45 minutes, unless he's doing a full-on commentary. Uh, yeah, they're fucking... Whatever. Packed. Whatever. He's, yeah, it's fine, so he's, he's saying those two exist, when to me I'm already like, there's an enormous spectrum, but fine, if you want to try and lock them into those two piles, I, I, sure. ...videos are bigger than the vague mainstream reviewers, but they're also shorter and far less... Okay, let's roll them back a bit. ...two hours long. Now, I am somewhere in the middle. My videos are much longer than the vague mainstream reviewers, but they're also shorter and far less organized. What you're saying is you're uh, the worst of both worlds. You're very yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm hearing. And long. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah. Long, vague, inaccurate, and still vapid. Yes. So congratulations. I don't know why you even want to point it out. Then the video essay YouTubers, right? Because the way I make videos is I just give you my unfiltered thoughts. Now, unfortunately, this oh, no will lead way. to a lot of factual inaccuracies, and it has over the course of the nearly three years I've made content. Because oh, I don't really care to do long. research, I do most things based on notes and... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like, uh, I might have found your problem, my dude. Uh, yeah. yeah. we, we now know what's wrong. Let's, let's see I know that these. my protest leads to factual inaccuracies, but I don't care. Well, let's see what he says, videos, right? What else does he have to say? He's, yeah, he's he highlighted the issue. He's highlighted what's wrong that he doesn't seem to look for correction. What does he, he do about that? My own research. So. Forgive <laughs> me if I don't pay attention to the countless pointless dialogue. Quit talking yeah, well, over the game. Uh, buh, buh, buh. You really want to hear all this shitty dialogue? I'm putting this here because yeah, this is beyond research. research. This is just not even playing the game. This is going into it wanting to hate it. Yeah, deciding fuck, yeah. preemptively that it's going to be bad and that it's not yeah. worth your time. What everyone accused me of doing was, well, Elden Ring and this. Just going in <laughs> wanting to have a bad experience and hate. But like, this is literal at this point. Yeah. Like, what, he's like, describing that you to not? you. <laughs> Look at it. He, everything he says has some degree of snide snark to it. There's like, oh yeah, this is one of those good games because I'm going to be able to farm controversy points by disliking it and saying dumb shit about it. $70 yourself on the shitty game if you really care about the dialogue. In fact, actually, if you're asking to hear the dialogue, again, you're part of the problem. All this sucks. None of this matters. I don't really care to do research. Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. I corrected some of the mistakes I made in the video itself. And I'm not saying this to say that you can't point out factual inaccuracies. You certainly Why can. Why do you sound so mad Just about know it, I'm never going to change how I make my content because I don't care uh, enough. Uh, I... Oh, oh. I don't. You know what? If you recommended uh, this video to us and you thought it was good, fucking shame on you. <laughs> This is just snake eyes. We, this is, this this is, is, is fucking lost. pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> I Man. look, I'm gonna have inaccuracies, and I don't care. I'm not changing anything. <laughs> it's like, okay. I don't really care to do research. Is she even the god of? I've already forgotten. I corrected so some of the mistakes I made in the Jeez. video itself. And I'm not saying this to say that you can't point out factual inaccuracies. You certainly can. But you're just arrogant know if I'm you never do. going to change how I make my content because I don't care enough about YouTube videos to write this massive airtight script. Then expect people job? to tear you the fuck yeah. apart. For well, being yeah, an exactly. Idiot. Like people are gonna, uh, yeah. And also, you know, like these people who made God of War Ragnarok, they worked really hard on that game. Yeah. Do you think that now you owe them like enemies. the courtesy of maybe getting things right? Like, if you acknowledge that your process. Least you making what did he say exactly? Many mistakes or lots of mistakes, something like that. Factual oh. like inaccuracies. You... Yeah, factual inaccuracies. Actual inaccuracy. Yeah. Like I don't know. May maybe it would be worthwhile to spend a little bit more time developing your thoughts and critiques. Yeah, just e expect the results. You, <laughs> you're gonna get strong nice. results. Yes, people are going to people aren't going to be like, well, but then again, this is the way that he makes his videos. First of all, they might not know that. In fact, they probably won't. And second of all, even if they do, so what? You're getting things wrong. Not an excuse. Well, let, let's let's just say that. So 
the beginning of every video, if you could, I'd appreciate it. Just let people know you don't care about research. You don't care if you get things yeah, wrong. And most of the time, exactly. you don't even listen to the fucking dialogues. You don't even yeah, understand. And you're story. not going to change. That is your preface, you know, like your disclaimer yeah. right at the beginning of the video to let people know what they're getting into. I'm sure that that will yield great results. Yeah. I you know, the, you, why don't you be you, honest? There's no way, yeah. It'll be a little more. You would never put this at the beginning process. of this video. I mean, yeah, because you, you wear like a shirt with George Orwell quote on it. Like, you. You're the king of honesty. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure George Orwell would be together. thrilled to hear you say that. He's just, out here, He's just out here speaking his truth. Come on. Yeah. I can, mm -hmm. just know I'm never going to change how I make my content because I don't care enough about YouTube videos to it's write this job. massive airtight script oh, well. for something people are going to forget in a week anyway. Because well, that's maybe the your videos, sure. Your videos, yeah. they forget in a week. Don't, you know, but some of us, you I mean, know, this explains are, everything. He doesn't even value his own work. Because yeah. of it is like bullshit. That makes sense. Oh, apparently, it's it's dumb horse shit that he cobbles together. He doesn't really care about it. He doesn't what give do it any value. Devaluing but it's his like job. making YouTube videos. Why do people keep doing that? You don't. Well, you can do take something it a little else. bit more seriously. It does take pride in your work, me? Exactly. What? Oh I'll yeah. Just say that as well. Mm. <laughs> oh, just this keep is... song coming back to that. eh? why should I care? Act most content crept is that YouTube. Wait, let's roll them back. YouTube videos to write this massive airtight script for something people are going to forget in a week anyway. Because that's the fact most content creators don't want to accept, is that YouTube content is extremely disposable. And that's how well, I've always treated it. Well, I mean, Some be. of it, maybe. Well, I just, I mean, he's basically just but said, like, even I think it's disposable, I'm making it disposable. Uh, yeah, which is kind of way worse, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> they're like somebody yeah. who thinks that they're making something great that's disposable. Because at the very least, there's like an effort to make something worthwhile. I mean, I, I spent a lot of time, uh, about a year and a half, for Geeks and Gamers making a video a week. That That's what I was doing. And I was finding it was getting really hard for me to actually put in the amount of effort I want to. And that's sort of why I told Jeremy, like Jeremy and I are still on good terms and everything, but I, I just said, hey man, I kind of want to spend some more time on my videos and write my scripts and redraft them and make, make good longer videos. And the best video I've ever made as far as views go is like a two hour long documentary on the Metroid series. So, I mean, you can do one type of content and then decide. Hello? Oh, oh, did I? I... Oh, sorry. Oh, you I, cut I, out. Yeah. Sorry. I Carry think on. I might have slid my finger off my push to talk button. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, anyways, I'm just saying I changed the way I make videos and I, I'm much more proud of what I do now. And it's, uh, I don't know, I always thought it was a good decision. So you can change the way you make videos if you want to. It's an admirable thing to do, I'd say. No, yeah. just admit it. It's all cons just whatever. It's they, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's all shit. Whatever. No one cares about YouTube videos. They'll forget in a week. Why have any sort of pride in your work? Just fuck it. Just. <sighs> I give mine and I move on to the next thing. Just Genuinely oh, enjoy fun. yourself. It's like an assembly line. Getting excited for new product. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it does sound like he's doing that, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Extremely disposable. Like, there's that. There's that part of you that, like, you know, feels ashamed that I guess he doesn't have. There's no part of his psyche that says, man, you, you're just, you're doing the bare possible thing. You don't care if it's right or not. You think it's all just this fleeting bit of nonsense and it doesn't matter. Just trying to get into I the algorithm. Can... It's not about yeah. making something thoughtful. It's, it's about yeah. getting the views. That... Imagine... He certainly says some pretty foul things for wanting to get into the algorithm. Imagine yeah. positioning yourself as, you know, big old contrarian man who's going to say the things that the mainstream media or whatever don't want you to hear, or, you know, whatever the fuck. And then also being Mr. Assembly Line, Game Journal, Grind Set, I don't give a shit about what I'm doing, I'm just going to pump out content. I don't care if I'm wrong, and I'll never change. Fuck you. Hmm? I've always treated it. I give my opinion, and I move on to the next thing. Genuinely enjoy yourself, man. Keep being All real. You're the rare exception in ocean of media. I pretty... Well, thanks. It does mean a lot. I, I try. Just know um, I'm never going to change mm, how I make my content yeah, sure. because I don't care enough. YouTube content is extremely disposable. Being yours, the maybe. one real gaming critic, just it's not good, guys. It's not hey, good. The one it? real one. <laughs> this the is one. he's the real one, guys. Seriously, the I, guy I, who openly admits no, to, 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 to 
Ugh. After hearing all of that, you, you gotta listen to this un unspoiled. Like, after hearing okay. all of that. The content is extremely disposable. Being the one real gaming critic, just, it's not good, guys. It's not hey, good. Why can't we just Everyone's fly over these guys me. straight to the mat? You think I wanna carry you all? Unfortunately, I have. It's delusional. Yes. It's I... delusion, is what it is. It's legitimate delusion. I'm willing oh, to think my. he was being tongue in cheek there because he did kind of smirk. He's not. Saying it. No, he no. always smirks awkwardly when there he says There are several quotes shit. where he talks about how he's basically the only one left. Uh. I have uh. for myself <laughs> now, and I can't really make rambly shit anymore without feeling bad about it. You see, if wait, I write wait, it wait down and it's mm. if I write it down and it's wrong, that's okay. So um, yeah, he's 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 saying he can't be fucking around anymore. He can't be making rambling shit. Okay, but then. His, one of his most recent videos, he says, well, I'm going to do that and I'm not changing. I just don't get it, man. Imagine being one of these people and managing to fall towards the bottom of the pile in video game video essays. That's not a high bar. I can't believe he has less integrity than like all of the aggregate reviewers, all of those vague reviewers. Like, How did you yeah. manage to do that when they barely even come across sometimes as having played the games, but you are showing us you don't care to do that? And if anyone points it out, they could be right. Who cares? I ain't changing my format. Okay, yeah, changing you your format is soy. When you stream a playthrough of a game you're reviewing and you flat out say, yeah, I'm not playing this game again, or going back and doing research to test mechanics or try to figure out if I can build things a different way or solve a puzzle a different way, you're just like, yeah, I'm going to casually play this and clown on it and not really even listening to any of the dialogue. It's like, well, okay, did... What did you do then to review it well? Well, I played it and then I had a bunch of feelings and I kind of just blurted them Build into them a microphone. Yeah, well. well, I'm never going to change how I make my content. And this scene was just painful to watch. I feel like the game can't decide whether or not Kratos wants war. He refused peace at the beginning of the game, yet we're constantly told he wants to avoid bloodshed, doesn't want to kill Felt anybody it. except Odin, which is pretty much impossible. That's just stupid and naive to believe that- We missed the whole point of the fucking game. Yeah. Like, we're all heading toward Ragnarok and war. He doesn't want that. However, his interest in keeping his son safe and defending his friends will inevitably lead to war. Yeah. What even happened? Not to mention, Odin straight up calls him a cuck in this scene, dude. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind, you sure he's yours? And the writers obviously didn't play the old games. I know they did the research on some of these stories, or a different oh, writer that. entirely wrote the stories while you're riding on the sled or in the boats that reference the previous games, but they clearly forgot that in God of War 2, Kratos did ha Oh, so we're done with- that was the- that was his evidence for him being a cuck. Was his, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That's not what a cuck is. Yeah. It is now. No one seems to use that word correctly anymore. Yeah. Which means bad guy. What he's talking about <laughs> is the idea that the traits Atreus has couldn't possibly have come from Kratos, so perhaps there was another father, lol. A cauldry is not when you raise another man's son. One might refer to that as a Chad fucking move. To make it's them... literally the villain's deal in The Mask of Zorro. You, you take another man's kid, raise them properly, and make, instill in them your values. So, uh, yeah, cuckoldry's a whole different thing. Um, as for the, so this is the next point now. Clever. Kind. You sure he's yours? And the writers obviously didn't play the old game. And of course, that that's that comment's supposed to be like, you're nothing like your son. That's what the, the yeah. joke there was by Odin. It's, because some people are saying uh, he's clearly joking. It's like, it's a shit joke. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, what what would the joke actually be if it... Oh, yeah. Because I get Odin's joke. Oh, of course, but... That, yeah, because Atreus is, doesn't seem to be anything like his father. So what... Yeah, I don't know.
games. I know they did on some of these stories, or a different writer entirely wrote the stories while you're riding on the sled or in the boats that reference the previous games, but they clearly forgot that in God of War 2, Kratos did have worshippers. Spartans worshipped no. him while he was a god. Yeah, that's not the Kratos that he is at this point. He's not, like, he's never been worshipped for the man he is now, only for the war god that destroyed everybody. It's not exactly something he considers to be a positive. The thing is, yeah. their worship was basically conditional on him providing them victories non-stop, and that led to them getting him. destroyed. Like, it's not, it's not what Odin's referring to, and Kratos knows that, and it's annoying him. But uh, to be fair, you wouldn't see a counter-argument to this from Kratos. He's not going to entertain that. He give a shit. He's not going to argue with Odin whether or not he was worshipped. This is just Odin trying to get to Kratos, but it is relevant how Kratos, as the man he is now, has had nobody worship him. Nobody prays to him. Nobody appreciates the man for who he is, which is very much what ties into a big old payoff at the end of the game. Yep. What's happening in God of War 2 is that he's trying to destroy everything that Sparta end up fighting with to make Sparta the best. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not quite the same. And yet he says nothing here, acting like Odin was correct. What do you even know of Godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? And yet more evidence that the writers emasculated Kratos, he never tries to kill Odin here. Even if it wasn't out of rage, which it would be, if he- The funny thing is, if you look at his expression, you can read a lot from what Kratos thinks of him saying, has anyone ever worshipped you? Complicated. He didn't say, yes, you are correct. He killed Odin, the plot would be over and he would win. One could win. say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, the war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the giants had you in mind all along. I'm not saying he should win here, but he should at least try to kill Odin. He shouldn't just fucking stand no, there. No, because of and Atreus, you tard. No, but the, um. remember his counter to that is, uh, no, I was saying that the whole scene shouldn't happen the way that it happens in general. Critical media. And now he's speaking. Yeah. yeah, and then he speaks to the scene as it is, so yeah. it doesn't even matter. Get roasted and say nothing in return. Come the fuck on. And I mean, he leaves after he finishes the roasting anyway. I don't... Like, like... He says, is it a wonder your son doesn't want to come back to you, and then leaves. What did you yeah. want Chris to be like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Suck. Fucking hate you. And then when he returns to Sindri's place again, he cries. Yes. Kratos pretty much cries. I don't think we see a tear leave his eyes, but come on, look at this. Oh no! Oh, I don't want to kill guys! Uh, I'm so mature now! Now watch me cry on screen. Fucking Kratos cry. Yeah, he's really uh, he's really emotional about the memory of his I don't even know his, if uh, I'm supposed to feel life. sad here. I mean, wh why? Because you could be he human with human He just doesn't want to kill emotions? any more gods, I guess, after killing a, a kajillion. Did he see the film 300? He's killed so many. Again, what? why am I supposed to be sad here? Oh, he misses his son. He misses his wife. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty that's normal. I, yeah. Well, we can explain Matt, that. He, he has no yeah, idea what's happening. It. He doesn't you, look at you, the dialogue. I mean, I guess you, you nailed it, but holy shit. <laughs> <He didn't, laughs> fuck that, he didn't well, nail it. He has no modern... idea what's happening. Why is this scene happening here and now? Because he's thinking about his one responsibility given to him by Faye, which is to keep Atreus safe. Yep. Atreus is gone. He has no idea where he is, and he just met with Odin to find out he is absolutely in Asgard. That's, like, incredibly mm -hmm. unsafe. What else is there? Oh, you know, just the fact that he's been running away from his history this entire, like, era, and he's just become about as close as he's ever gotten to it. He's searching for and creates a weapon specifically to kill a god. God of War 1's plotline. So he's right now dealing with... He's, he's in, in an attempt... To protect the family that he doesn't want to lose just like he did originally, he is gradually becoming more of the person that led to the destruction of his family in the first place. It's brilliant. Pretty he's having great. a horrifying moment mm -hmm. here, and he picks up the little pouch because Faye's not here to help him. And then what does he have? The flashback where she helped him in the first place understand how to start moving forward. And it ends with her saying, you need to take care of Atreus, which is the one thing he's failed to do here. Mm -hmm. 
I guess, I don't know, there's not a particular incident that is inciting this, so it's hard to feel something. Oh, just I'm sorry that you that detached from the wow. story. So I like to couldn't tell you. gather that. So the past 20 minutes of the game was all covering why this scene is happening. That was fun. Can't cover much. <laughs> and then he has a vision of his wife. This is actually the second vision. I didn't name the previous one, because honestly, none of the three visions matter at all. They're completely it pointless. so much. <laughs> Oh, it's just, like it hurts. It hurts. Like you just don't. You're just really shit at. They are to... essential. Yes. Some people would say that, like, if someone was to, how do you even phrase it? Someone would consider. Some people would consider intellig intelligence. I don't know. I'm stumbling over all this. I don't know. But some people in. would consider one's intelligence to be a partial measure of how they're able to absorb information that's given to them. Whether it's like critical thinking, solving puzzles, uh, being able to figure things out. And he's not able to do any of that. He's not able to take information that he's been given and turn it into anything useful. He can't yeah. understand what he's been given. It's the mark of a very stupid person to be unable to do that. There's a purpose they serve to the story. Kratos settled. Ultimate Giga Chad settled. settled Prove for... me wrong. She's very you attractive. Can't. I have no idea. Yeah, like, like I'm either. sorry, dude. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. This is like all the yeah. people in our chat who fucking cope when they say that uh, that Captain Marvel's not attractive. It's just well, you know, <laughs> whatever, you know. <laughs> like this is another pointless scene. Someone. I don't give a fuck about this. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Oh, I'm so ashamed. I kid did bad no, stuff in the past. Stop. I'm so I'm fucking such a dumb, bad dude. dad. Self. Uh, he, he has the emotional maturity of like an actual 10 year old. Yeah. All the self pity is disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. You know what? You yeah, should no. have to play as a trait. is what's going on then there, yeah. He. There's no. Uh, his ability to be unable to understand self-reflection is in no way surprising to me. Yeah. It's Man. Really adding up. Reyes again, and he makes his way to Helheim to find the next piece. And spoilers, the piece isn't there. And no, they don't explain it either. Someone yeah, told me that Atreus was lying, but if he was... We went no. over this. Like I, I, I'm willing to let people uh, have missed this. It's not most obvious, but the explanation that seems to make the most sense is that it's attuned to what Atreus wants. He does mistranslate, and it takes him to Helheim. His interest is protecting and helping a creature that's in pain in Helheim, and so the mask leads him to it. That is the theory I've heard, and it makes the most sense to me. There's a line. Why would the mask be glowing when he's going in the supposed right direction? Was he manipulating it? He seemed rather confused when it wasn't there, and freeing Garm, the giant wolf there, which can tear through dimensions, that seemed to be unintentional, so how could it be a lie? Let's be honest, it's just more contrived bullshit. So Heimdall, fittingly, shits all over him for fucking everything up, so Atreus runs home to Daddy, and honestly, him hugging his dad is one of the only decent moments of the story, so I won't shit on it. Didn't he just God shit forbid, on it? even a broken clock. Didn't he just Wait, shit on it, though? So, like, he runs home to his daddy. Who knows? Like, what? Make up your mind. Like, what? What do you think of this scene? What no. What, what happened to? Allowed? What happened to beating up Atreus? I don't know. Why is? It... Depends on his feels at the time. I really don't know. So it's up to Kratos and Atreus to, to team up to imprison Garm once again. You get a pretty cool boss battle, and then at the end, our expectations are unsubverted. As it turns out, Atreus trapped Fenrir's soul and now releases it into Garm, who now becomes Frenra, right? So now there's a giant heckin' Pupperino. How very cute. Then we get a scene where Kratos yeah? finally- That's his commentary for it. All yeah. Right. All Sarcastically right. saying how very cute. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, so this is an important sorry. scene. What is he gonna say? I don't wanna know, to be honest. Except his son <laughs> is a big boy and can take care of himself. At first I was annoyed with this scene because Atreus was coming across as pretty condescending to his father. What? But obviously that wasn't really the intention of the writing here. So, he thought it was bad because Atreus was condescending to Kratos. Alright, keep that in mind. That's what he said at first. Now let's have a look at his stream. Falling back into my old ways. Angry. Really? Really? Distrustful. 
This is a pointless scene. Another pointless scene, dude. How many played, goddamn points? Yet. Literally just started. This. Just started. What yeah. scenes are there? At first, I was annoyed with this scene because Atreus was coming across as pretty condescending. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. It's I not character development. It's character assassination. Well. Now it's someone's been assassinated, character-wise. Okay. I'm not sure who or how, but yeah. I'm, I'm At first, I was annoyed with this scene because Atreus was coming across as pretty condescending. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home. This is just classic, like, I didn't have a good father, so I'm gonna write what I think a good father is, and guess what? They're failing. This is you not, no. This is, no. No, no, no. This is how you you raise don't think pussy. that Kratos is, is... I mean, you could at least... I mean, it, good faith, understanding what they're trying to have Kratos be, surely even that you can understand is very admirable. But none of those have anything to do with what he said in the video. He at first yeah, found it, it, yeah, it, it's almost like yeah. if he had put it in his video, it would have been a really bad move because everyone would have been like, well, what you're saying is absolute fucking nonsense. How strict of a prerequisite is corporal punishment for being a good father? Because it's well, based it's, in Chad's yeah, yeah, behavior. non soy. At first I was seen because Atreus was coming across as pretty condescending. So while it was somewhat sloppily handled, and I really don't like the message of be better, especially this comment. I was waiting all throughout 2018 and this game for someone to say the quiet part of the message of these games out loud. We must be better. That's it right there. Modern Hollywood, Western entertainment in a nutshell. Everything that came before was bad or rooted in something bad. We must realize that we are pieces of shit for creating or enjoying it and do better. So arrogant, uh, so fucking insufferable. Excuse me? Um, that's, um, uh, that's probably you, my guy. That's probably not what Drinker is uh, referring to. So. No, I don't think so. And I don't I, think so. I, I think this is just, uh, you're lost. Come I think back. you gotta calm down. Back to the world. You, you, you're too far gone. You're off in the, in the fringes. Mm -hmm. Come back well, to we us. We call terminally online. We must be better. For Faye refers to her trying to make the world a better place in ways that actually have good results. For Kratos, no longer giving into his anger and just killing everything and destroying civilizations. And of course, a general sentiment, we can always improve upon ourselves. Yeah. I don't know Be how... better in itself is not a bad message. In... It's the way how you execute it, and it's executed very well here. The brain rot. See the implications yeah. in the story that you should never kill your enemies, right? All your enemies can be forgiven. That's not what it... Mm, whatever. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Huh. I don't remember well, the part of that scene where they say it was really evil of you to kill. You shouldn't have killed. Bad kill. Instead, they yep. said... You had to do it. You had to do it. You had to do it. Even though this is not something anybody actually follows in real life, try and find a leftist who doesn't think a conservative what? is a Nazi. Good fucking luck. <laughs> What? Okay, it's an interesting injection that? there. Oh. Um, okay. And they're certainly right. not looking to forgive him anytime soon, but so once again, at least bad? I felt... I think, so he's saying the game is soy, and it's suggesting that we should forgive Always people. forgive people, but leftists don't forgive conservatives, so... so yeah, so fuck this. <laughs> yeah, so something, or whatever. Or whatever. I don't know. Fuck it, or whatever. Well, something here... It's character assassination. It it's obvious that this version of Kratos is very lonely and doesn't want to let go of his son. But Atreus is a big boy now, even though I think he's only 13, so he's really not that much of a big he's boy. More than this you. is one of many moments yeah. in the story that you can tell a lot of elements of this game were rushed and it was clearly supposed to be a trilogy. We're getting major. It's, it's funny because this scene is so well supported. Yeah. Yeah. It's all a there. lot of work. A lot it's all there of when you listen to any dialogue. I think we've been through all the references. He's just we stating it's there. rushed. There you go. Done. It's rushed. It was clearly a trilogy. Uh, Liptard's owned. Get right. wrecked. 
nice. points all crammed into this massive 25 hour experience that a lot of elements feel underdeveloped. Like, remember in the beginning of the story when Atreus was supposed to learn to control his emotions so he could utilize his animal forms? Uh -huh. Yeah, well, that only really comes up right at the end of the game. And he oh, no, it's no, we have the up in uh, Ironwood. Ironwood. Yeah. We're gonna miss. Yep. If it anything, kind of it sets up this as being a payoff where for the first time you could play as the bear where you yeah. have enough control. Yeah. It It's a good way of mirroring the player's control over the character and the character's control over themselves. It's actually really kind of nice. But yeah. that's okay. That's a thought that didn't occur to you, I'm guessing. So, whatever. It just goes from that scene where he talks about him needing to control it, and then it goes to this scene. There's nothing in between. It does. Without controlling it. We will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. What do you feel when you change? Yes. Anger. The part of you unleashed the wolf with that anger. Maybe you just need to find the part that will guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you stay you. Bring the wolf, Loki, but under your control! was supposed to learn to control his emotions so he could utilize his- like He just completely missed that whole section, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not surprised, so... Nothing to achieve there. Oh well. ...animal forms? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that only really comes up right at the end of the game, and he just kind of does it. I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. But once again, I'm stretching <laughs> out this review far beyond what it ever <laughs> needed to be in the first place, so let's get back to it. So when we return to Sindri's house yet again, the gang decides we're not going to kill Heimdall after all, and instead we're going to try and help the people of Vanaheim who are being attacked by Odin's forces. So we once again return there, and once we arrive at Freyr's camp, we find out that the boar that you kill in the beginning of the first game didn't die and is in fact a random black guy. Then how um. this? Hold here, please. Hold, I said, he's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You clearly saved the boar in the first game. Once again, who the hell would remember this and why? It what? doesn't <laughs> the main, It's a it's like main clock, story but... thing. But, like, it's, why bring it up, then? It's Wait, the you, first thing that happens outside of a snowy wasteland. Oh. Why did he bring it up if it's only people who are autistic and would care about details would bring it up? I don't understand. You remembered him dying. That never happened. You made it up. Yeah. Isn't that worse? When you make things up? ...doesn't matter, and yet, again, that does not change my point that he becomes a random fucking black guy who does nothing what about... Is why do you keep <laughs> highlighting like that. that he's black? That he's What's black. <laughs> You're like a 78-year-old man. The thing is, <laughs> the thing about it is, when you talk to her in the first game about Hilda Sveedy, it's uh, if you go back into her house after she heals him up, uh, she describes his power set to you in when he's in Vanaheim, or, well, a realm where he's not trapped as a ball form, and she said he can make himself look in whatever way that he wants, like a full-on shapeshifter. Mm -hmm. Funnily enough, I wish I had that reference when I was asked about this before because people were like, there's no reference to people being able to look like whatever they want. Like, there actually is. Uh, be, be careful, Mahler. I, th I think it would disgust synthetic man that someone would voluntarily appear as a black person. I he, see. He would, he'd find that very, uh, he, he would find that very questionable. So. Tell you in game, that was the clear point. Again, for someone who says, <laughs> I didn't pay attention to the story, you clearly didn't pay attention to my video. You just what? said. How could you, you possibly you say, say that? Wow. <laughs> I like you he's just baffling everyone. Like, How does a, a human point. being, allegedly, a human being cape with like a brain capable of saying these statements so close oh, to each other? It's like right next when to he, each other. When he introduced his criticism, the first thing everyone was like, wait, it's still dead though. The boar isn't dead. What are you saying? Is dead? He's like, you missed the important part of my criticism that he's black. <laughs> it's like, Okay, <laughs> and then he's pointless. He doesn't do anything. And it's like literally the scene you're showing. He's describing what his role is, and that we see him fulfill that. 
not making this shit up. What is the point of this character? Someone tell me why this character exists. You can't. You Her can. advisor and friend, counselor to the Vanir, and yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildas Feeney slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. And when did Lord Freya put you in charge? He didn't. And I don't want it. But when I have counsel to give, I can't help but give it. Love. He taught Lord Freya everything he knows. That is good enough for me. I know. I'm just... Tired. As are we all. So after meeting some more heckin pupperinos and gaining the ability to manipulate the sun and moon That's my favorite type of prophecy story where you need to avoid the prophecy, but you're also required to fulfill every part of it How many other kinds of prophecy stories are you oh, just out of curiosity I, for him? I, I wonder but just, Do you uh, not think that that's of some kind of he says that after they say because it's the right thing to do, not because it's written. Like the whole point of the story being that they're making these decisions because they're the right thing to do in reference to what they care about, their nature. The thing is, not all of the prophecies come true. A lot of them don't, because of the fact that they subvert them with their nature being changed. Angraboda would obviously be one of the biggest examples. Stupid. Counter Heimdall once again. And even though I said earlier it's probably my favorite boss fight in the game, it is kind of dumb when you think about it. His ability is to read people's minds, right? So the gimmick of the boss uh, is you of. have to use... Yeah, that's it's not quite how it works. ...use the spear and detonate it on the ground to be able to hit him. But if he can read your mind, why doesn't he know when you're about to detonate the spears and simply just jump out of the way of the ones on the ground? Maybe because he has to meet you directly in the eyes, and so he can't also watch the spears on the ground? But if that's the Might case, be, why uh, can't you use any Being other method of range to attack? The, the game has the answer. To hit him. Like maybe when you call the axe back to you, it hits him in the back of the head or something? You gotta overpopulate yeah. his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Eventually you do kill him, and it's very unsatisfying. Just like, the, the axe is not gonna be as much as the spear to overpopulate his senses. It's pretty simple. Beer is exploding and throwing all over the place. It just makes more sense. Uh, infinitely duplicating. I just don't. I don't know why that would have been difficult yeah. to, to grasp. And then, of course, as soon as you do get him, uh, he starts to lose focus and he becomes. Overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Eventually, you do kill him, and it's very unsatisfying. I was hoping Kratos would crush his skull into the dust. Kind of like how he pulverized Hercules' face in God of War 3, but no, they pussy out on any kind of disturbing gore. It, it, it's funny because, like, that. he's just decided, like, you know, th this, this kind of payoff where he strangles the life out of him gradually as he whispers monster to him. Yeah. yeah. So and, much and more like, meaningful. And as a person who kind of had the same reaction as Synthetic Man, but, like, I was just like, okay, old school Kratos, let's do this, like, tear his head off or something. I like I've subsequently seen the scene and I'm like my whole thing is yeah it, it actually really is better this way cuz there's there's a lot more weight to it and I think that's the trade off with all the really brutal executions for just random enemies it's that's where they're kind of doing the like hey here's the god of war fan thing that you want and while we're doing the story stuff we're going to kind of keep it more focused on the story so I, I feel like he didn't think about it. Oh yeah, no, no gore. <laughs> and so the gang meets up with the discount. And that was disturbing gore. I think you'd agree that's disturbing gore. But mm. yeah, so this is how he touches it with his bare hands at the end. Like, uh, don't touch that part. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, the ripped open part. Nasty. Uh, you're gonna get. That's how you get ants. <laughs> on Avengers squad, and they escape on a flying boat. Unfortunately, they're attacked by wyverns, and so, Broken Sword Guy, I think his name was Hamburger or something, sacrifices Hilarious. himself, and they build it up to be this really epic moment, like, oh my god, I can't believe that guy sacrificed himself. Who was he again? 
And so we... You can find out if you want to. Yeah, yeah. You, you can absolutely find out. You can feel like you owe him because of, you know, he saved you. you. You feel like maybe as a human being that you owe him a little bit of checking up and looking for him and seeing that he's okay. And, you know, that might occur to someone's, you know, mind. But, I mean, you know, you feel how you feel. It's A-OK. -okay. If that was me... If I was in Kratos' position and he just saved me and my son with me and Freya and Freyr and uh, the elf pair, then I would be, uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd want to help him out. Grateful. Be like, yeah, Once again, return to Sindri's house. And luckily, Heimdall had Gallerhorn in his hands, which allows what do you, you mean, to luckily? open it luckily. Does. portals oh, to darts. all the realms at once. Your dumb luck you that he had Gallarhorn with him for whatever reason. I'm glad you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Gallarhorn. A I guarantee all of us predicted what the climax of the story would be as soon as they told us what this thing did. And so, this is where another very stupid moment happens in the story. Atreus, for some reason that is not explained in the least, oh, decides he wants to help Odin again complete the mask. It's in the fucking Because cutscene. maybe the secrets the of the universe will help you find a way out so that you don't have to kill him. How do I know you won't be running off to Asgard next? If I did, at least I'd be somewhere I could make a difference. Now that is crazy talk. That is the craziest of all possible talks. Why? Odin had the chance to kill me, but he didn't. He offered to teach me. Maybe if I had more answers, I could prevent- Prevent what? What is this about? It doesn't matter. Just let it go, okay? Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I thought we all agreed we were gonna kill him now. Why are we suddenly doubting this? Why would you help the villain complete his quest? From a tactical perspective, yeah, that's am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. He wants to get access to infinite knowledge to yeah. best prepare and protect all the people he loves, which echoes and reflects Odin's uh, claimed motivation, right? He says we can make the world a better place, we can do all these good things, but we know Odin doesn't care about that. He fucking rips into everybody all the time if they get in the way in any sense, shape, or form of the mask, which dovetails quite nicely with Atreus' uh, decision to destroy the mask at the reaches that that choice in the story doesn't want to yes. be like odin if i started there awaken the mask get answers maybe that's our way out of this and you know what's even funnier about this is who's in the room right now with them if you know the twist you know what i'm talking about it really brings some dramatic irony to this scene on a second watch i don't know if he's complimenting like, the story or bad but, yeah i'm not yeah, sure exactly. if that's i don't compliment know. or not Dramatic oh. irony is supposed to be a good thing. Gage but it might be a subversion it's of sad. expectations, which means that it's bad. Well, I mean, it's exactly what Tyr said, right? Oh, eyes in the inner sanctum. It's like, oh, ha, 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 see? But do you think that's good or bad? Yeah, I don't, I, it sounded yeah, like a criticism, guy. but he just highlighted something that's complimentary, so I don't know. Atreus journeys to Asgard again, and we soon find out that Thor is a depressed alcoholic who knows his daughter and wife are disappointed in him, and he just wants his daddy's love. God, this fucking sucks. Well, Thor uh, is a fat fuck I'm, in this. I would be pretty much. emotionally distraught if my if I had that kind of relationship with my father. I value yeah, yeah. the relationships yeah. of you know my family, my parents in particular. I think a lot of men feel a a a special kind of bond with their fathers. So that's, uh, yeah, I'm sorry that just means so little to you as a concept. I'm sure your father's very proud of you, though, so. As people pointed out, lost two sons, a brother. Yep. Muscular in any way, which is very disappointing. Thor is just a fat fuck with no muscle definition, but he's a badass. 
and they try and make it Wait, is he a badass or is he a loser he's, alcoholic he's who's in lame the, in the like like oh yeah people are saying he's badass like obviously not he's fat and undefined muscularly and he's depressed and fucking can toddler right. ass impressions of what makes a character cool yep like he's only cool oh yeah like i said like he's got a six he's a pack and he's flying around throwing <laughs> killing everybody destroying Let's... cities anything else would be woke thing by our fight scene but guess what it just takes away some of your combat mechanics that's the opposite of fun you should give me special mechanics no. just for uh, this encounter anyway no, it's drunk mechanics so the idea with that sequence is that you don't get to have your ranged weaponry you've got to fight through with melee the challenge yeah. moment oh that's yeah that's pretty big for someone he criticized as being just a third person shooter character yeah he had to go melee and he hated it apparently he did yeah in a broader sense, depriving the player of mechanics they're used to having can create really powerful moments for them. Mm -hmm. Don't take yeah. things away from them like willy nilly, of course, but you you can. It's not strictly not fun. Come on. Especially the, the tone of that scene is very light, especially considering how heavy it gets at the end of it. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, before they're really kind of so like so up. yeah. And then at the end, end it uh, hits you with the heaviness. <clears throat> I would highlight by the way, says the guy with 10k stockpiled XP. <laughs> Just doesn't use it. Doesn't <laughs> unlock all the fucking abilities he has. Racing their way to Niflheim. You get the mask without anything really special happening in this realm. Wow. And then Odin okay. shows up, but so does Not Sif and a couple stuff. Valkyries. Yeah, and nope. Sif manages to convince Thor to try and kill Atreus since Kratos killed Heimdall. Not what happened, but that's fine. No, that's not what happened. Like I said, a lot of people come away with this interpretation. It's unfortunate because that's just not the scene, but okay. I'm doing the best I can to keep this family together. If that were true, you'd stand up to your father for once in your life. You're right. Honey. No. You're right. They were yeah. thrown at the All-Father's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? But he uses his get out of jail free card that Sindri conveniently thought to give him before he returned to Asgard again. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. Like, I'm getting to the point where I don't even feel like I need a comment. It's just like, so it wasn't yeah, convenient just, uh... that he gave him something to help him in Asgard. He cares about him and provided him an escape from a place that's fucking hostile. That's why and he if, did it. Uh, and if Atreus didn't have that, well, then he wouldn't have used it, so he would have done something else. Well, the thing is, the sword protected him, and Odin wouldn't have let Thor continue. So a different yes. story happens if, if he Absolutely. didn't get out of jail free cut. It would have been different. And I'm Bad thing. curious what it would have been. It's from happening to them. Now the good guys have the mask. Except one problem. Brock of all characters notices that Tyr is calling Atreus Loki. And so it turns out Tyr was Odin the Actually, whole time. Actually, if you'll notice, uh, whenever uh, he calls uh, Atreus Loki, Kratos doesn't like that as well. Kratos has a lot of facial expressions for Tyr. I think he would have been the second one to pick up on this. Um, not happy with him, but yeah, obviously Brock, Brock is also... the one. He's the no bullshit guy, and not not like he's not an idiot. He's not dumb. Yeah, no, no, I meant he's the guy who doesn't um, appreciate people's bullshit ever. Oh, yeah. you were talking about the YouTuber yeah. no bullshit. No, <laughs> oh no, no, no. And he kills Brock, but Kratos manages to get the mask out of his hands just in time. So it was completely pointless. What do you mean it was well, pointless? I guess... it, uh, I hope that he's about to if... mention the obvious thing that happened in this scene. Oh, yeah, he's about to mention it. It's not this. literally, Literally, but it's very care. important to Odin's fate. Wait, hold on. No, hold on. Wait, what's... It's Brock. Let's see, let's but Kratos to manages to get the mask out of his hands just in time, so it was completely pointless? Uh, well, I guess not completely, but I don't care about Brock at all. I'll be honest. Uh, Once again, wow, the writers I are trying you. to build this Why? world, so... Okay. Oh, Whether you person. care about you... him or not, it's consequential to these characters. And if you yes. throw this yep. into your analysis of a story, that the problem is you don't care, you have to acknowledge, I could say that about anything ever. Anyone could say that yeah. about anything ever. If you're making Brock, a review, yeah. try a little bit harder yeah, to maybe an make the review for people other than yourself. Stop relying on Brock your fee fees. Also... Arguments. 
but also like brock is so easily likable like even if his whole thing is like yeah no this this is a game written by liberals and that's why i hate it it's like <laughs> brock is kind of a working class salt of the earth type brock is yeah you think he'd really like brock yeah he's so easy to like well he said he didn't like any of the characters hates them all only Except for Heimdall, he's I guess. so based and amazing. The sub is a huge... Oh yeah, if Heimdall were here dying and Freya was trying to heal, he'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, not Heimdall. No, Heimdall. <laughs> Brock, Brock can die, but not Heimdall. Oh yep. no. Emotional moment. But Such if you don't like soul. any of the characters, this scene's gonna completely fall flat. And it gets even worse when you realize, because Odin didn't get the mask, the game is now dragged out for another three hours. In fact, I cut out a 30-minute sequence where Kratos and Atreus fuck off to Midgard while Sindri becomes consumed with rage. It's a complete waste of time. Oh, fuck off. And out of character for Kratos. You don't even know what that means. Yeah, which means it probably is in character. Just the fact that you said that it was out of character means yep. it was in character. I mean, I don't even you know what to say it. anymore. Yeah, for that <laughs> scene, it's like the conclusion of the game. Or like, the you know, the thing that Sindri does with the hammer. No. Mm. Fucking what? What, what the fuck? Odin won't stop until no. We what stop the him. fuck? No. We no. No. This is extreme character assassination. This is I'm fucked. Not. No. Let me back in there. Fuck you. No. no idea What's what really interesting not. is that having this reaction to this scene, considering that Kratos soon says, "No, we we can't do this. We can't just walk away," is interesting. Almost in a way. It's like he almost has fucked up and realized that something isn't quite right. You know, he doesn't like I don't even think he he can recognize. He has to stumble accidentally into sort of recognizing that this isn't how things should be. Uh it's it's as it's presented to you, right? Kratos is obsessed with not becoming who he was. One of the only people he fucking really likes in this world is just killed. That's the that's the prompt to go old Kratos mode. That's why he says we're done. Like I on. I'm not going to do that. It's not going to be the thing that I do. The conversation he has with Atreus is, well, sure, you don't go nuts and kill everyone, but you also don't do nothing. We need to get out there and we need to make things better. And the first thing they do is look out for Sindri, find out if he's okay. Then mm -hmm. once they see him and how everything is falling apart, he says the line all leads back to vengeance. And then he no, goes back to waging the war because the thing is, Kratos has feelings too and uh, he really liked Brock. This what? was difficult for him. He was not sure what he was supposed to do here. Nope. What are you doing? Stop. This is... Oh my god. This is the shittiest writing in the world. Yeah, Masterpiece, mm. my fucking dick. Estrogen wins. <laughs> I... <laughs> Come on. He's such a clown. He's I just a clown. Love He's a little goblin clown. Dumbass. The women are more masculine than the men, and no one's complaining about it. You know, again, the people who pretend to be against wokeness, but nobody's against this game. Suck my fucking cock, you sellout pieces of probably, shit. Can we? I want to know how much money I, they got from Sony. There's probably, no they, way. They probably lost if, if about that, sixty dollars, actually. Yeah. No, no, that's no. probably what happened. From Sony. I don't want to tell you, man. Oh I no, this like one's gratis. I owe them a few. I like the uh, game. That's the answer. I haven't, I haven't actually paid. got any money from Sony. Hmm. Well, it, it might depend on where, like, the country and stuff. So it might take a while. So yeah. Cowardly oh, that they you. didn't get any Jeez. money and they just didn't want to piss off their fans. Fuck you! you all they piss off my fans. I've pissed off loads of people by liking this game. Weird. I don't think yeah. I have any fans. <laughs> They're pathetic. Yeah. All of them are fucking pathetic. Sure, Every reviewer. Right Okay. Everybody's like you, stupid sir. but me! No. Everybody's pathetic but me! No one cared about Brock that much. No. Nope. <laughs> NPCs, um, maybe, but not like you. real humans. <laughs> humans who can imagine the apple. In uh, head, NPCs. Right? Yeah, the they, they real... care about Brock, not like me. Yeah, you're all NPCs, chat, so I was. Yeah, <laughs> get over it. You're all snoy NPCs. Humans who have an inner voice. No. Now, NPCs, maybe they shed a tear for. Little blue man, nobody else. That's how. That's how he gets. Uh, that's that's how he reduces Brock's. It's just a little blue man. That's all Brock is. Yeah. Isn't that fun? Like, some people should just free free speech was a mistake. Yes, yeah, so we right. need to repeal everything. <laughs> it needs to be repealed, and there needs to be a robot that decides who is and isn't allowed to make video game reviews on YouTube. It's, it's fucking wild. 
And to be honest, oh, even man. those three hours feel really rushed. Because in the final act of the game, the heroes decide they need to build up their armies across all the realms. So that sounds like a huge epic quest on its own, right? Yes, but what is the actual quest? This is the big mistake a lot of people make when analyzing this. He just said, Dra get your armies from all the realms. All right, so Niflheim's army, what does that include? Oh, nothing. Right. Oh, okay. Jotunheim's army, what does that include? Atreus, I, mean, no, I guess. Technically nothing. Like, yeah. it, from this scene, nothing. <laughs> uh, it's still, from this scene, nothing. Muspelheim, it's like, well, Surta. Well, the, yeah. the, our guys That's will go grab Surta. That's a difficult one, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. so what else? You're like... Uh, Svartalfheim, the dwarves. Well, Sindri's gonna go try and deal with them, but obviously we know no dwarves come in. So. Huh. Um, okay, well, Asgard. It's like, well, Asgard is the place we're attacking, so really count as one of them. Oh, yeah, sure. Huh. Well, what else? Uh, Vanaheim? It's like we're getting Valkyries. Vanaheim. Huh. Yeah, well... Okay, you know. well, well, Helheim? They're it's like, okay. yeah, Army of the Dead. We're making a deal with... Uh, the boss of the underworld, which we get details on. It's like, okay, Alfheim. Yep, we're getting the the elves who adore Freya as if he was Jesus. What else is there? Like, um, what realm am I missing? I'm trying to remember. Uh, peasant. I mean, help me out, chat. Midgard? Did you mention Midgard? Midgard or... Oh yeah, Midgard. No army. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Anything else? So, mm. does that not sound a little bit different compared to grabbing the armies of the Nine Realms? Yeah. So I, I don't like people's analysis of this moment in the story because they always make it seem like this it's a huge army when in reality it's really not. The brunt of the forces are the elves and the undead. But we were robbed of God of War 3, Battle of the Nine Armies. Funny thing is, God of War 3 was... The thing everyone's complaining about is that we grab them all up easily, one move, and then, which never should have been able to happen, and they're all wiped out right at the beginning. Pretty much, except for, I think, the fire mm -hmm. dude is wiped out a little bit later. Well, and uh, Gaia has a... Oh yeah, Gaia does get an appearance at the end, but she, uh, she doesn't get to do much once everyone's inside yeah. of her. Yeah. <laughs> no. Hey, look, I'm describing what the events are. It's not like... Yeah. Mubishly high. Not even a lie. But yeah, um, but with what I just described, yeah, you get envoys to the two places that need negotiations. The most interesting thing, I think, out of all of these is going to see Surtur. We get to do that. We do, yeah, indeed. He's awesome. Going to talk to the Valkyries about how they need to come to war, I don't, I don't think we need to be doing that. Freya can do that. It makes way more sense that Freya would do that. If that was in the game, I expect he'd complain that there was another big dialogue waste of time. thing. Waste of time. Oh, Kratos going to help for, from the women. Snoy. <laughs> Pretty much. Very snowy. Could probably he be the with own the game. Chaos. It might have been originally. He just suggested it could have been his own game. The events I just described are not going to fulfill a fucking entire game. You kidding me? Talking to to no talking to Valkyries, talking to the undead leader, talking to Valkyrie is talking to the Alfheim oppositions. You could maybe contrive it so that some war has to happen before you can even get the Alfheim people, but that's not the reality they wrote in the game with the history that Freya has. So and they probably get a get a game that's like, I'm gonna join your army, but first you have to do these seventeen things for us. Yeah, I suppose you could pat it out that way, but yeah. uh, I don't see the need. Elms. So that sounds like the culmination of all the quests you've done across the two games. We're dragging in everyone we can. We're going to go attack Asgard. It's like a I huge epic one. quest on its own, right? Could probably be the plot of its own game and might have been originally. But instead, Kratos and Atreus just make their way to Muspelheim okay. again, meet Surtur, and he's once again another depressed character who doesn't want to help. Specifically because he knows both him and his wife would die, but it turns- I can't believe you you describe He's it that way. He's a depressed dude who doesn't want to help because it would lead to the death of him and his loved one. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, He's sort of not depressed, though. He's like, yeah, I have everything I need right here. And the heart well, that's in his chest. Loves, loves being in love. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It's <laughs> out. Kratos can use the Blades of Chaos to enhance his powers instead, which actually does have consequences, so I'll give the writers a bit of credit for that. And so, while Kratos and Atreus fight off two Valkyries at the same time, Surtur becomes Ragnarok. 
but it seems he's not quite ready to start the siege. So Kratos and Atreus return to Midgard, and all of the allies gather and spend one last night in a little camp outside of the Yggdrasil portal room from the first Here's game. Temple. Atreus, who I once again remind you is a teenage boy, requests to sleep with his daddy one last time. Before he's, going to war. Thinks he's gonna die. Yeah. And he, yeah, specifically that. Not wanting to be alone, <laughs> man, before going into battle is a, that's a pretty pretty understandable emotion, I think. Yeah. Yeah. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Fuck you. Oh my god. You know, when I played God the old God of War games, you know what I really wanted? I wanted Kratos to tell his fucking son a story. His Great bedtime story, Kratos. Let's summarize. One day there was a man who cut logs for his village, but then one day he got tired, so he dropped the logs to the ground and died. The end. Kid spent, like, a good percentage uh. of his life dealing with this crisis, and he's like, yeah, and also I'm only 13. I want my dad to tell me a story while I go to sleep for what might be the last time. When we went over, the story has a hell of a lot more meaning. I don't even know. This yeah. person managed to actually not even interpret the story properly. No, it's just a, a face value. Oh, this is the story. Haha, <laughs> that's snowy, but something. Interesting. I, I'm just, I'm running out of things to say. <laughs> I'm just annoyed now. Yeah. Teenage <laughs> son, a bedtime story. The fuck? Kratos is like crying again. God damn it. Really? I want to see Kratos cry. That's really what I want to see. Do you though? I don't think he ever shed a tear on screen, like remembering his original family him killing his original family. I, I don't know. Maybe they did. I don't remember. Games <laughs> uh, of Olympus's finale is... Uh... Is he not a treasure trove sometimes? Or just oh, it's how beautiful. shit you are at reviewing things. Right, I'm back. Hopefully remember, you can only amazing. express sadness if you cry. Yes. But he's crying over some random bullshit. Random oh, bullshit! Oh, random oh, bullshit. Yeah. It's the... Why even explain? I Because I know, and you know, and chat knows, and we all know that we all know. Random bullshit. So there's really no need to explain. And we are given the final flashback or vision of Faye, Kratos' wife, and it's a completely pointless scene. I wish oh, to better a future. It probably but has one of the most potent you. lines uh, in the whole game whenever here. Whenever that yeah. day comes. And that tree is pretty important. For you. And for our son. He's upset that she said, I want a future that's better for you and your- Yeah, like, what is- what is this, like, leaning back in your seat, like, face palming? What's How the did that problem? upset you? Lecturing Kratos? Well, well, Why like, is this- well, she, she expressed a desire for a world to be better for her husband and son. Well, I guess that just crosses a fucking line, doesn't it? I guess so. You libcards would want conservative family values. In Not if it's a woman doing it, she should know her fucking place. I'm gonna go have an angry pee. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how you can hear Metal's mic in the background. <gasps> Wait, like, what did he just say? What? Video games. <laughs> Fucking watch together. Pay attention. It's not in. It's. Yeah, it's amazing how how people don't call out wokeness anymore. What? Because amazing. Because she wants a better games. life. <laughs> We've got because to the a man point, and a right. woman are expressing their incredible is it love for each other is it in the concept Kratos of living is without each other. Wokeness. Is it because he's expressing emotions? Like, what is he getting at here? Wokeness is what he's getting at. Yeah, real men bottle everything up and then suffer internal collapse at, like, age 50 and then do something incredibly incredible. And then kill incredible. pantheons, yeah. Yeah, they do yeah. that. Everyone's a fucking grifter. They know there's... <laughs> Just stop! You're such a cartoon! <laughs> the think, he's like, oh, he's the ultimate NPC. He can't, like, have an original thought. He just he says, really like, is. he's triggered by seeing things. and just goes, like, woke! I want to no know where he got else. it from. Who's his... Whenever... There's a, there's a guy I watch named MC Toon. He's the second worst rapper in the world. And he does Flat <laughs> Earth debates all the time. And I really, really like him. And whenever he's uh, interviewing or having a debate with a flat earther, he asks, who's your Papa Flurf? Which is, who is the flat earther that you watched and you just regurgitate <laughs> what they say without any, 
like examination or evidence or or anything like that? Who's the person that you watch that got you to think this way that you just repeat? I want to know who his I don't, I don't know what the term would be. Who is his Papa? I don't even know what it would be. Who did he want? Who has this guy watched and been essentially indoctrinated by? God knows. I don't go to that part of the internet. It's fucking foul. Just be Me stinker. neither. I want to stay away. Stinky. Views and calling it out. Yeah, you're shows. talking like... Oh, grief? Despite the inevitable. Yes! Oh, are you... Do you what? disagree with that? He, he, he doesn't you... understand what's happening. It, <laughs> look at his expression. He's like, what? What does that mean? The combination uh, of love is of grief? Confusion. What nonsense what? is uh, this? But they're like, alive. How do I... But... Grief? <laughs> To be vulnerable to the emotion grief requires love to come first. I mean, you don't, you don't grieve, grieve the loss of something you don't care about. I mean, it, it, it's it, it's a really poorly like built up line, but the the whole Hobbit thing of you know why why do I feel this way? Oh, because it was real. Like yeah, like the concept behind that's actually really strong, and it's the same thing here. Like if you if you are okay. immensely sorrowful at someone's passing, it's because they meant something to yeah, you. Yeah. If they didn't, you wouldn't feel about it. Curtis is talking about how the the pain and the grief and stuff is all the reasons why you can't see much reason to go on. And she's saying that means that you had lots of love, dude. That's a that's a normal yeah. good thing. You're okay. You're gonna be fine. Look after your son. You'll find plenty of things in this world that are gonna want you to make you want to keep going. Fucking brilliant. That, well, There's like a line trick, like that between end. vision and one, right? Love more. Yes. One of the things we like about that episode. Yeah, exactly. There's no views in shitting on video games that the media tells you to like, but there's plenty of money in shitting on movies and TV shows. What? How many views did his there's review not? get? So it, the theory is that we didn't shit on God of War Ragnarok because there's no money in it. I don't I mean, how um, fucking clown is that? Gotta be the money, guys. Could be anything else. Gotta be the money. No one could yeah. actually truly, really... Man, I, think, I do, I do love against all me. my snowy money. Oh, the video is called "God of War mm. Ragnarok" is not a masterpiece, and in the thumbnail it says "God of War is dead," and it got two hundred twenty-four thousand views. So it seems like there's views in hate on this game. So it does seem like there's views in Weird. saying something that is actually defying the general sentiment. Is, is there a single person in here that uses the Sony PlayStation as their primary gaming platform? No. No. <laughs> Not me. Not I'm me. I, no. Yeah. I don't, I don't even know where my PS4 is. I don't have <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I technically own one, but I actually also literally don't know where it is. I mean, to be fair, I'm a bit snowy. I have all the PlayStations left, oh, yeah. left of me. Snowy. All coming together. Snowy. All coming well, together. That's true. I do yeah, have weeb. all the PlayStation yeah, consoles. No, I, so I, I, all I all guess them, to but... some extent I'm a little bit of a snowy <laughs> fan big old boy. snowy boy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I, I, mean, think, just I, I don't think we would just be standing for a game that we don't like at all if we weren't invested. I don't know, in, man. You know, we, the we managed to talk about it for like 20 hours. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. No, that was all for money, though. It was all... Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's right. proof that, that's like, good, we yeah, chose for that money is going to arrive very soon. And like the last, new, the last new Sony Snowy game that I streamed, I believe, was The Last of Us 2, right? And I loved that. I kept singing its praises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> difficult, you know, but I did it. If you didn't I hear it, it, it must have been the way. My wife noted it as one of the least pleasant periods that she was living in the same house as me. She's just like, you were so miserable. I was just like, I was pissed <laughs> off the entire time. It was only like a weekend, but um, I, I still hear about it to this day. No sense. It makes no fucking sense. And then the next morning, right before the final battle, Kratos and Freya give a rousing speech. Probably the worst okay. I've ever Freya. seen. I mean, wow. the worst the shit they saw. <laughs> All right. I, I always I did even... prefer uh, Milan's. Yeah, it was pretty good. But, very good. Yeah. Nowhere to begin. Whether it's the bad cinematography or the incredibly well, bland that room that the actual speak. No, speak more into that. Okay, everyone's oh. in the frame. Can you please tell me what about it really hit you? Like, just let me know. Make an argument. I beg you. Like <laughs> one an argument. He just set in to the writing, which is not inspiring in the least. I can hide no longer. I do not want this war. Oh, good. We have suffered enough. Why couldn't Kratos...
cut Why'd out. Why'd you leave out so you, much? You cut out the yeah. half where he tries to inspire them to be aggressive, take what they need to win. Give this speech after he blows Gallo. In fact, why don't I just put it in? Horn. Prophecy did not lead oh, us Oh, hey, here. there it is. Good job, Mewkley. Nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Why couldn't Kratos give this speech after he blows Gallarhorn and like your uh, because then because they would have not, shit to do because then we yeah, have to they're fight. Be a bit busy. <laughs> That's why. Oh my god! How can you be? Mm, no, yeah, give it in the enough. locker room before the Don't game. Don't you worry. During the game. He will argue against himself soon enough. In the background okay. or something, Again? and we're given like a wide shot of all the Again. armies or some shit. You know, something like Lord of the Rings. What do you mean, something all the. Uh, all the armies, because he doesn't know which armies are even here. He couldn't tell you. The undead and the elves. They're the only two armies we have on the good guy's side. But he thinks there's like nine realms worth of armies attacking Asgard, as if there are ten realms in total. Mm. Man, this is just lame. You can't tell me Sony Santa Monica looked at this and thought, yeah, this is fine, this is cool, this will get the players amped up for the finale. Um, for Brock. Oh, here we go. <laughs> How can I resist? Give it the music. Give it to me. <laughs> yes! Oh, in the empty dark room, what happens? Uh -huh. And so anyway, he blows the horn, they travel to Asgard, and we get our <laughs> huge Avengers lame. Endgame yeah. moment. And Kinda all sucks. of our buddies from the two games show I like how it's an Avengers Endgame moment when there's just a battle. And you're yeah. there talking about like, oh yeah, the infection of all this Marvel cringe, just oh yeah, that's all you want. And like your only <laughs> point of reference for a big epic battle, or the one that you chose Portals to use, was it, I guess it's because he thinks Endgame sucks too? Portals, Presumably. I guess, I think that's... Yeah, the, maybe. Yeah. Well, it's just you got lots of references. It's the big battle at the end, which apparently Endgame has now just dwarfed everything else that did that before it. Because, mm -hmm. like, arriving via portals, like I said, I don't think he knows what actually arrived. No, because if it's like, what specifically? Like, which armies and from where and when and what are they doing? War against Asgard. And it's supposed to be a really cool moment, but honestly, it's yeah. not. I know um, people are well, going to say I, I was pretty hate cool, everything, believe, especially but... since I'm sure plenty of people played this, thought this was cool. But none mm -hmm. of this crazy epic background stuff that's happening affects the gameplay outside of some random wyverns raining fire on the arenas. If you just well, ignore the skybox, this might as well just be a normal level of the game, except they just throw a slightly wider variety of enemies. But my assumption is that he wants to be like, you know, you move through the different... In events like you for a moment team up with Jormungand battling Thor and then you move over to I don't know some of the elves trying to kill some people maybe Fenrir for a bit like going around the whole place um, I'm not going to rule it out as a possibility of it being super engaging I'm not entirely sure how I would go about trying to make that happen as opposed to this is the very gritty and down to earth result of what it would probably be like with Kratos arriving and what he needs to do, which is the yeah. first thing he and figures Kratos... out is I've got to uh, destroy the war machines that are destroying our armies. And Kratos is always fighting as if he's fighting. He's holding back normally, and now we get to be real Kratos fighting an actual war. It's just, it's more of the combat that's in this game. Yeah, and, and you cycle through I, a whole selection it... of all kinds of enemies that Odin's collected to put it between you and your goal. And then of yeah, course he's also assembled his own Avengers and it's Avengers versus Avengers and I hate that Marvels has seeped into everything. Hyperstar. And the only the only way that you could have gone a different route like... with it is to have a totally new gameplay style happen like okay now Kratos is commanding the battle and it's a real time strategy game for a bit but honestly I'd be like wait why? Why <laughs> why are we doing this in the finale of this game? Like I I kind of like that it was just hey, some 
It's some spectacle battles on the way to two pretty engaging boss fights with some really good story stuff that happens at the end. And you get Against. to play as both playable characters. You. It doesn't help that multiple times during the goddamn apocalypse, the characters stop to have a heart to heart with each other. Are you? Remember how he said they should have had their speech in the fight? Character. Now he's mm -hmm. saying, why the yep. hell are you guys talking during a fight? Well, first of all, that's a bit weird. Seems inconsistent. Secondly, the reason this is happening now is because he's about to alter their entire approach. Kratos. Yeah. More. This, this is all about how he's going to order the troops and what they're going to focus on. This is a complete yeah. change of their original mm. strategy. Of course, he needs to talk to all of the generals. All of the yeah, that's why he has a little, little firework thingy. <clears throat> they're probably not called fireworks. I don't know if there's a proper term for these things. Like a signal flare. A flare is probably what I was Reflurm looking for. Flurm Biden, Fiegen, Vergen, Yeah, Slur. that's... The, I mean, I didn't want to use the German term because you didn't understand. Wouldn't understand but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm in that's German. A, yeah, and then everyone comes around. He's like, okay, we're not going to sacrifice these innocent people. Go hold off Ragnarok, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go fuck up Odin. Yep. You all fucking makes sense. kidding me! Right You've there. taken all the tension out of the story so many times. Super tension because we the attention plan is essentially working, for? but it's costing mm -hmm. the lives of essentially innocent people on the other side. And so now we need to figure out a way <clears throat> to delay the plan so we can get them out, which is actually more difficult than the plan we currently have. are partly to show their time together and to show how she is still trying to push him to do what she wants. Again, this doesn't even matter to the story at all. The culmination uh, of the three flashbacks, okay, or visions, right, yeah. whatever, whatever they are, is for Kratos to tell his son that he should feel bad for the things he kills. He should have empathy for every living creature in the world. I mean, it would certainly be worthwhile to have some empathy for these, like, innocent mid people right there. Yeah, forced. it's... it's to be it's really not bad way. advice. Yeah, it's just it's generally ha you should have empathy for other living creatures. It's like, yeah, you you probably should he have respect like, for the action of killing, even when it's necessary. He seems to be here like, no, Kratos should not tell his son to stop trying to convince himself to kill civilians or to allow <laughs> the death of civilians. Remember, he laments that we've lost the days of killing random Athenians and getting health orbs. Okay, so that's what he wants. <laughs> So funny because I was like almost this just running theme with me in my streams. I was like, that's something that is really hard to get rid of in my head, how fucking absurd and cartoonish that is. And then like it's essentially addressed in one of the biggest payoffs of this game, finally. We shouldn't mm -hmm. just kill civilians, man. That's a little fucked up. No, health orbs. What? So there were there were like multiple points to those scenes. This is one of the payoffs that's facilitated by the Fey flashbacks. Oh yeah. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Fucking crazy. Remember when he was saying, by the way, this is his follow up video we're getting this footage from. He said the Fae scenes had no point. Now he's saying they all lead to this. Mm -hmm. So it, they did have a point then. Make up your mind. Yeah, he can't. Because he, he has different information at different times. Kratos, of all people, says this. That is possibly yeah, this is the most. Yeah, this is the arc. This is the whole fucking point. Like a hundred hours of arcing that they did. Oh. Finding oh. moment of character assassination. I'm actually kind of annoyed at myself that I brushed over it. So thanks for reminding me of another horrible scene from the another end of the horrible game. Horrible scene, man. Horrible. Horrible. Not to mention you have to play as Atreus again, and he gets to go full bear mode, guys. He's yeah, upgraded cool from a wolf to a bear. Cat. He's climbed another tier on the gay scale. <laughs> Wait, wait uh, bears are gayer than wolves? Uh, I didn't know that bears were gayer than wolves. I was, uh, yeah, I wasn't aware of that metric. That's a new one. A bear is a term used for a, a large, uh, hairy gay man. Is it? Is a wolf? Yeah. yeah. No, no, I know, I know that, that but, uh, sort of, kind of, but I, I guess that's if that's the joke, that's not but a good. Surely, a... <laughs> but I mean, a... but even then, I don't know if that really if is that the joke or I think I, I think I mean, that's the that's idea. Cool. But like, Being if he was aiming for, um, <laughs> you know, becoming like it, I don't, it must be related to the to the big <clears throat> hairy sort of sort of guys. It couldn't be that he just thinks inherently that wolves are gay and then bears are gayer. <laughs> <laughs> The bigger and hairier the uh, the 
yeah, the animals so get that's together. why the joke is are. <laughs> the joke is wonky but um it's not like he tries like bear <clears throat> there you go good enough immediately he talk no jutsus throughed out of killing him no her mum does oh it's that's, yeah it's uh, mainly so she was she yeah, wasn't gonna be sets... uh convinced by atreus oh, certainly yeah not atreus alone. sets it up and Sif is there with Skilder, and that sort of seals the deal. Sif is Sif has a minor yet very important role to play in this game. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. <laughs> Put in for everything, also, and it works. Tall. Oh my God! The apocalypse is happening, oh and these this is their two, obstacle currently. These two are big players in the opposition's team, deciding which yeah. side they're going to fight on. Yes, the war will That's... actually take second fiddle to this. Yeah, I mean, plus, it doesn't really matter what's going on elsewhere in the world if you've got someone with a sword to your chest. That's probably your primary uh, concern. Also, if it's someone that you consider, you know, at least friendly with and you want the best for them, you don't want to, you know, have any harm come to them. Yep. And having a tall, bust, busty blonde woman in your game with long Rapunzel hair is so woke. Yeah, but she's taller than Atreus. I'm sure yeah. that Synthetic Man thinks that Odin settled with Sif. <laughs> Do you mean Thor? You mean Thor, Thor right? <laughs> Did I not say Odin? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thor. Yeah. I mixed them up. <laughs> okay. Apocalypse is happening. Do you understand? There's no fucking time, dude. This is, this is just a bad movie. I, I love how a good video game story is a bad movie. That's, that's what people think. Holy what shit. Is that what people think? We've only known <laughs> this guy for like 10 how minutes the last total of screen oh, time, yeah. by the way. He is an innocent person. He represents all of the Midgardians. He is just another yep. guy. Yes, you don't know him deeply because you don't need to. You're supposed to care that he shouldn't be killed randomly. That's the whole point he represents. Just a dude trying to look out for his own people. And he don't interacts with Atreus enough that you understand that, hey, he's just a guy who's like, yeah, we're here for Midgard. It, I think it's really cool that you're the Allfather's apprentice. He's just nice to him, that's all. And so all the good guys team up. Kratos finally yeah, has- I, I fucking love this comment on his- on his unlisted <laughs> videos. You know, <laughs> Thor is more Kratos from God of War 1, 2, and 3 than Kratos of these games. I wonder if that oh. was deliberate. <laughs> I, I almost- I could imagine the developers are like, Yeah, I Without... know, right? Yeah, good, you picked it up. Good job. It's like, wait, picked up what? It's like, what do you mean? That's a mistake, <laughs> right? You're like, no. No, 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 that was- <clears throat> That was a big old whoosh, and he loved it as well. The second yeah, I didn't check the replies, I should have. I'm pretty sure they'll be like, I think that's what they were going for, though. That's probably, <laughs> like, the point. Showdown against Thor. After beating him, he actually manages to convince him not to fight anymore for the sake of their children. This is God of War. This game no, series sorry. is no- No, sorry, if you were paying attention, you would know that that's something that would appeal to Thor. Like, that, that he wants to protect the family that mm -hmm. he still has left. That that's one of yeah. the big things that would make him change his mind. Is to protect Throod. Wait, they'll go. And then oh, every time you're just like, oh, but it's God of War. The other games had this. This is what I mean. The insight he has for us every fucking time anything different than someone's head getting torn off is why aren't their heads getting torn off? Why aren't, yeah, it's God of War. Vicious little child. <laughs> Excellent. For let gods. It's so like cooler. one of the main points of playing these games. Again, the power of the main of point of playing ones. them is you rip people's heads off and have a power fantasy about being a vicious murder. How are you not getting the power fantasy anyway? You are you defeat Thor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You still get to fight all of these. No, it doesn't count unless you rip his head off. The original no, games no, no, no. were all about being over the top violent and just giving you an excuse to go through big action set pieces against gods and all like, so other cool. mythology stuff. The new games are but not. You, yeah, but you got like problem. six games of this type, though. Yeah, yeah. the old game. And if you wanted to quibble about that, I think you missed the boat. You should have got on that in 2018. I think you were getting on that exactly. in 2018 one too. So you'll just keep complaining. Mm -hmm. it, well, Maybe, if you notice, like yeah. all of his criticisms about character assassination, he keeps saying, "This is not OG Kratos. This is not OG." He's like every single time there's a scene that develops Kratos, he refers back to OG Kratos. So like, like none of them count in retrospect. You can't. Ah, uh, fuck. What? Like, every single significant moment of Luke's journey in the OT, I just keep going back to that first scene we meet him, and I'm like, this isn't that kid anymore. Fascination. Whatever, Kratos is a changed man. He's super mature now, guys. And of course- Argue against it. You haven't. You can't. It's really cringe. It's really soy.
Fun. Of course, as soon as Thor agrees to lay down his arms, Odin stabs him in the back, literally. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my memory is shit. Stabs it's not back, your memory literally. being shit. Is that you would have fucking consuming the information? You don't even, like. You have nothing to oh, forget. Just, I don't know. Re-record the line. Yeah, <laughs> he literally stabs him in the back. <laughs> the visual of him stabbing him from the front. <laughs> Well, he says he does. How do you get to this point and then not just re I don't know. Re record the I mean, whole maybe... fucking thing. It was a mess. It was a complete yeah. disaster. <laughs> and kill no. And so now we have our final yeah. boss battle. You're just not going to talk about Atreus the fact that Odin made that choice. Like, you've no. got nothing to say about why he would make that choice. No, it doesn't matter. It was. Fine. That in line with the way that Odin's motivations and the way that he conducts himself. He's just a fat alcoholic. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah, nobody cares. Yeah. Soy, Thor. Soy, fuck. Yeah, that's and true. Freya, all team. Even up. though he also liked the comment that he was more like Kratos, even though he kept shitting on him and calling him a fat drunk. Makes you but think. But apparently he's really cool, more so than Kratos and acts more like Kratos. Kratos serves for the time. Yeah. Lay waste to him. And it's an absolute button mash fest. All I did was spam runic attacks the entire time and did surprisingly well. Beat him in one try. Remember when he described that as really fun? Near the beginning yeah, of the right video, on. and we were confused. It sounded like a criticism. It's a criticism now. It really feels like a step down from every other final boss in the series. Hey, Mel, ate it a step down from God of War 1's final boss? <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It was fucking frustrating shit. The, the, the funny thing, of yeah. course, is that it's like, okay, but God of War 2? It's like, I mean, that Zeus fight is fine. Yeah? Yeah. The God of War 3? It's like, well, that Zeus fight is fine, I guess. 2018? It's like, okay, the Boulder fight is pretty fucking cool in 2018. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, it's like, so I'll give you that. That's competition for the Boulder fight. But, uh, yeah, my favorites out of the five, if we count them that way, is probably going to go Boulder than Odin. Yep. Against Boulder felt more epic than this. Oh, hey, this is, he agrees hey, with you. Yeah, cool. All right. Really no nice. sense of scale. You're just fighting him in a basement. This is the location oh. of the, the access to all knowledge. And it came down mm -hmm. to a single personal decision from one character that is in complete opposition to the villain. Yes, we are fighting. Well, in... it's like um, this is where it's like you said about Asgard and, and how it looks oh. compared to Mount Olympus. It's the same thing. It doesn't look grandiose enough for me, in my own way. But just not grasping the story. The 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 arenas are built around what is happening in these events. Like the idea that it's like we're fighting Odin, therefore it must be of enormous scale. It's like oh, that's it. That's all you got. Okay. And I mean, the, the getting... Not enough golden Odin. pillars. Getting to Odin was a giant, enormous scale battle. Yeah. Like, it's just only the battle itself is in his, like, I guess you could call it workshop or library, where he was trying to solve the MacGuffin. And he just spells at you. Oh, and somehow, I almost forgot, at the end of the first... Oh, sorry, he just made fun of the fact that he, he uses spells. He's like a sorcerer. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, Only it's... women use magic. <laughs> like magic. magic Real men. The sword Real of men the use enemy. steel. Ugh. Phase against Odin. What Freya gives the trickery? cringiest line in the game. You have no hold on me anymore. Wow. So brave. Yeah, it is. Stunning and fucking brave, dude. <gasps> Not woke at all, guys. God, not woke stop. at all. It's what, literally because just she's a woman not wigged? <laughs> it's, it's literally just because she's a woman. This because guy she's got a woman power over Odin. Over Odin. Yep. Because power she has power Odin. over Odin, that's why. Oh, uh, husband. That it took two games to get to. You always sought knowledge well. Now Doesn't even work. Her, uh, her monologuing costs her this. Yep. Now, us. I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose. One of Freya's big flaws is and it's come through several again and again. She has serious vengeance vibes. Everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. Really? My God, this comes yeah, across as some kind of queen, feminist yes. torture fantasy. What the fuck? And of I'm course, sorry. when you finally yeah. beat him, instead of killing him. There was no arguments. He just said it was woke He's cringe like, feminist. Cringe. Nothing, nothing to work with. Him, Kratos lets his son decide, and he decides to trap yes. Odin's soul inside of one of the giant marbles. 
but then, like an absolute Chad, Sindri comes in and smashes the Marvel. I take back everything I said about him being a possible pedophile. As soon as his brother dies, he actually becomes the only other based character in the game. And so the that's that's his analysis just, of all of it. Just I, cool. it's like it's like listening to a child. Like that, it's everything is so surface deep. There's no distinction between meme jokes and actual analysis. The hero except there's one problem because Surtur didn't fuse with his waifu Ragnarok is out of control but, but the heroes managed anyway, to escape it? off screen probably gonna happen anyway that's why he I didn't want her involved this. yeah you gotta listen to this remember how he said Angra Boda doesn't have any purpose in the plot oh okay yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember now, that now listen to how he describes how they escape except there's one problem because Surtur didn't fuse with his waifu Ragnarok is out of control, but the heroes manage to escape off screen. Uh, um, uh, uh, how they guys, do that? I, I'm gonna go pee. You guys talk about that. I don't want to talk about to it. They to escape <laughs> off screen. So in the scene, we have Freyr sacrificing himself to save all of our other characters yeah. after he's able to pretty much single-handedly hold back Ragnarok for all this time. Um, we have Angerboda showing up with uh, using uh, Fenrir yep. to save everybody at the last moment using a tear in the realm so that they can escape um i mean it's it's like the wolf thing it's like tearing apart the wolf and saying there's no gore you cut it right before these things get their payoff so that you could hold to the previous lie that you know is a lie because you played through the game and you purposefully cut out it at this point so very disappointing and yet yeah 100 percent uh, expected unfortunately yeah, wow. that's what happens. She's... It's a damn shame. I hope that the YouTube video game reviewers of tomorrow can use Synthetic Man as an example of what not to be, what to avoid, what to... Really, just what kind of a person to not be. Um, it's... It's unfortunate that he exists, I suppose, though he can't exist as a bad example for people to profit from, you know, and grow from. Mm. But man, like, there are legitimately people who listen to this and watch this video and they're like, yeah, you tell it, you tell them, yeah, he's saying it like it is, all right. They can listen yeah. to him physically, just out. It just just out loud say, yeah, YouTube videos are, they don't have any staying power. They're not worth being honest for. They don't matter. I'm not going to tell the truth. I know I get mistakes, but I'm not going to change. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Based Omega, blah, blah, blah. And people will listen to that flat out stark admission and be like, yeah, this guy's so great. He's awesome. He's speaking for the real gamers. He's such a cool reviewer. He knows what's up. Mm -hmm. You know, they're out there. This video was, you know, still pretty well received when it was, you know, a smaller and before people found out about it. I mean, he's got a he unfortunately has a, a, a core audience that really thinks he's got something productive to offer the world. What a damn shame. What an absolute shame. This is a game that I have no intention of playing. I don't own a Sony system. I no, I do technically own a PS4. I just don't know where it is. I have no interest in God of War, really. I have no, never played any of the games. And I really, really enjoy this game's story and characters. So to, to see this much work and effort go into a video game story is incredible. And it should be something that's applauded and lauded and encouraged into the Hell future. Yeah. And he's just shitting all over it. And he refuses, refuses to engage with it in any sort of good faith way. There's no honesty whatsoever. It's, like, it's that it's the people who profess so strongly to be honest and I'm always telling the truth and you could always believe me. They all it's like they're compensating for what the truth is, that they're going to be the first people who are willing to lie to you. It's hard to take that seriously when you said Angry Boda don't do shit in the plot line. And then when you have to show the scene where she does the thing, you not only cut her out, but then you claim that they they escape off screen. Like it, it's is it's there like anything more disingenuous werewolf. than this? Like you're a fucking liar. And yeah, you're right. The wolf is also a moment of lying. Mister, I am. Oh, you know, he said the only principle he really has is just being 
honest. He's just too honest, Mahler. He's too just honest. too honest. That's really his only flaw, is that he has too much of a good quality. The number oh. one brand in honesty, you might say. By the way, chat. I know this is going to sound crazy. and we... Man, it's getting tough because I'm fucking tired as hell, but we're not even close to the worst yet. Wait, not even oh, worst. Almost... yeah, we've got another oh. hour and 20. <laughs> Ooh. Uh... Ooh. There's one problem the top of some mountain, where Atreus tells his father that he needs to go off on his own quest with Angraboda to go find the rest of the giants. And in the only other touching moment in the game, Kratos finally lets go of his son and allows him to be his own man. And I really have nothing to complain about here. I think this part was actually well, okay. well done. Well, yeah, it's, uh, he sounded pretty moved Look. by it. So let's see how he looked uh, when, he was, when he was streaming. Done. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains. <laughs> Maybe he's conflicted. Maybe he knows he should be feeling something. I think but, like I think it's so to show emotions. He could there's nothing to complain about. He didn't know yeah. what to do. He couldn't get any, like, quick digs in. Iron Giant did it better. Well, yeah, that's because Iron Giant sacrificed himself. Kratos is still alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's not necessarily that's, better. Oh, not. I can't, it's so simple. It's like, how is the story better in Iron Giant? Because he died. Better. <laughs> and then immediately afterward, we find out there was a secret second prophecy that Kratos was to become the new revered god oh, sorry. Iron of Giant the Norse survived. realm. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let him have one victory, will you? <laughs> Effectively tying him to this place, meaning this is the end of his story. No. 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 This literally isn't the end of his story. He walks out of the room and like, says that there is much later. to do. Exactly. Yeah. Not but two minutes later. Much to do and will you join me? He managed to Come misinterpret this. Come on, Freya this. and Mimir. We got shit to do. Da, da, I actually da, set da, up, da, da, hey, there's endgame content. He even content. says it is a path. You time with this game if you want. That's yeah, pretty, that's actually a actually pretty good way to end a video game. To be like, yeah, Ton of, the main uh, story is done. Content. Now keep playing if you want or, or not. It's fine. He want. literally says that he saw a path that he had. What what does a path imply by way of the conclusion of one's journey? That you stay still at our dud. Ah yeah. uh, yes, I, there's a path, but I'm not gonna walk it. I'm I'm done. I'm I'm perfect. I'm complete. I, I ain't going nowhere. There's nothing to do. There is nothing to do. You don't need to join me. I'm just gonna stay here forever. And for that, <laughs> I don't want to see nice. Sony butcher Kratos anymore. Uh, I am let's well, they do. bad luck. They're, they're going to make a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> I think they're, gonna make, they're making more God of War games. <clears throat> yeah, they're going to make more. Two, I will not buy a God of War game starring Atreus. So I fucking guarantee you if they did bring these things out and they were worth covering for the algorithm, you'd do it at a heartbeat. You would do it. Yeah. We already know you have <laughs> zero integrity. <Yep. laughs> they better either reboot this shit or just let it die. The sad thing is, you get to play the post game immediately after this, and there's a bunch of other sad? side quests. That's a sad all those... thing. He's about to explain what's sad, Rags. Basically, that he fucking loves the post game oh. stuff. He loves playing the game. Berserker super bosses to what? fight, and when I played a few more hours, I actually was having fun consistently. You know why? Okay. Because I could actually do what I want. I could actually engage in the gameplay and fight enemies and just ignore the ambient background dialogue because it really didn't matter. Without having to- You already did that anyway. <laughs> you already of... said that was your yeah. whole approach. Like, you can spend a lot of time doing side content before yeah. you decide yes, to you finish Yes, you can. The game. And this is like, why he's a fucking idiot. Time. He doesn't realize I think you I can- put a, I honestly put a solid 20 hours in after they said, okay, meet us at the- Dude, me and- the, I have like Pierce Temple and we'll go to Asgard. I was like, okay. Metal. Home, 20 hours in the partially crater. driving our fans insane because they'd be like, please carry out with the story. We'd be like, no, Bazika, we gotta get to do that. <laughs> yes, I, I had fans who were like, Jesus Christ, no, not a gravestone. He'll be here for an hour. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't want him. I was like, yay, gravestone. An hour. You should see my streams. They're like Mahler videos fighting one <laughs> berserker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the thing for me. I found it really engaging to learn and yeah. beat the berserkers. Yeah, they're good. To deal with forced walks or countless cutscenes or stupid emotional bait 
or any of the Wait. other bullshit that is in modern Sony games. Uh -huh. Just wandering around the realms, even though it was areas I'd already been to, was more fun than the actual goddamn story mode. The linear story was less interesting well, than the wandering parts, around. But, you know. Sorry, but you didn't understand basically any of the fucking plot points. You got so yeah. confused, and of the stuff you did understand, you didn't read the dialogue that preceded it. So you thought, like, when he's when he's in his bed looking at the the pouch for Faye, you're like, why should I feel sad here? What even prompted this? I don't even know what's happening. It's like, exactly, you don't know. How can you judge you, the story? How can I take you seriously on what you think of, like, God, the gameplay is so much better than the story. It's like, you don't even know what the story was. What's the it point? It also sounds like he would have had way more fun if he just tried to zero out every side quest he got as he got it. Because there's yep. usually, like, a big story event, and then you've got an area where it's like, let's head to the next place, but if we want, let's tie up some side quests. And you can just do a big side quest excursion for, like, a couple days if you want. Yeah. And it's a perfectly viable way to stretch out the experience, make it feel like you're doing more gameplay focused stuff. And then, you know, when you're ready to get back to the story, you can. Been paying so much attention. On the world quests. How do you fuck up this bad? Forgive me if I don't pay attention to the countless pointless dialogue. Quit talking over the game. Like right the bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> yep. You really want to hear all this shitty dialogue, dude? Yes. Blow the $70 yourself on the shitty game if you really care about the dialogue. I'm the idiot. Me. I'm the guy who doesn't understand <laughs> video games. He doesn't understand narratives. Finally, spitting facts. Yeah, based. <laughs> Finally, there's that based. truth. Yeah. True. Well, the game's totally 10 out of 10, guys. If you just ignore all the constant cutscenes and walking simulator moments and fake loading screens and shitty Atreus gameplay segments, it's totally 10 out of 10. Game of the year 2022, no doubt. I'm not going to name any names here because I don't exist to just start drama with you. Yes, you do. Don't lie. Uh, yes, you do. Oh, come on. With random other YouTubers. Then why bring it up? There are people who are supposedly real film critics, Ooh. people who actually uh -oh. analyze stories in their structure, uh -oh. who are ignoring all of the obvious flaws with this game. If this was a film, these people would be ripping it to huh? shreds. Now, he could be talking about uh, anyone, okay? He could be. Yeah, yeah, he could of... be talking about anyone. Say yeah. it. Lots no reason people. for us to think he's talking about. Say like, it. But because it's a video game, they have no standards. Oh. He's tuned into Mauler's stream for 10 seconds and he's sawing. Oh. Wait, I know him. Dog. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, I, I want to make sure you hear this, right? Because hear this and then compare to what I said on stream. Yeah. These people would be ripping. Watch together what you're doing. 10 minutes. Dirts. He's tuned into Mauler's stream for 10 seconds and he's sawing out over the dog. Yeah. yeah, no, that's 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 his co-host. We're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're like ten minutes into the game and they already did like a seriously impactful death. How the hell did you do that? Performances, man, they're already top notch. You hear like uh in in a I I'm not hundred percent sure on the name of the actor for Atreus, but man, he was selling that emotion. I I like as a almost response to the trauma. Kratos is like, let's 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 fight. Let's just get our minds off it. And Atreus this time doesn't even um like usually he probably concede with a complaint, but this time he just says, nah, fuck that. And I'm I'm mourning my doggo. Yeah. And Kratos respects it too. And he's sawing out over the dog. This is on the fly story analysis where I'm trying yep. my best to explain why there's like writing happening beyond me just enjoying the story itself. And he's like, Soy <laughs> Soy suck. Yeah. Like, why do we even like video games? Uh, this is why I want to ask, like, people like Mahler, where it's like, if you're okay with this, oh. if you think this is amazing, <laughs> why do you like me? video games? This is called a cutscene. Yeah. They're in video that games is... that are story heavy. That's fine with me. I like stories. I like video games. Video games yeah, stories story. are pretty cool. Some of my favorite video games of all time, uh, they are referenced as such because of what stories they tell. Yep. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to upset you by existing. Why not? Movies a, or TV idea? shows. Are I also like movies and TV shows. Read a yeah, book. We do. Uh, I, those I, don't I have like... gameplay <laughs> elements to them. Uh, so, yeah. No, normally they don't. Because I can't. True. I can't play a movie in the same way I play a game. Like, well, I mean, here's we... a pretty fundamental thing: you don't get to experience this particular story if you don't play this game. Exactly. You go. Anything. Right, uh, I just can't believe he literally does not hold the same standards to movie. 
like <laughs> that he does for movie storytelling as he does for game consistency baby i attacked this game as much as i could with that and yeah. defended it as much as i could as well uh, yep we had things to criticize but they were fairly few and far between they did a lot of work and it shows i like, really don't like this the camera there you go. Literally has <laughs> almost all the same problems as the Marvel movies have. Oh, uh, oh no. Oh, we're we're on that. Oh. Yeah. Let me guess, it has too but many just, women. Oh, definitely. <laughs> women. It's letting that too slide? Diverse. Are you fucking kidding me? By the way, he doesn't want to call out anyone specifically. He definitely doesn't want to start drama. All or hates Last of Us 2, but not it. Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering if he hates Last of Us 2 just a bandwagon, because... I feel like the two games have a lot of the same problems. Imagine we had a thinking, whole EFAP on The Last of Us 2. I had to watch that Last fucking game for my job. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> comparing the two, the quality of storytelling. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh. Today, we will be better. What the fuck is this? We're here to kill a gods. life lesson that maybe you this should consider more than This is the worst possible most. time to be having this conversation. <laughs> right. I literally lost it when Freya's brother started talking to her when she was the bird and it started talking back. Lastly, there is no point even attempting to explain the flaws of this game in Mauler's chat, or any chat, because people are so pathetic that they will attack you because you said something negative about a fucking video game. Lame. We said something positive about it and you attacked us. So. Yeah. A fucking video game. If you like Ugh. the game, like it. But I can criticize aspects of it, and that's the only way developers can get better and make better products, not blind praise. Also, I said the dialogue and humor is Marvel Phase 4 level, and Mauler Ugh. seriously said, I don't know what Marvel humor means, can you explain that? That is objective obfuscation. <laughs> no, that's like a really good question. Oh, we'll get to that. When he he harded that, that one. He one, harded that. One sec. Yeah, he harded it, and the, the response, if he doesn't know what Marvel humor is, he probably has brain damage, or d despite his claims, he doesn't consume media, or the most prof uh, prob bleh, probable reason is that he's a grifter, only pretending he doesn't know because controversy sells. Now, chat, of the ones of you who may have watched the last episode of Open Bar, now you know why I asked that question. The rags. I want to target you specifically. Yes. Give me your definition of Marvel uh -oh. humor. Go. Hmm. If I was going to define Marvel humor, I would say it's humor at any cost. Humor that clashes uh, against characters, how they would behave, what their relationships would be, and humor that undercuts the, um, the emotional intentions of a scene. Um, that's what I would really classify as Marvel humor myself. See, I think that's totally fair. I would gun for, if I had said it about something, I likely meant there's a mandate for the humor and that it'll come uh, in, in conflict with other tones. That's typically what I think of Marvel humor. So you might hey, think to yourself, answers, yeah. wait a minute, Molly, you just <gasps> gave a definition. Why were you asking this what? man what he meant by Marvel humor? It's like, because everybody has a different definition. And you'd be like, we oh, might what? agree or we might not. No, they don't. And so, of the people I have asked, I collected a little list. So, Marvel humor is jokes that undercut drama. All right? Jokes despite the urgency of the situation. Okay? Jokes that characters simply wouldn't say. Jokes being spammed. Jokes that simply describe reality. They're not even really jokes, they just say what the thing is. Jokes that denigrate history or source material. Jokes that are just not funny. Jokes that have every character be witty. Jokes that are incredibly childish. Jokes that operate at a single layer. Jokes that get run into the ground. Jokes that come across as algorithmic. Jokes that are inoffensive and safe. Those are all of the types of answers I've had, and I've only asked like five people. <laughs> so when I say, what the fuck do you mean by it has Marvel humor, that's what I'm asking. Which one of those are you saying is in this game? Let me know. No, but that's that means you have brain damage. Or okay, you're a my bad. That's the only possible explanation. It couldn't be that people have different definitions. Only of these fools things. define their terms. Fools. Different understandings of what these things are. Right, <laughs> you got very me. lame. The apocalypse is happening. The apocalypse is happening, and they're having a heart to heart. You're telling me Mauler was okay with this? Why does it? <laughs> I don't know Man. why my opinion matters to you so much, but yes, I was okay with this because of the fact that it's about them changing their entire strategy for the war. They need to actually talk and explain it. Yep.
It, this is what I'm saying. Like, uh, holy fuck. Why have you stopped? All these Ragnarok people who are respected in the community are incompetent hacks. Hey, oh, you're an incompetent hack. Like, that feels like an attack, but okay. Careful. Somehow Mauler has nothing bad to say about the sound of message. I, I already like said this, many things. I think he has incredibly shit taste in video games. I'm glad he only talks about like movies and TV shows now. As far as I know, I. I mean, <laughs> shit taste in video games. So like, you really like Soma. You really hated The Last of Us too. But apparently, you only did that for clout and money. Well, um, hey Rags, I really like Dead Space. So you I really like Dead Space. Oh, uh, -oh. uh oh. Yeah. So that's that's not very well. I mean, a broken clock, right? Yeah. So yeah. we'll we'll give you Dead Space, but I assume that means Dead Space Two as well. Well, Resident Evil um, Four. I've heard that he's a Resident big Evil fan 4. of that game. It's unfortunately uh -oh, one of my favorites of all time. So. It's one of my favorites of all times. I own it on like five different systems or Whoops. whatever. Um. Okay. Well. 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 That that that's also an exception to the rule. Oh, who, okay. who knows? Broken who clocks knows? can be right uh, several times a day. <laughs> well, I mean, don't you really like the the God of War games? The oh first shit. Three? Uh, that doesn't count. Oh, that doesn't count. Uh oh. Well, okay. That well, not counting those three and Ratchet Dead and Space Clank, One and Two. Spyro. Oh, and fuck. He's that. Banjo Kazooie yeah. music. He probably thinks that game's good, like I do. Oh yeah. fuck. Not uh, counting Last of Us Two as well. It, 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 um. Mm. Well, uh, he has shit taste. There you go. Just, now I don't yes, have to worry yes. about having to fight for this game. I, I can just oh, okay. say he has shit taste. I saw you know like a couple of years ago, but uh. I'm glad you stopped talking about video games because those were. I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? What does even mean to say that if you haven't watched? If he hasn't watched your channel in two years, it was really like, funny. On what basis does he have an he understanding didn't... of what your takes were? He admits on anything at one point in one of these streams that uh, his Elden Ring video, he was annoyed that he got in so much trouble for it just because of the fact that he was more critical of it than most people. Like, he was didn't think Elden Ring was amazing. And I was just sitting there thinking, like, man, we were, like, one of the only people I thought that Hello. got in trouble for being critical yeah. of Elden Ring. <laughs> but, of course, no, we sell out, or we broke the clock, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just, it's it's so sad. You can't just accept the fact that, it can't even come to you that I just enjoyed the game. It can't be. I have to have shilled. It has to be that I was paid off. It has to be that I have shit taste. Yeah. It's yeah. worse, definitely. I mean, the game is written by Anthony Birch, yes. Uh, oh, yeah. my fucking uh, God, I yeah. hate this shit. I know. I, I I actually left a line for that. I I'm, I was thinking, what do I put there? What do I put is like the clip to represent Anthony Birch. But again, you know, Mauler likes it, so I mean, it's a masterpiece. I'm what just saying. Is, what is happening? <laughs> Why am I on your brain all the time? It, what did good. I do? I'm sorry. I liked it. I didn't yeah, mean to. <laughs> well, I as didn't mean to. yeah. I did. I fucking hate this new trend that's sprung up of like policing the devs of every fucking video game. Like we'll go digging through the entire writing staff of God of War or whoever or whatever the fuck game to try and find someone who has opinions that are disagreeable to us on like a you know intuitive sense level. And it's like, yeah, the game's going to be terrible because this person is working on it without any kind of understanding of how much impact they may or may not have on the final finished product. Putting got off at that exactly. part. Did you see the sword protect it's him? Wow. The worst idea. I do want to show everyone the is, map. Is he really okay. a full-blown grifter now? Like, why is that impressive? <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, someone in his chat said, Mola said that the sword protecting Atreus was a really awesome detail. He said, is he a grifter now? <laughs> I don't know if you have you know trouble with this. You talking about semi-sentient swords. It's neat, you... because Atreus senses the nature of a, a thing, trusts the sword throughout the game, and the sword comes through for him and protects him from Mjolnir, which was set up earlier in the bar as a possibility. I think that's neat. I'm sorry. Are you paying rent for the time spent <laughs> in his head, or...? No, it's completely free! Wow! <laughs> like level writing, yes. What does that even no, mean? Netflix that could level be, writing. So that could well, be amazing or terrible, and yeah, everything Netflix in between. Yeah. An arcane, <laughs> an arcane, game, and all these shows that are very critically acclaimed and well loved by many people. But Netflix writing, I guess. Idea. I do want to show everyone the map. Is, is he really a full blown grifter now? Yeah. Like, why is that impressive? This, this is, is Netflix dream. level writing. Yes. But no, it's awesome. I mean. The king of that Ephab falls under the umbrella. What? The king of Ephab? The king of, the king of Ephab, Ephab likes it, everyone. I mean, I it's on your channel. Right? I did what? Well, I didn't vote for you! I don't remember. 
I don't remember establishing any vassalage. What's this? Yeah, What's I don't. Happening? I mean, I guess I'll take it. I don't know. Yeah. Vassalage. I didn't know it was visiting oh royalty God. soon. I know. This is cringe. I'm saying no, he's saying no, the, no. the Brock scene no. with the spear is cringe. It's oh. so good. If you don't like this, you just don't have a soul. Well, let's see what his I mind mean, goes I mean, ironic to. as that statement is, but I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I didn't nice. even say. I'm cringe. Just start tearing people's heads off. And that means you're a child. <laughs> this means you are a Remember child. Remember how we said he just wants to see people's heads getting torn off? <laughs> it's literally yeah. his, little, his little rant there. It's so great, guys. We have God, good. the profile is complete. Oh my God, no! This is cringe. I'm cringing. Just start tearing people's heads off and having their entrails, like, decorate this everywhere. This is horrible. Yeah, just stop writing. Just stop. Mauler likes this game, by the way. What? What, <laughs> what did you do? Out of nowhere. <laughs> Damn straight. Absolutely, we like really this game. Really annoyed. So you can imagine the game. game. What a weird experience it was for me to be like, I'll watch his playthrough so I get a real handle on her, and then he keeps fucking talking about me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I've destroyed your whole life, apparently. Loves it. They, they are really. Synthetic man is the living embodiment of the phrase "growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional." Dude, I think True. it would make for a great title to say something along the lines of uh, "Synthetic man, the, the god of war, grew up and left him behind." Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Ooh, I like that. That's nice. I like. Really, that. we're supposed to care about this. Ten out of ten, though. Mauler loves it. Boy, god of war. <laughs> 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 Mauler loves so, it, guys. Mauler it's loves so funny it. because I see the scenes in the game. It's like, man, this is like random throughout the whole playthrough. Yeah, yeah, he keeps just randomly coming back to how I like a game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Great game. I, I feel like, like maybe this, it's something yeah. that he got muted at a lot or something. Or I've like, heard you like the game. Said it a lot in the comments. <laughs> yeah, make uh, sure you don't miss that really one. Look, look what he says after he says it in the, in the Fenrir moment. Ending. We're supposed to care about this. 10 out of 10, though. Mauler loves it, dude. Great game. Mauler like this, yeah. Remember that. Wait, is this bad? Wait, when remember Fenrir, when that. You put, when you when you put in Finrir's soul into Garm, it, it, wait, like that's bad part. No, he's he's, well, he's just saying it because he's at the that? end of the game and he's concluded it's terrible. That's when Fenrir okay. meets up with you at the end. Um, oh, okay, yeah. The part yeah, that yeah, I find more interesting is he says Mauler likes it. By the way, dot dot dot. Remember that. <laughs> we As if, will. Like, because he's he mentioned my um my reputation earlier, so I think this really is about like he's just like you cannot trust Mola. He lies, he shills, he grifts. Grift whore. God. Oh bad. Mauler likes this. Just keep oh, that in mind. Just keep... <laughs> <laughs> he said that. I think so, uh, that you know how he, he dislikes Ed PCs. Hmm. Mm. We often like most dialogue. He's literally <laughs> playing the same dialogue over and over again. Mauler likes this. If, the problem is, most people are dumb and they become fanboys, so they're not gonna be like, huh, Mauler, the guy famous for like really logical criticism. Thank you, by the way. Is ignoring all the logical criticisms from this game. Name three. I feel yeah, like I addressed them. all of your story criticism, they were pathetic. Yeah. Now, are you gonna remember that and take that forward and maybe reconsider some of his opinions? He wants to take down my credibility now, apparently. He's gonna have to try a little bit harder, and he can start by paying attention to the game he's playing. Every it's not time, a big ask, but... Well, every time, the fucking brainlet posturing of man, these people, they just don't have any introspection. They don't, you know, they're not really thinking about the stuff they consume, you know? From this motherfucker, it's insane. <laughs> the guy oh, who proudly announces, "I have no idea what's happening in this game," <laughs> and I don't. Want, I'm not going to change. Anything. If you want to listen to the dialogue, you. if you the please problem. reconsider, the dialogue, you're part of the problem. Yep, you can't like this game if you're right wing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <There's no> way. <laughs> hey, exactly. <You> can't. <laughs> this guy can't be right wing. He likes this Funny game. To make. Can I use Not this as evidence next people. time someone calls me a fascist? <laughs> I'd be like, wait, you don't understand. You don't get it. Retarded. <laughs> you know.
Does Mauler actually enjoy this? Is How much does he play to the game? I can't believe Mauler. Well, I can believe it, but yeah. imagine playing this and you're like, this is awesome. I love this. This is great. That's an impeccable impression of you. <laughs> I, I often... an impression? Is that what <laughs> he was trying to do? I, well, don't, his, I don't know what that was. Well, it's like his it's like his Hitler impression for um <laughs> who was that other the 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 character he's trying to be. Oh, oh who was that earlier? I I forget. It was so oh, long ago, the, you see. The president of Sony. Oh, oh yeah, the oh, president I mean, of Sony. In yeah, what whoever's yeah. making the decisions on behalf of Sony. In what way? I don't know, dude. A Mauler's game criticism I don't like Dark Souls 2, Yo, but call his out. Dark Souls 2 nine-hour series was very was flawed. I, I can't remember anything specific because it's been so many years. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, that was fair, right on cue. Right, yeah, like, right on cue. Right on cue. I suppose the funny thing is, like, well, of course you'd hate my videos. I reference details. I go for accuracy. I do research. It's really fucking lame and soy. I can't imagine yeah. enjoying this video. feel bad. Yeah. I apologize. I saw it. I remember being like, this argument doesn't make any sense, like, multiple times. Oh, okay, yeah, you thought okay, that then. didn't make any sense? <laughs> All right, Ooh, fuck. He got you now, mutually. While there, great game criticism was never that good, it really wasn't. Does anyone like him? Does anyone like Atreus? Seriously, any person? Mauler likes him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I put up with him, but, it's so you fucking know. fucking priceless. Oh, uh, just give me more reason to not take EFAP seriously on it. On Do you really think we give a shit? Like, like what the, the, the fuck? I mean, this should, this proves, if anything, that we're amazing, that I, you think we're bad. I was gonna say, yeah, why the hell would we want your approval? It would be we fuck it up significantly. Yeah, like, yeah. Somehow, you suck. Like, I've you're balls. You're terrible. Yeah, I've never seen someone manage to be as wrong as this, as consistently as this. Yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, long. Kind of, it's kind of remarkable um, how consistently wrong he's been. Not not even just and kind he... of just dead wrong. He's, like, really fucking wrong. All aggressively time, wrong. Like aggressively just chatting complete nonsense permanently. He has, a, he has a level of confidence that is just not justified to have. Like if you're if you're gonna be this confident, you better be Dude, damn that, good at oh, whatever that, you're doing. That joke from Community where there's this like kind of fat naked guy next to two teachers, and one of them looks at him and goes, "Man, you are confident," and then the other teacher just goes, "You should be." <laughs> <laughs> Video. I mean, I already came to that conclusion a while ago, but yeah, actually, I might actually have to agree with that about EFAB sucking after Dishonored Wolf left. If you play video- That was how many years ago? I don't- I don't even- No? Uh, unless just put it this way. Wolf would not fucking like you. Yeah, he's probably <laughs> no. not very fond of you, my dude. No. Video games. Actually play video <laughs> games, you would notice. This is why I suspect Mauler doesn't really play video games. You got me! <laughs> yes, you yes, got me! He... I don't Literal play video games. Of it. No, 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 that was uh, all a fucking psyop. I didn't actually play any of those games. Metal was playing them, but he was metal, like, informing yeah. me ahead of time what to take account for. And yeah. then when people were like, oh, I'm gonna do a particular thing, I would be like, <clears throat> metal. And then, and then I'd be like, oh, here I go, doing the thing you said, ha <laughs> yeah. Hey, Metal, play God of War 1 to 3 as well. It's gonna be useful. It's well, like, that was oh, a psyop too. I actually too. played it, I actually it, played it stream. twice. That's why Metal was able to beat the final boss so quickly, was because he had so much practice beforehand, he was able to nail yeah. it for Mahler's stream. It's fucking hilarious considering he was so unaware of all the, the skills he could even unlock, how anything worked. The second he actually <laughs> started using them, he was like, oh wow, I'm doing damage now, that's weird. And then of course he doesn't pay attention to any dialogue and has no idea what's happening in the story, and yet he accuses me of not playing the game, really? Not the audacity to, to when, be him no, and just, say, yeah, just not playing, sucks. not playing games in general, apparently, as well. Yeah, that's the thing. It, it, uh -huh. I've not, I haven't played any games. It's all a lie. No. I think he does. 
because the lack of level design is so obvious and apparent. The lack of level good. design. That is Over, level design. There for is those no level design. Players, that is level well, design. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> for those for those of us who are blind and just can't see it, maybe you should elaborate for us, us fools who can't see it. We we would value greatly from your insight on why the level design is so terrible. Boring. Just running. Is boring compared That's to a Mauler. A lot of people is pretty popular. It's on like four podcasts or something. I'm so sorry that upsets you. He's like, <laughs> I wish I was on like one. <laughs> I am on several podcasts talking about media with people I really enjoy. I am. So I'm just, just what I do for a living. I wouldn't be surprised Ooh, if he's on more podcasts than that. Mauler's as bad as Act, man. Well, you can judge uh, someone by their friends, friends right? Good. By their choices and friends, uh, and we know it's easy for someone with no friends to say. Generous, right. somewhat. Uh, I don't know if you called. Hey, it's me. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, boy. Well, you can judge someone by their friends, right? By their choices and friends, and we know he surrounds himself with degenerates, somewhat. I'm gonna. If I. <laughs> what did so, he mean by yeah, this? Yeah, boy. Uh, well. Okay. Maybe this will inform it a little bit better. I'm ever on EFAP. This is not going to go well. It's not going to go well at all. Correct. Uh, I'm just going to insult all of them and then get banned. That's Bro, he's habit. baiting because he wants some. He does. I know exactly what I'm going to call Rags, which is going to get me banned. Um, Jay, which is gonna get me banned. Wait, what? Sorry. Wait. I'll, I'll roll him back. Oh, yeah, I think I see where he's going here. I know exactly what I'm gonna call Rags, which is gonna get me banned. I know yeah. exactly what I'm gonna call Jay, which is gonna get me banned. What is what is your problem? You're just like, so what, cool, dude. He, what if is anyone your, was what curious, is the deal? A bad as time person. goes on, you're gonna discover why this man is never coming on EFAP. He is an attention whoring little goblin clown, and he's not gonna be able to get anything from us. <laughs> Goblin Goblin's cloud. so great. I love he, God. He's desperate. <laughs> and the reason this comes later than the rest of the videos, because I wanted to show you guys that that was tackled on its own. That was a separate thing. This is a whole new thing where he is fucking desperate. And it's cringy. It's soy. It's beta. It's the opposite You're of a Chad. You're fantasizing what we'd say if he was an EFAP. Mm. You're obsessing guys, over us. Bitch. You it's want... synthetic man <laughs> fantasizing about being on EFAP is... He's one. He's maybe the most insecure people that I've ever seen. Yes. But it's Not cute. Very chat of him. If it weren't so fucking disturbing with a lot of the stuff he says. He is fit only for mockery. And my god, what fuel for mockery, eh? Ooh, yeah. I know exactly what I'm gonna call Service Rags, all mankind. which is gonna get me banned. I know exactly what I'm gonna call Jay, which is gonna get me banned. I know. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the problem. They they all have very obvious flaws. Damn. Yes. Um, yes. Um, okay. Yeah. So fuck you, basically. My obvious flaws. Low low obvious brow, flaws. But For anybody oh, who was like, "Wow, you went you you went hard on this guy, and he'd done nothing to you." Yeah, man. Unfortunately, if you guys remember channel, guys. that little clip of him saying, "You never know who's watching." Unfortunately for him, it was me. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Mahler's autism has taken him to new heights. Oh, yeah. oh no. <laughs> Examination. <laughs> that's that's Mahler's obvious flaw. <laughs> I'd be interested in debating Mahler on EFAP if you're able to. I don't know. Maybe. What would you say? Desperately fighting back saying, God, yes, please. See, this is the only Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing having an editor would be good for is there's too many bits oh, in this stream that I want to put in the video. I'm but I would have to go through the entire stream and also like say all the things I want to say outside of that. It's just too hard to make that one video. So obviously this guy doesn't have very strong principles or is a liar, as are many people on YouTube. I went through all your fucking streams. <laughs> but apparently, you know, <laughs> yep. that takes too much work. These people is supposed to people with good integrity time. that you can always God, trust if a game is good. Am I a fan of Mauler? I'm a neutral of Mauler. You ain't neutral, he sounds neutral. Really? You ain't Are you a neutral? He sounds pretty neutral. <laughs> he sounds he neutral about neutral. all of us, really. Yeah. Pretty Very neutral. neutral. Yeah, so-so. Yeah. I don't really watch his stuff anymore. I've, he just... Hey, I see Mueller in the recommended. <laughs> well, you know, it's a coincidence story about it. He likes guess, yeah. he likes to play he likes to play our podcast in the background so that he doesn't feel alone.
There you go. I feel like most of his content, fuck it, we could even just check. Most of his content is like crapping on things we already know are bad. All right. Let's see how that fares. Like, yeah, Multiverse of Man is sucked. We all know that. I mean, uh, I I'm, don't I'm, even know what GDELB is. I'm not a, I, I, uh, I've had that going for longer than I. I'm pretty sure I put out the first Gidelb five years ago. So, damn. But I also the end like of an the, era. We also, he doesn't even know what it's about, but he's like, yeah, just crap it on things. I'm guessing that's something he introduced in the last couple of years. No. Uh, critique of Force Awakens Part 4. What the fuck? Uh, ha Wait a minute. Force Awakens. That was the first of the new ones. He's still working on that? It takes forever, and it's about writing. Oh, yeah. Just about TF. And clearly people are very I interested in it. There's are a you lot fucking to kidding me? Black Widow. We all know that was bad. The father. Father. I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> I believe you. Of course, of course you, you don't. Yeah. I believe you. It, dude, it, I like how just like, see, this is something I can relate to. Just like my channel, he praises something. That I thought don't that's know what it not is. what you did. Only I thought he said that's uh, not what you did. Well, he did. Yeah, he, he said Maybe I don't do that and then showed that I did do that and said he relates to it. It's kind of weird. 170,000 views, weird. which might sound like a lot, but then you're like, oh, this is 2 million. This says a million. This says 1.5 million. This says six What's million. What's the difference from two between years all ago. Man, he makes things. no yeah, content like, anymore. The, I fucking it's knew not it. just the drugs. <laughs> no content <laughs> anymore. No Mola makes nothing. nothing. There's that that Ow. five five hour and fifty minute long video that What's just your, came out a couple of months ago. Well, no What's your content. hour to like hour of content to month ratio? It must be pretty decent. Um. Considering the hyper level of editing, and I mean, Fringy is here and knows the pain. He worked on that video yep. with me. Absolutely, yeah. those are um, tough to make. <clears throat> it's it, like I don't know what else to say. He has no idea what kind of work goes into these. He's just assuming there isn't any. And then it's so funny to have said all of this after saying it's too much work to go through my own streams. I went through <laughs> your streams and also, to do like research saying, on what you played the game, like how you played it. Well, yeah, you can do that. But and then also remembering that his comments on like his own work ethic. For yeah, his own right. videos. It's yep. actually unfucking believable to be told by this this person that I don't do any work when he like proudly announces, yeah. This guy who takes pride in his not doing work. Exactly. <laughs> Insane. Oh, this is two million. This says a million. This says one point five million. This says six million from two what years ago. Man, he makes no Marvel, content anymore. Star Wars I fucking knew it. And he just shows up on podcasts father, and collects though. money. Big fucking Wait, surprise. Sorry, what podcast, did you just say? Like, you know, that one, one of them is not runs. connected to a Hold on. Six million <laughs> from two years ago. Man, he makes no content anymore. I fucking knew it. He just shows up on podcasts and collects money. Yep, that's ah, it. That's all surprise. it is. It's just uh, a it's, no, it's so shit for any. Like, I think the most unforgivable thing to say about you is that you're lazy. Yeah, <laughs> I think you can tell from Mola's upload schedule that he's definitely an algorithm chaser. Oh Absolutely. yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> the algorithm yeah. loves five-hour-long videos every few fucking months. On topic, yeah, like, uh, was that was that was for a while there. That was uh, several months after Doctor Strange came out. It wasn't even like it was a few months later. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, as you would know, because it takes that long to fucking make. I, um, yeah. I, I, what do you do with this? Um, as you can see from people who watch EFAB, do you think I just show up and talk and that's it? From this fucking video you've seen, is that it? From the the hot D prep, the I'm certain no prep went into this. The Ragnarok prep, none of it takes any time or effort. I'm just grifting, no. grifting on them podcasts. Just grifting. Listen, away. he has a bunch of dicks, but I don't hate him. I'm just, it's just a fact. It's I'm just pointing out facts. All right. I'm, but Play I would have to go through the entire stream and also like say all the things I want to say outside of that. It's just too hard to make that one video. Man, he makes no content anymore. I fucking knew it. They were talking about me in the Mauler subreddit. Imagine being so obsessive. I literally didn't mention him by name in the video. But these... These... These pathetic fuckers dig and dig and dig like, Oh my god, they they insulted my favorite e-celeb, but I literally had the courtesy to not bring him up by name. Mauler. Oh, Mauler. 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 King of EFAP said it's great, guys. 
Oh, enough, uh, one of the, one awesome. of the many reasons I decided to watch his streams was I was told by someone saying, you know, he's, he's thrown some shade at you on stream. And I was like, oh, okay. Um, and I was expecting him to just say, like, really surprised you would like this game, but it's so shit. That sort of stuff. I never expected it was all of this, plus the old, like, oh, I'd get banned from EFAB if I came on. Because, you see, Rags has a character flaw that I could, you know, make fun of in the form of a slur and get banned. It's like, man, you're great. You're a great guy. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, boy. Very cool. I don't know how to actually say to themselves this is a 10 out of 10. I have to imagine those type of people just don't play games. Which, it, imagine having the audacity to say something's a 10 out of 10 when you've only played like 50 games in your life or something like that. You know what I mean? I have no like, problem with someone 50 doing that. Is, yeah, 50 is a, a lot of pretty games. good amount. Yeah. yeah. Playing 50 games, especially if you're really into them. And you play them to completion and you really spend the time to learn the mechanics and stuff. 50 mm. games is a lot. You could well, learn a lot from not necessarily that many games. First of all, not to mention, it can be 10 out of 10 for their experience. They can be like, I fucking adored it. It was a 10 out of 10 for yeah. me. By the way, that's how I feel about Soma. Whether or not I think it's a 10 out of 10, like, mechanically or objectively, for lack of a better term, that's what I would go with. I would say it's like, a, it's, it's 11 out of 10 almost. So that's why I'd always be okay with it. However, um, I never said anything about Ragnarok being a 10 out of 10. I never have. But the thing, the reason why I know that is it'd be difficult for me to say that when I don't believe that. I, I highlighted many flaws, I think, with the story and, and the gameplay across the streams and in our coverage. As for how much I enjoyed it, I'd happily say 11 out of 10, sure. But like, mm -hmm. that's a very, very different marker. I enjoy Batman and Robin at almost 10 out of 10. <laughs> Absolutely. That's 10 out of 10 for enjoyment. I love that movie. That shit's fire. Just, yeah. I mean, this does it just doesn't make sense. How is this 10? Like, I don't even have to tear apart aspects. I just need to ask why yeah, people would fail. say this is a masterpiece, oh, right? Okay. Well, it doesn't have to be objectively 10 out of 10. I, you couldn't... Objective and game criticism do, don't go together. They just don't. Why not? It's, it's weird to hear that after all the references about how people are wrong for saying it's 10 out of 10. When you're saying there's no way... To ha so, like... <sighs> You know, if you can't be objective about it, then how can anyone be more or less accurate if they yep. say something is 10 out of 10? Exactly. Where do you have room to say it's not a 10 out of 10? Kind of weird. There's a reason the Maulerites, I'll just call them the Maulerites, the Maulerites. whatever, the EFAP people, those type of people don't, they talk about movies and TV, not video games, because fun is subjective, and video, video games are extremely subjective like you can't really argue like what one person likes someone else is gonna hate well so, I'm, all right then fuck it i suppose my head is actually exploding when i listen yeah. to this so the reason moeller and the the efap people talk about movies and tv shows not games is you can't be objective about games because games are really about having fun yep that's all games come down to at the end of the day. You can't spot um, anything wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing at all. The objective elements of games can severely add to or take away from its fun. Things like as simple as just game performance, input lag. Like the, those things are objective. They can be measured. Hit they can boxes, be better AI. or worse. I don't understand bugs. Like what? Why would you? There's more things I believe to break down objectively about games than there are movies and TV shows. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's definitely Mechanics more complex a conversation. Are like rock solid by way of descriptions of whether something is functional or dysfunctional. Like a glitch, you know? Like if, if like you're just running along and you fall through the ground, it'd be really hard to argue that that is good. The subjective that argument is... people will make for that thing is, yeah, well, I find those glitches really funny and entertaining, and that's kind of one of the Well, sure, but I like that would be... Games, that's... But... Yeah, that's well, indicative of kind of the nature of it, right? You're well, appealing to, like, how you felt about it personally. Not to like, engage oh, I found that funny. in a big old conversation exactly. about those definitions. I'm just highlighting that he's drawn the difference between movies, TV shows versus games as one of them, being games, is all about fun. You can't Yeah, really be because objective. I guess movies aren't about fun sometimes. Or mm. shows. That's why we talk about I mean, movies, because they're not about fun. Yeah. There's not painful than game of the year being a game that's just inferior to another game that's 10 years old and then people pretending like that's not true just because they like to hit circle a lot of times these enemies are shitty as fuck these enemies are just they're objectively poorly designed
Uh, uh, Oopsie. Uh oh, they the all door. do it. Everyone uh, does it. They always every do it. Every single oh, person every does time. it. Every time, like clockwork, they always say, you can't be objective, you can't be objective, and then they do it. It gets better than that. Ever. There's no quick way to get rid of them, really. Objective and game criticism do, don't go together. They just don't. They're objectively poorly designed. If you've played nearly as many games as I have, there's just too many fucking flaws. Way too many flaws. And again, we're going to get into like the subjectivity versus objectivity argument, but I don't really okay. care so what people think. think. Like, I care what I think. Objective. Cool. That much okay. was very much made clear by our yeah, um, I, I believe you in that one. I'm, I'm, I'm behind that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, mm -hmm. you, you realize what happened in his brain, right? He's like, I know that this game is not good, or at least flawed. And then he's mm -hmm. thinking to himself, like, well, someone else could just say it isn't. He's like, okay, so the objective subject, okay, okay, but, but I, I only care about what I have to say. Like, oh, that doesn't really respond to what, anything, but <laughs> like, okay. That's a good response, man. You nailed it. Objective criticism, dude. You did a video together, called "Responding just... to Sony Fanboys," so you care. He does yeah. care. Yeah. It's and it's okay to care. Yeah. It's like we, it's, it's yeah. okay to care. I know a lot of really super cool YouTubers want to be aloof and ooh, look at me. I'm Marlon Brandow and uh, and I'm a I'm a biker and I'm so cool. I don't care. I'm a rebel without a cause. No, it. It's fine to care about things. In fact, you should. It's yeah. no mark of shame to say that you give a shit about things. But Rax, my fragile sense of self-worth rests upon my ability to say, I don't care, lol, because I'm above and beyond all of this stuff. Where's the shit about the truth? Yeah, yeah, man, the, the, I'm, too, I'm cool, I don't care. The truth shit it's like little fuck oh, shirt. Yeah, the Orwell shirt. Oh, I don't care. Shit. George Orwell, he didn't give a fuck about nothing, man. I'm just Ugh. like him, I'm cool. God. I buy his merchandise. Just don't. Don't yeah, even give them that. Cool. Don't even give them the to okay, each their own. Cool. They, no, they just say they have shit taste. That's what I always do. Anyone who oh, says this is cool. dead, then you're, you're, you're dead to me. Actually dead. Wow. You know, <laughs> isn't shilling for a brand? Give <laughs> and game criticism do, don't go together. They just don't. I just want to know how many morons, like, would still trust the YouTubers who gave this 10 out of 10. And just be like, oh, well, it's just their opinion. It was totally their opinion. I can trust they the YouTuber who gave this 10 out of 10. It's it's yeah it's it's really not that feelings. difficult to imagine why someone would call this a ten out of ten. Yeah, outs only not sellouts at all. You have to keep in mind. I thought Raid Shadow Legends was one of the less bad ones. Oh That's no. when I took that one on top of them paying. Oh a lot. no! Oh, the Orwell shirt oh, it cries in no. your closet. So he took oh. a sponsorship with Raid Shadow Legends, a video game, and would have promoted mm. it as a good video game that you should all buy. And he did oh, it wow. uh -oh. for the money. If you, if he is you a promote... literal shill. I mean, that, that's what it is. It, you're... I was like, you made it. <laughs> so, and you shilled for the poster child of shills. Oh, yeah, you yeah. don't want to shill for fucking Raid Shadow Legends, man. Yeah, come on, guys. Jeez. Not if you... Yeah, man, <laughs> like, modern gaming's so lame. Anyway, have you heard about one of the most ambitious RPGs? <laughs> 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 no, I haven't, Fringy. What? Tell me more. Uh, oh, the clown dumb. makeup is complete. <laughs> <laughs> if you shill for Raid Shadow Legends, you are going against... Uh, what you say if you want the if you want the gaming industry to be healthy and successful and flourish and you stand up for the gamers and you only want to promote good stuff and then you promote raid shadow legends you've sold out you've shilled and that whatever they offered you that's your price for integrity mm -hmm. that that's it it's as simple as that well how's that sponsorship going we don't do sponsorships we don't do sponsorships besides here. you're allowed to do sponsorships but don't then say you should never sell out and never do shilling and never and then gun for a, one of the worst video games like they're the mm -hmm. most predatory form of video game or one of and you're like yeah, i'm the video you... game man who would never lead people down the bad path of video games this is the most this is the same problem people took with skill up right didn't he promote raid shadow legends they're like what the fuck are you doing you can't do that when your channel is based on like ethical yes. gaming for the consumer, mm -hmm. customer, whatever. It's it's. Yep. If you yep, you can't talk about how much you care about games and the 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 industry and all that stuff, and then promote Raid Shadow Legends. It makes you it makes you a shill and a sellout, that and that's a stain on your reputation. Like, listen to the wording of this. Is the reason I put these clips together. Still trust the YouTubers who gave this ten out of ten, and just be like, oh well, it's just their opinion. It was totally their opinion. They weren't they aren't sellouts. <laughs> 
Only not sellouts at all. You have to keep in mind, I thought Raid Shadow Legends was one of the less bad ones. That's why I took that one, on top of them paying a lot. Only not sellouts at all. And literally selling out. Mm. Like, there is some cope if you want to try and argue, oh, it's not the same because uh, uh, sponsorships aren't reviews. Yeah, but who's <laughs> been, like, paid to review God of War Ragnarok and paid to give it a positive review? Well, like, maybe people aren't familiar with the language people yeah. use for describing Raid Shadow Legends. He will he will have described it's it. Re the reason why they pay you to talk about Raid Shadow Legends is because you're going to talk about it positively, and it's going to lead to people who watch that video trying the game. And it's going to yep. lead to some of those people who try the game getting immersed in the microtransactions. That's the whole point. They're doing it because they think it will make them money. Because it does make them money. Because absolutely, you might, yeah. You yeah. Might it say, absolutely does. You Where might does the sit money here come from and try and cope ad? about, oh, well, well, everyone knows that game's bad. Everyone oh, knows God, look, it's a, the next it's a gambling video, game. He told his viewers he doesn't actually think Raid Shadow Legends is a good game. Oh, my fucking God. Uh, oh, okay, so. Uh, <laughs> my God. No, 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 good. guys, it's fine. I'm not a liar. I was lying all along. Oh, my God. <laughs> I only I lied Raid for a while. Shit talk them and still sponsor you. It he fucking like collect. Ben. Collects the money, lets anybody suffer who ends up believing him, and then he's like, by the way, I was just, I don't think it's good. I got the money now, it's so fine. You, just I mean, like, honest. And let's honest. be honest, it's it's unethical to lie to Raid Shadow Legends if they give you money to do something, and you lie to them and go against it. Yeah, yeah this, this is one of the most straightforward <laughs> things ever. If you're about integrity and you're about uh, customers getting the good games versus the bad ones, don't take a Raid Shadow Leg Leg Legends Fucking sponsorship. It's real simple. Good you should. Oh, there's, I don't think there's any reasonable price that a game developer would pay me to give a good review for their game. What? I just don't think um, that it, you, you've uh, literally promoted Raid Shadow Legends for money. For money. Whatever they gave you, and then that's, that's and then, at least the and, price. And looks like I haven't checked this, but apparently you then went on to say, by the way, it's not a good game, guys. It's not a good game in the fucking future video. Oh my god, the slime. The absolute slime. I, I guess it's not a you sellout. Keep mind. He feels like shit about that. He's like, yeah, I really should have taken that Raid Shadow Legends money. Again, Too I'm late now. To that's the thing is, his integrity is the only thing that can't be taken from him. He has to give it away, and he did. You have to keep in mind... I thought Raid Shadow Legends was one of the less bad ones. That's why I took that one on top it's of the paying bad. a lot. He couldn't it find one that just wasn't bad. Yeah. Got, That's know, why I took that to one on top of them paying a lot. Game. Like the world is full of products and services that are great and good and will bring a lot of you know help to a lot of people. Whether it's a website builder or, or or just all kinds of different products that there that exist out there, and you could have done a sponsorship for any of them, and nobody would have said anything against you. But you chose one. You chose the worst one. You chose Raid Shadow Legends. Yep. Raid you should have chosen Rogaine. Go with fucking Dollar Shave Club. Damn it. Yeah. yeah. Do like Manscaped or Dollar Shave Club or fuck a VPN or something. They don't pay as much. Well, that's what he said. Raid paid a lot. Yep. He had a number. Oh, God. God. This sucks. 10 out of 10. I, someone. I. You know what? If, <laughs> never mind. I'm so, I can't do it. I'm already probably blacklisted. But, you know, if anyone wanted to take initiative out of my audience and go and find the people who gave this 10 out of 10 and just, you know, give them, give them a little hello for me. I think. Wow, you're really <laughs> cool, dude. What the fuck is you this? Won't, you're, you're not even doing it yourself, you fucking coward, you little bitch. <laughs> he wants his audience to go out and find people who say the game's a 10 out of 10 and give them a little and hello. And say hello. <laughs> I don't yeah, even know I what wonder you're... he's insinuating there. What little the fuck? fucking... I actually don't even know. I'm not 100% yeah. clear on it. It's not like, good, though. He, he said he couldn't say, say it for risk of being, like, banned. <laughs> Just say, Damn. like, he wants people to try and tell them they're wrong? I guess that... so. It means that much to him, man. Okay. Sniveling I guess that's... Creep. That's awfully, um, petty. But okay. Mm. What the hell's the term? Like, honeymoon phase? Something like that. Uh, whenever that starts to wear off, people are gonna see the flaws. Now, they're obvious to me. Someone who has, <laughs> oh, to you. you know, played a sh 
absolute shit ton fun. of video games. Oh, oh, games but guys. to these so overly games. excited fanboys, eventually they'll acknowledge its obvious mm -hmm. flaws. Oh man, you're one of the few trusty reviewers left, like G-Man Lives, and I'm like, G-Man Lives thinks every game is good. Like, good luck finding. Is there game. nobody in the world like that? You have anything he, positive to say, like look, about them? You have to realize what's happening here. Okay, someone says well, to him, "You and G Man Lives are the only ones to trust," and then his response isn't, "Dude, there are plenty of people you can trust." His response is, "You can't trust G Man Lives." <laughs> you see, here's the thing: if if you are this level of insecure, and you have his personality, what you're doing is you are constantly comparing yourself to everybody else that is mentioned or that is around you. So, that if someone said, hey, you're really great like this person and this other person, and your instinct is, actually, those other people aren't, you know, it's indicative of his kind of personality. He's constantly comparing himself to other people. It's probably hey, the reason why he mentions you, Mahler, so much. Because in a way, hey. he sees you as related. He needs a quote that he needs new quotes. Mark Twain's comparison is the death of joy. You got to get that one on your shirt. And every time when someone's like, joy. hey, you know what, man, you're pretty good. And this other guy, he can look down at that shirt and go, hmm, maybe I should like not shit on them too. <laughs> like, Maybe I could thank them just... for the compliment they paid to me. G -Man well, I mean, yeah. He's a reviewer that does, like, for every new game that comes out, which he reviews, he does, like, five shooters from 20 years ago. Like, that, that he's just like, ah, I felt like playing this one, so now I'm making a video on it. The guy is, like, not at all an algorithm chaser. He's, like, he's a pretty solid reviewer, I'd say. Like, I, I, don't, I don't think that saying, like, yeah, well, G-Man likes every game. It's like, he actively seeks out making videos on games he likes that are... Like, you know, a little bit more off the beaten path. Game G-Man like. It's, it's pretty rare. You have to keep in mind, I thought Raid Shadow Legends was one of the less bad ones. That's why I took that one, on top of them paying a lot. It's so weird, because if someone said, why did you do that that Relic watch, or the the, the Tayrock, is Tayrock uh, watch sponsorship years and years ago, it was like, because I made them send me a watch, and it was a really nice watch, and I still fucking wear it to this day. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll promote this watch. This is this is a nice brand. I like this watch. I wouldn't say, well, it's one of the, the less bad ones. But they paid me a <laughs> lot, know? so. But they paid this, me this a lot. What, something that maybe people aren't grasping, right? He knows it's bad. He knows what he's doing. He, he described it as one of the less bad ones. Less bad ones. No. So he's doing it because they paid him enough. That is selling out. And he keeps accusing other people of selling out. It's really fucking weird. Do I trolled opposition stuff? Also, please never become like drinker or moist critical. Uh, just don't be a sellout. That's why I took that one. On top <laughs> of them paying a lot, people aren't being more critical. Lots of pasta because everyone is a sellout, and I mean basically everyone. That's why I took everybody that except you, right? It's a real sellout. Literal everyone and you actually did. Like, you actually I mean, sold out. Fucking unreal. It's a fucking grifter. Everybody. That's the only everybody. Way to make it on you. They're all grifters. Oh. All of them. All of them are fucking he knows, grifters. He knows what he's doing on this site, right? Low effort content in order to farm the algorithm. And, and, then... he, and he launders his opinions because they're all fucking toxic and stupid. So he has to yep. like account for the fact that normal people are going to see his videos. So he has to remove all of the slime. Well, he doesn't even remove all the slime. He just reduces it. It's why to that one on top them paying a lot. Like, okay, R retard. I don't care if you don't care. You can't just ignore all the problems. Yeah, That's the that argument I always make for video games. There's no such thing as a flawless the game, but nearly took each other's heads off. if the flaws really ruin the enjoyment, which they absolutely do, and you're just lying to yourself. Objective and game criticism do, don't go together. They just don't. I'm the idiot. Me. I'm the guy who doesn't understand video games. He doesn't understand narratives. Look at the yeah. recommended Twitters. Critical and in, in, uh, some ordinary gamers. It's like, that's like, th that might as well be a, like a trifecta of like normie shit. Oh, I mean, it's the everybody is Twitter, sucks so but yeah, you. Kind of. Everybody's, nobody is as cool as you. Well, mm -hmm. it's as smart as you, huh? Well, when will this is nobody in the world. 
Batman collab? Uh, probably never, because oh, at some point he became a leftist here. cuck. I don't know when that was, because <laughs> I seem to recall him okay. making a uh, Anita Sarkeesian video. Uh, I feel like it, if it ever comes to that, I, if see, always have your receipts, right? And always know your own body of work, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so don't contradict yourself like know two your sentences apart. Body of work. If That's people come the sentence that me. you just said is part of your body of work, you should probably remember it. Yeah, I shouldn't remember that. Act man, the leftist cuck. Use anybody who comes after me is gonna be someone I probably started shit with. And the only people I start shit with are people I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's not true. He, he said he hadn't watched my stuff for years, yet he made so many confident claims about all of my opinions and perspectives yeah. and orders and standards and whether or not I'm a grifter, the state of yeah. EFAP. So weird, man. He's got strong opinions. That well, just yeah, means on the basis of what? Investor. Scrolling through your channel for 30 seconds, he came to the conclusion that you're lazy, uh, you don't need to make videos anymore because now you make money off of streaming. Like, what after that? what? 30 seconds of just scrolling through? I know his shit. I've seen over half his videos, at least. Wow, I saw that half. video. I don't care what he says. He's going to be like, oh, I've changed. Yeah, that really... That only who? works Wait, when a leftist who? says it. Have you noticed that? Act man. I mean, act man's he says a lefty he's changed. That? Have you noticed that? I thought G-Man was an Australian <laughs> Chad. No. He's definitely not Chad. He's Australian. Kurgle drinker. Uh, <laughs> Fringy. Rip Fringy. Fringy. I've always told you. Uh, as we, we always say, Fringy, yeah, he, he's pretty cool, but if only he'd move out of Australia so he could be a Chad. Yeah. No, it's, <laughs> it's we always say. wouldn't do it. He's still Australian at that point. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, can take the, you can take the bird out of Australia, but you can't take the Australia out of the bird. <laughs> it's just funny because there are many famous George Australian Orwell Chads. That. Like, oh. in, in oh. our world, we got... Hugh Jackman. Got. You know, Rock first Dundee. Steve Irwin, yeah. isn't it? Steve Irwin. Like the legendary Chad. Hyper Russell Chad. Successful, and a lot of his videos are half-assed. He's almost drinking. Oh, not like yours. So, I mean, my videos are half-assed too, but there you go. Oh, like, zero some of his past. shit is just Wait, like what is he about to say? What, what okay, well, we'll roll say it that. back. He's extremely oh, successful, and a lot of his videos are half-assed. So, I mean, my videos are half-assed too, but, I, like, some of his shit is just, like, completely pointless. I I just think kids like his accent, to be honest. I, I don't think he's bad at all. Like, I think his channel's fine. Again, he's a mall, right? What's wrong with you? You didn't fucking didn't explain this guy what that is means. Nice. But Drinker is a mall, right? Apparently, he's a problem. have a t-shirt that says mall, right on it. Just, yeah, you gotta wear that in public. Stop making Molarite shit. Drinker. <laughs> I thought I already explained my problem with Drinker. I just think a lot of his content is pretty low effort. Uh, I don't think he's that funny. I think kids just really like the the fake drunk uh, Scottish accent. Um, I I don't know. It's wait, just like wait, he's actually generic... Scottish, isn't he? Yeah. I was about to yeah, say like, like a fake drunk, drunk I'll, Scottish I'll, accent. I'll give like, him... well, he is Scottish. First Given off, how dare pro... you say that a Scotsman is faking being drunk? So yeah, get racism, shit but straight. Yeah, I'm assuming he's referring to the drunk being fake, which, you know, it's probably true. It's probably fair. I don't, I don't probably. think he's drunk every time he records. I don't Eric, think he's sober. Every I keep time calling he him records, though. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, I agree. I Man. keep calling him Mahler, right? I, I definitely want to make it clear Mahler obviously didn't invent film or, or TV or video game criticism. Thanks for clearing that, that up. Thanks for oh. clearing <laughs> We, we would hate not. to steal the credit for that, yes. <laughs> it's just kind of, all of it's like kind of a similar-ish style, you know? It's fun. Like, effort or visuals like that are relevant or I, actually paying attention to the thing you, you consumed? I don't know. What's yeah, the... yeah, what part? It's like yeah, nobody or, tries or to copy off Marvel. of Red Letter Media, which, you know. In, it's funny, I get accused of that all the time. By, <laughs> yeah, do you? Also uh, the left side of things, where they'll be like, you fucking, you're just a wannabe plinket. It's like, uh, okay. Okay. In many ways, it's like, at least it's higher quality film criticism. I kind of got sick of their stuff eventually, too. Oh, they suck, like, too, yeah. Red no, Red sucks. Letter Media, they're Remember, mine, too. Everybody sucks. He's the only one, all right? But Red Letter <laughs> he Media, is the only one. at least you know you're getting a little bit higher budget I content, you know? I, I just find it, I'm blown away sure. that in the film community, there's a fuck ton of people who are against wokeness in movies and shit. I mean, like, like I brought up, you know... Uh, critical drinker. You know, he's like one of the most po popular 
film critics. And that really upsets you, doesn't it? Because you wish right. that you were more popular. But in yeah. video games, there he's are insecure no and he compares himself to everyone else. He's upset well, he's when other a, people have success. He's frustrated that, upsets... that none of these bigger YouTubers are shitting on Ragnarok for how woke it is. Critical mm -hmm. drinker. You know, he's like one of the most po popular film critics. He's very anti-woke, right? But in video games, there yeah. are no anti-woke people. The, name a single, like, actual anti-woke gaming critic. Why are people protecting game criticism? Are they being paid off i mean i i what? really have probably must be plenty it. of game reviewers who mention it or call it out with stuff especially with when stuff like saints row comes out things of that nature yeah yeah i mean when last of us Everybody 2 came out on that, that game game. Last of us 2 was yep. huge for criticism yeah well so it's I mean, impossible is... to consider the fact that people don't think ragnarok's andromeda uh like agenda driven or woke yeah you can possibly fathom that it's impossible it's disgustingly it's, it's... woke well, that's the difference woke, between yeah. it and I, I Andromeda it and his other stuff, because it's written very, very well. Start. Check out the Under the Mayo. I hate Under the Mayo, though. Ah, of course. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I agree. But why? Why? But why? why? why I don't know who he is. But... For 2018, lots of his points still stand. Should help your video on this game. Under the Mayo is the Doom Eternal fanboy. I, I don't oh, like him. For me, I wish I could make super Dev, lazy Dev, edited Dev, videos like this. Because then you can spend about... <laughs> no, no, Dev. He's ripping it to Dev for being lazy. He's ripped it to GGG Bad Lives. You know, He's ripped it to me, EFAB, Drinker, Mayo. Dev reads books for his videos. Like, yeah. he reads Low entire effort. books for his uh, videos. No, but Sid, he's better than Dev too. <laughs> better than all of these people. He's, he's better than you know, everybody. Have you noticed, there's, he spends a not insignificant amount of time talking about how much better he is than other YouTubers. 80% <laughs> <laughs> of the time making the video, like, scripting. Not that I write scripts, but that's obviously how he yeah, does his. I'd be fucking embarrassed for you if that came from a script, what we just saw. If you, yeah, if you wrote that down and it passed through the brain and then you had to say it out loud and it still passed the test and made it into the product, that's, that's bad. Because at least you don't have the, the, the excuse anymore of saying, oh, it's just stream of consciousness, whatever I felt. You know, an honest guy like me, you know, sometimes it just, you know, it's got to come out. I can't stop myself. Griffin Gaming is annoying, Square. Yeah, he, he's a perfect example of how to make it on YouTube with, like, shit quality content. I mean, he is basically Definitely just the sure gaming clone is. of Leafy, so. You just wow. react to everything that's happening. I mean, the dude mother fucking defended COD Vanguard. I can't believe I have to, like, take Activan's side. Was there anything worthy like, of defense in there? Probably. Is, well, but, like, I think the more important thought is, like, he values, like, people's character based on which things they liked and disliked in media. Mm. About as well, far as it, well, yeah, no, that guy no, liked Doom Eternal, right? It's so the, he's the company they keep, Mala. Defends Vanguard. Like, it's a shit game. Everyone knew it was a shit game, and Griffin Gaming's like, I don't Dude, know that, great. it's just I what I hear. I don't care about any of these things you're talking about. I don't care. You know how much I'm gonna laugh? You know how much I'm gonna fucking laugh if these fa- uh, I almost said it. If these bundles of sticks oh, oh. Oh. don't want to address my existence because they think it'll make me more popular. Do you know how sad that is? Dude, I don't think there's any hope for you getting more popular after people see who you are. I guess it's not exactly very enticing, to say the least, but hey, you know, YouTube has had horrible people get successful, so whatever. Good luck, yeah. I suppose. But, uh, yeah, really great start to that sentence, too. Hey, yeah. You know, I actually said that is, that, that is beyond pathetic. Why am I not surprised? Under the Mayo released a review for God of War Ragnarok. It's pretty long, but some parts are worth watching. Stop trying to shill him. He shit on me for my Doom Eternal video. How do you guys forget this? Oh. Uh, yeah, remember what team you're on. Remember what okay. side you're on. Yeah. Well, if there's one thing Mayo can actually talk about intelligently, about it's say. Doom Eternal. Yeah, like I was going to say, I was like, if there's one thing that Mayo... And has trust from... me, there is one thing. Yeah, <laughs> it seriously is. That's probably the... It's the thing you can criticize well, I mean, him about most It's easily. also like... You know, like, uh, you guys might be familiar, but there's probably people in chat as well, like, this channel called Folding Ideas, run by Dan Olson, I think. He kind of hates me, uh, at least that's the last he said of me, was, did not fucking like me, it was after the, the Dark Souls 2 TLJ stuff. Uh, really not a fan, which was I would stop talking about media because I don't know what I'm talking about, that sort of stuff. Same time, he made a Flat Earth video, he's made one about, uh, well, he's made lots, basically. I've recommended them several times, and I still do to this day. He makes lots of really good videos.
yeah, he really doesn't like me. That's fine. Because <laughs> how good mm. your content is and what you feel about me as a person, they're two different things. All right. Yeah. Yep. We want to go tribal mode with with Big Man. <laughs> I think he literally called it the worst Doom Eternal review on YouTube or something. Wouldn't be surprised if it was. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Make awful reviews. Griffin seems to have had quite the character arc. He definitely seems to be a bit different than I remember, but I don't know. If he at least likes my shit, whatever. I don't, I don't really care. I... You see how he was, he was <laughs> ripping into him, and then he finds out that he, he kind of likes his stuff. He's like, oh, okay, maybe he is okay then. Oh. Ooh, another another <laughs> like EFAP on Galaxy the Galaxy EFAP up there in their yeah. commands. Yeah. Nice. You ain't gonna be watching us no more. <laughs> Ren free. <laughs> nope. I, I don't have specific against him. I love your views, my man, but your woke argument is a bit old. I don't think you do love my reviews, then. Oh, all what right. happens to any of my... <laughs> they must be very central the way, to your reviews. Is, and... like, that's like honestly all I got. Did you see the music from the game matches? Yeah. It was I'm so good. Your reviews, yeah. my man, oh, that wasn't edited in? That. No, that's, that's, like edited. That. that's amazing. I don't think you do <laughs> love my reviews, <laughs> That happens to any of my videos. If any of my videos get into the algorithm, oh, it's always normies hey. who hate any criticism. Yeah, I, I wish people Just brought back normies. disliking videos Not over me, though. like like principles instead of like stupid <laughs> fanboyism oh, People actually dislike word. the video that you just disagree with like you the premise or um, like, I feel like Please do so talk you... more about principles how does his tongue not like burn when he says the word <laughs> principles? I know, right? Principles. Instead of like stupid oh, fanboyism, people actually dislike the video that you just disagree with, like the premise or. Like, I feel like dislikes are used for all the wrong reasons. It's just like triggered children. Anyone asking about me balding is getting timed out. Like, this, that's the final warning. It's just like triggered children. Yeah, that is a thousand likes. Well, you guys do your job. Dislike bomb the video. I don't give a shit. Oh, God. Remember that? Remember this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't do that. That was really cool. That was Zero Got Coffee, right? Yeah. He knows. And apparently, that guy got plenty more shit from this. Of course he did. He fucking commanded his audience to go after him. And then you he said, ever, oh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't wanna... say that because I can get in trouble. Not because that's fucking unethical. But you know what to do. Wink, wink. You don't ever want to go this route. Just never. No, he's just foul. What are you doing? That's, that's just no. This uh-uh. Every one of you come here. Do. <laughs> no, no, I might get in trouble from YouTube. Uh, you, you do yeah, what you, you might. Must. I might get in I, trouble. I blatant you TOS violation. You and it's kind of a foul thing to do. It's disgusting. You're a disgusting Man. human being. Go fuck yourself. Yep. Yeah, I'll take a shower. Yes. Yeah, Instead true. of it being like, oh, I'm an adult and the premise of this video is stupid or something. Like, like I disliked Act Man's latest video because I thought it was completely pointless. And uh, I completely disagree with the stupid statement he said about gaming is better than ever, which is just such a... There's I no, think I would yes, agree I'm, with that. There are, yeah. there are definitely arguments you can make for that. One of the obvious ones is we have access to all of games in like yeah. almost primary formats. <laughs> it's amazing. Like, yep. But yeah, th that's one argument you can make. Moving the context from that oh, statement, but in context, it's still stupid. It's so, long. so regardless, <laughs> is okay. there is no context okay. where you can that's say that and be correct. Shot. There is a context where you can say that. I can so. emulate yeah. the last 30 years of games on a Steam Deck that I can carry in my backpack. Like, that's pretty crazy, man. Yep. Nuts. Both side 2 was so woke. See, like, goddamn, the woke... People complaining about wokeness is so inconsistent. The amount of... <laughs> I know, man. People I had to unsubscribe from oh, no. over the years. They didn't complain about wokeness enough? I'm subscribed enough? to about 40 channels right now. And I think over the course of, you know, my account is, what, 14 years old? I probably subscribed to, like, 400 channels in that time. 400 down to 40 because people don't complain about wokeness enough. Quite the I, uh, decimation. I reviewed, um, I reviewed Spider Man Miles Morales for Geeks and Gamers and had a lot of comments saying, Hey, why didn't you talk about the Black Lives Matter mural that was in the game? It was so woke, it ruined it. And I'm just like, I, I didn't see it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I was swinging around New York City. I really wasn't looking like, at the mural. There's a that. mural in a video game that it ruined it. Thing. Ruined it. It's also winter, like it's snowy, I don't know, so I'm, I'm moving really fast. <laughs>
What what is what does it being winter and snowy have to do with a mural on a wall? I don't understand these. People. It, the the buildings themselves are a little bit more obscured than they were in the base game, where it's summer. I mean, it's like this frost so, on them or something. Because they're because yeah, well, how though? How so? Surely you'd be able to well, see more because there's no leaves on the trees to block the view, right? Oh, well, you're in New York City, so the trees aren't uh, aren't stopping much. But uh, oh, things like oh, it's the snowing s- will like make it more difficult to see. A mural on the wall? I mean, if it's heavy snow, maybe you're not looking at the walls as much. Like it's like I guess if it it piles up high enough, it might. It just means like regularly snowing. It'll and also like I'm not. Oh, like you're looking through the snow. Like it's currently snowing in the video game. In this context too, like I'm doing shit that doesn't involve (laughs) looking for murals. I I just didn't. I just didn't see the connection between the the snow and the wall mural. Well, it has curious. been nine and a half hours. So I I, I'm guessing it just true. didn't register for me in my playthrough at all. So I'm just like, I, I don't know. Like if it didn't, it's because the whiteness didn't even is covering up the BLM mural. <laughs> oh, is that what you were going for that whole time? So many. No, I just barely been getting the algorithm lately. So who knows? Maybe they're finally starting to suppress me. I saw that declining dislike dislike ratio. It's every time. It's just. Because it's not like millennials give a fuck. Was it Cor- Corey Balrog that did God of War 2 and 3, though? I don't think that's true. Barlog. Maybe it is, and, but uh, no, two, not I, I find that hard to believe. Get educated, motherfucker. I've ten saddest or dark moments in games. I'd rather just do, like, edgy contrarian shit. I'm- <sighs> I mean, awesome. I mean, you, you have the freedom to do that, I Get suppose. Get out of my space. <laughs> Mother wanted me to, you know, <laughs> pass out candy to kids. I didn't want to do it, but then she kind of forced me to do it, and we can get across from up I don't here. know. It's cringe. <laughs> he forced to do something. I assume he's talking about trick or treaters. I don't. I don't whenever, fucking as... know. I just thought this comment was fucking bizarre. He's like, I didn't want to pass out candy on Halloween, but my mom forced me to do it, and, and it's cringe. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. It's not cringe to hand out candy to trick or treaters. What a, what a weird kids. thing to say. I didn't want to do it, but then also she kind of forced me to do it, and we can get across from up I here. don't know. It's cringe. Uh, you forced to do something by your mommy at age twenty-seven. Yep. That's what happens when you live with your mommy. There are, are oh, more. Oh no! Don't say that out loud. You don't, you don't no, to... you want to hide that from the internet. I mean, uh, oh, hopefully no. he's, he's paying rent so that you can have the ability to say, like, I don't want to do the thing that you're trying well, to force me to do. However, kind of no candy. Maybe. I mean, come on, man. You could be, like, <laughs> slightly on, social and personable by handing out candy to trick-or-treaters that one night of the year where that's a special mm-hmm. thing that people do. And maybe if maybe if you're 27 and you're living with mommy, you could, you could maybe help her out, you know, yeah, as a sort of, yeah. thanks, mom, for letting me, a 27-year-old who... You know, who, who lives here? You know, thanks for letting me be able to do that. I'll, I'll help you out and do things, especially if it's a you know once a year thing that requires very little effort whatsoever. I, I will bear the cringe because I appreciate it so much. Or then you think that delete comments they don't like. Wait, sorry, let's go to full context. Your mommy at age twenty-seven. Yep. That's what happens when you live with your mommy. There are, are more YouTubers than you think buggies. that delete comments they don't like. And some oh, of them have admitted to it. It's like, what the hell is wrong with you? Like, how fucking pathetic have people got? Anyone asking about me balding is getting timed out. Like, <laughs> oh, ouch. This, that's final warning. I don't know why you would say, like, anybody who deletes comments is pathetic. And then be like, I'm gonna time you out if you comment on my balding. I was like, why would... Oh. You're setting yourself up, man. How did we go from a Greek tragedy, which, yeah, had a lot of juvenile moments, it was definitely intended for edgy teenage boys to a degree, but that's not to say the original games had no depth. There's a video called God of War Was depth. Always Deep, You Coward. Um, I, I just consider this, like, nonsense arguing on both sides. It's like, it's not like there was nothing in the original trilogy, but it's obvious that they've taken him way further as a character. Yeah. I don't mm-hmm. see why there has to be constant bickering over like the straw man version of both sides. Like you're saying he would he had no development at all in the OG, OG and then the other side is like you're saying that uh, he had all the development in the OG. And it's just like why can't you guys we we all know they focus heavily on story now. Uh the mechanics are still present but all right, we'll all be fine.
words. Great title, by the way, by Endless Jess that covers this subject pretty extensively. So I'll just direct you, you to that video yeah, instead of extending this one even further. To now this infantile, pseudo-mature <laughs> Marvel movie for man-children. People who refuse to actually grow up and have real responsibilities. That <laughs> being getting a wife and having hell. children, right? Being an anti-natalist does not make you mature. What the fuck I, is happening now? <laughs> like, I don't- what? What? I, I didn't what sign up for this. I don't even know what, what? that is. Whoa. It's, uh, it's basically the view that procreation's bad. You shouldn't make children. What the fuck does that have to do with God of War? <laughs> okay. Yeah. This it's is in the main video he released. It just this makes game, you a uh, depressed nihilist like everyone else. Children. And this is not me acting holier than thou. I have never pretended to be mature. I know what I like. I you like couldn't. the super edgy shit. I like Darksiders. I like the original God of War games. I even like fucking Shadow the Hedgehog. It's a <laughs> bad sure game, but I oh, like how it. over the top it is, given it's a fucking cartoon character with guns. That's, Did he I, cock you, the... Oh, yeah, it, it all makes yeah. sense. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's so well written in terms of just... That's exactly yeah. what I would expect you to say. Yeah. That's in line with everything I know. No, let you the hedgy. It's you people who are pretending that this is some super deep shit. They have the issue. It's pretty deep the Last of Us 1 up. actually was somewhat deep to a degree. Oh, it was no. a very well told story. If we're going to define deep as just being multi dimensional across many connections, many details that all links back to other points in the writing, loads of subtext, yeah, Ragnarok qualifies. I don't know what to tell you. Absolutely. Story, even though it, it was doesn't. a story we'd already heard dozens of times by now, right? Ah, Joel. Miss you, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Right. This is not well handled in the least. The writing team is highly incompetent, no, and in no small part because Anthony Birch wrote for it. A man who is a literal Mamma mia! And whose wife divorced him and took his Wii U. <laughs> so he- What? So no- so What is going I, on? I didn't, I, know to, you I didn't know you had to- I didn't know you had to censor a cut. memes, my guy. Um, oh. none of that has to do with anything, actually. This person was on the writing team, therefore it's terrible. A also, person who had his Wii U taken something. away was on the writing team. How could the writing be good? And he even mentioned that he's like, well, it seems like there was a lot of the interstitial things written by other people than the main writers. It's like, well, maybe lots that of writers for this, then. and then lots yeah, of like, like writers planning o overall, and then planners for that, then writing directed. Like this was a huge project that they took lots of care with. Every and even I then, I, I don't know that a, a guy, a guy's wife cheating on him and divorcing him and then taking his video game console is a reason to be like, yeah, well, why would I read anything he wrote? It's like, man, Weird. this guy might just have some bad luck with women, that's fine. And he's done plenty of other pathetic things in his time, but if you let an actual comma mia write for God of War, what the fuck is Aww. wrong with you, Sony? You are fucking dead. Le like, assuming it that he was a cuck. A weird word to censor, of all things. But assuming he was, like, they could still write a really good story. It doesn't matter. It's gonna, li you're go literally ahead. just yeah. trying to... I yeah. think it doesn't mean cucks anything. are not banned from writing. There you go. Cuck can oh, write video games. Statement. And apparently they could write very good ones, so... Because divorced him, though? Like, is that what makes him I don't a know. No, like, that's I, not I, what I a cuck is. I don't know no, where he's getting it from. I don't... I don't but, like, the yeah, ultimate point of a cuck can't reasons. write well. Like, who the fuck... Ever. Dead to me. I've already said that multiple times. But they are so dead to me at this point, dude. Okay. I'm only playing these games to review them. That's it. Certainly not for my own enjoyment. Now, all of that being said, is this a bad game? No, it's not. And <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> After all we've been through. Yeah, went full circle. Yeah, he's, he's really rounding know. off full of his points. Only yeah. because the gameplay is good. The combat designers did their job. In fact, they're the only people on this team <laughs> worth their salt. I they actually guess that made this dumb. What you've said. I wouldn't have, this ending just doesn't even, it's like, whatever. Monster fire fun, at least for the 20% of the time that you're actually fighting things. The other 80% was <laughs> either incredibly yes. boring I thought it was 70 30. Whatever, as if he's gonna, why should we have to remember it? He doesn't care. <laughs> it's not fair at all. To both puzzle. my intelligence and my masculinity. And I think that was the intention. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Games are not made for gamers anymore. And they're slowly trying to not make them for men yeah, they anymore. Be mindless <laughs> they're not made for men anymore. 
Yeah, yeah that explains why no men play video games anymore. <laughs> Uh, Haven't you noticed that no men don't play video games anymore? Can't do it anymore. It's, it's, more. it's way do, too late. Like well, early Japanese games, games look at fucking indie sphere. If you really, no, you really they don't make upset. games for men anymore. Games for men. True. Hollow Knight is a very feminized game. <laughs> whatever the fuck woke. that means. Either Where not am I? catering to men's tastes. They're trying to make games, quote unquote, for everyone. There is no such thing. You cannot make a good game this that game also appeals isn't to for everyone. This I mean, game has like good writing and characters and themes and everything, so it's clearly not for you. I'm, <laughs> and the, the thing, of course, they haven't made it as it like. By the way, you know, like the sentiment mm -hmm. when you make something for everyone, you make it for nobody. Like the idea that nobody's gonna love it and stuff. It's like as much as I appreciate it, you need to contextualize it a little bit better because, like, what if I counted with I don't know? Chess seems to be pretty well liked. Seems to be made for everybody. Is that what he made for, like, smart people or something? Like, why are we... He's clearly heard this, and he's just throwing it in. Like, there's, there's no context for this that he thinks is satisfying. As we went over, he barely understood the mechanics or the story, so... Just saying shit. The Everest can't. You can make a mediocre game that does that, and many exist. But a good game caters to a specific audience. And unfortunately, they do not want the God of War audience. Okay. Fuck this game, and fuck all the Sony fanboys who think it's a masterpiece. That word has now lost What about all the people meaning. who think it's, you know, it's a masterpiece who aren't Sony fans? Because I haven't even played it, and I think of the story in characters. I, I, I'd put it up there. It's definitely, you know, it definitely s scratches at that level, I feel. But um, I guess a more interesting question would be, what about the people who just thought it was pretty good? Yeah. Well, like not masterpiece Sony fans. or anything, but they thought it was pretty good. I'm going to try and use this video as a jumping off point and say that you don't have to make games for a specific audience, rather games are made to present a specific experience. There's mm -hmm. a distinction there, they're not made for a specific kind of person, they're made to do a specific kind of thing, whether or not that will be interesting to people. Until, of course, you get to the AAA sphere where, you know, games do have to appeal to a wider audience. Say it. But Elden Ring is probably game of the year this year, despite having one of the most critical videos of it. I think it's considerably better than this game. That's about it. I'll see you next time, Do you guys. Not like any games. So that's right. the end of his main video. Now we got to see the rest of his uh, no. response video. All right. It's obvious that Elden this dude didn't like the that game was made for gamers. before he played it. Oh, uh, I didn't like it before I played it. it. Yeah. yeah. I get the vibe. Yeah. I get the vibe. I mean, like, right in the beginning, you're like, oh, this dialogue doesn't matter, this is so boring. He's well, like, trying yeah, to emotionally he, manipulate me with Fenrir. Let's just say, I got so, some other references worth looking at in, in terms of, did he hate it going in? That's the ultimate oh, okay. cope. Oh boy, we could get a recap, because, you know, the game was so good that we forgot the entire story. You literally it was did. It was, I mean, you first took it off, as a you point did, yeah, you with forgot the story, Hildesvini. actually. Yeah, and other things. Also, let's be fair, it was four years ago that it came out, so yes. yeah, it's probably good to refresh people on something that they played four years ago. That's yep. why we replayed it. Recaps a long while oh, after. Sad Kratos. That's what I've always wanted to see. Sad Kratos. Hey, Only you when just started the game. Kill he's killing yeah. his family because at least that's understandable. But what? What is he? Apparently not to you. <laughs> What is he sad about this? Uh, time? You like struggle to imagine the love that someone can have for another human being. So I don't know. I'm not going to take for granted that you can empathize with any human emotion. Well, he's also clearly thinking about Faye, his dead, like, yeah. big, big love in his life. Why can't he be yeah, sad? She's dead. Get over it. Not based oh, at okay. all. Boo. Right, fine. No, Rip has a. I didn't like it before I played it. Not, yeah. Really That's the story. ultimate <laughs> cope. <laughs> Quit yeah. talking over the game. Uh, buh, buh, buh. You really want to hear all this shitty dialogue? And yeah, as Mel pointed out earlier, this is Alfheim. This is yeah. very early in the game. He's this already said like, all what, the dialogue is shit and not worth listening to. It's like sub 10 hours, something like that? It depends on uh, the player, but of course, yeah. the idea being that, yeah, it's like, I didn't go in to hate this, and it's like, you're not even listening to it. Dude, blow the $70 yourself on the shitty game if you really care about the dialogue. I didn't the like it before I played it. Out. Yeah. Really That's the story. ultimate cope. Yeah. Sad so. equal deep, according to game journals. Yeah. 
From what I've seen of the leaks, and no, I will not say what I've seen for the few people who care here. I, I would guess most people who came here don't give a shit about spoilers. Still not going to say anything. Uh, this is the last Jedi of God of War, from what I've heard. If, if it is as bad as... And I'm 90% sure that the leaks are correct. 90% sure it's the last Jedi of God of War, but I didn't go in looking to hate it. No. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so, How, honesty, so, integrity. Ninety uh, percent sure it's this thing. Before, I mean, I mean, tech. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I just don't. Yeah. I'm well, it's, it's obviously it's skewed in favor of hating it, like be by no a conclusion. considerable margin. Yeah. That. Oh, and I don't understand what's going on. Oh. In fact, actually, if you're asking to hear the dialogue again, you're part of the problem. All this sucks. None of this matters. Have I really not been paying attention that much? That, oh, and I don't understand really? what's going on. Oh. This, yeah, this guy's real based, guys. He's real anti-woke. He's literally saying all the things left to say. It's a, he might as well be reading out of their playbook. He said he didn't oh, understand mean, what was going on. He said that's a oh leftist God. thing. He's such uh, a fucking NPC. His what? brain has such a limited range of possible <laughs> outputs. Such, Huge oh. NPCs. He needs to evolve his dialogue, yeah, he's got very limited responses. Yeah. Even if he does think, like, oh, you know, they've gone too far, he's clearly center-left at, at best. And once again, the most tired oh. leftist argument of all. He just hated the game before he even played it. My question is, even. why do you keep adding politics to everything? Like, how is that leftist? <laughs> how is anything I said in this entire video, like, leftist at all? Like, we can even just look back to what I said. I said, I didn't feel like looking at the rest of your review because the review is bad and you probably didn't like the game before you played it. How the fuck is that leftist at- how, is, how does politics have anything to do with that at all? I didn't say one thing in the video at all that, that was political except for the fact that you think the game is woke. That's the only political thing I said. Like, everything I say, it just goes through your ear and comes out the other as a leftist. Nothing I said was leftist, bro. It's I just said your review true. is fucking trash. If somebody says a yo mama joke to you, you're gonna think it's fucking leftist. Everything is a leftist <laughs> argument to this man. I mean, god damn it. I, uh, I'm, I'm actually mad. I knew I would be mad. It took me over a week to make my video. I'm glad you responded to it with your half-assed, shitty opinions, you parasite. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is a thousand yeah, likes. Well, you guys do your job. Yeah, dislike bomb fucking, the video. I don't give do a shit. Do your job. Dislike bomb. I don't care. It's fucking scum. I'm, I'm gonna play and stream a whole video game, but I'm not a parasite either. But this guy is running to me. Parasite. YouTube. Every one of you come here dislike this video. <laughs> No, no, I might get in trouble from YouTube. Uh, you, you do what you. That's must, not why you I shouldn't guess. do that. Uh, yeah. I, I'm done. Okay, I think I'm gonna end the stream now. Oh, like, I feel choice. like dislikes are used for all the wrong. At least reasons. we know you can. It's just like shame. Triggered yeah. children. Or here's an idea. You're a fucking fanboy with your head up your ass. You have really shit taste in video games because you haven't played any really good games, evidently. From 1980 all the way until like 2005, the vast majority of video games had minimal cutscenes. All of the ones That's... that had excessive story were notable for that because the vast wow. majority of games didn't have so more than. One of the problems an... that you're going to be struggling with is like in terms of cutscenes as being one of the vehicles that uh, games tell stories. Like if you play an adventure game, like a point and click adventure game, would yeah, you consider those cutscenes? Like, like, or yeah, or a JRPG. Like, are those cutscenes when, you know, characters are talking and then you, you know, press A to go through the dialogue or make choices? Or RPGs, like Fallout? You know, like, what is, uh, what is the nature of describing the way that games convey their stories? It feels like you're examining it through a very limited lens, which is, like, the Sony third-person cinematic, like, action-adventure games. Seemingly, like, discounting huge swaths of the way that stories were conveyed. Because, I mean, games told stories before 2005. And some games play Wii Wii Man told three or stories four. before 2005. The Metal Gear Solid games, like, I believe 1 yeah. and 2 were both out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and I think 3 were out before 2005. Uh, Wingman yeah, I think you're right. Wing Commander 3 and 4 were both space combat games where the narrative elements were FMV sequences, which starred Mark Hamill and the guy who played Biff in Back to the Future.
<laughs> and you make dialogue choices. Well, and you can you can ha enter full game over fail states if you pick the wrong. The obvious reality choices. we got to deal with is it ain't gonna be you're only allowed X amount of cutscene time. The reality mm. is it's about implementation, what yeah. those cutscenes achieve, what they could have been. You know, all, all the standard questions about the specific context. You can't just go. Games only ever had X amount of time, and so now in the modern era, they've gone too far. It's like, what does that even mean? You've got to be more specific. Hour of cutscenes are higher game. It's only in the past 10 years that games have had more and more cutscenes, which you would know if you actually no, played nitpick, video games. 2005 was actually... actually yeah. played video right. games. Ugh. Fuck off. Just shut up. God. But I mean, as for that comment, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, there's a lot of games that are very much gamey games in the traditional very much. sense. Very don't think much. you Just do, which space. means you have no authority to talk about games. And okay. you clearly no haven't seen okay. many of my videos where I've talked about- Thank fuck, eh? Yeah. ...about games I like that are obviously primarily gameplay focused. So again, this is an embarrassment. You should absolutely feel ashamed of yourself that you shit this video out without thinking about it for more than two seconds. Sometimes you wonder if he has to actually talk about himself. You're like, wait. Yeah, <laughs> you do. Uh, there's that, there's that little voice that, that generally -truth. tells Just you like, to, you know. Don't say this thing. It's you. Don't say this thing. That's you. But no, you're going to continue to churn out content and slowly accrue more and more subscribers because YouTube Not doesn't really care about quality, you, right? it only cares Ooh. that you cover trending topics. Like yeah. you, quality. You totally <laughs> care about quality. Like you. I'll never change, even oh. though I know I get things wrong. I'll never change. He Fuck it. He is the Which I'll admit is something I've done Sony myself Jack. many times <laughs> over the past three years. So what's with the righteous indignation? What's going on? Mm, you do all these evil things that are bad. No, oh, I do them too. Anyway. <laughs> is it resentment it is a of success for uh, a success derived from doing the type of video that he doesn't want to be doing? Like he tried making some trending topic videos and his channel really took off. I I, I don't know anything about his history. I don't want to no know. clue. I mean uh, I I don't know. Like it just, it kind of seems like that's what he's resentful about, or at least listening to what he's I'm saying. I'm confident right now. that when the Halo TV show was coming out, that on a few occasions I got recommendations yeah, for like I, that I've Halo video that he Halo made. So I I, I don't know what he's talking about in terms video. of like oh man I can't get anywhere. Like I can't get any traction. I don't know, man. How do you account for the fact that you have an audience? I think the deal was, like, the Halo videos and Resident Evil videos that started getting recommended were because those TV shows being terrible were trending topics. Because he would have made videos at the time that they were coming out, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I, but I think it's like he's mad about that. Like, he, he wishes that he could just be making the kind of videos he wants to make, but he feels like now he has Well, to he play. can do whatever he wants. He can yeah, make whatever video truth. he wants. <laughs> doesn't care about quality. But not a single one of these points refutes any argument I made in the video. Yep, nobody's not a ever made a po uh, There's no, not one person who's made any point that you consider to be valid, just like there's like not one YouTuber that you could be like, yeah, you know what, they're actually pretty good. They might even be better than me at a couple of things. <laughs> like, well, even well, yeah. when he's wrong, he's right, you see. Well, yeah, he moves goalposts, he recontextualizes arguments, he'll re recontextualize his own arguments on the responses, and then he'll go as far as say in his streams, like, I'm basically the only person that could be trusted. I'm the only trustworthy reviewer. Well, he said that on a few occasions, yeah. It's just, you don't think these people exist, but you're like, no, they do. There he is. Argument I know has been refuted about it being a giant fucking movie game, about it being woke as fuck, about the combat being too similar to the last one, which I actually pulled my punches on that. I didn't make- You can't pull your punches, you had you no punches, you fucking understand you the combat punch. systems. You didn't make any arguments either, you just said it was super woke, or you said it was- You just claimed it was 90% cutscenes or whatever, and, and and that was it. That's all you did, you, you just said things. You didn't do any work at all to convince anybody of anything. You just made that a big point I did in my original draft, but I decided to be nice and mostly stay positive for the combat section. Sure did, about buddy. Kratos' <laughs> character assassination, about Atreus <laughs> being an effeminate cuck. What? Why is everyone oh, so wow. crazy? Oh, wow. I actually have to pee. <laughs> you're oh. a cuck, and you're a cuck. Everybody is a cuck. What, about Freya being a Freya? Mary Sue. Uh -huh. None of these uh. things were refuted. These are all the most important criticisms of the game. Oh, and then there's the lack the of gore. Ones. There's the Marvel movie ripoff shit. 
There's yeah. the fact that this game is clearly made for people who don't actually enjoy video games, which is... <laughs> what? <laughs> They're, like, specifically gunning for uh. people who hate video games. Yeah. <laughs> That'll... We'll get them... We'll, we'll hoover them all up. ...is why you're not even playing the game the majority of the time. Uh, but if you love movies, if you love staring at the fucking screen, not touching the controller, except when a fake quick time event comes up, then you'll love this, I guess. Game of the year 2022, right? So I honestly have no idea how to end this video. Uh, Synthetic Man wins. Commenters lose again. Big surprise. <laughs> I'm surprise. the greatest. <laughs> See you next time, guys. And so that's the end of that awesome. video. Which remains, we've still got stuff left. It's alright. This is the clips that I didn't properly get contextualized into, like, uh, portions of the video. I could have, but it would have taken way longer. So instead, we're just gonna watch pieces of his streams that I thought were of interest in terms of his criticisms of the game's gameplay and the... Some of these will surprise you. He should understand loving dogs. All right, so there's Ryan Johnson, Mark number one. Oh, look, low <laughs> Reddit humor. He's turning a page with a pipe. If you didn't play the first one, don't play this one. What else is he meant to simple. turn the page with? Yeah, he tongue. doesn't have any... His yeah. stick. Oh. It's low Reddit humor to use a pipe? Yes. Um, is that in this like, Reddit meme? Mark like, number one. Pipe to... Oh, look. Th this comment he makes by here, by the way, after the Mamiya one. Um, this is... In response to the idea that there are new players, alright, keep that in mind. Low Reddit humor, he's turning a page with a pipe. If you didn't play the first one, don't play this one. It's that fucking simple. I hate... I used to get mad about this all the time when I was a teenager, where people would play sequels to games without playing the first. It's like, okay, maybe if you're like a kid and your parent buys you the latest one... You've managed to actually uh, already... counter your argument. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've already created a scenario where that might be of consideration. And kids, um, I'm not going to say this applies to all of them, but there's going to be a lot who are like, whoa, I have an axe, what can I do with that? And the game is like, light attack, heavy attack, hold down triangle to charge it up. You can throw it, light, heavy throw. Now you've unlocked skills, look at these. It's your choice, you have money, XP. You can buy any of these moves, read them, and then use them. And that, it's much better as experience for a kid instead of dropping all the moves on them from the previous game. Or even a significant selection, whatever. They are making games for new players as well as old ones. The big old balance you have to do when you make a giant game like this. Give it then I get it, but it, it doesn't make sense otherwise, especially if plot the plot matters, which it absolutely does. Okay, I have a serious question. What's the point of distinguishing between a block breaker and unblockable if he combos after a block breaker with a unblockable tag? That's Time it right, you can parry the block breaker. Yeah. That means you don't lose the chance to block the follow-up. It's bullshit. Emotional manipulation. Yeah, it's manipulative, that's what this is. Uh, so at this point, I don't actually know the difference between a dramatic payoff of any kind and manipul manipulations. Like, I guess it's all manipulation. I mean, I guess the writers the do want you to feel a certain way. Um, but, like, that's the objective when you write any story ever, is to facilitate that Chris, kind of response in people. Through his frustration, anger, and grief. Uh, channels that into a magical ability to turn into a bear to fight under the bear, kills it, runs mm -hmm. off. Kratos manages to get him back to normal and they realize you killed a mother. Yep. Yep. There are consequences. And it's like Kratos says, there's there's intent, mate, sure, but there's consequences. And then we have this get reincorporated later after Brock's death as well. And they come through the same area. Yeah, yep. We're not, we're not reminded of them. The Plus all of the other references throughout the story about the nature of like choices and consequences. Does not matter. We need like yeah. a counter so for this shit. That's number two. Counter for what? You when it's trying to teach like you a, a lesson? Calm and reasonable person. Are you a calm and reasonable person? He's too fat to be intimidating. <laughs> he doesn't sound <laughs> more like he sounds like a yeah, lone yeah. shark. Yeah, yeah, you, you talk You've a never gone mad outside. game. Yeah, you talk a mad game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine him sitting across from Thor saying that. <laughs> I would be shitting my pants.
Especially yeah. with what he's saying. Are you a calm and reasonable person while staring into his soul? It's just like, uh... Thor could yeah, run into you uh, and just keep Johnsoning. going. Yeah, Johnsoning. You get tiresome after a while. It's just this subvert your expectations. Instead of like Zeus, who was, you know, like a Giga Chad, we have <laughs> Zeus cool. literally was defeated because he was too afraid and it cost him everything. Yeah. That's the, the story. Fucking, uh. Oh, that was a bad point to pause. Is there anything over here? Okay. Uh, why does this exist then? Just for continuity? I love when games tell me don't go that way. Well, that used. To, there was a time, maybe a brief time, where that meant you should go that way because there's secrets. Now, when they what tell you not to go that are you way. Referring to? Yeah, when? There's, there's loads of secret options in this game. It's filled with all kinds of loot. He even commented yeah. on how he likes loot. Yeah. That's, That's where all the gameplay is that you didn't get. Yeah, let's fucking... Now when they tell you not to go that way, they really mean it. Like, it's like, there's nothing over there, the we're bastards. just- We've just wasted time modeling this area. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting Norni of chess. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. My dad likes loot. Who doesn't? Who so the when you I mean, first play 2018, Atreus is turn. put off by the idea of picking stuff up off people or chests that don't belong to you because he feels like it's stealing. Kratos mm -hmm. is like, they don't need it, we do. So yeah, there's this difference of opinion about looting. He doesn't like loot. That's not funny. I told him everything. What's not funny? Everything. Looting. You waited my son disobeying me. No, I I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. I love how Kratos is the main fucking character, and he's the butt of the jokes. They're constantly the, mocking. He's not a what butt isn't, though? Yeah. There's not a butt of this joke. This joke doesn't have a butt. Yeah. The joke isn't even a joke. It's just, it's just Sindri's mannerisms, and it's, there isn't a butt of the joke. There's no... There, the joke isn't at anybody's expense, because, for, like I said, there's not a joke here. There's funny mannerisms and speech. There's Kratos staring Sindri down because he's like, you're the reason my son was put in danger for these past three years, technically speaking. And then Sindri's panicking because he's realizing gradually, like, oh god, this man, he's going to kill me. And Atreus is trying to stand between them. That is, it's, a, it's an amusing scenario because we know that truly Sindri is safe here. But at the same time, he's terrified. We all know how yeah. anxious he is. He's not, like, his personality type would be very intimidated by Kratos looking at him that way. He's like, oh god, Absolutely. how do I do it? With this. Him being this. like a man. Yeah, I mean, if 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 any, if there are any butts to this joke, it would be Sindri. Yes. Yeah. This is. Already, it man. just gets well, to be frank, disgusting was... after a while. <laughs> disgusting. Yeah. Disgusting. Uh, this is what Marvel movies have done to humor. I mean, just. Not being allowed to be offensive in any way is kind of, kind right. of what destroyed yeah, humor, really. You don't necessarily have to be offensive to be funny, but not you being allowed be to be offensive really steers humor in a specific, horrific direction. And it takes someone truly talented to write something funny that doesn't rely on, you know, offending something. I'm so tired yeah, of the Marvel humor. Please make it stop. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I... Yeah, but this is the kind of guy who, like, thinks it's a joke to call people faggots. He thinks he it's the, it's does. so funny. Ha ha, like, he smirks at his own joke when he calls people that, right? But I think that beneath it, there's, like, legitimate, you know, hatred in his heart um, for it. He's proved as much. You may be right about that, Rags. Maybe you're right about that. Um, But check oh, out, th th we're about to get a montage of his humor, right? He's going to show us how it's done. Oh, boy. Oh. We learned from the master. No. Your son is a pussy. He will never be better than you, Kratos. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> that was really funny, dude. <laughs> 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 so, uh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we're laughing at you, not because of you. Sweeping ham, so thanks to two bucks. How's Dad of War? Um, more like Soy of War, or go, uh, God oh, of Soy, oh, 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 oh. or Dad he of Soy. He actually did it, but like unironically. And he was yeah. proud of himself, too. 
Oh, uh, yeah. They keep coming. Oh, check out, check out this one. This is another good Don one. Don Winterman, inventor of winter. <laughs> Her name was Calliope. What? Yep. Calliope. Yeah, she crashed to the what ground. What happened? It was long ago. I killed her. Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah. The alpha. Tough Funny. Yeah, yeah, that's you what know, I'm gonna alpha your anus, Freya. You At least I referenced a man what? from man in the Earth band. Then they'd have mouths. Oh God, they, it made it worse. It disgusting mouth. What the fuck is this humor, you dude? With your bow. I feel like I need to cleanse my palate by listening to N word screaming compilations or something. Shut the fuck down. Cause you're a fucking little nigger and you're going for objective? Shut the fuck down. Shut the fuck down. Look at you, bro. You're nine kills, bro. That is literally negativities, bro. Get your fucking money up, you fucking black George Floyd welfare collection cotton picking torch monkey son of a bitch. I am not even remotely uh, surprised. Those are fucking uh, awful. Are we gonna get the next? I wish I will find this man. I, I will. This is pretty funny when I was Reddit twelve. Gold. Oh wait, it wasn't <laughs> funny then either. Oh, oh my god, guys! I'm gonna get banned from the game. I hope Act Man doesn't expose my YouTube channel for my racism. Why do these character models look so awkward? Yeah. Look at him. Like. I don't know if he, he just kind of looks autistic to me, but like him staring off to the side and not directly like into Mala. the camera. Take that back. Yeah. It's really weird. The mask. Does that That's not look weird? weird? It looks weird. I don't know if it's because oh, the upgrade or not. It just seems like the Blades of Chaos do less damage. I guess they're supposed to be AoE or something, but I don't like it. No, we can fix it. told you that. We just need to chase it off. Scan it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. You heard it here, guys. You can never atone for your sins. God of War Ragnarok 2022. Of that statement. Like some comfort. That's not enough. You, like, just can't engage with words. So for mm -hmm. anybody who doesn't know, this side quest is about how Mimir is trying to make up for all his mistakes in Svartalfheim. You undo all of the, the sort of... I what they're called, right? Like the the spewing, uh, they're like mining things or something. Like little yeah, facilities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you break them and it clears the water. The skies are clearest. It's like it's getting better. Woohoo! Then you find out there's this whale creature, and Mimir is upset because it's still here. He was hoping it had either died or escaped by now. Um, and so you get all of the chains off it to free it. But it doesn't move, and Mimir kind of panics. And Kratos explains to him like, "Look, sometimes there isn't." Fixing something like this, only making things better. Referring to, yeah, it's good that it's free, but you're not going to be able to undo what's been done to this thing. It's its nature is forever changed by the fact that it was chained for so long. It's a it's a it's a it's quite a reality to have happen it's in just a side honest. mission. Yeah. Uh, rather than in the game, it's just like damn. And Mamiya feels fucking awful about it, but that's the reality. The damage is done. Sometimes there's situations where the the be yeah, it's like Credo says the best you can do is make things better, but making things right, it's yeah. just that's not a possibility now. Yeah, and, this and you is, have to accept that. It informs a lot of the more regretful statements Mamiya makes in his uh, like in the non sectional, which with Sigrun, like mm. he really wished he was faster on the on the ball with rectifying his mistakes. Mm. Yeah, when he said, uh, I think in the 2018 game when he arrived in Midgard. His goal was to uh, impress Odin, and he did so by being a man who was very capable with knowledge, but also impressing him by facilitating the deal with the dwarves that put them in a permanent, like, underclass. And then, of course, this whale he captured and gave to Odin. Harvested oh, for oil. Yeah. The is very annoyed at that. We have seldom is. If you commit a crime, it, it is always bad. You're oh, forever bad. Says the leftist. Why the hell you're full of shit? <laughs> you're <laughs> you're not, man. Says the leftist. The leftist Every again. Time. The hell can't leftist. you grab enemies whenever you want? Because that would be too many like mechanics for the average what? person to understand. You said there were too many buttons on a controller. You can say the same thing. thing. <laughs> Shut your mouth. And there too are many. grabbing mechanics in this game. So I don't know what yeah. he's talking about. This has been asked before, but what is the optimal time amount a cutscene should be? In my... Um, 
In my Ratchet and Clank 2 review, I basically said one minute. One, I'd say like one to no. two minutes. It depends. No, Ratchet on if... and Clank has longer cutscenes than one to two minutes at times. Wait, wait, wait. he's about to. Fix okay, the okay. If, the, about to if it's clarify? a major story cutscene, I I say you could go up to five minutes. Like there you go. Oh, so one to two. Oh, generous. But if it's major, five. You could have a five minute cutscene if it's a really entirely arbitrary. But, no, okay. yes. no, extremely arbitrary. No, science. <laughs> Mm. He's yeah, got it. He did. Like yeah, he found this out in his lab. Story. Jesus just watched game the game. Happen. So someone in his chat is annoyed with him because he starts the game up and just talks all over everything, and then they say to him, "Just watch the game." And so he gets triggered. But compare this set of statements with the ones he just gave. Honest Whaley, you basically just proved all of our points. Watch the game. Watch. Oh no, the watch game. the cutscenes at least. Yeah, the cuts you watch. If you're gonna talk about the story, set, which you sit on that doing. thought. Sit on that this statement for a while. If you do not see a problem with the statement, watch the video game. Which you would do for any cutscene. You'd be watching the yeah. video game. Yep. You are ruining the industry. Oh. You are part of the fucking <laughs> yeah. problem. Like you could have a five that's minute cutscene if it's really important to the story. Scenes. You are ruining the industry. You are part of the fucking problem. Yeah, I agree with Synthetic Man. Synthetic Man's part of the problem. Yep. Or I think the soundtrack definitely not as good. There's no memorable tracks, so No uh, memorable wow. tracks. And top comment really? shitty soundtrack. Now guys, I figure it's nice to wow. throw in a bit of a break for us. I'm gonna play the OD. Uh, sorry, the Thor song, right? Because I had to play Yay. one that he would have come across by now. So far. No memorable tracks so far. The God of War is a coward, a weak coward. Don't don't you like your expectations being subverted? Oh. See what I mean, dude? This this is the last Jedi of, of God of War. It is, and yet because they did something that you weren't expecting. That simple. Yes. Yep. Ah, fucking awesome. Two God of Wars who don't seek war. I don't know how to. Help. Modern writing in a nutshell. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah modern writing. Jamal, so true. Now murder. Here's voice so bad. All the voice acting is is normal in this. Nothing is epic. I see why my sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. Nothing sounds. Like dramatic and over the top because it, 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 Ryan Johnson. I will give him. There isn't any Ryan's lines like Zeus, Athena. You can you conspire, conspire against, against me. me. Conspire against me. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Dude. The guy who directed this. <laughs> Really entertaining. <laughs> Actually worked on the other God of War games, so I don't know why he's doing this subvert your expectation shit. But it's just the poison, the poison of California and modern politics and the way the world has shifted. He's so fucking right. The poison, the poison of the modern poison. politics. Ugh. I'm the only sane man in this mad world. The Definitely. the cock writers <laughs> want to kill Kratos when Atreus dying would definitely be the better writing, like a thousand percent. Okay. What is that? What is that? What was the point of that? That was fucking pointless. It was just like, oh man, remember him? I mean no. me. You know, do uh, Rex and God. I would, but sure. Compare Odin design to Zeus, mass and blood down. Yeah, no, they wanted to subvert your expectations. Don't you get it? It's part of the Ryan Johnson experience. This anyone what? like seriously? I want to know like any real human being, not not an NPC. But does any real human being like? Oh man, I want Freya to be good guy. I liked her in the first game. She would yes. I mean, yeah, I, mean, I would do like the stupid voice, like, yeah, you could make any perspective seem silly. Yeah. But like, 
Fre- like Freya as a character and a really great one. Like the amount of work the that they do side. with her. She was on the same side as Kratos and Atreus yeah, for course, the vast right? majority of that game. Yeah. Up until mm-hmm. the end. And then we get all the... She helped you. Yeah, but then we get all this pointless dialogue and then she just joins us because uh, of the poison. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Plus, we all team up against the evil Odin. He's a fascist. Oh, no. Mind if I take I've heard change. about this. I promise I'll be oh, no. What is he going to say about Ratatoska? No, Here we boy. fucking go. The, the old Kratos would have grabbed that thing and snapped its neck with Why? one hand. Well, let's, you... let's be glad that he's grown as a person. Yeah. 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 Let's be glad that he did not happen. Boy. Not Shana, the story <laughs> is... Jesus Christ. Uh, Odin bad. Gotta kill Odin. There you go. Because we were looking for Tyr, but we found him in the first zone, so... Now, I guess we're just finding a way to kill him. That's about it. Oh, I see. This is literally train like tutorial zone. What the hell's the point of that? You can practice your combos for YouTube videos and then make a clickbait thumbnail like, "Whoa, this this combo sick. This combo crazy, bro." I like how it couldn't be that the combo is actually really cool. Uh, the yeah. name of the name of those videos is Combo Mads. I don't understand why he's shitting on it. And then he also said, "Like, what's the point know. of a tutorial area?" I don't, I don't know, know man. man. Yeah, you look at the actually, definition of tutorial. You can actually upgrade all your uh, mods of your skills there if you want to. Experiment oh. with the game mechanics. Oh, could you? Which could might you? help you with your video. That sounds pretty soy to me. I'm pretty soy. What is here <laughs> being a pussy? Because our expectations are subverted. Don't you get it? A god of war who doesn't want to fight. It's the classic cinematic soundtrack where there's no memorable tracks and the game is nearly silent when things aren't happening. Because God forbid someone what? hear a three minute loop of a good memorable track in a video game, in a modern fucking video game. I like these bosses of the video. Yeah, yeah, they're a nice little reprieve. Nice sounds for once. Soothing. This guy did the Rings of Power soundtrack. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, nice. Yeet! around no memorable tracks Damn it. go back in <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's funny as well because you can actually find on my stream when i was listening to the tracks in the background of alfheim i started to remember i was like wait this is a remix of what they did in the previous game for alfheim like i guess what i'm pointing out is like i literally remembered the track to the point of noticing how they've altered it like it is memorable at least for me so i don't know what to do no nope. Nice. Player choice? What's Ugh. that? I don't know. Wait, what's the my- choice? He's annoyed he can't jump into the fucking river of souls. Like, okay. Sorry. So he could find one for himself? <laughs> Back it in, why not? Modern game. Player choice doesn't exist. A tempting treasure chest! Mm, Damn it, it sometimes. 
I wonder how much money what? they wasted having like a line of dialogue for every slightly notable thing in the game. I've the best oh, to they let probably players know that if you get the sandstorm stopped, you can get to the chest. Yeah. The funny also, thing about it is, I guess they fucking cared. I would have criticized it for how you can clearly see the top of the chest. It's all clear. So yeah. You probably just punch through just anyway. Punch through it. Yep. And like, yep. when is sand gonna stop fucking Kratos? You can just blow it off. You go. Fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Flex how little I give a shit about this. Imagine if Atreus actually did become evil and Kratos had to kill his son. I think that would be way you, more interesting. Why do you want to kill his son so badly? Oh, he wants Atreus dead. Violence. <laughs> violence at any cost, regardless him, of context. Kill him. Just violence. <laughs> Beat him up, kill him, reprobate him. Wouldn't it be so cool if Atreus died? Haha. <laughs> Just asking oh, for a friend. <laughs> Oh, uh, this way. This is like an alternate universe version of uh, uh, Freya's house. I don't know how. What how the it? hell? Does... No, it's a <laughs> it's a big tree, tree that she's hollowed out different... versus a big t a tortoise thing. Like I don't. Virtually the same. I mean, tortoises, uh -huh. trees, essential. They're both. Neither of them. You know, they're both. Much. They're both organic. places. They're both eukaryotes. That's cool. That's neat. They usually like Atreus not around. recognize it. Yeah, it yeah. Slow. I'm They're both slow. The story is so deep. Yeah, really. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? What? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. <sighs> I'm disgusted with this Kratos. Disgusted. Well, yeah, only beta how are made, it's hey, no wonder you helped me, I should have chopped your fucking head off. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think no, so. really, uh, they're gonna shit on the Spartans now. Sense. Spartans are absolute chads. <laughs> sound <laughs> like they sound pretty terrible. It's so basic. Sound... He knows nothing about Spartans. They would have chucked this guy off the cliff. Yeah, you they know he knows nothing about don't, Spartans. Don't tell him. I, mean, like, I was going to mention that earlier, in 300, Leonidas cries right before he dies. We marched when we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us. By the way, this is the speech he's like, wow, shit, non Spartans. Still, we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, or were food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. Uh, they're going to shit on Spartans now? It is one yeah, more Spartans concealed. suck. Because of this chip. It's a fucking horrible upbringing. I'm sorry if you didn't what know that. What a terrible yeah. life. I still don't even what remember who Groa is. I really don't. Like, I, it's not like I expect her to get over her son being killed. It's just this is a horrible, horrible idea. Like, this is some Marvel movie shit. You do not Why? become friends uh, with the man who killed your son. She feels she killed Boulder. That's the point they make in the game. For the choices that she made. Yep. You don't. And you also don't Let's like Kratos, the 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 god, the gen, <laughs> the guy who genocided a pantheon of gods, is not going to be like, oh, this god is trying to kill me, but she's my friend. I can't hurt my friends. Why can't yeah. he hurt oh, his he friends? Uh, right well, so so remember, Freya saved Atreus' life. He doesn't address yes. it ever. He just says, nah, he'd kill her. He'd kill her. Like, yeah, you, you have to ignore that to make that point. Like, it's the reason why he refuses to do it. Mm -hmm. Sure, now, he grew up. Yeah. Fucking piece I of shit. I, I I swear to God, if one like 35 year old man child with no kids and a hundred Funko Pops <laughs> is gonna try and tell me about maturity, eat a fucking dick, dude. Very well stated. Yeah. Portals. Okay. Why couldn't they just do that at the start of the fight? Because she was a bird. If portals can chop people in half or decapitate Nidoc opened the portal. And they just like close the realm yep, tear. Yeah, to take advantage of, of him trying to get away. It's, the game yeah. took care of this. They start the thing is in the portal, and it's only yes. once Kratos drags it and grabs it that the portal closes behind Nidhogg, and then she turns into Warrior Freya. So it's too late to use it at that point. Yes. So, but luckily for him, someone in his chat points this out. Kind of an obvious plot hole, don't you think? No. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. She was stuck as a bird, though. I don't know. Can't Kratos close the hole or something? Oh. 
Look at her. Uh, uh, close no, how? no, he can't. He doesn't know fucking how. The super mega badass is she's like crying over like tearing a fucking forest heart thing. Man, what? How can you? You you don't know who she is. You just don't know who she is. No, he doesn't know anything. He doesn't know what's happening. He has no idea. Oh my god, look at Kratos groveling in front of this strong female character. Is he groveling right here? Is this what he's doing? What do you think uh, groveling Joey, means? Joey, I killed one more god than I should have. You say this as if, like, the Greek gods didn't have families. I mean, they were a family. So you're making the point what? of the journey? So he's like, he's like, Kratos is showing some level of regret as to the actions related to Boulder, the effects it had on Freya. But why didn't he show this kind of regret for what he did in the Greek trilogy? It's like, you mean like his whole deal is the guilt and well, regret? and at the end of God of War 3, right? In the, at the end of one of those, the older games. Well, like, a lot of people like to try and forget that God of War 3 sets him on this path. They're like, no, no, no. Well, God of War 3 ends with him regretting the choices that he's made. Yes, and then killing himself. Releasing hope into the world. Or related. <laughs> And you killed all of them without mercy. Do you know, I was actually, I needed that clip obviously for earlier in the thing. And um, the YouTube thing put a cover up saying this this video covers suicide. Are you sure you want to watch it uh, regarding God of War 3? It's interesting. It's like, well, I guess he does stab himself with a big old sword, but he doesn't die. I guess that's still enough though to be like, hey, war graphic. This can be powerful. Yeah. Even for the that's unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Ugh, I hate woman. every yeah, how dare her lesson. teach yep. him anything. Stop learning things from people who aren't yourself, Kratos. If it was possible to hate every character, I think I hate every character. That this is, is just modern woke writing, is every character is unlikable as fuck. Oh, like, it's, it's wild. Woke is when I don't like it. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> he's getting a bit more blatant. What you care about the most? Everyone's crying and apologizing. How mature God of War is. They're, they're expressing their feelings. Oh. Yeah, it's probably a healthy thing to do. When you, one day, one day if you grow up, you'll learn that. A really sad moment because they're both fighting over, you know, who was at fault to split them apart. And then, you know, you get to this point in the conversation where they're both just like, I'm just fucking glad that you're back. Oh. <sighs> Missed you so much. What is this soap opera shit? Yeah, I, I know. Uh, who? No one gives a shit. Yeah, I don't drama's give a shit. gay and boring and totally not based. Very cool. Does sword yeah. guy, do anything? He has a sword. Oh, he's got a big sword. He must be cool. <laughs> but he does do a cool thing with the sword. <laughs> Why does he just exist? <laughs> what the fucking How nerd? The fucking Why nerd. Does he just exist? This guy just over here existing. He's not even in my fucking way. How dare him? Is he like someone's self insert? If this was God of War one, two, or three, yeah, any of isn't. these mounting sections, like the beginning with the dogs, or when we were riding that huge yak with uh, uh, Angra Boda, the black chick. Or any of these boats, you would have been able to attack. They would have designed a section just for this. You could hit. Well, that's the funny thing, Rags, that you say that. In God of War One, Two, and Three, and plenty of you here will know, when you go across like a long chain or you're climbing a wall, oftentimes suddenly there's just a horde of easy to kill enemies that appear, and you yeah. have to attack and then move, attack, move, attack. And it's funny. I don't know if I said it on the stream, but like I am not fond of those. They've always come across to me as we can't have the player moving from A to B without something happening. Otherwise, they mm. might for a second think, wow, this is kind of boring. But the thing is, the gameplay on those sequences is so lame. Just like yeah. spam square until they go away and then you move on. It's like it's also, bo it's also mostly the, the easiest enemies. Yep. That you can either just grab and throw off a cliff or something. Just like, oh, you're just here to keep me busy. The player, for a second the player merely doing something doesn't mean they're engaged and, yeah uh, people need to stop thinking that it does yeah sometimes i just Where sometimes i just want to go somewhere right because that makes sense if you're if your goal is to design a video game 
then you try and make things feel unique, have the encounters stand out in some way. In a modern, shitty, cinematic Sony game, you're instead just, oh, row, row, row your boat. Like, fucking, what, why? What, fuck to where you, where you want dude. to go, and yeah. then you get out of the boat, Anyone and you fight all of the enemies. Anyone who thinks shit taste and should never be listened to again. Sorry, Mel. <laughs> Mel. Wait, Mel. what? I was He's actually Anyone who says this is a masterpiece has shit taste and should never be listened to again. That's, that's okay. That's I don't okay. want you to listen to me. <laughs> I'm serious. It's fucking 7 a.m. I'm so over it. I'm, I know. <laughs> I'm so He's over it. He's that far behind. I can't believe it. It's because he wants him to make the decision himself. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was obvious by the fact that he was standing still. That far behind after that long. He didn't immediately bolt after his son as soon as he transformed. Are you fucking kidding me? It's so poor. It, oh, great writing, guys. Great writing. You told me. Yeah, it is pretty I'm great. I intended yeah. to kill you in Asgard. Kind of? The Norns? I thought you didn't believe in that. How could Kratos not believe in that if he literally killed the fates in his realm? That is why he doesn't believe in fate. He killed them. What do you mean? He doesn't believe that fate controls decisions because he fucking killed fate. <laughs> like he was like, yeah. hey, fate, and stabbed it and threw it back in time and trapped it. That didn't really make any sense. But the point is, no, he, 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 he is not a fan. He got the information he wanted from the Norns. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally oh. put his soul into my knife. He put his soul Those into the knife. So I thought maybe Fenris could uh, change Yeah. Let's see if it took. See, they they subverted your expectations just to actually <gasps> do it anyway. So now Garm is uh, effectively Fenrir. Okay. I don't like them. Why is he so unsatisfied? Why is that his problem with that? Isn't this like like a neat payoff that Fenrir's back and he's you know hey, a dog. good boy and he's Garm's pa got Garm's powers now and isn't that like interesting? Isn't that worthy of some level of commentary? Ryan Johnson. Yeah. Um, uh, I feel oh. like under ten layers of of deeper meaning, the message here is. Trust your teenage kid when they make a life-changing decision, like chop their dick what? off. I genuinely... Okay. Um, oh, Alright, oh. we're going there, I suppose. Uh, you got that from a tray uh, I thought he was gonna out. say, like, adopt a dog, and I was yeah, so horribly wrong. Shit. Got that from Atreus trying something he wasn't sure would work and asking his father to help him and believe in him, and they worked together to do it. Got that from it. Just mm -hmm. fucking mm -hmm. poisoned. Only for was, yeah, because he's done nothing. They built it up at the end of the last game as like, oh, this is the next big quest. Well, because they had to combine two games into one. You get Tyr in the first few hours, and then he does nothing of relevance ever. He's clearly fucking useless, Lix. Is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. They're like, please go do our side quest, guys. We spent we spent months on our generic shitty side quest. Please do whatever you want. They're letting you know it exists. Yeah, and you've clearly been complaining that there's not enough gameplay. And exactly. then you say, I don't want to do your shitty side quest. Then go fuck yourself. The then don't complain about he, not much, enough gameplay. The game. Exactly. Fucking what do you want? He liked. He's if I could, <laughs> get, can I have more gameplay? Oh, I can. Well, fuck you. I'm not doing it. You could have been doing that the whole time. This song was almost decent for a bit. It's from hell on. You can't have memorable I'm music in video games. It might dorm. distract from the uh, awesome super special combat oh, and maturity or something. Halo laughs at you. He's he's saying the reason they likely chose not to have uh, memorable music is so it wouldn't get in the way of the combat and the story. That's that's, how that's music famously works what games. yeah yeah that's that's famously how good music works. That's what why everyone I talks about the following. tracks they don't remember from the combat sections they enjoyed, and everyone yeah. talks about their least favorite boss fight tracks in the Souls games and stuff, you know? What a, them. Bizarre, what a bizarre uh, thing to say. Uh, That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Does this sound like two gods talking to each other? One of them is high. One of them is well, high. Certain. Yeah. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? 
I knew our spear was. Does no one trick. believe that Kratos killed well, like a whole pantheon of gods? Did Heimdall? Heimdall is the reason mm. for that. If you check out these references, I feel like constantly they like act giant. shocked when he killed another god. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. They believe he can kill gods. They're not sure he can kill Heimdall. Yep. They're gonna lose her. You may be working with All Father and enjoying his little. It's a lot of balls. But stay where of my family's business. And it seems out of character. Oh, there's two. Just, I don't. Wait. He's, what would you fucking? The think? balls. He's saying Atreus telling someone what he believes to be true in an environment that he's not exactly got holding all of the power is out of character. Atreus wouldn't be so ballsy as to tell someone what he thinks. Never and happens. he certainly later wouldn't mention to his father that when I'm not around you, I act impulsively and maybe don't make the smartest of decisions. Yeah. That would be crazy. Definitely not in character, not at all. He didn't fucking stand up to Kratos several times in the 2018 game when he was, what, nine? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what's the point. We already know Thor is going to die. No, we don't. <laughs> I guess well, he read the leaks, remember? So... So why, like, I don't know. They're trying to get us to care it? about him. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, oh, oh, look, he's not... What a, what a foolish Guess endeavor. What? I'm going to give you a little bit of insight here. Everyone's going to die, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Just yep. a dickhead. We're here. Mom and I are here for you. Is this really the right time for this? We yeah. Is yes. This really the he right just made a mess of an entire building and, and he went on an alcohol fueled violence binge. He's just and he started couldn't be drinking, drinking again. anyway. Yeah. He's... This is the perfect time for it. When it would happen, his daughter has got mm -hmm. a mission and he's drinking again. One thing he promised he Right time exactly. for this. Look at his fucking face. He knows he's failed. He's an alcoholic because his daddy doesn't love him. This is really what I wanted in God of War. God of motherfucking war, well, dude. Remember when he got really mad about that that guy? Like the <laughs> fact that he 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 made an argument that was in universe, but he was like, oh, that's a meta argument. That's ridiculous. But every time he's like, oh, this is God of War. It should be like this. It's a meta argument. So, like, I presume he's actually pretty cool with meta-arguments when they service well, his goals. Imagine I mm -hmm. said, you know, in the scenes where Kratos is dealing with either explaining or dealing with the death of his uh, initial wife and daughter, and then I was just pausing and going, This is God of War! I want to tear people's heads off! What is this? Yes, that is God of War. Trauma. The character in the face. He's talking about how worthless we don't need is Odin good. to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. Or, or, horn, don't they? what if oh, so you using the mask Asgard, and gazing into the tear is what causes realms. Ragnarok? Are we not going to think of this as a possibility? Please, I feel like... Just I just thought of that immediately. Yeah. What is your reasoning for why staring into the, the, the crack is going to cause Ragnarok? I don't know. What's the connection it's, there? Yeah, it was never in any of the prophecies. It, yeah, the, as far as I know, the, the, the crack of knowledge wasn't ever mentioned in the prophecies. I have no idea why he thinks that's a good call. <clears throat> There's nothing it's that connects like, it at all. I mean, it, it's like potentially there's something there, maybe well, no about how the pursuit make, of right? pretty the much like there's nothing to tear it to Chris on the path to use the mass to look in the tear and start Ragnarok. Maybe the tear would give him knowledge of something that would then say I like if the story was different, maybe will of the force. I don't you know, are none of the characters going to think of this? Whatever. Who cares? Indeed. Who cares? Now we kill Odin. And anyone who gets in our way. Yeah, why is Freya more God of War than the actual God of War? She personally she really, really does. She's not very keen on Odin. Uh, yeah. She doesn't like him. 
She really doesn't like Odin. You would know this if you were paying attention to even modest amounts during your playthrough. Vengeance. Yes, Kratos, that is who you are. You are vengeance. That is that is your character. And that's not necessarily bad. Uh, if it is <laughs> so the personification of you as a person, yeah, that's Man. probably pretty bad. Pretty bad scene. Yeah. I love how Brock dying Odin's was kind of pointless because Kratos managed to get the mask anyway from Odin. How is this... No, His death didn't saying. serve a like a, a character can't die tragically, and that that's bad if it doesn't serve some plot purpose. Even though like it Sin absolutely does, it totally did. Yeah, Odin uh, is sure. dead because he killed Brock. Yeah, that's why yep. dies. For yeah. in real, uh, a, a boar is a black guy. What, what are you talking why? about? What? Why? Stop pointing at. Mm. Keep saying he's a black guy, not just a guy. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Like, Tyr didn't do anything of relevance, so it doesn't really wow. matter that he was Odin, it, you know? Except poisoning all the abides, and yeah. screwing with them, and edging Atreus towards Odin a lot. And killing Brock. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, like, I guess that matters. I, I guess I should have guessed, him just tier. because yeah. they didn't do anything with him, but because After the writing that, was so bad for a lot of the game, I just, I didn't think they would do that. Atreus. That's my oh. bad, I guess. No, you didn't read it in the leaks, so you can pretend like you predicted it. Yeah, I don't know how the leaks didn't contain it, but they didn't. Yes. See ya, Loki. Take care. Are you gonna comment? Yeah, on I don't Trace's know why flashlight? exactly they're doing this. I'm surprised they didn't just roll credits. Huh. Well, I'm rolling credits before. Think of the payoffs you miss if you rolled credits now. He doesn't understand the payoffs anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. that surprised, <laughs> but they should have just rolled credits. I need you to hear it. I appreciate you. I can't so much. leave. I don't know why. Oh my god. I, love you too, love I appreciate you so yeah, much, Vimir. Everything we've had to together for. You too, Hildas Vini. Angry Boda so didn't even fucking do anything. So okay. Uh, right. Yeah, definitely. She, she <laughs> didn't literally save all of the characters from yeah. death in Ragnarok, so that. I wonder if there's some reason that wants to minimize her contribution. <laughs> it's so mm. fucking strange. Did she exist again? Oh, right. Diversity points. Oh, right. No. Game's not yeah, loaded. Okay. 10 out of 10. When death arrived, he asked why the oh. old man had called for him. Oh, God. This callbacks don't work the if they happened like one best. hour ago. A callback, it is finishing the story. It's finishing the story. <laughs> the the, the game's got make... plenty of callbacks, but this ain't one of them. This isn't like a callback. No. Did and why didn't she praise all of the ones that were from like 20 hour hours earlier? He didn't know they were. Like, he didn't recognize them. <laughs> he wouldn't know what they are. Just odd, because there were a lot of them. Yeah. Like yeah. the well, one like, thing he actually remembered. 10, 15, hours. Some of them were in different games. Yes, they were. Lots of them were. I will not play it. I swear to you, I will skip it. I will review anything else. That uh, if it were, if they make another game where Atreus is a hero, he won't be playing it. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, th I hope Atreus is a hero in the next game. Very based. Yeah. <laughs> based in the <laughs> soy pills. Good deal. That's a promise. Remember in games when you could just hit something? I want I want Trace to die. Yeah. <laughs> like I want Trace to die so Kratos has the will to like be the angry god of Oregon. Wouldn't that be so that based? Be so Kratos boring. is a hero so though. Based. This one Kratos used to fuck hot girls, now he sucks. <laughs> yeah. We I mean it's really a dichotomy. Go. Fucking hot girls. Sucking. Yeah, that's the two. <laughs> So I guess, where are all your hot girls that you're fucking, synthetic <laughs> man? Do they know that you live with your mommy? Man. Why do you care so much? Jesus Christ, man. Stop asking the same me? question. No. Okay. Maybe he's trying to help his son. I know that's crazy. Kratos. Yeah, so he's listening to dialogue about Atreus poking at Kratos, trying to find out why he's so invested in saving the half -Kufa. And he's, he said, maybe just wants to fucking do something with you, which, if anyone knows, that is literally the payoff for this section. Yep, just explains he just Well, Mamiya says he just wants to hang out with you. <laughs> and so what happens when he gets that as the payoff? Kratos being a... I don't believe it either, but <laughs> really, I don't. But, uh, I, this is, like, completely pointless dialogue right now. Like, completely fucking pointless. Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but you don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered? He just wants to spend time with you, lad. 
Well, he's still Khan. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches, I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Oh, uh, you have nothing like to say about nothing. all that? Nothing? Oh, yeah, something. I'm cringe. Wow. wow. I cringe. It's cringe. You know, as we know, uh, synthetic man, maybe one day as you get older and the people you love get older and things start to change in your life, you'll look back on the scene and really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Imagine well, I like imagine it. if they subverted our expectations in like an actually interesting way and Atreus just oh. insulted her constantly. Would that not be awesome? I think that'd no, be No, it would be this fucking... Is God of... I wonder why you think that's mm. awesome. War. I understand. Slaughtering the gods and screaming is more mature than this. I'm... <laughs> no, it really isn't. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's so... I, I will never let that go. Oh, I will argue that I will die on that fucking hill. This isn't who you want to be! Shut the fuck up, Mimir! This is exactly who I want to be! Crush his face. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Jesus. You're not the monster who kills without cause. Like a Sigma male Chad. So, you know, there's uh, toxic masculinity is dead. Look, guys, it's a whale. <laughs> Let's stab it in the eye. That's what Kratos, the real Kratos would do. Oh, oh he no, wouldn't just a child. You're an actual child. Not even OG Kratos would just stab a creature in the eye for no reason at all. What do you mean? Yeah. Why can I not stab it? And I Why would you want what to? Like to be chained in one Why are you a dick? <laughs> With nothing to occupy your mind. Like, I hope pain. you don't have any pets. He has a dog. Why would God of War, oh. of any franchise, try and teach you about morality? Why can I not stand um, it? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> because some like... of the people who play these games really need it, apparently. Maybe. You know, now that I know more about the Dark Elves, I wish we didn't have to fight them. They attack us. Well, this is their home. And considering what happened the last time we were in Alpha, can you really blame them? Oh boy, more God of War teach me ra morality, basic. Yeah, Sony games are so mature, dude. What if I'm like we're you. the baddies? Oh my God, crazy, yeah, that's dude. I know that's that's a, who would have uh, thought that? That's nuts. Why they made you think? I don't know. I'm sorry, you're just allergic to the concept of introspection. I suppose I should expect nothing less. From half breeds. Don't call me a half breed. <laughs> I will call you whatever I like. <laughs> you have a lot to learn, little girl. Starting with who you're. Yep. Heimdall is. is the supreme gentleman. Like, if any bread tuber wanted to take me down, they could just pull up a bunch of stream clips. That's all it would take. Well, uh, <laughs> well interesting, interesting idea. idea. Uh, <laughs> if you don't mind uh, pausing it for just a moment, I'm going to get a drink, and I actually don't want to miss any of it. So I'll just be a few moments. Come on, man. We are coming to the end, everyone. Yeah, um, almost there. So I want to see if he's going to say so it. Close. So close to the end. God. What a oh. what a creator! You know? Not not real. It's unreal. What a fucking! <laughs> it, it kind of does. It really does. Sort of. It's it's insane, isn't it? What yeah. a garbage bag! Absolutely. This is one of the worst humans we've ever covered. <laughs> Holy shit! But don't worry, you fellas. We're gonna find. We've still not seen the worst of it. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I I'm, holding on to my, I'm holding on to my bingo card. I know, you're all sitting there thinking, what do you mean? It's like, it'll make sense, don't you? <laughs> oh. I don't even know what's going on. I don't, I just, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna go bad. It's been a while since we've done a, a near cap hour EFAP, man. Metals and give me something for the pain and let, let me, me die. die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty much.
It's fucking half past 7 a.m. I don't even know when I was last up for that long. I'm, going to sleep said, I'm, I'm not going to sleep now, like, that close to the end. <laughs> someone said I'm just waiting for him to pull a Kanye. What a weird thing to say. Range, Kanye? Range. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's crazy go, how much the deaf much I knew it. changed in the last month. I knew it. Nonsense. Nonsense. The That's train ridiculous. always ends at this stop. Every <laughs> time. <laughs> the whole oh, road's nice late. <laughs> 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 oh, Rags, hurry so that we can have something for the Please. pain. Let us die. Hurry up, Rags. I'm so tired. As am I. So we all. It's, um, it's the kind of... The kind of thing you don't expect to do. I bet most people were here today that would tune into a normal EFAP. This has not been normal. And no, I didn't think I was expecting this at all. I was hoping to just find references to the game that I could support the review with because I thought it was really interesting. A lot of the things he said. And I was like, I want and to you see heard your name game. a bunch. Ow. You could say a bunch, yeah. I, I hear a lot <laughs> of names. A lot of creators getting hmm. mentioned. He was very, he's a very bitter ah. man. He's a, his trouble. He, the main thing he's after is attention. He wants more and more acclaim. He wants more credibilities. Is that? Rags, you I ready? Am back. I am ready. I had to take a piss worthy of the memory store. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay. You know, when I was a kid, was full of it was full of slurs. And when you have slurs, then your banter actually has power. I fucking hate. Uh, if you need a slur every... for your banter to have power, uh, it's, it's really weak weird banter. to phrase it that way. Slurs gave our insults power. Like, okay. You know what? Banter when I use it, I try to keep those segments of the, oh, the uh, videos to, to a minimum. But it's impossible when modern games are so so disgustingly poisoned General. by leftist ideology. Sure. Like, this input uh. reading, uh, I was gonna say a word, I stopped myself, thank god. Uh, the, no, this what? bundle of sticks I don't know. Stop it! Stop! Mm -hmm. it's You're like not even using it as a joke! You're just, like, <laughs> actually kinda, like, being a real dick about it. Get ready mm -hmm. for this take! It's a hater. <clears throat> How could you still like her? I know Redditors are like soy boy cocksuckers. They're all secretly gay. It's like, here's the thing. Um, like, if you're an actual cuckold, I mean, and I mean literally, not the meme version, but like, you know, you get off to men fucking your wife. You're self-inserting as the woman. You're gay. There you go. What? Boom. There's my theory. Um, that's, that's my dis- I, I, <laughs> That's an interesting even... theory, uh, Freud. I don't even understand. <laughs> I'm what? Not... <laughs> Why not what? just fuck dudes then? I don't understand. Yeah, that's that's a bit roundabout, isn't it? If what you is... can arrange cuckolding with your wife, but you, you're secretly gay, then like, <laughs> surely you can just fuck dudes, right? There's objectively fewer people involved if you just meet up with one dude we and have cut sex out the middle woman. You know <laughs> exactly, so speak, and yeah. he would he should like that. Get... <laughs> get rid of the one, ooh, ooh, so bros that's... could just be bros, bro. Well, yeah, and if I roll it back, have him say it again. Look what he says in conclusion when he realizes how fucking stupid what he said Five. is. Watch him struggle. You're self-inserting as the woman, you're gay. There you go, boom. There's my theory, that's that's my dis- <laughs> That's, uh, that's- Never mind, who cares, whatever. I'm, I'm <laughs> correct. <laughs> what a yeah, bizarre never mind. Never mind despair. who cares, whatever. He said, that's wait, Freaky, did sure you catch that what he said the... at the end of that? He said, never Wait, mind, was... who cares, whatever, I'm correct. Oh, all oh, right, definitely. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sure it has nothing brilliant. to do with, like, ownership or, or security or humiliation or well, open relationship clearly... this or any of the different aspects I could go into that. It's because you want to be fucked by dudes. He thinks gay people are lesser. He thinks bisexual people are lesser. This was the whole idea. He's it's like... How incredibly Remember, based. He, he referred to it as a flaw. I, that's my obvious flaw. Universal health care. You want to give these fat fucks. You want to pay more taxes. <laughs> this is what the Euro fags. Oh, it's fucking hey. said it. Euro pores. Um, Euro pores. Wait. Don't understand. Fags is synonymous with not having <laughs> money? Is what? that is he new? saying pores or whores? Pores. Uh, pores. It, this is a 4chan thing. Oh, Euro right. pores. Nice. You guys pay like over half your income yeah, to the know. government who who fucking stabs you in the back and you have no rights. And Imagine <laughs> tuning in for God of War. <laughs> 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 what the fuck?
some way, I do want to talk about how the women. <laughs> oh, I already <laughs> mentioned like the female characters take charge and are always how right or they? whatever. For those of you who are here, which is probably not most of you, if you watch the uh, Oh Look a Whammon, I love beating um, women with my oh. fists and my giant shield. Diversity, the strength of diversity. We have female enemies, which means incels can beat the shit out of women and yeah, get away with happy. it. All right. At least I get to kill women. Oh, woke. Oh, I mean, oh, I don't know. Freya stabbed Kratos and they're building her up to be a badass or something. That's about it, I guess. Just female enemies. Pretty badass in the last game. That's how it's woke. There are female enemies. The scene was definitely written by a woman. <laughs> Why did they make Kratos uh, such a huge I episode? thought it was Anthony Birch. Well, no, it's, it's, it, on the writing team, there are women present, so we know why the game's badly written now. It was because, oh, because women of Anthony Birch. and Anthony Birch wrote this story. Ah, there we there go. There were four female writers on this, right? That's that's what people were saying. Someone told me there's four female writers Damn. on this game. I know Alana uh, Pierce is one of them. Four. Yeah, yeah, Alana Pierce is one beanie. of the women. Even... And we already know there's at least four diversity hires on this show. Just uh, because they're women, literally, all women are women, diversity they hires. have to be diversity hires. No A woman can have actual talent. Good. What? No. What are you doing, dude? Embarrassing. <laughs> He's being a revolting A woman human being. He's just, have you know, real talent. <laughs> He's being a revolting insult. In terms of in the writing staff, Alana Pierce was bragging she got to write, but she's not credited as such. We're not she worked on the accessibility for dumb people. Would that be the really? Fight? So she what? didn't actually write? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe her writing was that bad. There's still four female writers, so. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Until what? all the what? what are you doing? <laughs> Literally, that being female is bad for the writing. Oh, Absolutely insane. Did this to you. And look, you're the he's joke the character that people think we are. Me. Yeah, but the you're ground, real. You're an actual goblin. Up, so. he's, he's got problems. <laughs> you're right? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Maybe her writing was that bad. There's still four so female writers, so. though. And look, nerd. he's on the ground. She's standing up, so already making him look inferior. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, he's tripped over because he got spooked. Oh my god. They're definitely... This is an agenda here. There's a fucking no, agenda not. here. A lot of What is the agenda? Uh, never mind. I'm, no, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble. Where are your parents? This is fucking... It's fuck all... It, you know what? A, any person who ever simped for her needs to be executed. And what? Uh, I, I can't say what I want to happen to a lot of ears. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, Jesus my... Christ! What? Like I don't like plenty of people, but uh, like it's impossible to tell where the joke begins and ends with him. We said I can't yeah. say what I want to happen to her because I'd be bad. It's like what the hell? You really hate that's a lot of peers, damn. Yeah, up. that's kind of fucked up. Jesus I Christ. do too, but I can say every simp should be killed. She's gonna peg what? him. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe that's the only way. <laughs> Fuck! I gotta be careful about what I say. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. I gotta be careful. <sighs> oh, oh man! A woman <laughs> beat man at no, thing. I, I think I got it. Fuck off! How dare! Wait, 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 wait. Well, I mean, granted, he's never done it before, but still. Hey! <laughs> there we you go. See, his brain was like, "Wait, you're retarded." And then he was like, "Shut up, yeah. brain." <laughs> Woman has to save a man again. Oh boy, she wins. She won again. Thank you. She won again. She should Sorry, peg him. So Just peg you. Atreus. God, oh. this is cringe. The cringe levels. The through the roof, dude. Hate all these badass women. Except, look, she can't even keep her emotions together. Now, she was a super badass right in the She's fight. Like, compare his commentary, and I uh, liberally applied quotation marks, but compare his commentary with ours during that incredible scene. Yeah. Oh. More female enemies, by the way, guys. A lot of badass women in in uh, the Norse dimension. Dude, stop. Yes, Norse there dimension. Are, there are, <laughs> first of all, stop. the Norse dimension. Secondly, <laughs> lots of badass women in Norse. Yes, yes. There are yes. one of them called Freya. You uh, may not have heard of her. And the Valkyries. Oh well. Don't ask questions. As many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it. One you Woman don't good, man bad. You think this oh, is a no way that was. Oh. <laughs> it's only Jesus. Not quite yet. 
Whammon. <laughs> it's a it's a strong female character here to actually the save the day. Not the main the character. Spell. You have no. And he doesn't pull any of that back when you at the end defeat Odin when with Kratos, Atreus, yeah. and Freya. But oh well. Well, he does. This is what I mean about the NPC shit. He sees stimuli and has set responses. No yeah, exactly. Really. Wow. Just, so I brave. I, I mean, that's literally He's showing him that she got her wings back brave, when he took him away from her. <gasps> yep. Yeah. Not woke at all, guys. Not woke at all. Oh, no. Look Let how strong she is. You. She's very strong. I'm weak. She's Look at how Thor's weak the daughter. Is, and the woman is very strong. Okay, you, you know what? Do we want to talk about... She instantly says, oh, crap, this is heavy as fuck. Yes. Oh, well. Women. I, I suppress it because I, I hate to say it. I, I never would have guessed me of all people would have female viewers. I mean, I do self censor. Well, they're probably laughing at you. But regardless, you know, we could talk about women and why I'm in the situation I'm in, but I feel like it's just a bad oh. idea. Wait, 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 you're, you're 27 years old and living at home because of women? It's women's fault? I uh -oh. assume what he's saying uh -oh. is we could talk about women and why I'm in the situation I'm in being uh -oh. I've got I've got no women. He's a bona fide incel. I, uh, yeah. well, of course he's an incel, but... Oh, like, <laughs> we're actually thinking it was more complicated yeah, than that. I, like. I didn't expect him to just, like, Usually. blow it out, you know? I, I, well, I that's what incels want, death to simps, right? Divorced. But oh. I mean, maybe. And like, I mean, that's possible. I don't know. I figured he meant that he he got crushed by a girl, and like now, what? Now that's why he's living with his folks. Oh, I it's all that... her fault. He took the he he did the he, he's down into the Andrew Tate, uh, rational oh. male oh, no. red pill shit. The grind just, set. They call the oh grind. yeah, <laughs> he's in the grind set, guys. That's why he identifies with a Heimdall because he the could see grind. the <laughs> intentions of women when he looks into their eyes. Bitter, I've given YouTube enough reason to ban me. <laughs> this is literally this guy doesn't need to exist. It's just like they needed a black guy because they had a black girl, so they needed a black guy. That's definitely how it works. I don't yeah. even know what to say yeah. about that. Yeah, I guess. I just, there's no, there's literally no other reason for this guy to exist. If I was working for GameStop, it'd be like fucking base, dude. I'll ring up that. <laughs> Refund right away, even if I get fired. Yeah, my, I want to say, I wanted to say something. I want to say a slur, but I can't. Oh say no! It. Oh, what? No. He just wants to say slurs. I want <laughs> to say a slur. <laughs> you know, if you don't, as long as you don't stream it, you could like say as many slurs as you want in your room. Like no one's actually does. stopping you. You just don't, just don't stream it, and you'll be fine. Just get yeah. it just before you start a stream. Get Ten minutes out. beforehand. Yeah. Get it all out of your system. Think about me and Fringy and Mahler and, and Jay and all the women in the world. And just get it out of your system so that when you sit down for your stream, all of those negative thoughts are gone. This was racist. <laughs> Wait, hang on. I get fired. Yeah, my... <laughs> Dare. I wouldn't hey. say something. I would say a slur, but I can't say it. Imagine if Kratos was racist. You know, no. They, they would never. They would never dare. They would never dare. I can't why imagine they? why. It's such a bold decision. Oh. <laughs> why it's just because they? of cowardice. They're too cowardly, They're too cowardly to make yeah. Kratos a foul racist. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be actual. Kratos can't be interesting. He can just grunt. The only racists are interesting. <laughs> I, I believe this is Kyle. such a cloud. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. The racists, they they're the made interesting Odin ones. A Trump on, allegory, man, you're so close, and he's Capital. upset that they didn't make Kratos outwardly racist. <sighs> His depressing <sighs> things. But so, the remains me and her, we obviously need to breed. And then true. I execute uh, all my sons. What? And then what? breed uh, with the daughters. I got to see all those grandsons. Wait, wait, wait. What? You might I, not yeah. grasp exactly what he's saying straight away here, but this is one of the worst of all of the quotes. He is trying to solve the problem of Angraboda's skin color. Wait, was it? Go back. What's he saying? Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to hear it again. Breed. I thought it was. Breed. That Can't be interesting. He can just grunt and say. Wise, depressing Dreamless. things. But so, the end point remains me and her, we obviously need to breed. To and then I execute all my sons. 
and then breed with the daughters, execute all those the grandsons. Breed with... I, what, what are you? What is happening? What, what are you? What you is understand? going on? So that he can on. have a harem of his own kids. You understand? Hey, if he is does he that, he's trying to explain was... why Loki is the first Northman, or no, something. He's trying to say he can dilute out and yeah. make it so that the kids oh, are progressively more white. Because none of. But but is he that's trying to somehow that worse than a, what I was thinking? Wow. Well, uh, you've got the incest along with it, so don't worry. That's a package the, deal. Yeah, we got the murder, uh, which is yep. the worst part. The, the harem you of your own everybody. children. Which is also not great. Not great. And the purpose of it being to uh, to to lighten things up a bit, shall we say? Not. Uh, not great. No. Not. No. Does Doctor <sighs> Pepper know you're anyway, wearing your merch? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Poor Doctor Pepper. He would. He anyway. would not be. He would not approve. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, a little bit. The slurs have been taken away from you, so you use monkey emojis. Ah, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> yup. This can't be real. What an epic what is... based boy. What a wow. Thing. So based. <laughs> Stick it to those SJWs. Showrunners and Big Mouth, they're really romantically interested in babies. Stop. Pull it with the anti Semitic remarks. Better Someone's gonna use your feeling clips against you. Squabbles. Go ahead. Come on. Dude. I'll stand oh, by right. on that one. The ones that I'm worried about are the, <laughs> uh, you know, talking about them. Not right. Um, yes. Yeah, oh, with it. Yeah. 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 It fills up my bingo card. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Ladies and I gentlemen. I fucking knew it. Here we go. I'm a nobody, so as first... long as I don't do anything the algorithm triggers or, you know, do something nobody watches, then I can at least. Reference something that we all know what's Whoa, going on. Yeah. We all know what's happening. Opinions on Jordan Peterson. He's sold out and he's controlled opposition now. Just look at who he's hanging out with. I don't know what to call him. Like, Team Republican... Uh... Something. I, I don't know. Small hats. <laughs> what are you doing? There's no way to say it oh, without small. saying it. What? Ever, what? Oh, is that hey, man. The, no way to I... say it without saying it. All what? roads lead oh. here. Yeah. One wants there to be an equivalent to the Illuminati, but it just doesn't... Like, that's just not how it works in reality. There are multiple groups of people trying to bring down Western civilization, and they're not all on the same team. There's a certain uh, common factor between all the teams. Stop if you do your research, obviously. If you yeah. do you your research. Certain... You? Never mind. Anyway, you guys all know I'm preaching to the choir. Close. Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Close yeah. You are. He's going full Kanye. Common factor He's between all the teams, three. if you do your research, obviously. Yeah. You know, certain. You? Never mind. Anyway, you guys all know I'm preaching to the choir. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> preaching to the choir. I hope I oh. never ever can say that I'm preaching to the choir when I'm <laughs> referencing my audience. These things. Yeah. Look up some things I can't tell you to look up. <laughs> uh, things about... I don't know. 2% of the population controlling a significant amount of the media and the government. Oh, no. Wikipedia is not a good source for a lot of reasons. Like, a lot of reasons. It used to just be, oh, anyone can edit the page. Well, it's not, e it's not even that, actually. It's almost the opposite. Where... Many pages are constantly guarded by, well, they use bots, but they're still subhumans regardless for setting up bots what? to monitor pages. There's no making this right, is there? They started no. even, a good because of the noticing, when we they've started justice. removing a particular justice. thing from justice the early life justice. section of many pages. It is vengeance. That's why, that's exactly the reason why I'm suspect of people like, uh, Critical Drinker. Again, I'm not saying he's controlled opposition, but there's just something... I don't know, I guess when you condense a problem to the message instead of naming them, which, yes, uh, I realize you... Oh, he's paid off in shekels oh by the Jews to not Dude. talk about the... Oh my goodness gracious. I should, so, I should I've, be so happy we ended up here as you guys can imagine. a revolting viewpoint. I had no fucking clue this what rabbit hole. you. How the fuck did we get here? This was just a shitty God of War review, and then it turned into like a, to <laughs> like a, a Freudian case study. He's, he's, he's annoyed that Drinker won't name them. 
<laughs> of Christ. course you are, dude. Uh, you can't name them on YouTube either. But I'm just saying, BP Jordy, I've already said too much politically. Like, the dog whistles are not, like, as whistly as you'd think. The amount of times I've talked about a certain group of people is bad, is far, it's already way bad, like, to, that's already crossed the line. Like, there's, there's no going back from that. It just shows how cowardly the right oh, has man, become that there hasn't already been an uprising. I won't help the Founding Jesus Fathers Christ. would have started Who are you? a boogaloo a long time ago. What the American government has What's done to us him? is far worse than than the British us? government did to the colonies. So I'm how okay. could you? Calm down. How? How? <laughs> how could you? And we all know who's to blame. Oh, my oh he's God. made that perfectly clear. And you say you should have risen up by now. This is if only really bad. He's a fucking game reviewer. Those... What the hell? And I can't even rely on those cowardly Republicans to not say the truth. What's wrong with them? I'm the poll user. Man. We're vastly outnumbered by normies. Wars are won by those Good. Who are willing to sacrifice everything. If you're not willing to take up arms, the cost of vengeance. and I mean that literally. So be it. No, and don't say that. What? No! Some of the snowflakes will release a video exposing you. Will you watch it on stream? Only if it gets a lot of views, I guess. So. I'm not gonna give attention to a smaller YouTuber for no reason. Everyone else is selling out, man. We need someone who speaks the truth. Yeah. Dude. Also, I love Raid Shadow. I, I realize the irony of this when fucking G-Man lives doesn't want to acknowledge my existence. But I just think when it's like a tiny YouTuber who has no identity, it's a little different, you know? Like if I made... Like this, uh, what was he called? Some bread or something. You guys said his name earlier. Or potato, that's what it was. The potato guy. I don't think he is really a content creator, you know what I mean? I mean, maybe he is. It doesn't seem like it. But, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. I can just be a hypocrite, I guess. The classic disregarding I, of smaller creators and because just said, they don't I have can an just identity. Be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You, you're just well, proud of that, are you? Remember, <clears throat> this guy's all about integrity and honesty. He just said, I could just be a hypocrite, whatever. Super based. He doesn't give a fuck, that's cool. Never be in a cult. Cool to not care. Well, Caring is lame. I guess people don't want to address I exist because I have real opinions about video games. I don't think there's any game reviewers I trust anymore. I, I trust myself and my own opinion, that's about it. And I want more that I don't sake. trust. Tough man, keep being real, you're the rare exception in ocean of mediocrity. Well, thanks. It does mean a lot. I, I try. Being the oh, one I real game. You said that you're not going to change the way that you make your videos because they're not, they're not that important, or like YouTube videos. Who cares? They're not relevant for long. Oh, he's keeping it real. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. It's, it's not good, guys. It's not hey, good. Why can't we just Everyone's fly against over these guys me. To the mat? I don't even know if anyone has any real and opinions you. anymore. Take it's just everyone is a fucking except liar, for you, right? Yes. Yeah. Everyone's a fucking liar. He's the everyone's liar. a liar. <laughs> Spoilers, the video is going to be called God of War Ragnarok is the New Last Jedi because it exists. Oh, what happened? Oh, oh man. Well, not really. Weird. Just to subvert your expectations. But again, all these people, these supposed people with good integrity time. that you can always trust you. if a game is good, don't fucking tell you this. You, you didn't tell them it. Yeah. Okay, you changed your title because you're a coward. You knew that God of War Ragnarok is not a masterpiece, it's an approvable fucking title. Knew it. You couldn't you couldn't put it to the thing you said you'd do, and then said all this shit about integrity. So interesting. See, this guy doesn't have very strong principles, or is a liar, as are many people on YouTube. The only people I start shit with are people I know. And there's one more clip that really isn't going to be a surprise to any of you. This is not spicy. You're the Austin T's all well and good. Sitch and Adam That's show. It's me, dude. Okay, I've never okay. been invited to anything. To <laughs> <laughs> this is like why. the this is I the uh, this is the brown why. table thing where no one came to his birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is it.
What the fuck was Thank that? Thank God. Now, uh, this individual is seriously not okay and disturbing and terrible and holy fuck. Grow up. Yeah. I mean, Jesus. Probably. It's like the meme. The meme come to life of a woke person, uh, anti woke person. He's. It's. I'm. Uh, Uncanny, actually. I am impressed I are... by the fact that from very early on, I had him down. <laughs> yeah, you did. You figured all of it out well before are... the reveal. So I like it out. The, the key word is brain rot. Yeah, yeah. Like to just it's absolute yes, brain the rot. Brain rot. I mean, like I don't know. It, <laughs> you you don't say? always have to be that way, man. If you're watching this, you you, you can be better. <laughs> you could, you could. He's ever you could, gonna be bad. You could learn some lessons from the actual game if you wouldn't understand it. But well, the thing, well. this kind of game with the best it has is actually perfect for people like him, as in like it's the kind of thing he needs to hear and understand, but he, it's never gonna get through. Gonna yeah, be some no, other way. No one planted those seeds yet. Mm. Being better <laughs> is soy. It's pretty soy, that's true. It's pretty oh, man, caught my bad. Oh, it's an... real hard, but when you manage to, it's like, yeah, you know, you can be real proud of it. It's pretty cool. What a, what an incredibly insecure, soy NPC of a person. Absolutely, with no like, integrity, maybe like, no honesty. Actual incel. Um. Yeah. I don't think I've unironically called people that before, but I, I think he is one. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what what we have? He hates the blacks. Anyone who's not straight, I can only assume. Women. Very much hates women, Jews, uh, trans people, like everyone, and and also men who aren't just like ludicrously violent. <laughs> um, he seems to be allergic to emotions, uh, or or feelings or explorations of those things. Just what an overall and oh, and plus he's terrible at his job, and he has no sense of pride in his work. Nope. Like I, I don't want to say he's an utterly worthless being because he's a great bad example for us to you know value from. But what a worthless person! That was an adventure, a horrifying Jeez, one. Jeez, that was an adventure. A this... Painful, yeah. Like I said, I was hoping to just talk about Ragnarok, and then in the middle of all of it, it was like he was throwing loads of shit at all these creators, including myself. At Eve, I was just like, what the fuck? And then of course, just in between, you know, cut scenes from this game and bit of combat, you just throw in the odd, you know, they are controlling everything, they need to be stopped, we need to start a war. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, wow. These, oh, man, that wouldn't these be people are out there and they exist, and um, I'm glad they're so stupid that they just say these things out loud for us to be able to see. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, he, as boy. he said right at the beginning of the video, all it takes is someone to actually listen to him. Uh, I did. Nutty. That is uh... feel good. It's <laughs> cathartic in a way. It must certainly be for Mahler after putting all that shit together. He must have. Uh, how much? How many hours of a shit did you watch? Way too many. It was difficult. Too much. But I mean, obviously, once I found out about some of the stupidly harsh and horrible shit, I was like, right. I guess this project is becoming a big boy. Um, which is weird for me, right? Because I don't put any effort into anything ever usually. Yeah, yeah you true. Lazy, yeah. lazy soy cuck. Absolute nightmare putting this thing together, not only for the fact that it takes ages, but to listen to him for that long. Uh, it's just like the Hassan stuff, I had to actually watch the streams. It sucks. Actually sucks. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck people enjoy his streams. Like I said, <sighs> he's awful at the games, it takes ages to even pay attention to what's happening. His commentary and his jokes, they're all like incredibly half-baked, rail off. And then like- A lot of them seem every time very woman... mean-spirited too. When a woman shows up, he's just like, woman. Women. Like, what is that? There's that clip where he's like, you know, I wanted to talk about... Women. <laughs> it's just like, what? what is wrong with you? Uh, um, yeah, and of course, just a complete lack of understanding about anything to do with the game. And many of you, I'm not saying you're in chat right now, okay? But many of you recommended his video as a way to breach the bubble. You guys are... You know, sawing out over Ragnarok, you need to see a real person's opinion, you need to understand the criticisms. Like, that video was fucking horrendous. 
Yeah. That was embarrassing. If you recommended this to us, unironically, you should feel embarrassed. You should you should probably you should be ashamed of yourself, honestly. I gotta I gotta be honest, guys. We gotta be doing better than this. That was really bad. Was it, it makes awful. me feel like I've you know, it it makes me feel like we failed, you know, in a way. That was bad. Um Oh boy. Wow. Yeah, we are you don't want to fall into the really bad sides of any ideology. It's not even left or right. It's just all of them. Any of them. Mm. come from any side. You can go to the extreme side easily. You can mm -hmm. fall right in there. That dumbass pipeline shit. Like, well, yeah, it's going to be true for some people. Uh, this is the this is the worst guy we've ever like, covered. Almost oh, like yeah. a nihilism pipeline more than anything else. The, the, the path to doomerdom. Yeah. Yeah, the path of just being bitter about everything. Because you're a child and you can't appreciate anything about the world. Filter through these bizarre lenses. It's so weird. Yeah. I honestly, my money's still on financially disastrous breakup, be it divorce or otherwise. Um. Well, obviously, there's this mm. upset about it. It's just like, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping he gets whatever he needs to move out of this uh, mindset because it's toxic as fuck. Yeah. Um, not gonna, not gonna do anything in the long run. Nothing good, at least. So, yeah. we were watching. Oh, um, I guess crazy. we'll start. Be with not them. that. Yeah, just avoid being like him in every way possible. I'm gonna wrap up. Jeez. Um, we'll start with with the mark and metal. You can talk a little bit about what you get up to. Not to say that your answer would be the different from three days ago or whatever, but hey, yeah. things may have changed. Well, so you go I ahead. mean, a good way to find out about that is uh, watch Metal's Forge from yesterday. I, I was on it, and we talked about a bunch of stuff. I, I think I thought I had a pretty good time. That's good. Yeah, that's what we did. Talk about Game Awards, all the tra some trailers, a lot of trailers, actually. Just, just a bunch of random, random stuff. Uh, this Probably blink down below if YouTube didn't eat it again. I don't know. I'm too tired to check. So yeah, there you go. Next week's I'll talk about Avatar with Frongo Avatar Two. We don't know when yet though. Oh, all right. Anything else you want? No, no, that's cool. Uh, Frank, guys. Um. I'm tired. I, yeah, I'm kind of getting a, a bit tired. I'm you know, also very getting tired. a little bit tired. I let's see. Fucking nah, yeah, I uh, I'm a little bit. I'm just a little bit tired. I uh, boy, what a journey. You know, what do you say when you finally get back to the Shire after your long journey? Uh, I know, after right? you've wit have you wit witnessed all this barren desolation? <laughs> Madness. Oh, what a like journey! Different people. Uh, oh yeah. So I guess I'll just I'll, I'll give a general thing of what's going to be happening now. So expect this to be uploaded to Mula, and then the supercut for the Ragnarok story stuff that I did because I don't want it to never be seen by anybody ever again. So, mm -hmm. and then of course the supercut we just watched that'll be going up with the different titles. So you guys, I, I know everyone's going to want to have it as a source instead of just this episode. Um. And then the next EFAP is going to be a pre-recorded one that we've done already. I kind of let the cat out of the bag, which is fine. Uh, we responded to Organized Chaos's breakdown of my Doctor Strange video. Very, uh, very good. Very interesting oh. breakdown. We learned a lot. Oh, boy. You got that? Uh, I'll premiere it on, on Moolah so you guys can watch that. And then the following week will be Christmas, and we'll probably release something that we pre-recorded then as well. I'm not sure what it will be. Uh, and we'll be back either New Year's Eve or some other time, because Metal will be over here by then. So I'm going to be Ooh. very busy doing it. But of course, it has been nightmarish getting everything uh, in, in place for all these EFAPs recently. They're big, long boys, and we're still recording catch-ups. Um, we're well ahead of schedule on EFAPs as well. So, you know, lots of stuff to sort out. No EFAP movies? I'm afraid not. We're not going to... I have to knock all the time. This is just an impossibility. I can't get it done in time. I'm so scary. But we'll have a Christmas episode coming best we can so yeah that's that's that i suppose um like i said uh, i'll collect up all the super chats and we will be dealing with them for sure thank you all so much for the kind donation for the company for the discussion back and forth 
And so concludes the Ragnarok. Next Yay. time, we might be talking about Avatar. We might be talking about Andor. Talking about whatever mm. else is coming out. Who knows? In any case, we shall see you all there. Doodle pip, yeah. everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you. Goodbye. See you later. Bye -bye. Ciao.